no one knows how far its lands and oceans stretch. For the people are no match against the hordes of monsters that crawl the earth. Barriers protect the cities in which we live, and we are completely dependent upon them for our survival. These barriers are generated by the Blastia. Blastia use the primeval power of air that fills the world to provide us with fire, water, and light. They provide us with everything that has made the Empire prosper. Forget the threat of the vicious monsters lying in wait just beyond the barriers. The blessings of the Blastia will bestow ever more prosperity to the world and peace to its people. I don't get it. What could have happened to the barrier in this town? From the Imperial capital, Zophius, bedrock of peace, we pray, may tranquility bless this world. What's with all the yelling, Ted? Look! The Aqua Blasty is broken again! And they just finished fixing it! What's the big deal? Just leave it to the mighty Imperial Knights. That's what they're there for. Huh, the Knights? You know they never come to the lower quarter. What about the heroic Flynn? I already tried to get Flynn. They wouldn't even let me see him! Oh, so I'm Flynn's replacement, huh? Never mind that. Come on! We're short on people! Ted! Ted! You get down here! They need your help, too! Oh, I'll, I'll be there in a sec! Yuri, come on already! That's weird. He always comes running whenever there's trouble. This place is going to become an aquarium soon if this keeps up. Yeah, but you're late, so I'm not sure. <laughs> How nice. 
this. Hey, it's sink or swim in this world. Looks like that blue-blooded mage we hired to fix the blast deal left the job half done. Glad you can find the time to stop by, Yuri. Take it easy with the water sports, old man. You're not getting any younger. You're up next. Not afraid of a little water, I hope. Yikes. Come on now, put your backs into it. Beam! Oh! Beam! Things are really going at it. He feels responsible. He's the one who pushed the people to get the money together for the repairs. And now he's the one who's all wet. It's not Hanks' fault that mage did a two-bit repair job, though. That's true. He even parted with his wife's keepsake to help raise the money. core anywhere? You know, that shiny piece in the center? Huh? Is it gone? Yeah, the Blastio won't work with the core missing. That aristocrat who came to do the repairs was the last person to touch the Blastio, right? That's right, a Mr. Mordio. And he lives in the Royal Quarter? Yeah, so? Forget about that, Yuri. Give us a hand here. Sorry, Hanks. I just remembered an errand I've got to run. Hey, wait just a minute! You're not seriously thinking of going to Mr. Morio's place, are you? The Royal Quarter? Me? I wouldn't be caught dead going to a place like that. It gives me the creeps. Damn it, Yuri! Just because you can do a few tricks with that bony blast here, you think you're invincible. Here's hoping he doesn't do anything crazy. He always seems to cause problems when the lower quarter's involved. Even the night just started keeping an eye on Well, it's just an average day for Yuri. I'm sure he'll be fine. the Blastia in the lower quarter? Yes, I heard something about it breaking and them collecting money to fix it. That's right. I hear that lot went so far as to sell their treasures to save up the money. Treasures, sir? <laughs> Worthless junk. Nothing more. They wouldn't have gotten more than one gold for them. Not even one gold? I can't imagine what sort of treasures those would have to be. I'd like to have a look myself. I'm telling you, nothing but junk. <laughs> Listen to those guys. Poor Hanks. Can't really argue with them about the junk thing, though. What the? Who's there? If you can't understand the value of junk, you're worth less than junk yourself. Repeat, can you find the trail? So they've been taking Blastia cores from here too. Looks like somebody's got some sticky fingers. That's the Royal Quarter for you. A few Blastia cores go missing, and no one even makes a fuss. When just one is enough to throw the lower quarter into chaos. If they got cores to spare, they could stand to give us some. Found it. So this is where he lives. It doesn't seem like there's anyone around. I wonder if there's any other way in. Ah, oh, 
Is it open? Can I get in this way? I know Mordio is hiding here somewhere. That must be... Found him. You were Mordio, right? Good boy. What the? The Blastia core is gone. Let's go and get that core back. And give that mage a whooping while we're at it. <laughs> Yuri! So it is you who are the cause of all this commotion! I know he's poor, but breaking into an aristocrat's house? My, my, how the mighty have fallen. Well, just what I needed. Tweedle A and Tweedle B. Just what is a Tweedle anyway? There's no hope of escape! We've got you surrounded! Does it look like I'm trying to escape? See, it's stuff like that that keeps you guys from getting promoted. You did not just say that! I say, you take that back! Enough beating around the bush, I guess. Back, Otacor! I'll handle this! In the name of the Imperial Knights! I say, I shall be the one to defend the good name of the Imperial Knights! Peons, I say, should stand back! You're the peon! No, no, I say! I am your superior! I appreciate the sentiment, guys, but let's cut the cat fight and get on with it. Hey, let's go! You ready? I am your superior! Nay, Focus! You are, I say, clearly my subordinate! I guess I just gotta whack these guys a little. Oh! There, how'd that make you feel? How dare you! Hitting someone in the middle of an argument is hardly proper manners! Didn't you hear me when I said, you ready? Oh, you not listening? Damn it! Oh, oh brother. Uh, you! Stop right there! Does it look like I'm running? You! Be quiet! Oops, time for a little defense. He blocked my attack! I say Sonic Thrust! Whoa, come on, give me a break. Ooh! I say how dare you block my art! Man, you need to calm down. If you can use strike arts here, then I can too. Let's try that again. This next one's gonna hurt. Ah, oh, you're not giving up already, are you? Ah, I say, Imperial Knights never give up! You have yet to see our true power! This next time's for real, guys. It's my line, line. I say! You're dead! I say, this is not good. You should thank me. I'm giving you some extra practice. 
Come on, guys, you can do better than that, can't you? Looks like I won't be catching up with that carriage anytime soon. How typical of the Schwann Brigade. They can't even manage to capture a single lowlife. Captain Kumor? I say, our apologies for this unsightly display. I'm afraid the Imperial Knights have no use for you, lowborn scum. Uh, please, don't let Sir Schwan know about this, sir. I can't believe our taxes go to paying these guys. There he is. I say, that tops it all. Abandoned by his faithful pooch. <laughs> Well, well, you've had a busy day, haven't you, Mr. Yuri Lowell? I'm rather busy myself, but I suppose I can afford to play with you for a while. Gentlemen! It's rats like you that make Flynn's job so difficult. Flynn, a little suffering is just what that upstart lieutenant needs. When you've finished with him, throw him in the prison as usual. Ten days or so ought to teach him a lesson. So like I was saying, the thief made off with a priceless treasure from that noble's mansion. I know, I know, then he was caught and the loot was returned, right? No, see, that's just nobility trying to keep things quiet. The treasure in the mansion right now is a fake. You're pulling my leg. Hey, you didn't hear it from me, Bob. The Dark Wings are going nuts looking for the hideout. You mean the Thieves Guild? <clears throat> That's enough out of you. Almost mealtime. Hey, neighbor. You're awake, right? You gotta be getting tired from keeping so quiet. You think that little story up all by yourself, old man? You must have plenty of time on your hands. Old man? Now you've gone and hurt this old man's feelings. Besides, I didn't make up nothing. I've got eyes and ears the world over digging up information for me. <laughs> sure you do, old man. Hey, I am what I am. Go ahead and ask me something. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Want to know about the Pirate Guild's sunken treasure? How about the sorcerer who makes his home at the ends of the earth? Or wait, I've got it. I just want to know how to get out of here. Well, I'm not sure what you're in for, but they'll let you out if you keep your trap shut for ten days. The lower quarter will be underwater by then. The lower quarter? Ah, yeah, I heard about that. I wonder how they're all doing right now. Sorry, neighbor. That's one piece of dirt I don't have. And what am I gonna do about that damn Mordio? The Mordio? You mean to say you've got connections to the famed mage from Ospio, the City of Scholars? Well, do you know about him? Oh, wanna know, huh? I'm afraid that information won't come cheap. The famed mage from Ospio, the City of Scholars, right? I think I got it. Well, wait, that's not it. He's the, uh, the head of the Gourmet Guild. No, wait, it's the, uh, I mean... Out. Oh well, just when things were getting good. Hurry up. What is Commandant Alexei doing here? Oh! Just who are you anyway? And what does the head of the knights want with you? Beneath the statue of the goddess. What are you doing? I said hurry up. All right, easy. I'm coming. I did say I was looking for a way out of here. Would you look at that? It opened. Ever vigilant as usual, 
With the way he's sleeping, it'll be a while before anyone notices I'm gone. If I come back before morning, they'll never be wiser to my little jailbreak. I think I can check on the lower quarter and make it back by morning. It'd probably be good to try that statue of the goddess, too. Who's there? Ah, they spotted me. Guess we can do this. <laughs> you like that? You like that? You like that? How could this? Yeah, easy win. Take a load off for a while. My rap sheet is long enough as it is. But guess I don't have much choice but to fight if they discover me. I need to be wary of these guys on patrol. Why don't we just go back? I can't go back now! This is for your own good, miss. You know that. As for the incident, we assume full responsibility and will inform the lieutenant ourselves. How can you say that when you haven't done anything to help me? Please, don't come any closer. Now, now, why don't you put that down? You'll only end up hurting yourself. I know how to use a sword. I'm afraid you leave us no choice. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. Hey, there she is! This way! Please, you've got to let me go! I have to warn Flynn! Did she say Flynn? Identify yourself! Man, just when I thought I was being sneaky, things have to go to hell. Careful, I think he's gonna blast you. It shouldn't be a problem if we take him together. As you wish! You like, like that? that? How could this This'll hurt! Man, is this what knights do now? Don't they teach these guys manners in night school anymore? Yeah! Hey, are you trying to kill me? Well, you don't belong in the castle, right? No, and I'll take it as a compliment that you can tell that by looking at me. Yuri Lol, where are you? You foul fugitive! I say, we know you're trying to make your escape. Oh, please, not them again. I guess there's no point in going back to the prison cell now. Louder, fools. Say it like you mean it. Lieutenant LeBlanc, your voice is too loud. My ears. Yuri Lowell? You're one of Flynn's friends, aren't you? Yeah. Why? And you used to belong to the Imperial Knights. Just for three short months. You hear that from Flynn? Yes. Huh. Guess he managed to find someone at the castle he could talk to after all. Yuri, I need to talk to Flynn. Hold on just a second. Who are you supposed to be, anyway? I can tell you know Flynn, but why are you being chased by the knights? Over here! Listen, I want to hear the whole story, but we can't really afford to stand around and chat. First things first. Let's get to Flynn's place. Want me to lead the way? Uh, yes. Let's go. Yeah, it was around here. This is Flynn's room.
He's really keeping this place cleaned up. Flynn must be off gallivanting around somewhere. Then that means I'm too late. So, what sort of wickedness did you do anyway? Me? I haven't done anything wrong. And yet a bunch of knights were chasing you around the castle. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, you see, Yuri... Whoa, what is it? I can't be specific, but Flynn is in terrible danger. I've got to go and warn him. So, go if you want to go. What's wrong with that? I wish I knew. Listen, I've got something I've got to take care of right away, too. As soon as things quiet down outside, I want to get back to the lower quarter. In that case, would you take me with you, please? Other than Flynn, there's no one I can depend on. Will you at least help me get out of the castle? Please, I'm begging you. <sighs> okay, I can see you're serious, but why don't you tell me your name first? Prepare to fall victim to my blade! Haven't you ever heard of knocking? I am Soggy, the man who will end your life! Now die, Flynn Shifo! You got the wrong guy! Die! You really should listen a little more. My name is Saki. Remember it well, Flynn. Listen, I'm not Flynn! <laughs> oh, what's wrong? What the hell is wrong with you? I'm gonna kill you and carve your name into my blood. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be fun! <laughs> ah, now I feel it! You feel what? I'm not feeling anything over here. Yes, so full of confidence. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Now I feel truly alive. What's with him all of a sudden? <laughs> Yuri, let me help you. Stay away. But... Bring it. The more the merrier. The things get out of hand. Run for it. I will. Oh, don't give up so soon! I haven't had a fight like this in years! <laughs> this is fun! Relax! He's just doing that to mess up our fighting. You relax. Trust me, he's not thinking that hard. So, that's just who he is? The more you talk, the faster you die, Flynn. Damn it, I am not... Never mind, you're not listening anyway. But if it's just a misunderstanding, maybe we can talk. <laughs> Your fate was sealed the moment we met. You seriously think we can talk to him? Let's just take him out already. <sighs> you're strong. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Do I look like Flynn to you? Not in the least. You've got the wrong guy. Aren't you supposed to know this stuff? He's not Flynn! Details, details! Bring it! This guy's nuts. Flynn sure has made some interesting enemies. Soggy, we're leaving. The knights are on to us. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> Mind your own business! I'm just getting to the best part! Hurry, before the knights get here! Or would you rather have your fun end today? We should be getting a move on too. We'll just go pay a visit to the goddess and be on our way. Yuri, um... Yeah, I know. We'll stick together until we're out of the castle. Oh, right. But I was gonna say, my name is Esteliz. Well then, Esteliz, let's get moving. Wait, we can't just leave the door like that.
I really don't think this is the time to worry about something like that. But... All right, all right, just... just give me a minute. There, good as new. Now let's get going. Uh, okay. I wonder if this is because of those guys earlier. They better not try to pin this on me too. I hope no one was hurt. Don't worry about the knights. They'll make sure to protect themselves. Yes, I guess so. You're it all! Where are you hiding? That must be LeBlanc. I'd recognize those dulcet tones anywhere. Do the two of you know each other? We have a bit of a history. Come on, let's hurry. We should do something about your clothes. You stick out like a sore thumb. My room is just up ahead. I have a change of clothes there. Okay, that'll work. This is my room. I'll go get changed. Just give me a minute. Got it. Try to be quick about it. Just in case. It's not like I was going to peek. Flynn did tell me to be careful if I ever met you. Well, thanks, Flynn. There, all finished. What? Do, do I look strange? It's nothing. I was just thinking this doesn't suit you either. Really? What's this? A handshake. It means nice to meet you. All right, let's get going. Thanks. This must be it. Is there something special about this statue? It's supposed to have some sort of secret. It doesn't look like there's anything particularly secretive about it. Maybe if we moved it, there'd be a hidden passage or something. You don't think... Well, we won't know unless we give it a try. <gasps> it really worked! What do we have here? Looks like the old man was right. Do you think this will lead outside? I can't guarantee it. Well, I'm going down. How about you? Uh, I'm coming too. That's pretty brave of you. Who was that guy anyway? There was something shady about him. What is it? Did you change your mind? No, your hand. It's injured. Let me take a look at it. Hmm? Ah! Hey, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'd never seen a blast deal like that. I, I, I wasn't thinking. That's really all it was? That's really all it was. M my hand feels better. Thanks. No, it's the least I could do. Okay, let's go. So, there are monsters down here, too. Monsters? That's what these things are? You've never seen one before? Uh, um... Well, let's hurry up and take care of this, shall we? Yuri, they're coming from the front, too. Ah, uh, this is annoying. Sorry if I hurt you! 
Yeah, easy win. That should take care of it. I didn't know what to do when they all attacked at once. You generally have to defeat each monster one by one, but sometimes they come in groups. Really? We should be careful when we go ahead. You can take on a monster one at a time, or take them on in a group. Your choice. Yuri, which way do you think we should go? Whichever. Let's just get out of here. Uh, wait! Wait for me! Man, it's bright! It's already morning. I wasted an entire night. Looks like it led to the royal quarter. Everything looks so different from the windows of the castle. Ah, oh, come on. You sound like this is your first time out of the castle. Uh, well, I... I guess a lady who lives in a castle can't just take a walk outside whenever she wants. Yes, you're right. Well, hey, at least we made it out of the castle. <laughs> um, was that not right? No, it's fine. So, Esteles, what are you going to do now that you're out? I'm going to find Flynn. Do you know where he went? The other day, he said he was going off on a night's pilgrimage. Oh, that thing. Going around the cities of the Empire, piling up good deeds? Yes, that's why I'm going to the City of Blossoms, Halor. Halor is the first place that knights traditionally visit on a pilgrimage. So you'll need to go outside the barrier. Have you ever been beyond the barrier? A little while back. I'd like to go, but I can't just leave the lower quarter like it is. Come on, I'll show you the way out of town. It's on the way to the lower quarter. Thank you. You there, fugitive! Halt, I say! The jig is up! Fools! Enough grandstanding to arrest him! What should we do? First, you pick up one of these, then go like this. Ooh, now! Let's get to the lower quarter. Yuri, where have you been? I got an invitation to the castle and had the most marvelous time there. Of all the... then who's the young lady? Pleased to meet you. I'm Estelise. The pleasure is all mine, miss. Uh, more importantly, uh, about those Imperial Knights. They've been so busy looking for you, they haven't paid any attention to our fiasco down here. So you've really managed to tick them off, huh? It looks that way. Has Repeat come back yet? Sure did. He was carrying some bag. What happened to it? We should be up in your room. Go pick it up later. Give it a shake. It has a nice jingle to it. Mordio liked it too. You met Mr. Mordio? Yeah, but the rat left town. Apparently he's someone important from a city called Ospio. Left town? Well, then that means we've been hoodwinked. Afraid so. His house was empty, and I doubt he's even a real noble. I see. Looks like the Aquablasty has finally stopped leaking water. Well, without a core, it won't budge. 
Is there enough water for the time being? Yeah, but it won't last long. After that, we'll just get it from the river. Mm, get the runs, though. And the knights aren't gonna help. Guess I'll go get it back from the thief myself. What? You aren't thinking of following Morty over beyond the barrier, are ya? Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Huh. <laughs> Who's worried? It's a good opportunity for you. No need for you to hurry back here. Huh? What do you mean by that? What I mean is, we can get along just fine without you. Even Flynn used to say, I wonder how long Yuri plans on living this life. Flynn needs to learn to mind his own business. Yuri Lowell. You've given my two lackeys a headache. Now be a good boy, and turn yourself in! Well, that's our cue. Looks like I won't be coming back here for a while. Never a dull moment with Yuri around. After this, I'll be even with you for getting that money back. And just make sure you don't kick the bucket blowing it all on some crazy party. Ha! Same to you. See that you don't go dying in any ditches. Wait for me! It was nice to meet you, sir. Eh, yeah, you'll probably be quite a pain in the neck. You make sure and take care of yourself now. I will. Thank you. When are you gonna fix the fountain, Sir Knight? Hey, cool, at night! Hooray! Hooray! Won't you help this old man find his dentures? Fools! You're in my way! Do not interfere in the affairs of the Empire! Don't you make her cry! What are you talking about? Hey, 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 quit pushing! Hey, who just hit me? I'm gonna remember that! This might come in handy if you're going to Halur. Huh. A map? Wait a sec, this only has the roads written on it. What did you expect? It's better than nothing considering people don't normally leave the city. You'll have to fill in the empty spaces on your own. First off, you should head for Dayton Hold to the north. <laughs> Wow, Yuri, they're all gonna miss you so much. Honestly, they're probably thrilled to finally get rid of me. Hey, hold it. Who put money in here? I, I can't take this. Halt! Get out of my way! I guess I'll have to keep it for now. What? Nice one, Rapide. A dog? Well, for now, it's north to Dayton Hold. What? Oh, right. I'm not sure how long we'll be together. Here's to the road ahead, Estelle. Yes, I... Estelle? 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 To the road ahead, Yuri. Well, so long for now. We hope to be back soon! Knights followed you here? I wonder. Well, let's do our best not to stand out. Okay, and I want to catch up with Flynn as soon as I can. All right, let's see if we can just pass through the hold. Where's she off to now?
Welcome. I've got some nice gear in stock today. This blade was forged by none other than Assam the Blade Master. It even comes equipped with weapon skills. No traveler should be without them. Feel free to give it a try. Huh? What do you mean? The special techniques contained in weapons. These techniques were originally passed down from master to pupil. But the Blade Master Assam used a special process to seal them within the weapons themselves. Bodhi Blastia can acquire techniques from weapons imbued with this power. With continued use, weapon arts can eventually be learned by the person using the weapon. My, this young lady knows her stuff. That about sums it up. I read in a book that the Kritia gave this knowledge to humans long ago. Huh. I thought Bodhi Blastia only let you use strike and magic arts. In order to find the fighting style that meets your needs, it's best to think carefully about weapon skills when choosing your weapon. There are even weapons without weapon skills that focus instead on raw attack power. It all depends on your preference. I can't imagine business is all that great in a place like this. Don't get me wrong. I'm not here because I want to be. There are monsters on the far side of the hold, so I'm stuck. Monsters, huh? Did you hear that? Hmm. And she's not listening. Huh? Did you say something? I said I'm gonna go get some information, so you wait right there. Oh, I'll come too. That's all right. Go ahead and take it. It's pretty old and it has some pages missing, but it's yours if you like. Thank you very much. Is that book any good? It's fascinating. You can read it as soon as I finish. Things are already getting crazy. That's it. I'm cursed. I know it. <gasps> the gate! What the hell? Cut it out! Estelle, you wait over... say please i can't get up ow the monsters the monsters everything's going to be okay hey i can i can stand go in the hold hurry
How can I ever thank you? Oh, it's nothing, really. I'm not sure what I would have done if you hadn't cured me. Thanks. I'm just thankful that everyone's safe. Whoa. All worn out, huh? It really is dangerous beyond the barriers with so many ferocious monsters around. This place could definitely use a barrier against a pack that big. Couldn't they install a barrier blastia here? No. Barriers are a precious resource. You're right. And with the current technology, we can't make any more. If only we could recover the secrets of the ancient Garayo civilization. They created the Blastia. Even if that were to happen, I can't see the Empire using the knowledge for the common good. You two there! I'd like to have a word with you. So why don't you let us through? I'll beat those monsters to a pulp with these fists of mine! How many times do I have to say it? These monsters are tougher than you think! You dare to doubt the power of the monster hunters? Stop! Stay out of this! You knights cheated us out of a job back there! And now, we're gonna work off some steam! Hey, hold it! It's always the same with these guild idiots. Great, we'll never get through as long as this keeps up. But Flynn is headed to Halor and we're so close! Well, getting caught by the knights wouldn't be too fun. Let's find another way through. You there. How about coming to work for me? You'll be paid, of course. Watch your manners around the president. Well, what do you say? So, it's not bad manners to try and buy someone without even introducing yourself? Watch your mouth! You're just as charming as I expected. I'm Kaufman of the Merchants Guild Fortunes Market. We handle everything from trade to distribution. Guilds, huh? You see, I'm in quite a tight spot, and it's all thanks to these tremors. I'd rather not know, but was that the work of a monster? Yes, the Lord of the Plains. Lord of the Plains? He's the leader of that pack of monsters. The leader? Man, there's some amazing things out there. Do you know if there's another way we can cross the plains? We're in a hurry. Huh. <sighs> I'm afraid you'll just have to wait for the Lord of the Plains to leave. Huh. I guess there's no point getting worked up over it. But I can't afford to just sit and wait. I'm gonna get a second opinion. Ugh. <sighs> You're with a guild that does product distribution, but you don't know any other routes? I could hire you and just charge through once the leader moves on, but uh, you don't seem interested. If it's bodyguards you want, why not hire the knights? Are you forgetting that we guild members have thrown away our rights as Imperial citizens? Once you leave the Empire behind, you can't expect them to help you a whole lot. So naturally, the Imperial Knights would never deign to escort the likes of us. Wow, you really stick to your principles. Without that level of determination, one could never hope to run a guild. Well, maybe you could use your determination to do something about that Lord of the Plains. Go to the Quoi Woods that lie to the west of here. If you pass through the forest, you'll come out on the far side of the plains. But the fact that you guys aren't going that way must mean we have some surprise to look forward to. I like a boy with quick wits, but I like one that doesn't waste a potential investment even better. Thanks. I owe you one. Maybe I'll talk to you about that job if we meet again.
Estelle. I... I'm not waiting around for the monsters to leave or anything. I'm just resting a little. Oh, I see. Well then, I guess I'll just have to take the other way around by myself. What? H how did you... Hey, wait for me! A forest in a place like this can only mean... The Quoi Woods? Bingo. You're just full of information, aren't you? I read in a book once that a curse will fall upon anyone who enters the woods. Ah, so that must be the surprise. Not going in? It's fine by me, but what about Flynn? I know. Okay, let's go. Did you hear something? My feet feel cold all of a sudden. Oh no, is this the curse? What sort of curse is it supposed to be anyway? The voices of corpses buried beneath the trees creep up and lure us to our doom. Oh, brother. What's that? place like this. Let's take a break. I I'm alright. Huh? What's this? <gasps> Estelle! That's bitter. You all right? Oh, my head feels a little... I'll be fine. What happened to me? You just fell over all of a sudden. Don't you remember? Perhaps it was the air that made me dizzy. Air. That's sort of like the fuel that powers the Blastia, right? I heard that even though we can't see it, it's scattered through the atmosphere. Yes, that's air. I read once that dense air can have negative effects on people. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's what started the rumor of the curse. Hey, you only just woke up. You should rest a bit more. But I can't! If we don't catch up with Flynn soon... What if you collapse again and this time you're out for the whole night? You're right. I'm sorry. I suppose we'll never get full trying to eat these. It's delicious. Hold on a sec. I can make something simple. You can cook, Yuri? I'm not exactly a royal chef. I just have a few recipes I learned growing up. Aren't you worried at all that Flynn is in danger? Huh? Does it look that way? Well, yes. Honestly, I'm not worried about him. He's always managed to take care of himself. Actually, it's the guys who are after him I feel sorry for. What do you mean? Ever since we were kids, I've never been able to beat Flynn at anything. Swords, racing, whatever. After he'd won, he'd always have the nerve to say, You all right, Yuri? That must be nice. I've never had anyone like that in my life. You can count yourself lucky. Well, dinner's ready. Thank you for the meal. Uh, wasn't anything special. I thought it was very tasty. I can't imagine being able to cook anything myself. It's just like using a sword or magic. You've got to learn it by doing it. 
You just need to practice with a few recipes. You'll be cooking before you know it. Practice with recipes? Here, I'll show you how it's done. Watch. You're so good at that. I'm not sure I'd be able to get that good at cooking. Well, it comes more naturally to some people than others. Just because you have a recipe doesn't mean it'll always turn out like you think. Really? So you can mess it up? Well, you usually taste your food while cooking, but some people don't. Tasting? You know, like when cooks taste the food they make? Well, you're a sheltered little princess who's lived her life in a castle. It's only normal. Sheltered little princess? I suppose so. What is it, Repeat? Well, shall we be going? Kid for real? It's all right now. Huh? The monster turned into a girl? Oh, brother. This should be interesting. I'm Carol Capel. I'm a member of the Hunting Blades Guild. We travel the globe in search of the toughest monsters. I'm Yuri. This is Estelle. And you've met Repeat already. Anyway, nice to meet you. What? Yuri, wait! My apologies. Huh? Hey, wait up! Where are you guys going? You guys are here to enter the woods, right? Well then, I'll... Actually, we've just finished coming through the woods and we're on our way to Halur. No way! You guys made it through the cursed woods? Did you guys run into any egg bears? Do you know what he's talking about, Yuri? Nope. I don't think we've seen any. Man, I wonder if I should head back to town then. They definitely won't like it if I keep them waiting. All right. I'm not sure you two would make it on your own, but never fear. The star member of the Hunting Blades will be your escort. See that? I've even got my own Blastia! What? You guys both have one too? Uh, oh yeah? Well, how do you like this? It has information about monsters. Hmm? After a certain point, all the pages are blank. That's because I'm going to fill it up with piles of monsters after this. Hey, wait! Who said you could just ride in there? It might hurt your star member status if it got out that you broke your sword. Oh, that? I had to give myself some kind of handicap or else it wouldn't have been a fair fight. Hey, that's actually not too bad. Yo! Do you guys even know where you're going? Halora's to the north once you get out of the woods. Come on, guys! Wait for me!
Halur, the city of blossoms. Yeah, that's right. Don't they have a barrier here? Yes, there should be. You guys haven't been to Halur before, right? So then you haven't heard about the tree barrier. Tree barrier? Some Blastia fuse to plant life, gain organic qualities, and evolve. The tree barrier of Halur is one prime example of this. I read that in a book. Well, thank you, Professor. So what's happened to this famous barrier? Doesn't look like it's doing much right now. Every year, just before the blossoms are in full bloom, the barrier weakens for a while. It's just that time of year right now, and the monsters took the opportunity to attack. Is that when the barrier went down? Yeah, the monsters were taken care of, but the tree is slowly starting to decay. Hey! Wh what is it? Sorry, I gotta run! Bye! Does that kid ever sit still? So I guess you'll be looking for Flynn now, huh, Estelle? <sighs> Doesn't she know we need to keep a low profile? And what happened to looking for Flynn? Might I help heal your wounds? Oh my, you can use healing arts? Why, that would be excellent. But I'm afraid we don't have very much money. No, no. I don't need any money. Amazing! The pain is all gone. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Uh, uh, please don't mention it. My heavens, what amazing healing arts you have. How can we ever thank you? No, really. Think nothing of it. What a humble young lady. I wish the Imperial Knights could follow your example. Not a chance. The knights refused to lift a finger to protect us from the monsters. Well, I guess the Empire couldn't care less what happens to us here. No, that that's not true. Ah, but that one knight sure was different, wasn't he? Yes, that young man. If not for him, we would have all been lost. The barrier weakened earlier than usual this year, and we were attacked before the guild could come to protect us. There was a knight who happened to be passing through our town on a pilgrimage. He and his brigade drove off all the monsters. A knight on a pilgrimage? Was this knight named Flynn by any chance? Yes, his name was Flynn Shifo. Is he still in the city? No, he left the village afterwards in search of a mage who could fix the barrier. You know where he went? It looked like he was headed east, but beyond that I couldn't tell you. I see. So we can wait here, and Flynn will come to us. Looks like we've caught up with him. Don't you feel better now? Yes. I won't be able to relax until I see him. I guess I feel better. I think I'll go have a look at this famous tree. Want to come with? Ah, yes. Yuri, you don't mind? You're okay not going after the Blastia core thief? I can spare enough time to look at a tree at least. <sighs> I had the wrong person. And none of the others from the guild are here either. I kept her waiting so long. She must have gotten mad and left. I wanted to show her Halur's flowers in full bloom. Then maybe... Carol, what's the matter? Where'd she go? Is she really gone? I'm doing the best I can. Carol? Let's give him some time alone. It's over. It's over. It's all over. It's really over. Everything. Everything is over. Yeah! We got weapons now! We're gonna beat those monsters! The mayor's gonna let us fight now! Let's beat up those monsters just like Vlad! Yeah! Even those kids are trying to fight. I hope the barrier is restored soon. Me too.
it's huge up close. The tree's flowers should blossom any day now. Yeah, I wish I could see it in bloom. I know how you feel. There's something about the image of a tall tree vibrant with blossoms and protecting the city that's so... romantic. You know, I'm gonna stay here and help heal the injured. Hmm, if you're gonna heal something, maybe you could heal the barrier itself. What do you mean? When monsters come again, more people are gonna get hurt. Those kids we just saw could be among them. That's true, but I have no idea how I could heal the barrier. What you need to heal is this tree. It wouldn't be in this condition just because some monsters attacked it. You think there's some other reason? I think there's gotta be. What are the two of you doing over here? We're trying to figure out why the tree has withered like this. I don't know if you'll make much progress on that one. The Knight Flynn couldn't figure out the reason either. Oh, Carol! Carol, we need your help! What are you talking about? It seems these two are trying to figure out the reason the trees withered so. Oh, is that all? What do you mean, is that all? I know the reason. It's why I was in the forest looking for the egg bear. Huh? What are you talking about? Look closely at the ground. Notice the strange color? That color is where the ground absorbed the blood of monsters who attacked the town. That blood has been poisoning Halur's tree. What? The monster blood? I had no idea. Carol, you really know your stuff, don't you? It was nothing. Is there anything we can do to get rid of the poison? I know a way, but... Well, no one believes me. Come on, try us. I think we'd be able to do it if we had a panacea bottle. Maybe we can get one in the general store. Let's go, Yuri. Howdy, welcome to the store. What can I get for you today? Do you have any panacea bottles? Unfortunately, we're sold out at the moment. But how can that be? But you know, if I had the right ingredients, I'd be able to fix them up for you. What would you need to make it? I'd need three ingredients. Egg bear claw, nea fruit, and Laluria petal. But why do you need a panacea bottle so badly? A kid came by the other day asking about the same exact thing. We want to heal Halur's tree. What's that? I've never heard of using a panacea bottle on a tree before. Hmm, yeah. What sort of thing is the Nia fruit you mentioned? That would be the bitter fruit you said was so delicious back in the woods. So, what's an egg bear then? Sorry, I can't help you there. Monsters are beyond my expertise. If a member of the Hunting Blades were here, they might be able to tell you. They make their living hunting monsters. So that's why he was in the forest. What can you tell us about the Laluria petal? You know the tree in the middle of town, right? It's a petal from that tree. Normally, we use magic resin, but there isn't any around these parts at all. But the tree is all withered. I believe the mayor has some Laluria petals. You might try asking him. Gotcha. We'll come back when we've gotten the ingredients together. Come on, Carol. We're going back to the Koi Woods. What do you mean? Remember? Prepare to die, Egg Bear! You mean you believe what I said about the Panacea Bottle? Are you lying? Well then, we'll have to go with what you told us. Yuri! Alright, I'll help you out just this once. I'm a very busy person, you know. It's settled then. The three of us will restore the barrier together. You're coming too, Estelle? Well, of course I am. What about waiting for Flynn? Wasn't it you who said if you're going to heal something, it should be the tree? 
We'll just have to fix the tree before he gets back. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on his face. Sir, you wouldn't happen to have any Laloria petals, would you? Who'd you hear that from? I mean, I do, but... Ah, so that's why you need a petal. The Laluria is one of the three flowers that blooms on Halur's tree. The petals are dried for half a year in the shade, and they're very valuable. This is my last petal, but if it'll restore the tree to its old self, then I don't mind giving it to you. Thank you. Next up on the list is the Nia fruit and an egg bear claw, was it? Yep. Let's go to the Koi Woods. Hey, I've been wondering. How come you guys, and Repeat too, I guess, all have Blastia? Aren't Bodhi Blastia pretty rare? I didn't think many people had them. You have one too, though. I belong to a guild. Sometimes we get a chance to get one. And Ruins Gate keeps finding more. That's a guild that excavates Blastia. <laughs> there are even guilds that dig up Blastia from Ruins? If there weren't, then the Empire would control all the Blastia. Normal folks wouldn't get any. The Empire regulates the ancient Blastia artifacts due to their potential danger. I think that makes sense. If Blastia weren't regulated, anyone could use dangerous magic. But they've gone way overboard. They have a monopoly. Uh, I don't know about... So anyway, what's your story? How'd you get yours? I used to be in the Imperial Knights. This was a going away present. Repeat got his as a keepsake of his old owner. A going away present? Sounds more like he stole it to me. So what about you, Estelle? Uh, I got mine from... Uh... Look at her, she's a noble. They all have these. I knew you were a noble. Well, at least one of you has some class. Yeah, yeah. Let's go get that Nia fruit. Next up is the Egg Bear Claw. Are we gonna walk around the woods and look for an Egg Bear? No, we'll never find one that way. Yeah? What'll we do then? Hand me a Nia fruit, would you? I'm gonna use it to lure out the egg bear. The egg bear has very unusual tastes, you see. Jeez, you smell horrible. Me? That smell isn't coming from me! Please tell us when you're gonna do something like that. Oh no! Repeat! Everyone keep a lookout! An egg bear could come out any time now! And they're famous for their terrible ferocity! So then, Captain Carroll, I'm assuming that you're gonna lead the charge against this terribly ferocious monster? But I could use a hand from you, Yuri. I'll help too. Oh, and repeat also. Well then, how about we have a bit of a walk around the forest? Hey, fearless leader, you're not supposed to hide right after saying things like that. The star always performs the finishing blow. Everybody knows that. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Th that's an egg bear? Well, I have to hand it to you, Captain Carol. 
Operation Stink Bomb was a smashing success. Hey, don't go giving my plan weird names. Stand up straight when you say stuff like that. I won't lose! As you wish! Ha! Go! Drag it out! See? You see what I did? That was nothing. Mm -hmm. Repeat help, too. Thanks. Carol, come get the claw. I don't know what I'm doing here. What? Anybody can do that. It just comes right off. Here, let me help, too. Ugh. Estelle, why don't you guard the perimeter? R right. Y you sure it's totally dead, right? <laughs> wow, Captain. If I didn't know you were just goofing around, I'd swear you were really scared. Uh, <laughs> pretty good, huh? How's the nose, Repeat? All right, let's head back. Yuri Lowell! I know you're here in these woods! Turn yourself in like a good boy! You've got to be kidding me. Lou Blanc followed me all the way outside the barrier? Uh, what? Who followed you? Uh, just some guys from the Imperial Knights. <laughs> yeah, right. The Knights are chasing their own former member. Wait, seriously? I say, come out now, will you? Show yourself now and we'll spare you a pummeling. Shaking in your boots and mere rumors. And you call yourselves Knights of the Schwan Brigade. So... What are they after you for? Vandalism? Fraud? Smuggling? Robbery? Murder? Arson? Uh, it's really just for jailbreak. Anyway, let's bolt. There we go. We can't do that. It'll get in the way of other people passing through. Who's gonna be passing through? These woods are cursed, remember? back. Have you gotten all the ingredients together? We've got everything. Egg bear claw, neofruit, and Lelluria petals. That's everything. <laughs> all right. Let's get this stuff made. Yes, please. There you go. One panacea bottle. Now we'll be able to cleanse the poison. Let's go, quickly. Whoa, whoa, settle down. You'll drop the bottle if you're not careful. Oh, I see. Well then, let's go! Prudently! Oh! Have you made the antidote to cleanse the tree of poison? Carol, it's up to you. I'm no good at this sort of thing. Who, me? Okay then, here goes! Didn't Carol say there was someone he wanted to show the Blossoms of Halor to? I think so. Here's hoping we aren't too late. The tree is... Please, great tree of Halor, restore the fallen barrier! Please! 
Was the dosage too small? Or maybe this isn't the right way. We'll have to get another Panacea bottle. Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible. That was the last of the Luluria petals. But... but we tried so hard. Please, Great Tree. Estelle. Amazing! Can this be? Is she using healing arts? It's like a dream. There's no way. And yet... Yay! Yay! <laughs> You're the greatest! Thanks for making the Tree of Halur healthy again! We owe you our gratitude. Thanks to this, our city can live once more. What did I just... That was incredible, Estelle. Can you get up? Yuri! Flynn's gonna be so surprised to see the flowers blooming. <laughs> That'll show him. You and Flynn seem to have such a strange relationship. You are friends, aren't you? He's just someone I grew up with, that's all. Aren't those the people from the castle? We can't let these people get caught up in this. Let's lay low for a while. Huh? What did I miss? Where are you guys going? Man, those guys are a pain in the neck. Wish we could wait here for Flynn to come back. Who's this Flynn person? He's an Imperial Knight that Estelle's got a crush on. What? I don't have a crush on him. You don't? Oh, I get it. You two are already a thing, then. No, it's not like that at all. Well, anyway, we best be getting away from the town. Yes, you're right. You wouldn't want to cause trouble for the villagers. Do you know where this Flynn guy went off to? You could follow after him. Didn't they say he'd gone off to the east? Yes, they did. I'd like to get to Ospio somehow. Anyway, let's get out of here before the goon squad shows up. Please wait. You deserve a reward for restoring our tree. Please stop by at my house. Oh, please don't mind. I will be waiting at my house. Please come. A reward? What do you say? Well, I guess we can't ignore his offer and leave. I wasn't really sure what I did back there. I don't think I deserve anything. Let's just stop at the mayor's house. We can still decline his offer there. Welcome, welcome. Here, make yourself at home. Thank you, but unfortunately we need to be leaving very soon. Are you leaving before that young knight is back? The well, situation's changed a bit. Did something come up? You could say that. If there's anything I can do to help, don't hesitate to ask. We appreciate the sentiment, but we can't ask you for your help. I see. 
Then it's not much, but I'd at least like you to take this. Who, me? I didn't do anything at all. But since your friend helped us out so much... Well then, I'd be happy to... No, we can't take that. Oh. Um, yeah. I, I guess I can't take that. But then how will I ever repay you? Well, how about this? The next time we come into town, set us up with VIP Blossom viewing picnic seats. That's a great idea. I can't wait. All right, then. The next time you're here, I'll put my heart and soul into paying back what you've done for us. Oh, can I ask you one thing? Have you ever heard of a town called Ospio? Ospio? Ah, yes. I believe that was the name of the City of Shade. The City of Shade? From what I've heard, the town lies between tall mountains, and sunlight rarely reaches its gates. Every now and then, a few quiet folks in cloaks and hoods come to our town to get supplies. But they're quite creepy, to be honest. Our town doesn't deal with them much. Where is the town located? Towards the east, I think. I wish I could tell you the exact location. Flynn was headed east as well, wasn't he? Yeah, I suppose a city of scholars might have some link to Blastia after all. Thanks. That's all I needed. I'm coming for you, Mordio. This may be a selfish thing to say, but... I'm happy this means we're continuing our journey. I haven't known this sort of freedom until now. <laughs> so, Carol, what are your plans? I want to go to the port city and cross over to Tolbikia from there. So I guess it's goodbye then. Huh? Thanks, Carol. It's been fun. Please take care of yourself. On second thought, maybe I'll stick with you guys a little while longer. Why? You guys would be lost and lonely without me around. Well, you have come in surprisingly handy, Captain. Well then, let's all go together. So, east was it? Yeah, Flynn went east. Okay. I'd like to get to Ospio somehow. Anyway, let's get out of here before the goon squad shows up. It looks like this is Ospio. It's so gloomy and damp here. It's giving me the chills, too. It's because the city is in a cavern. I wonder if the lack of sun drives the people here to do shady things, like stealing Blastia cores. May I see your passport, please? Our... passport? This is an Imperial facility. We can't just let anyone inside, can we? Passport? You don't have one of those, do you? An associate of ours is inside. Could you please let us through? If you filled out the official visitation paperwork, then you ought to have gotten your passport from this associate of yours. This is the first we've heard, though. If you won't let us in, perhaps you could call him to the gate for us? What's your associate's name? Mordio. M Mordio? We can't help you. You'll need to mail in a request and have a passport officially issued to you. Damn. Don't budge an inch, do you? Excuse me, but did a knight by the name of Flynn happen to stop by here? All information about the establishment is classified. We cannot share even small details with outsiders. So you can't even tell me why Flynn was here? No, of course not. So what you're saying is that Flynn really did come here? Uh, I don't know who you're talking about. A knight named Flynn? Never heard of him. Could we at least leave him a message? 
Give it up, Esteles. We'd have more luck asking a brick wall for help. Let's just go. But Flynn's inside. What? We're just going to give up? I'm not going to give up. I'm going to see Flynn. And I'm going to take back that Blastia from that thief Mordio and give him a beating he won't forget. So can't we look for another way in? Of course we can. Let's take a stroll around, why don't we? As a last resort, maybe we could go over the walls. Doors like this never open when you want them to. I guess we'll have to climb over the wall and open it from the inside. A little quick to jump to our last resort, aren't you? Let's wait for Flynn to come out then. Even if Flynn comes out, it's not like he's gonna bring Mordio out with him. Well, if Flynn comes outside, we can just ask him to let us in, can't we? He'd never go for a plan like this. He's far too much of a goody-goody. Carol, what are you doing? There! It's open! Huh? You can't do that! Your guild specializes in hunting monsters, right? Or are you guys into thieves' guild type stuff too? <laughs> um, yeah, well, I'm pretty much the only one who can do anything like this. Well, good job. Shall we? No, that's bad. We should just wait here for Flynn. I don't have the patience to wait for Flynn to just happen to walk out of this town by chance. It was unquestioning obedience to laws and authority in times like this that made me quit the Imperial Knights in the first place. But... but... Well then, Estelle, keep a lookout here for us, won't you? Wait, but... but... um... I'm going with you. There are a lot of Mordio lookalikes here, aren't there? Excuse me, do you have a minute? Well, what do you want? Would you happen to know if a knight named Flynn Shifo has come through here? Flynn? Oh, that guy. He was saying something about going to catch someone who'd been vandalizing ruins. Where is he now? I couldn't say. My research keeps me too busy to pay attention to things like that. I see. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'll be taking my leave then. Hey, wait up. Tell me one more thing. Is there a famed mage named Mordio around here? Yeah, there are people who want to see that weirdo. So I was right. You know Mordio? No, uh, I don't know anything at all. I don't associate with people like that. Hey, I'm not done yet. What? What is it? Tell me where the mage is. Mordio lives alone in a shack back that way. Go and see for yourself if you want. Thanks. Are you sure about this? Hmm? Everyone seems to get all out of sorts just from hearing that guy's name. It's weird. Yeah. Doesn't it bother you? Well, he's a blast, you thief. It's no wonder people don't like him. Keep out. Seriously. Mordio. I guess this is the place. I think people usually try knocking first. Looks like no one's home. What should we do? No point in hesitating when you're heading into a den of thieves. No, I don't want us to commit any more crimes. I guess that means it's my turn then! What? Your turn? We shouldn't do that either! Nothing to it! Wait for me! Please, wait! Why does he always do that? This is crazy! Who could live in a place like this? 
can pretty much live anywhere you can eat and sleep if you set your mind to it. Yuri, don't you have something to say first? Uh, hello, we're coming in. And the door? Carol here, open your door. Sorry about that. Honestly, Yuri, excuse us. Is anyone home? It's a good thing no one's here. That means we get to look for evidence. Shut up! Huh? Hey, hold on! Thieves? No! What are you... Wait! Be gone! Help! <coughs> uh, why me? A girl? If you can pull tricks like that... Why'd you bother skipping town back in Zafius? Huh? Skipping town? Why would I need to skip town? For stealing the core of Ablastia from the lower quarter in the capital. What else? What? You're calling me a thief. Have you ever heard of common sense? Sure. So you break into a home, call the owner a thief, and wave a sword in their face. What the hell kind of sense is that? Dog! You stay back, you... you dog! And you, kid! Give him back! What do you mean? The Blastia! The Blastia! Give him back to me! What's with you? My name is Esteliz. We're terribly sorry for barging in on you like this. Yuri, Carol, you too. Sorry. So, what do you want? Well, you see, Yuri has followed a Blastia thief here all the way from the Imperial capital. And? And that Blastia thief wore a cape, was short, and their name was Mordio. So? Hmm. Well, Mordio is certainly my name. Rita Mordio, to be exact. And the height matches up, too! What do you have to say for yourself? I told you, I have no idea what you're... Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Follow me. What? Maybe you didn't hear me. We're not finished here. Just follow me, would you? There's talk that some thieves have turned up in the Shikos ruins. Thieves? Are you sure about that? It came from an Imperial Knight who asked me for help. It should be trustworthy. Do you think that knight might have been Flynn? It's gotta be. Looks like she shot him down, though. Hey, remember what that guy outside said about someone vandalizing the ruins? Which means the thief who stole the Blastia Corps could be there. Hmm, maybe. Finished chatting? Let's go. Alright, but don't even think of making a break for it. You don't have to come. If you want, I'll just call the guards. Why don't we give it a try? It sounds like Flynn might even be there. It's up to you. Go to jail, make a run for it, or follow me. Pick one. Okay, okay. We'll go with you. The Shikos ruins are even further to the east, once you leave the city.
These are the Shikos ruins. It looks like there aren't any Imperial Knights around. are still fresh. There's a lot of them, too. Which means it's either the knights, the thieves, or both. Some of these footprints must be Flynn's. Could be. Hey, over here. Hurry up. I see. So first you get us alone in the dark, then you zap us, huh? Hmm. Zap. I like the way that sounds. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Why are you smiling like that? Let's try to get along now, okay? Looks like no one's here. No Imperial Knights, Thieves, or anyone else. Maybe they're further in? How far in are we talking here? It doesn't look like anyone's been here, does it? The information about the Underground couldn't have gotten out, could it? The Underground? Recently, an entrance to an underground area was uncovered here. A handful of mages are supposed to be the only people who know about it. But it's okay for us to know this? I don't have much choice if I'm to clear my name, do I? Clear your name, huh? The ground is scratched here. It's not like I would have minded letting the thieves have the ruins above ground after we finished the excavation, but it's a good thing we came here when we did. Well then, we'd better hurry up and follow them. All we have to do is move this? your shoulder into it. Um, right. Huh? Come on, just a little more. Carol, are you okay? Sure, yeah, that was a cinch. <sighs> okay, here we go. This is my first time going inside ruins. Be careful over there, it's slippery. What are you looking at? I was just surprised. You're actually a nice person. Oh, I knew it would be a pain to bring you along. I should have just come by myself. Do you always come to research these ruins alone? Yeah. Aren't you afraid you'll get hurt by monsters or traps? There are always risks if you're trying to actually do something. If someone gets hurt, it's an acceptable loss. Even if you're the one who gets hurt? Yeah. Don't you ever worry or hesitate? Worrying about getting what you want without anyone getting hurt? You've had a pretty easy life. An easy life. And Blastia will never betray me, so they're easy to deal with. Rita's amazing! She just comes right out and says what she has to say! She knows exactly what's important to her. I wish I knew what was important to me. Just travel around for a while. You'll figure it out. Looks like this little one is no good. Wow. So this is what Blastia looked like before they're excavated. I wonder why ancient people buried Blastia in ruins like this in the first place. I wish I could tell you. That's something else being researched. With all these Blastia here, I don't suppose there are any Aqua Blastia lying around too. None of them have cores in them. Really? Then they don't work, do they? Blastia aren't excavated with the cores and the bodies together. 
Cores produce magic through formulas. Bodies control that magic. The two combined are referred to as Blastia. Each Blastia possesses different attributes and is marked by a crest that indicates those attributes. With current technology, Blastia bodies can be manufactured, but the production of Blastia cores is impossible. So basically, cores are very valuable since they have to be excavated. It's only natural that thieves would want to steal them. That's not quite true. It seems Estelisa's information is a little outdated. What's outdated about it? There's some degradation of quality, but there's been some success in the synthesis of simple Blastia cores. Really? That's why I wouldn't do anything stupid, like go stealing people's cores. If I had time to waste doing things like that, I'd rather be spending it researching better ways to completely restore incomplete or degraded cores. That's what being a mage is all about. A noble creed, but that doesn't clear your name. Yes, talk is cheap, I suppose. Perhaps there are still some Blastia left that can be used. This one's still got a core in it! Here, try shooting this at the core. This ring set with something that looks just like a Blastia core. Glyph crystallization of a formula allows this Blastia to emit air as needed. That's not quite the best way to put it. It's actually used to charge other Blastia with air. But wait, how did you know that? In the castle, I read that the ring acts as a kind of key in ancient ruins. Castle? So all I do is point? Just aim the sorcerer's ring at the core of that Blastia. Face your target and shoot. There's a limit to its range, though. Go on, try it. That's all it takes. That's a Strim Crest. It's a mark that indicates movement. Huh. Interesting. Hey! What's that? A sentinel for taking care of unwanted guests. Okay then, keep your eyes open and let's keep moving. Are you sure? What if I'm just luring you deeper into the ruins so I can zap you? I'm starting to think I'd rather try my luck with the golem. Here, you take it. Isn't this thing important or something? We'll need to use it a few more times. Okay, I guess I'd better hold it since I'm leading the way. Looks like they've messed up our order. Let's take them down. Hey! Attacking from behind is no fair! From behind? Oh, man. We can still overcome this! Think you can beat us with an ambush? We can't lose here! That was scary. I didn't expect to be ambushed from behind like that. Well, I guess we just can't ever let our guard down where there are monsters about. If they attack from the rear, any of us could get pulled into battle. Right. Let's be careful and hope that doesn't happen again. Hmm. This only happens with a preemptive attack. Preemptive attacks, huh? What? You guys! It's back! Hit it with what I gave you just now! Huh? You mean with this? Do it now! This one's pretty tough. Don't just stand there whining! Right, who's next? Stop. Resound, O cry of victory! All right. I get it now, so that's how it works. I didn't know it could be used like that, too. Right, let's get a move on. <laughs> Heh. 
Hey! Jeez, what is this thing? So this is a Blastia too? But what I want is the Aqua Blastia, not this... this puppet. What are you doing? Don't just go poking at him like that! If I can just analyze him, I'll finally be able to complete my Anima formula. Huh? No, his Blastia core is missing! Rita, looks like one of your friends is here. Hey, who are you? M me I'm just a Blastia researcher from Ospio. That sounded convincing. And just who are all of you? This place is off limits, you know. I think you just gave yourself away. I don't know who you are, but you're definitely not from Ospio if you don't recognize me. Guess she's got no problems with modesty. Yeah, this job is just full of problems. If it's not the Knights, it's a bunch of kids. Wait a minute. What? How did you... I was just trying to heal your wounds. that idiot. You all take care of this. What do you mean you'll leave it to us? How are you gonna get through? Oh, that idiot! I guess we've got no choice but to play with this wind-up toy for now. Let's get this over with and go after that jerk. Be careful. He doesn't know how to go easy on people. Can we really defeat something this big? Please, calm down. I don't think this thing's gonna listen. Blastia half hearts too. A sword works better on crazy things like this. Uh, fine. We gotta teach him a lesson. them use Blastia for evil. Let's go chase him down. Let's proceed quietly. All that's left is to cut off its power supply. I'm sorry. Rita, hurry! All right, all right! Come on, let's go! But Flynn... There can't be many nights here if our shady friend in the cloak is just wandering around. So you think Flynn is... I don't think he's here anymore. Come on! If I just had a little more time, I could have figured out the Anima formula. Is that why we were fighting that thing? Of course. You suck! You were already here looking for the thief. I just had you guys help out a little. Let's go, let's go. Look, there he is! I'm gonna make you work! Azure Rich! Oh, Caprice of Innocent Waters! Get fixed! Oh, Flickering Waters! Yeah! Easy win! How can he just steal the core and walk off like that? Ah, stop! Make him stop! I've only been hired to do a job. I was told to get a good price for any Blastia cores I could find. You stole cores from the Imperial Capital too, didn't you? The Capital? No way, not me! Then maybe it was one of your friends. Yeah, it's that Crete Dedeki! Where'd he run off to? 
He's probably picking up his money from the client right now! Client, huh? And who exactly might that be? All I know is he's somewhere in Torum Harbor. I, I don't know any more than that! He was a huge bruiser of a guy with a scar on his right cheek and one eye missing! So is this the guy collecting all the cores? And where did you steal that sorcerer's ring? Who, who says I stole it? The client gave it to me, said it would be useful for this job! Liar! That's not something the boss of some pickpockets could get his hands on! Uh, honest, you gotta believe me! This thing sounds pretty big! You think somebody important is behind it all? I think you're on the right track, Captain Carroll. This doesn't sound like some ordinary band of thieves. Man, first the knights, then the monsters, now this? Knight? Then Flynn was here after all. Yeah, that's him. That damn knight. Shut up! Great, Rita. You knocked him out. Now what? I'll have the city guards come pick him up later. All right, then. Let's get back to Ospio. So Flynn wasn't in there either. So, who is this knight exactly? He's Yuri's friend. Hmm, your friend? That must be a pain. Huh? Never mind. So what brings him to this town? He was looking for a mage to repair Halor's barrier blastia. Oh, that rookie. He came to see me too. Flynn did? Was he alright? Yeah, I guess. You guess? Well, since he's a knight, I'm sure he got some mage or another to help. Maybe he's already back in Halur. Oh, no. Well, do you trust me yet? I don't think Reed is the sort of person to steal. Vouch for her character all you like, but that doesn't prove her innocence. But... Don't bother trying to make him believe me. But I really didn't do it, you know. <laughs> well, I guess research seems to fit you better than robbery. Yuri isn't very good at expressing his feelings. What a weirdo. I'm gonna go let the city guards know about what happened. Go and wait for me in my lab. I don't think those stubborn guards will let us pass through the entrance. True. Then take this with you. Show this to the guard and they should let you through. Thanks. Got it? Don't leave town without my permission, or you'll be sorry. If you're that worried about Flynn, would you rather leave now? It's just... I've got to say a proper goodbye to Rita. Then take it easy. What are you going to do after this, Yuri? I guess I'll go pay a visit to the guy behind all this core stealing. It sounds like Dedeki ended up going to the same place, too. In that case, we should make a beeline for Nor Harbor. Didn't he say Torum Harbor? Oh, right. You don't know. Don't know what? Nor and Torum are both ports of a city that extend across two different continents. On the Elikian side, where we are now, is the port of Capua Nor. People call it Nor Harbor. Kapua Torum is the port on the other side, on the Tolbikian continent. It's usually just called Torum Harbor. So first we'll go to Nor Harbor. We'll have to pass by Emmied Hill on the way, but it's not that far west from here. I'll be going back to Halur. I still need to follow Flynn. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll head back to Halur too. Huh? Why? How can you just say that? The thief's gonna get away! There's no reason to panic. According to our friend in the ruins, it sounds like his client's base there. Besides, if we're going west, that'll take us close to Hulur. Oh man! But I... You gotta be somewhere? A sick girlfriend with an incurable disease or something? Man, if only she really was a frail girl like that. I know I asked you to wait for me, but you sure made yourselves at home, didn't you? Oh, welcome back. What ended up happening to the thief? He's probably crying quietly to himself in his cell by now. Sorry for suspecting you. 
What a heartfelt apology. I'll take it, though. It worked out pretty well for me, too. Rita? Well, thanks for the hospitality. What? Going so soon? We don't want to overstay our welcome. Plus, we're in a bit of a hurry. I'm so happy to have met you, Rita. I'm afraid we have to go now. I'll thank you properly later. Okay. If you're seeing us off, we'll say goodbye here. I'm going with you. You're doing what? Oh, so this is why you told us not to leave without saying goodbye, huh? Yeah. Is that it? Just yeah? Can you just leave like that? You're an important mage here, right? Hmm. I want to see Halor's Barrier Blastia for myself. It's no good to the people if it's broken, right? Actually, the three of us fixed it together! Huh? What do you mean you fixed it? You're just amateurs. You know, we revived it! It was great! Let's just Estelle... say it was beginner's luck. Now I'm really worried. I'll have to go see if it's been done properly or not. Suit yourself. What? I've never had a real friend my own age before. I'm not so sure we're... This is gonna be so much fun! Yeah. The tree's already blooming? <laughs> I told you! We brought the tree back to life! <laughs> oh, you've returned! Just as the knight said! Um, do you mean Flynn? Unfortunately, you just missed him. No way! Not again! He was quite surprised that the barrier had been fixed. Um, would you happen to know which way he went? N no, I I'm sorry. I, I don't know. However, he did entrust me with a letter. I guess I made a little too much mischief. What kind of mischief gets you into this? It's my fault. Oh, come on. Only 5,000 gold? <sighs> That's way too high for just breaking out of jail. You must have done something else. So, what does the letter say? I'm going to Nor Harbor. Catch up with me. Catch up with me, huh? Easy for him to say. He also writes that we should watch out for assassins. Well, he even knows we're being hunted. Sounds like this guy knows what he's doing. Looks like we have some dangerous people after us now. What are you gonna do? Well, um... I'm going to go to Nor Harbor. I could pass on a message for you if you want. But... I... Think about what you want to do. I'm gonna go make sure Rita isn't causing too much trouble. Believe it. I've never seen anything like this. The flowers are in full bloom, even though it's not the season for it. And the barrier's strong, too. Did Estelis really do this? What do you mean? Carol let it slip when we were leaving Ospio. You tried to change the subject, but it was too late. Guess I blew that one. We may just have nothing even remotely like she has. So, you just decided to come with us to eliminate the competition? Don't be ridiculous! I have a formula that I have to work out! A formula? What do you mean? It's nothing. Forget about it. So, what did you want? You came here for something, right? Well, that just took care of about half of it. So, what's the other half? You said that it's easy working with Blastia because they never betray you. Yeah, so? You and Estelle are both human. You're not Blastia. Oh, I get it. You're worried for her. Worried I might hurt her. Estelle's honest. 
Good. Unlike you or me. I'm just saying, don't do anything reckless. Come on, let's go back. Carol and Estelle are waiting for us. I finally found the clue I was looking for. I want to be all kinds of reckless. Now come back with us while you can! I say, we've come to courteously escort you back to the capital. And then we can clamp Yuri in chains where he belongs! I've been waiting for you, Yuri Lowell! Don't you move a muscle! Jeez, this guy never lets up, does he? An old acquaintance you may be, but today I can overlook your transgressions no longer! Yuri isn't a bad person. I asked him to go with me. Yeah, Yuri, you ruffian! You're coercing Lady Astelis! No! This is what I really want! I'll go back to the castle. Just leave me be for a little longer. I cannot allow that. Return to the castle with us! I can't go back. Please understand this. We have no choice. We'll have to apprehend the criminal as well. Kiss your freedom goodbye, or it ends today. I say, prepare to face the Imperial Knight's ultimate fighting art, the Overlimit. The Overlimit doesn't belong to the Knights. Anyone can do it last time I checked. I say be quiet! An Overlimit? It's a technique to increase your abilities while fighting. How do you do it again? You fool! How could you forget something like that? I say I shall jog your memory. But after that, I say I shall give you a non-stop ticket on the train of death! First, attack! Curse you! Yeah! Attack! Attack! Alright, you attack the enemy and that raises your battle spirit. Blast! Your hits are not connecting at all! Ouch! I say that hurt! Cannot I say stand this any longer? Oh yeah, your battle spirit goes up if you're attacked too. Alright, and then if you release the battle spirit that you've stored up, I'll blow you away! That's enough for today! Yuri! Wow! We mustn't let his power charge up anymore! I've got you just where I want you. Starstroke! Nice work, men. I'm sorry. I can't go back. <sighs> what a shame. Uh, Rita! She says she's not going back, so get lost. Yuri, it's them again. Damn it! I knew they were still after us. What is it this time? W what do you mean? I'll explain later. Carol, which way is Nor Harbor? Uh, uh, it's west, west! You go over a meat hill, and Capua Nor is right there. All right, let's go now then. But I can't. Uh, make a decision! Which do you really want to do? Keep traveling with us or go home? I'm going to keep traveling. A wise choice, and one that those knights surely wouldn't be able to agree with. Imperial Knight Point One. With this sword, I shall protect the people, wasn't it? Indeed! Come on, boys! Let's show them what the Imperial Knights are made of! 
I'm sorry. So this is Emmied Hill? Yeah, but... Barrier's gone. You mean there was a barrier here? There was when I came before. Sort of a waste to have a barrier in a place with no people, if you ask me. Are you sure you aren't mistaken? I'm pretty familiar with the barrier locations, but here... You just haven't heard about this one. Nan told me it was only put here recently. Who is Nan, Carol? Huh? Uh, she's... Uh, you know, she's just a friend from my guild. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can find anything out. I think I'll have a look myself. Alright, never mind us, guys. I'm not gonna go look for them if they get lost. Shall we, Yuri? Hey, hey, no outsiders allowed! Let me through! I'm Rita Mordio of the Imperial Blastia Research Laboratory. Oh, you're a mage from Ospio. Excuse me. Oh, but you can't just do as you please. Let me go and ask the... <laughs> I could use some of her attitude. I think you have plenty already. Hey, listen to this! It was like BAM! A spear went thunk, the Blastio went bang, and he flew up into the sky like whoosh! Who did what? How... Huh? Someone riding a flying dragon threw a giant spear at the Blastia and then just flew off! A human riding a dragon? No way. I've never heard of anything like that before. That's what I thought too, but a bunch of people here saw it happen. They say it was a dragon rider. A dragon rider? <laughs> well, the world's just full of surprises. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Let me go! There she goes again! Something is definitely strange with this Blastia formula. There's nothing strange at all! Perhaps you are... Just who do you think I am? I'm well aware of who you are. The famed genius mage, correct? But surely there are some formulas that even you aren't familiar with. You can't use a weird formula like this. Think of the poor Blastia! Hey, stop gawking and help us catch her! What's with that kid? A fire? I don't hear anything or smell anything. Hey, you little liar! Crap! They caught on that fast? Hey! You were with that kid! Wait a minute! You! There's a warrant for your... It's now or never! Ah! You little... Hey, wait! I'm sorry. Hey, stop goofing off and help catch that kid. Damn. Whew, looks like we lost him. <sighs> Rita, you should really think more before you act. That barrier blessed you was just so strange. I couldn't help myself. Strange? Something fishy about it? I have a feeling that may be an understatement. Well, our hands are already full as it is. So could you please keep us out of it? It doesn't concern you regardless. Yuri Lowell! Where have you run off to now? Hey, Mr. Famous, sounds like you've got a fan out there. Again? Well, that gives a new meaning to the word workaholic. Lady Esteliz, I say, do come out of hiding. You guys have a lot of problems. Just who are you, anyway? Um, well, I'm... Yuri, come out, come out, wherever you are! You can talk about that later. us 
like that. Anyway, let's get our butts to Nor Harbor before things get any more complicated. Which way were we supposed to go again? Let's see. As the crow flies... Isn't this a beast trail? <laughs> can we really go through here? We'll go as far as we can at least. I don't want to get captured again. We'll need to be on the lookout for monsters then. Eh. What are one or two monsters to the brave Captain Carol? Yeah, that's right. Though if the barrier were up, we wouldn't have to worry about monsters at all. Oh, I can't stand it. Why does some idiot have to go around breaking Blastia and making our lives difficult? I didn't know flowers like this grew in the mountains. Rita, don't touch it. Inhaling billy-bolly leaf pollen can lead to vertigo and strong feelings of exhaustion. Hmm. Hey, what are you- Whoops, sorry. Carol, are you okay? You're interested in healing arts? Nah. It's no use. Healing arts don't work on this. We'll just have to wait until he recovers naturally. How long will that take? Carol, be strong. Ugh, Rita, you're terrible. I said I was sorry. If you're all right, then let's go. Let's be careful to stay away from the Billy Bolly Lee from now on, okay? What's that? Ah! That's one of the monsters that attacked Halor! A survivor, huh? If we leave it here, it'll surely go back and try to attack Halor again. But Halor has the barrier protecting it now. Even so, how are the people of Halor supposed to sleep at night with beasts like this crawling around just outside the barrier? Easy. Now Halor is safe as well. I don't know. What the heck? It, it hardly put up a fight! But there could be a dozen more just around the corner. No worries! Seriously! Well, let's just hope there aren't too many more where it came from. It's beautiful. This is... Look, Yuri. It's the ocean. I can see that. The wind feels great. I've seen pictures in books before, but I've never seen it up close like this. Well, people don't usually travel outside the barriers. If we keep going, we can see all sorts of things, like the jungle or the city of waterfalls. There are so many more things we could learn, if only our journey would continue. I guess it's true. I really was living in a small world. That's a rare moment of sincerity coming from you. It's your first time seeing it too, right? Well, yes, but... Aw, you must have had such a lonely life, tied to your research like that. Having you pity me makes me want to jump off this cliff. This water has traversed the world's oceans and has seen all there is to see. The ocean binds the lands of our world together. Here she goes again. It's really just one big puddle, you know. Whatever, you were pretty moved back there too. Huh? 
So this is the world as he sees it. Yuri? Flynn must have stood on this spot earlier and looked out at the same scene. That's true. His duties do take him to many different places. Always telling me to catch up with him. Easy for him to say. Nor Harbor is just around the corner from Emmett Hill. We'll catch up to him in no time. That's not what I was talking about. Huh? What do you mean? All right, let's get moving before LeBlanc and friends show up again. Just follow the ocean road to the west after leaving here to get to Nor Harbor. We can't miss it. We'll have plenty more chances to see the ocean. Your journey will continue for as long as you want. <sighs> it's all up to you. You've made it this far, haven't you? That's true. Last one down's a rotten egg! You're gonna fall if you don't watch out. Idiot. Man, the weather sure changed in a hurry. Let's find an inn before we get soaked! Estelle, what is it? Oh, I... I just thought a harbor town would be more... lively than this. Yeah, this isn't exactly how I imagined it either. But it feels like the kind of place that core thief you're looking for would hang out. The decky was headed for Torum Harbor. I'm sure the two are pretty similar. No way! It's only Nor Harbor that's scummy like this. What do you mean? Nor Harbor is... It's all because of the Empire. What to that little brat if you didn't have our money? Please, sir. Not that. Please give me back my son. With this awful weather the last few months, we haven't been able to launch the boats. Surely you realize, sir, we can't hope to pay our taxes like this. You'd better hurry up and capture that Ribgoro beast then, shouldn't you? That's right. If you sell his horn, you'll never have to worry about taxes again. How many times do we have to tell you? Savages. Is that the sort of scum you were talking about, Carol? Yeah, the Empire's influence is really strong here. I heard things got even worse with the new Magistrate. He's some Imperial big shot who does whatever he wants. Which means there's no one to complain to if his henchmen act like that. <sighs> but how can that be? That's enough! You're hurt! You might even get yourself killed this time! But it's our son! If I don't go... Ah! What are you trying to do? Oh, sorry about that. Didn't see you there. Yuri! My apologies, sir. Let me take care of that. But I... I can't afford this treatment. Don't you have something else to say? Huh? Jeez, you guys been robbed of your manners along with your money? Uh, I'm sorry. Thank you most kindly. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yuri? Yes, we can do this. As you wish. Cut. Cut. Slice. Cut. 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 Damn, it's not over yet.
Yuri, are you all right? Flynn, what are you? Hey, that's my line. I've been looking all over for you. That one was mine too. That was about to get ugly. All right. Whoa, hold on! What are you doing? Yuri, I'm happy to see you're finally seeing the world outside the barrier. So, be a little more happy then. Stop pointing that thing at me. Well, I got a little less happy when I saw this. Hey, it's up to 10,000 gold. Nice. I didn't think when you quit the Knights that you'd take up a life of crime. A lot of things have happened, Flynn. It's not that simple. Simple or not, a crime is a crime. Good to see you're as stubborn as always. I... Uh-oh. Yuri, I heard something happened. Are you all... Perfect timing. Huh? Oh, Flynn, are you all right? Have you been hurt? Uh, I'm fine. Um, Lady Estelise. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just so happy to see you. I... Please, this way. What? Uh, but Flynn, there's something I need to tell you. I better go find Carol and Rita. Some guy just dragged Estelle right by us. Are they both inside the inn? Yep. So that other guy was Flynn then. Yeah, well... You might not be able to get a word in edgewise if you went in now. Seem like they might be in there a while. Wanna burn time walking around town a bit? Sure, okay. a brat like you doing trying to get in here. Aw, don't throw a hissy fit. Have a bite of this and calm down. Get that out of my face. This isn't the kind of place for kids. Oh. Mm. That sure is a rough way to treat a child. Who the hell are you? That brat's daddy or something? Seriously, do I look like the parent of a kid this big? Try again. Oops. Hey, hey. You really think it's okay to point a weapon at an unarmed child? I'm just teaching the brat a lesson about the consequences of breaking adult rules. Just cut it out, okay? Yeah. Wh what? What are you doing? <coughs> now you've gone and done it. Hold up, you, you've come this far and now you're just gonna run away? You need to be prepared if you're going to grab a beautiful young lass's hand. Prepare? Prepare for what? Sorry, now ain't the time. Oh, uh, what? Farewell! You brat! Get back here! Damn it, the hell was up with that kid? Hey, buddy, you better get lost, too. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I guess Flynn and Estelle should be done talking by now.
All finished? And are we done whispering secrets? I've heard your story up until this point, Yuri. And also the reason for the bounty on your head. First off, I owe you my thanks for protecting her. Oh, I've been meaning to express my gratitude as well, Yuri. It's nothing. I was already out searching for that Blastia thief. And that's where we have a problem. Hmm? Regardless of the circumstances, the Imperial law cannot allow the obstruction of officers, jailbreaking, and trespassing. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I told him everything. Don't be sorry. I mean, I did all that stuff. Then I assume you are prepared to receive the punishment your actions deserve. Flynn! Do whatever you like, but just listen a minute, will you? So you can tell me how it was all done in order to get back the lower quarters Blastia Corps? That's what you wanted to say, right? Sir Flynn, I have news! What is Rita doing here? I heard you refused an Imperial request for assistance. Do you think it's all right for a mage employed by the Empire to simply abandon her obligations? Who's that? Got me. Huh, whatever. It's not like I care a whit about you, either. I'll make the introductions. This is my second-in-command, Sodia. This is Witcher, a mage who offered his assistance to us at the laboratory in Ospio. This is my- You! Sir, it's the criminal from the Wanted poster! At ease, Sodia. He is a friend of mine. What? But sir, he's a wanted man! I've just heard his story. While he is guilty of minor crimes, the warrant for his arrest contains false accusations. Later, I will return him to the capital and explain the situation. And he will receive his due punishment. My... my mistake, sir. Witcher, let's have your report. So we're done here, right? I believe the ongoing rain and wind are being caused by a Blastia. The weather in this season is unpredictable. But this does not explain why it worsens whenever boats leave port. We also have testimony that something like a Blastia was carried into Magistrate Rago's residence. I've never heard anything about a Blastia that controlled the weather. Nothing like that has ever been excavated. Wait. The Aqua Blastia, the ruins... It couldn't be. So his lordship, the Magistrate, is using a Blastia to control the weather. It appears that way, though we can't yet say for certain. The harbor has been closed due to weather. Any ship that leaves is fired on for disobeying the ordinance. So much for crossing over to Torum. Those aren't the only rumors surrounding the Magistrate. He's released a monster known as Ribgaro into the wild, and amuses himself by forcing those who can't pay their taxes to hunt it. He claims he'll pardon their taxes if they can manage to capture the beast. How cruel! That injured couple we met near the entrance must be two of his victims. And their child. What? What happened to their child? Forget about it. Well, it's been a hell of a day for us and we're tired. Let's just stay at this inn for the night. Also, we can't forget about a certain missing person. Missing person? So, what's the plan? I'm gonna go see Magistrate Rago. What? We'll get turned away at the gate if we try to go there. Even a noble woman like you would have no chance of getting in. Yeah, but with the harbor barricaded, we can't cross over to Torum Harbor. And that thief Tadeki, along with that one-eyed giant, are both on the other side of the water. Let's stop blabbing about it and just go, why don't we? If you won't listen to what we have to say, we can think of another plan. All right. Let's head to Rago's palace, then. What do you want? I'd like to meet with Magistrate Rago, if you'd be so kind. Yuri! These men are mercenaries. I wonder what guild they're from. I guess that explains the thuggish look. 
<laughs> Go home, Scram! The Magistrate is a busy man. Surely not too busy to rough up the people in this town. Hey! You better watch your mouth, punk! See? I told you he wouldn't see us. Let's get out of here before things get sticky. I'd have to agree with Captain Carroll on this one. But there must be some other way. Forget it! Let's go! We'd best leave the frontal assault on the palace to the Imperial Knights. But isn't the fact that that's going so badly precisely what's got Flynn in such a bad mood? <laughs> Maybe he'd see us if we came bearing gifts, so to speak. A gift? What do you mean? The rib guru. It's worth a fair amount of money, right? Come to think of it, that official mentioned the rib guru. He said that someone with its horn would never have to worry about taxes again. If we brought something that valuable, the Magistrate would at least grant us an audience. You propose to catch the Rib Garo? This is our chance! It's raining, after all! What does rain have to do with it? The Rib Garo comes out of hiding when it's raining! Out of all the monsters I know, it's the only one that goes out in the rain. Capital observation, Captain Carroll. What else? What do you mean, what else? That's all there is to it! So where's the Rib Guru now? Uh... Uh... Just as I thought. Well then, let's go talk to the people in town and get their side of the story. Are you okay with this, Estelle? Yes, Yuri. If we're unlucky, this could put all of us on the wrong side of the law. The one who makes the laws in this town is his lordship, the Empire's Magistrate. You be okay with defying him? I'm going with you. You're okay with it then? Yes. Rita, you don't have any problems with it? I have to say, I'm incredibly interested in a Blastia that can control the weather. Then it's decided. So then, let's seek out the Rip Guru first. You never could sit still, could you? Stop treating me like a little kid. Yuri, don't do anything reckless. I haven't done anything reckless since the day I was born. I'm just chasing after a Blastia thief. Yuri. You're the one who should ease up on trying to do the impossible, Flynn. Witcher, go and see if we can get the right to search Blastia laboratories. I thought leaving the capital would have changed him a little. But it seems like he's even more reckless than before. Flynn? Yuri's so single-minded when it comes to protecting others. He's willing to sacrifice himself to do it. I envy him for that. But I also worry that he'll take it too far. Come on, Estelle. Let's go. Yuri's gonna leave us behind. Right. We should be going now. Oh, by the way, Lady Estelise. Yes? How... how is it, walking around outside, free? I can't say everything's been perfect, but... I realize that there are things I must do. And that makes me happy. It's been wonderful. Good. I'm glad to hear it. This is Rib Garo! I'm gonna make you work! As you wish! Destruction! Crushing you! This isn't over yet. We must meet with the Magistrate. Let's take it back with us. It's covered in scars and bruises. I feel kind of sorry for it. I reckon it's been attacked by desperate townspeople quite a few times. It's not the people in town's fault. No, I understand. Yuri? 
The horn is what's so valuable, right? This will be enough to satisfy that money grubbing magistrate. Wow. It's not like you to show pity to a monster. While you guys are busy talking, the monster's getting up. What? Why did it run away? Okay. It understood what we were thinking. The monster did? Seriously? Hey, we got the horn. Who cares either way? Wait! You can't go out again after that girl went through the trouble of healing your wounds! Where are you off to with that dangerous weapon? That's no business of yours. I can't have you sticking your nose into my affairs just because you're curious. Th th this is... Sorry for stealing your thunder back at the inn. Maybe this will make it up to you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Giving it to them? It's a small price to pay if it saves their child's life. You were planning on doing this from the beginning, weren't you? Nope. It just came to me. You do realize that you just gave away our gift for the Magistrate, right? Now what'll we do? No worries. We'll just find some other way to get into the Magistrate's place. Shall we see how Flynn's doing then? Yeah! Maybe he's even gotten into Rago's palace already and set things straight! Yeah, that sure would be nice. Let's go pay a visit to the inn. You're looking chipper as always, Flynn. I've got a lot on my mind, Yuri. Not that you'd know what that's like. <laughs> Managed to go out and get your bounty raised even higher? I thought you went to the Magistrate's place. I went. Along with a search warrant from the Blastia Research Lab. Ah, so you were able to go inside and look around. No. The Magistrate refused us entry. Why? He even tried to provoke us. If you really think I have Blastia, try to bust your way in, he said. He knows we don't have the jurisdiction to do that. He's just making a mockery of us. Well, isn't he right? What did you say? Yuri, whose side are you on? It's not a matter of whose side I'm on. If you think you're right, you should force your way inside. No, it's a trap. Rago wants the Imperial Guard to make a mistake so he can use it as an excuse to increase the authority of the Council. If we go in now, he'll hide the evidence and feign innocence. Is Magistrate Rago on the Council as well? Yes. The Imperial Knights and the Council are both essential organizations that support the Empire. But Rago seems to have forgotten this fact. So in short, we're not dealing with your everyday Magistrate here. Well, have you got a plan for what you're doing next? <sighs> what, you're out of ideas? If there were some sort of disturbance inside the palace, the Imperial Knights would be able to move in under the pretense of emergency prerogative. Ah, yes. The Imperial Knights may employ emergency prerogative to intervene in emergency situations, regardless of jurisdiction. Of course. So if a thief snuck in and caused a ruckus, that'd be enough? Yuri, I know you want to help, but... But I shouldn't do anything reckless, right? I've just received a tip that a fugitive with a warrant out for his arrest is trying to get into the Magistrate's palace. seems to get bigger every time I look at it. Are members of the Council really that important? The Council is a body of nobles which aids in the political administration of the Empire. Which means they basically represent the Empire's interests. Huh. You don't say. So what about getting inside? Shall we see if there's a back entrance? 
Tough luck. Place is surrounded by a wall, and there's no getting inside unless you can clear it. Huh? You won't last long if you go screaming in a spot like this, your ladyship. I'm sorry, but who are you? What do you mean? Me and the kid there are old friends, right, pal? What are you looking at? I barely know this guy. Now, now, don't be like that. What about the fun times we had in jail, Mr. Yuri Lowell? Huh? I don't remember telling you my name. See? You're a celebrity, Yuri. So what's your name, mister? Huh? Ah, right. I suppose Raven will do for now. For now, huh? Who the hell does this guy think he is? Well, Raven, it's been lovely seeing you again. Now buzz off. Aw, oh, come on. You're trying to get into the palace, right? You just leave it up to old Raven. Shouldn't we stop him? Actually, he pulled a trick like this that helped me get out of the castle. Really? Well, then maybe we can trust him. I'd like to hope so. Uh, they're coming over here. But why? Wait till I get my hands on him! No one uses me as a diversion! There she goes again with the magic! Now what? Now we go inside, what else? We just got rid of the guards and all. Whoa, not the front door. Let's see if we can get in from the side. Hey, hey, so we meet again. Glad to see you're okay. Catch you later. Wait. Yeah, it's going down? No, oh, I don't believe this. You can't control it from down here. Ugh. Something smells rank. Blood, along with something else? It smells rotten. I wonder if he's into raising monsters, too. Could be. He had Ribgaro, after all. Uh, uh, help me! Uh, what was that? What is this place? It sounds like someone's there. Let's go. going to be okay. Can you tell me what happened? A scary old man brought me here. He said it was because Papa and Mama couldn't pay their taxes. Do you think that this is the kid from before? How horrible. All of these bones. Could the monsters have done this? Papa, Mama... I want to go home! <laughs> it's okay. Everything's okay now. What's your name? Holly? Come on, Polly. Be a big boy. No more crying. You'll see your mom and dad soon. Okay. Well, well, what do we have here? More delicious snacks for my pet, it seems. So you're a go. You've got some pretty disgusting hobbies. Hobbies? Oh, you must mean my basement. 
Only someone with my refined sensibilities could understand the pleasure I derive from such things. You're just like those senile old fools on the council. They bored me to death and never let me enjoy myself. It's the privilege of my exalted station to dispel such boredom with the help of the common people. You can't mean that's your only reason to do those things. Well, I suppose I should go and fetch Ribgoro. So many new toys, he had to put on quite a show. Though you may not live long enough to see it. There's no point in searching for Ribgoro. We've already taken care of him. What did you say? Are you deaf? I said we've already taken care of him. You... what have you done to my pet? If you had put a bell on it or something, maybe you wouldn't have lost track of it. Ah, oh, well... With a bit more money, I'll soon be able to replace him. Rago! How can you say such things and still call yourself a servant of the Empire? What? You? But that's impossible! S stay back! What do you intend to do? Someone! Arrest these intruders! We'll have enemies all over the place if we don't hurry up and finish what we came to do. Hold it. What? Don't we need to create an emergency for the Knights to respond to? It's still too soon. First, we need some evidence. We've got to find the Blastia that controls the weather. View. Who's there? What are you doing over there? What does it look like? I'm hanging around enjoying the scenery, matey. Oh yeah? I could have sworn you'd been captured. Um, I think she has been captured, actually. No, I haven't. Shiver me timbers. I know you. Um, your name was, uh, Jack. Who's that? I'm Yuri. What's your name? Patty. Patty, huh? We met in front of the mansion, didn't we? Oh, that's right. You couldn't forget the warmth of my hand and came a-chasing after me. Hey, what were you doing here? I'm hunting for treasure. Treasure? In a place like this? Well, I guess it wouldn't be odd for that black-hearted geezer to have filched some treasures. So, what do you do, Patty? I'm an adventurer. In any case, it's dangerous for a little girl to wander around a place like this all by herself. She's right. Why don't you come with us? I still ain't found no treasure. Maybe it isn't my place to say this, but you sound less like an adventurer and more like a thief. An adventurer is one who always carries the spirit of curiosity and the desire to push into the unknown. So while I may look like a thief, I'm actually nothing of the sort. <laughs> it's not like I really care anyway. Well, if you're going to keep hunting for treasure, I won't stop you. What are you going to do? There probably ain't no treasure left in this mansion anyway. She's saying she'll come with us. Okay, then let's go. Trespassers! Sorry if I hurt you. You want revenge? Bring it! I'm surprised you managed to wander around a mansion crawling with such dangerous guys all on your own. The 
treasure be worth it, even if it means putting myself in great danger. What kind of treasure is it? It's the great treasure that was hidden by Eifried. Uh, Eifried? As in the legendary pirate Eifried? So he's famous? You, you haven't heard of him? He's an unspeakable villain who ravaged the seas. Eifried, the boss of the pirate guild Siren's Fang. The Imperial Knights are after him for attacking an immigrant ship and slaughtering hundreds of civilians. None know his whereabouts, but many say he's already died. It's known as the Black Hope Massacre. I've heard that it was an utter nightmare. Well, that's what they say. Hmm? What's the matter? Nothing. What do you want all that treasure for anyway? What do I want it for? Shouldn't that be obvious? I'm going to find that legendary treasure and become a famous adventurer. Even if it means putting yourself in great danger? That's the life of an adventurer. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. Fun, eh? Then how about it, maybe? Want to join up with me? It sounds right up my alley, but I'll pass on that. I don't really have time to spare. You're a cold one, Yuri. Even colder than a shark skin. Uh, shark skin? But I like that about ye. Uh, you do? Wait, does that mean Patty and Yuri are... Aye, it's love at first sight. Um, yeah. I don't think that's such a good idea. Love at first sight. Ugh, whatever. Can we just hurry up and get out of here? Is this the Blastia we're looking for? Blastia with different formulas. This formula could manipulate the weather, but how could they use them like this? It's just like at Emmy Hill. They don't have the slightest respect for what they're working with. This is just what we need for evidence. Rita, shouldn't you finish that later? Just a bit more. I just need to check a few more things. You can have Flynn give you a look at it after we're done. Let's get busy with our emergency. Let's just break something that won't be missed. Alright! I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna help out too! No, you're gonna stay right here. Oh? a good reason to show up, don't we? Yes, but I don't know if we should... Oh, come on! This is exactly how you put evildoers in their place! Really? What a way to behave in someone else's home. The time has come for you to earn your keep. I want all of them captured. Whatever happens, though, take care not to kill the young lady. No way! Are these guys from the Blood Alliance? And here's another one for you! That's enough, we're getting out of here. What are you talking about? I'm not finished yet! If we don't leave now, we'll run into Flynn. And I'd rather not deal with that. You don't seriously think he'll come that quickly?
Magistrate, I don't know what's happened here, but allow us to offer our assistance. Flynn! There, see? <laughs> He's certainly enthusiastic. Whoa! Is that the Dragon Rider? riding a monster. Wait! sit down and pick that Dragon Rider's brain sometime. As if you could have a normal conversation with someone like that. This is where we have to part ways. You're gonna go get that bad Rago person, aren't you? Yeah, we wanna hurry. It's okay. I can go home by myself. There's a good boy. You shouldn't go running into danger anymore either, okay? Got it. I think she actually got it. Estelle, what's the matter? I still can't believe the Magistrate could do such terrible things. Sadly, it's pretty common. Haven't you already seen what the Empire's capable of several times on this trip already? While well, you guys are having a nice little chat, Rago's escaping in his ship! doing here here we go whoa hold it hold it hold it i'm not ready these are all blastia cores I have no idea. We don't even have this many at the laboratory. Could this be connected to the core thief? Could be. But I thought the one behind everything was a huge guy with one eye. That doesn't fit Rego at all. Then he might not be the only one pulling the strings. I wonder if the core from the lower quarter is here someplace. Sorry, none of these are big enough. I knew it! These guys are with the Blood Alliance! They're one of the five master guilds! Are these guys connected to the Blastia Thief too? Just what is the Magistrate up to? Worm Rago running from a bunch of kids? One-eyed giant. 
So you're the one getting people to bring you all these cores? Maybe I am. You're quick, and you got guts too. My arm's gonna feel that. Wish I had you in my guild. How flattering. But it's pushy guys like you I have to watch out for. Upsets the harmony of the guild, see? Nothing personal. Barbos, what are you waiting for? Dispose of these brats. I did all the work you paid me for. Besides, the knights will be here soon. Rather not have those guys following me around. Next time we meet, you kids won't be getting off so easy. Wait, he's still inside. Damn. Soggy, we'll leave the rest to you. Who do I get to kill this time? You're the one from the castle! Looks like we're stuck with this guy. My blade, it aches to kill! I've got to kill something! Whoa! Go easy on me this time. You think you can kill me? Go ahead! Try it! Trust me, I will. Yes! Cry out! Writhe in pain! Die for me! What the hell are you trying to do? Please! We have to catch Rago! <laughs> you can't hurt me. So we'll just keep pounding you until the end. Hellhammer! I'll blow you away! Don't let me see you again. I agree. Ugh, that hurts. Well, you put up a good fight. I... I retreated. <laughs> You're tough. Yes, tough. You're definitely tough. I certainly won't forget that, Yuri. I'm going to kill you, Yuri. I'm gonna carve you into little pieces! Don't move a muscle! <laughs> what? It's sinking! Everyone into the water! <coughs> Is anyone there? Yuri! Esteles! No! But... Shut up and jump! Everybody okay? I am, but Yuri! Huh? Yuri! Thank goodness! Oh, man, that's salty. I must have drank a bucket full. Who's that? Yoder! What? You know him? Look! A boat! We're saved! Hey! Over here! It looks like everyone made it through unharmed. Master Yoder! Wait! I'll pull you out! Sonia, give me a hand! I owe you my thanks. You saved my life. Hey, who is this guy? Um, well... You see, 
I've made arrangements at the inn. We can discuss things further there. You'll come, won't you? Yes, have we met somewhere? Convenient time for amnesia. I know somebody who can fix that for you. Amnesia? I'm terribly sorry, but this is the first time we've met. Are you crazy? Magistrate, your crimes are undeniable. These people have seen everything. As I've just been explaining, someone had assumed my identity and was trying to ruin my reputation. It was most upsetting. Liar! I saw those people you fed to the monsters with my own two eyes! Well, Sir Flynn, who are you to believe? These young ruffians or me, a member of the Council? Flynn. It's settled then. I bid you all good day. Who does that guy think he is? Settle down. This is... This is His Royal Highness Yoder, candidate for the Imperial Throne. Huh? <laughs> yeah, right, Estelle. Good one. <laughs> what? I'm only one of the candidates. It's true. With the passing of the previous Emperor, Master Yoder is a rightful heir to the throne. R really Yes. An alleged Imperial heir captured by a so-called Magistrate. That's interesting. I see. Then this incident means that I... A little too juicy for public consumption, huh? I... I just... It's got something to do with your decision to leave the castle, doesn't it? <sighs> do whatever you want. I've got no interest in an empire that just sits and does nothing while its people suffer in plain sight. Yuri, and what have you changed by turning your back on such an empire? We need just laws laid down by the government to ensure that people can live lives of stability and peace. Those same laws just let Rago walk out that door. Which is why you and I became knights, Yuri. To change things like that. If we couldn't make it happen by yelling about it from below, then we said we'd gain honor and trust and fix the Empire from within. Remember? So, in order to get ahead in life, I'm supposed to stand by while somebody feeds little kids to monsters? Is that it? You want me to look the other way when our people in the lower quarter are being bled dry by taxes? It's because I can't do those things that I quit being a knight. I know, but has anything changed because you quit? Ugh. How is anything different than it was before you joined the knights? Wait, I'm coming too! I've done it again. I only want for him to move on with his life, to quit sitting around. Flynn, I... My apologies for such an embarrassing scene. What do you intend to do next? Would it be alright if I go with him? Why? I feel like so much has changed during my travels with Yuri. The Empire, the world, I've changed as well. Lady Estelise, understood.
You there, young man. Who? M me? Tell Yuri to take good care of this young lady. Okay. Is it really all right? I would rather do the job myself, but I'm afraid my current duties won't allow it. And as long as you're with him, I can be certain you'll be safe. You believe in him, don't you? I do. If you guys are finished, can we get going? We'll lose him if we don't hurry. Damn, he knows how to get to me. I know better than anyone that nothing's changed. I guess I should look for clues about the Blastia Core. Hey, it's him. Huh? Hey there. Long time no see. Isn't there something else you should be saying? Something else? Hmm. Can't think of anything. Well, they say the deceived have better memories than the deceivers, don't they? I'm just terribly misunderstood. Honest. You need to see a doctor for your tendency to unconsciously cause trouble to others. You might see if you can get that foul mouth of yours checked out, too. You had a comeback for everything, huh? If you don't stop putzing around, the Knights are going to throw you back in jail. Ha! <laughs> the Knights are a bit too busy to bother with me. I saw a rough-looking guild group moving to the Northwest not too long ago. The Knights can't just turn a blind eye to them, can they? Rough-looking, you say? Was it the Blood Alliance? Beats me. By the way, what was your business back there? Nothing special. I was looking for an apatheia. What is an apatheia? Supposed to be like a really strong core. Heard that it was there, but I guess I had the wrong information. I see. An apatheia. Oh! Yuri! Hey! Over here! Ugh, I'll get you, old man! Hmm. Maybe I'd best be off now. Yep, the Amazonas has emerged. Why'd you let him get away? He said he's terribly misunderstood. What? What does that mean? Oh, he got away! I'll catch that bugger one of these days. You should leave him be. Going up against that kind of guy is just a waste of energy. You alright? Just let me take a little break. Sure, you can have a little one. Then we've got to go. Go? Go where? We need to follow the Blood Alliance to get back the Lower Quarters Blastia. Did you get a lead on where to go next? I heard that a shady group from a guild was headed to the Northwest. It might be them. To the Northwest of here? The only city I can think of in that direction would be one that was destroyed in an earthquake. What could they want to do in a place like that? Hmm, good question. And yet, you still want to go? I'm just saying, we should go and check it out. Man, this place is a total wreck. Do you seriously think anybody would come to a place like this? I wonder if we've been fed some false information again. Again? That's far enough! This area is under the jurisdiction of the Hunting Blades! That voice! These measures have been taken to prevent the injury of innocent bystanders. Man! All right! I finally found you! Are the Chief and Tyson with you? Have you guys been getting along okay without me? Don't take that buddy-buddy tone with me! Aw, don't be like that. I only got a little lost. A little 
lost. That's a good one. You know you just ran away. I didn't run away, I swear. Still making excuses, huh? It's not an excuse. I beat an egg bear just like I said I would. More lies. I mean it. Is this how you repay being taken in by the hunting blades? Remind me who it was that said, I swear I won't run away this time. You always run and hide at the first sign of trouble. You've been kicked out of every guild in the book. Shut up! You shut your mouth! Huh! Even we've already fired you. Wait! You have been warned by the hunting blades. Leave this area at once. If you fail to heed this warning, you do so at the risk of your own lives. Nan! This still doesn't explain what the hunting blades are doing here. Good point. Rita, wait! Are you forgetting about the warning? She never said we weren't allowed to enter. But what about the risking our lives part? Are you implying that I should listen to that brat? Don't make me laugh. At any rate, the Blood Alliance doesn't seem to be here. Let's have a look around. What sort of Blastia is this? Hey, get your grubby mitts off it. Of course, it's slightly different from the norm, but it looks like a type of warp Blastia. Its activating mechanism is... let's see... Huh? What's the matter? There's no activation switch! It's properly equipped with a core, and it doesn't look like it's the type where you can activate it by removing the core. So, maybe there's an activation switch located somewhere else? Perhaps, if there were another Blastia like this one in this town, it wouldn't be too unusual for there to be some device to manage all of them at once. Oh, so we can't activate it then. Too bad. Huh? Why is it too bad? I just had a hunch it would lead to something interesting. Blastia isn't a toy, you know. Couldn't we just look for the device that's managing it? Yes. Sure, maybe we can find it. It looks like a dead end. Should we head back, or...? Hold on. I'm gonna have a look around. Weird. There's not a keyhole or anything. Really? Yuri, an amateur like you would never be able to open a door like... What the? I wouldn't want Captain Carroll to dirty his hands on such a filthy door. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> <sighs> well, shall we? Wouldn't it be crazy if a monster just gobbled up your foot right now? Just a giant munch and... Oops! No more foot. What? Whoa! Eh, looks fine to me. Let's go inside. What am I? Your test dummy? What's this do? Get your grubby mitts off it. I don't want to have to tell you again. It seems like it might be an activation switch for the warp blastia upstairs. It doesn't have enough air. Not enough air. I wonder if that ring I got in the Shikos ruins might be able to do anything. Ah, the sorcerer's ring. I'm not sure. But you might as well give it a try. It worked! Maybe that means we'll be able to use the warp blasty upstairs. Let's go. working so that was the activation device after all then hurry up and hold your horses 
This is just like in the Shikos ruins. If you don't fill up the core with air, it won't work. Ah, oh, so I should use the sorcerer's ring. Right. So it looks like the Blood Alliance. Isn't here after all. Those guys are the hunting blades. Th that man. We saw him in Daedon Hold. Ah, now that you mention it, we did see him. So he's the leader of your guild then. He's gonna fight that monster all by himself? What? No way, man! You took it out in one hit? That was a fatal strike! A fatal strike? It's a crazy powerful technique that extremely skilled swordsmen can use. Huh. So how do you do it? How do you do it? How should I know? Fatal strike. A strong attack which throws your opponent off balance. Followed by a single well-timed strike to finish the enemy. Is that something else you read in a book? Y yes it is. I see. It sounds like it's easier said than done. You really want to get back into your guild, don't you? W what makes you say that? Oh. Carol, are you going to go back to that guild? I won't go back. I'm sick and tired of monster hunting. Won't go back or can't go back. It sounded like you were fired. No way! I've been planning on leaving for a while. Uh, is that so? Well, no matter then. So, uh, let's get going. Well, I'm glad you're staying with us, Carol. Anyway, what do you think they're doing with such a large contingent? to take out that monster we saw, one person would have been enough. This is actually the first time I've ever seen this many guild members gathered in one place. Really? Yeah. A lot of the members are loners. They tend not to travel in groups. And the chief being here is out of the ordinary too. Curiouser and curiouser. You wanna follow them and see what they're up to? Nah, uh, that sounds interesting, but I'm gonna keep going. He's looking for members of the Blood Alliance after all. Right, Yuri? Yeah, I don't want to worry about two guilds. One is more than enough. I think I'll try to do that thing. What was that just now? That fatal strike thing. Is it something that can be done so easily? Hey, I won't know if I can until I try. How did it go again? Um, first you attack the enemy to throw it off balance. Alrighty. Um, uh, Yuri. I see it. What do you see? I see my opening to attack. Well, you need a little skill, but it's not really that hard. You think you could do it while watching me? All right, let's go. I didn't have a chance to ask you this, but... You mean me? Why didn't you return to the capital when we were in Torum Harbor? Why? Oh, yeah. Still wanted to tell Flynn that he's being hunted, right? Yeah, at that point, your journey should have ended. Well, uh, you see... Hey, by the way, who was hunting Flynn down anyway? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Wasn't it Rago? Huh? That villain? Yoder was on Rago's ship, and Yoder's the Imperial Prince. Yeah, so... I'm saying that I think Flynn's true mission was to find Yoder. Though I don't know why things would end up that way between big shots from the same Empire. I'm sorry. I don't know either. Well, that's okay. But what about you? Are you sure you don't want to go back? Well, I kind of just went with the flow and came along from Torum Harbor. But 
I think maybe I wanted to keep traveling with everyone a bit longer. So, uh... Besides, we still haven't gotten the Blastia Core back yet. That's true, but isn't that my business? Can't I help out? Mm, yeah, sure. Feel free to come along. Thank you. all of a sudden. Even someone as dense as you can feel it? Who are you calling? Wait, does that mean you can feel it too? Ugh, what a feeling. Yuri, Estelle too? I'm fine. Don't overexert yourself. We can rest here and have a look around. Seriously, what's going on? Ever since we got here... If a monster attacked us right now, I don't think I'd be up to it. Saying stuff like that is the best way to attract monsters, you know. <sighs> Yuri! If you're gonna keel over, couldn't you do it in the middle of a crowded city street? I can't be expected to be there to catch you every time. seen with the naked eye. If it's dense enough, it can be. Estelle, weren't you saying something about that earlier? That dense air is bad for the body. Yes. High-density air can occasionally have very negative effects on the human body. It made you pass out in the Koi Woods, too. Really? Wow. Maybe we should get out of here. But we still haven't made sure if the mercenaries are here or not. I guess that's true, but... Let's keep moving. It looks like this Blastia is linked to the door. How do we open it? It seems that we have to carefully put together the symbols to form the right phrase. Wouldn't it be faster to break in? That's not a good idea. What if it makes the door stop working? Hey, something's coming out of it. So, should we just put some letters in here? Hey, didn't we pick up some odd pieces of paper? Actually, come to think of it, could this be a clue to the passcode? Seems we need to use our mind to get an answer. But let's look at the paper again. Blastia is causing it. And probably this strange feeling as well. Huh. He's similar to the ones at Emmied Hill in Capua Noor. Is it broken? When a Blastia breaks, it loses its ability to take in air. There's no way it would get like this. So, what's going on? I don't know. What could he be trying to do? W was that a monster? Take it easy, you're not feeling well. And there aren't any doctors around here. Huh? But... but I... Ah! The barrier's gonna fail. Don't worry, that's a reverse barrier. A reverse barrier? It's a powerful barrier for holding monsters. He won't get out of there anytime soon. But the air here... this isn't normal. feeling about this it's starting to disappear Rita calm down I'll have it fixed in no time so who are the numbskulls that decided to go and ignore our friendly warning I'm 
sorry. None of us here are nice enough to take your friendly warning seriously. Huh, <laughs> you don't say. Well now, if it isn't that runt Carol who got his sorry butt cut from the team. The air must be affecting him. It looks pretty thick over there. That's just what we want. You all just sit tight and behave yourselves. We're only interested in taking out this big brute. You sure talk big. Taking care of a pet is a big responsibility, you know. Don't go abandoning him for someone else to take care of. Him again! Whew. Hey, I feel better. The barrier's down! Of course! That dragon freak broke the Blastia! You're dead! Yeah, that's it. Show me some anger. Show me what a monster's like. Now I'm gonna mop the floor with you. the first piece of action, Clint. Well, come and get some then! monster was huge! Hey, what's with the kid? Oh. Carol! There ain't a monster alive that wasn't born to be my punching bag! Master, it's too dangerous! This monster's mine, even if it costs me my life! It's not gonna hold! Chief, we have to withdraw! We can't afford to stay here now that the Mark has escaped! Damn. And 
seen a monster like that in a while. What a letdown. All right, pull out. We should leave, too. It's not fair. I wanted to beat the hell out of that freak, too. Wait, where did Carol go? He isn't out here. He probably left before us. We'll look for him as we go. Something comes up, and it's just poof! You're gone! Always, always running away by yourself! It's not like that! Not like what? Like I said back in Halur! I'm not talking about Halur! If you're not ashamed of anything, then shouldn't you hurry back to your friends? It's just that... No need to explain to me! I think you've got other people who'll listen to you! Huh? Guys! Carol, I'm so glad you're safe! Where the hell did you go? We were really in a jam back there! I'm... I'm sorry. Hey, at least you made it out in one piece. I'm leaving. Wait! You think long and hard about what you've done. That's all I have to say to you. Hey, cut it out! Let's get going, Carol. We're all tired. Yuri. Man, we were way off. The Blood Alliance was nowhere to be seen. No kidding. We'll have to take any information that guy gives us with a grain of salt. Guy? You don't mean... Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna roast that deadbeat the moment I see him! Let's... let's take it easy on the way back. It's not like I... Hey, you're gonna get left behind. I'm coming! So I've finally found you. That's far enough. You lackeys must have had a lot of time on your hands if you crossed the ocean just to see us. <laughs> You're in no position to talk down to the likes of me. Now, princess, right this way. Huh? What does he mean, princess? The princess standing right here in front of us. Y Yuri, but how did you... What? Estelle's a princess? I suspected as much myself. Rita, you too? Wait, you've got to be kidding! And what will happen to my friends? Why, they'll be drawn and quartered for abducting a member of the royal family, of course. Please, wait! I wasn't abduct- Ah, oh, what a mouthy young lady you are. This way, please. Estelle! Now die like the flies you are. Arrest the culprit Yuri Lowell and his accomplices! You! The Swan Brigade! Just a minute. This prize catch is mine. I won't let you take him from me that easily. Catch? Our duties are not to be carried out in the fashion of a hunt. <laughs> did I not also hear someone mention dying earlier? You did. What is wrong with condemning criminals to their deaths? Should not criminals be captured and judged in accordance with the laws? I suppose I can let you have these little worms. If it isn't Schwan, it's Flynn. These upstart commoners are so full of themselves. Even that commandant. This way, please, your highness. Do watch your step. Um, but I... Yes, right this way. Arrest them! In the name of Captain Schwan! Okay, Yuri Lowell gang, it's curtains for you, I say! What do you mean, gang? H hey! Get your hands off me! Do you know who I am? But I haven't done anything! Don't hurt them! I beg you! Estelle, don't worry. Yuri! 
Just start walking. Walk, I say. Ow! Hey, watch it with the pulling. Sir Schwan, we shall take these undesirables to Heliord. All members, fall out! Continuing on, we will review the particulars of your 18th crime. Please do. Is it true that you threw a knight sent to collect the taxes into the river? Wow, I'd forgotten about that. Was that you, Tweedleway? That's right! I was in bed with a cold for three whole days thanks to you. How many more of these are there? This is getting pretty boring. I wonder what'll happen to me. So I'll write you have no signs of remorse in the report then. Where's that do-nothing captain of yours anyway? What was his name? Schwan? Playing hooky because he's the big shot. You dare mock our captain. So Schwan is a legendary hero and a veteran of the Great War ten years ago. So basically his eminence would never stoop so low as to deal with nobodies like us. Quiet, I say. Quiet! Getting on to your next offense. Your Excellency, Commandant Alexei, to what do we owe this pleasure? Alexei? What? All your crimes are hereby pardoned by the good graces of their highnesses Esteles and Yoder. What? But these foul criminals have disturbed the peace of the Empire! The Imperial Knights thank you for rescuing Prince Yoder and protecting Princess Esteles. Please, take this. We've got no need for this. It's not like we did those things for the sake of the Knights. I see. What about Estelle? She has just given her consent to be returned to the Imperial Capital. What? Well, I guess she is a princess after all. The princess is waiting at the inn. We would be pleased if you made an appearance. So Estelle's going back home, huh? You don't have a problem with this, Yuri? It's not my decision to make. Well, I guess that's true, but... More importantly, where are we? This is the city of Heliord. Geographically speaking, it's located between Torum Harbor and the city of Dongrest. It was only just recently built. It's still a very new town. If you follow this road to the east, you'll hit Kerbakram, where we were earlier. Cut through the west and go to the northwest to reach Dongrest. I see. Well, maybe I'll have a look around the town a bit. I've got my own business to attend to. Hmm, what to do? Ah, oh, so both of you are here the whole time. Yuri, watch your speech in front of His Royal Highness. You could at least show due courtesy to the gracious partner of your crimes. It's okay, Flynn. Miss Esteles and I acted of our own volition. You've already heard about Lady Esteles, then, I see. Yeah, I heard. Yuri, I thought that traveling with you would be to Her Highness's own benefit, but... The royal family can't be allowed to romp all over the countryside without restraint. That's not very convincing coming from you. <laughs> I apologize. But now especially, it's undesirable for the royal family's concerns to be brought into the public eye. Concerns? You mean whether you or the princess is next in line for the imperial throne? Correct. There are currently two opinions. That of the imperial knights, and that of the council. Your Highness, there's no use hiding any details from him when he already knows so much. The Imperial Knights are backing my own ascension to the throne. Meanwhile, Miss Estelise has the support of the Council. She's a princess after all. 
Yes, her relation may be a distant one, but she's unmistakably of royal blood. That's got to be tough for the knights, too. Even if she's the rival of their candidate for the throne, it's not like they can just stop protecting the princess, is it? Yuri, this matter is... I don't know anyone odd enough to be interested in information like this. Well, I'm gonna go drop by Esteliza's place, and then I'm gonna take a load off at the end. Thanks for the chat. Wait, I say! Hey, it's Tweedle A and Tweedle B. Don't call us that! Something I can help you two with? Even if you have a direct pardon from His Highness Yoder, I say that does not change the fact that you committed crimes against the Empire! As members of the Imperial Knights, our honor will not allow us to simply let that slide. Yuri Lowell, you will battle with us here, I say, fair and square. If you beat us, we'll recognize you as innocent of your crimes. Don't make claims you can't back up. Since when did you two have the authority to forgive people their crimes? Regardless, we must battle. Battle! If that's what it takes to make you happy, I guess I can humor you. Excellent! Come with us! Kiss your freedom goodbye, or it ends today! I say, prepare to face the Imperial Knight's ultimate fighting technique! The first start! Again, you're claiming regular techniques as your own. That doesn't belong to the knights. I say be quiet! The burst art, huh? I've heard of it before, but... You don't know how it's done? You fool! I say we shall show you! But before that happens, you'll be reduced to no more than a worthless caterpillar crawling on the ground! I say... Maybe it has something to do with Overlimit. Go! Show him how it's done, Atacor! I say watch me now! The arcane art of the Imperial Knights! It didn't hit him! What are you doing? Huh. Burst arts can be linked from an arcane art. I wonder if I could imitate that. There's no way an amateur could do something like that, I say. And now, over limit. I'll blow you away! Ah, be careful! Yuri Lowell's going to attack! Arcane Art, take this! You're dead! Divine Wolf! That's enough for today. First Art! Hey, what a terrible turn of events! Man, nothing like some good exercise before turning in for the night. I guess I'll hurry back to the inn. I thought you went to see Esteliz. She must have been exhausted today. I didn't want to wake her up. We could still talk tomorrow. Right. Why don't we all return to our rooms then? <laughs> What's the matter, Repeat? Do you guys hear a strange sound? Now that you mention it, yeah. Oh, I've been hearing that the Barrier Blasty has been acting up lately. Hey, hold your horses. I can't. Commandant Alexei is there, isn't he? He should be able to take care of it. Rita, if we let you go out on your own, it'll be just another repeat of a Meat Hill. Well, if you want, we could at least let Flynn know about it. Rita, please wait! Estelle! After all, I've heard that the Imperial Knights have made some repairs on the Blastia here. Give the Knights some credit for once, will you? 
Please, Rita. All right, then. It's okay for you to be wandering around like this? Yes, but can I stay with you until it's time to return to Zophius? I don't mind at all. The barrier Blastia has been making some odd noises. Do you think it's okay? You came all the way here because you were worried about that? As always, Yuri, you can't leave well enough alone if you see anything amiss. Hey, it's not me. She was the one that... It's obvious that something's not right with that Blastia. Let me have a look at it. This Blastia is currently in a state of repair. I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you to examine it. Why? What was that vibration? Don't tell me that was the Blastia. Maybe something's happened to the Blastia. Let's get out of here. Your Highness, you must stay here. saying? You're just as worn out as she is. Prepare rooms at once. I'll take her there myself. Carol, can you stand? Yeah. Come on, we're going to. can't keep using your healing arts on her forever, Esteliz. Come on, let's let her rest for now. Yes. I can't believe she had to go and do something like that. Yes. Once Rita chooses to do something, she won't listen to anyone else. You're one to talk. You were just as bad as she was. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stay here. You should go rest. Aren't you tired from using your healing arts so much? I'm jealous of Rita. She has something she cares about so much. And so can you, if you spend enough time looking for it. But you need to go and get some sleep now. No, I'm fine. Yuri, you should get some sleep yourself. Flynn will get mad at me if you pass out. So let him get mad at you.
Look, don't come asking me to take your place when you collapse from exhaustion. I can't ask you to take my place if I've already collapsed, can I? You must think I'm totally useless. After what happened when you first met me, and at Kerbakram, and today. I think everyone freaked out today. Even the Great Commandant was pretty in over his head. There are lots of things even grown-ups can't do. Even you, Yuri? Yeah, I guess so. It's a tough world. Now you got the idea. Hey, Yuri? Hmm? Do you think you want to maybe start a guild with me? A guild, huh? Yeah, that's an idea. I'll think about it. Really? What, you're surprised? I thought you'd say, no way! I've been in enough messes already! Or something. Not all adults think like that, you know. Anyway, it's late. Let's get some rest and see how she's doing in the morning. Come in. Glad to see you're awake. And after I told her over and over to call me before she collapses. You didn't think she'd really listen to you, did you? She looks happy. Hey, so what do you think Estelise thinks of me? Why are you making that face? I just didn't think you were the kind of person who cared what other people thought. Forget it. You can go now. Compared to those formulas of yours, she should be easy to figure out. Huh? Rita! You're awake! But be careful. It's just when you think you've recovered that you're in the most danger. It's all right. I'm fine. Also, you don't need to pretend to be using that Blastia anymore. I... What do you mean? It's pretty cool that you can use healing arts without a Blastia. But... But how did you... What the... Hey, it's that dragon freak! Rita, are you alright? Don't you ever learn? It sounds like the sky is falling in here! What's going on? Huh? Just when the conversation was getting interesting. That's enough talk about Estelle's healing arts for now. Fine by me. I've pretty much figured it out anyway. Don't look at me like that. Do I really look like that much of a bad guy to you? Yes. <laughs> hey, wait! What's going on, you guys? Come on, tell me! Take care on the way back to the capital. Okay. Do you have everything? Wouldn't want to have to come back later. If I forget anything, you'll bring it to me. Won't you, Yuri? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, let's go find Flynn. I'll take you that far. Uh, um, what are you all gonna do after this? Hmm, well, we did lose track of the Blood Alliance. That's easy! We can just go to Dungrest! Or not. Man, if I go back there now, they'll all just laugh at me. Dongris? That's the Guild City, right? Yeah. I thought we could find out about the Blood Alliance there. What direction is it from here? Well, it's to the west, I guess, but... 
Let's check it out then. Might be helpful for anybody thinking you're starting a guild too. Huh? For starting a guild? Well, let's go then. <laughs> it doesn't seem like that Flynn character is around here. Does that mean you're staying with us for now? Well, I... Would that be all right? Carol, don't fill the princess's head with ideas. You cannot simply do as you wish. Your Highness must return to the capital. Flynn has already set out to tend to other business. Now then, Rita Mordio, we would like you to investigate yesterday's Blastia malfunction. That's pointless. I looked at him this morning, but I couldn't figure anything out. No, we would ask that you go to the forest of Cave Mock. Cave Mock, huh? Oh yeah, the plants affected by the disaster here look just like the ones in that forest. We have reports of tree mutations and of monsters increasing in both number and aggressiveness. Messengers have gone to the capital, but much time will be wasted finding a gifted mage. I specialize in Blastia. Plants are out of my league. Consider their connection to the air. I imagine that is within your league. Besides, I... If Estelle is going back to the capital, I want to go with her. What do you mean? You are a researcher in an Imperial Blastia laboratory. You must undertake the tasks assigned to you. Um, then there should be no problem if I accompany her to the forest, right? Princess, please do not make suggestions that are simply out of the question. If this does have something to do with air, then my healing arts would prove useful. Yes, they would. Please, Alexei, let me do my part to help. Your Highness, I simply cannot allow you to go to such a dangerous forest. Well, what if... Yuri, would you come with us? Me? If Yuri were to come, you wouldn't be worried, right? Young man, please escort the princess. I ask this of you only because you once sought to join the Imperial Knights. Of all the underhanded... I didn't ask anybody to count on me. You're pushing me into this. It seems I can take that reply as indication of your agreement. But there's something I have to do as well. We go to the forest after Dungrist. Very well. Your Excellency. It seems Flynn foresaw this outcome. Huh? He did what? He left this message for you. Take care of Her Highness. All right then. It's the Forest of Cave Walk by way of John Grest. I have a job for you. This is John Grest, my hometown. Looks like a pretty lively place. Well, it's the second largest city after the Imperial capital. It's run entirely by the guild. I thought it'd be more dark and dank, you know? Like a den of villains. That's just a prejudice people have about the guilds. I'm sure the bad reputation of the Blood Alliance is to blame for that. Yeah. Jeez, Yuri, you make it sound like I'm a villain. If you're a villain, what does that make him? Point taken. So, how should we go about tracking down Barbos? The best way is probably to stop by the Union and check there. The Union? A guild collective run by the five so-called Master Guilds, right? Yeah, the Union also serves as the city's government. But how is this gonna work? Isn't Barbos' Blood Alliance one of the five Master Guilds? Which means if we lay a hand on him, we'll be picking a fight with the Union as well. We won't know the answer to that until we ask the Dawn. The Dawn is the boss of the Union, isn't he? Yep. Dawn Whitehorse, 
leader of Altosk, the most powerful of the five master guilds. All right, let's go see what the Dawn has to say then. You know the way, right, Kel? Hey, wait, he's not the kind of person you can just meet. I don't really know if... Please? Union headquarters is in the north part of town. Hey, what are you doing? What? Uh, n nothing. Hmm? Well, well, if it ain't little Carol. What the hell are you thinking coming back here? Hey, what's with you? Yeah, I don't see Nan. She already did you? <laughs> no way! She wouldn't stop nagging, so I took off. This would explain why Carol wasn't too eager to go to Dongrist. So are you the latest guild to take him in? You could do a lot better than that, loser. All this kid can brag about is the number of guilds he's joined. Oh, right. That's a bad thing. Are these your friends, Carol? You could do a lot better than these losers. What did you say? Such undignified men! Shut up! You sure have a way of saying things. I mean, you're right, but... Yeah, you just keep talking. What's that sound? Damn it! They're back again! Come on! The alarm! Monsters are here! Monsters? Wait, is this shaking the monster's footsteps? If so, they've brought quite an army. Yeah, but don't worry. Even if there have been a lot of monsters around here lately, our barrier here is strong, and it's never been broken before. And the guilds take care of the monsters outside the barrier. Huh? Oh, crap! The barrier... disappeared? What the hell is going on? The monsters are gonna get inside! Damn it, why do things like this always happen to me, no matter where I go? You gotta be cursed. Maybe. Yuri, we have to go stop the monsters. This is crazy. Where are all these monsters coming from? Something isn't right. Doesn't something seem different about the monsters as well? Here they come! Wonderful! Don't let up! There's more coming! Why are there so many? Just one right after the other! I feel like an easy win! Don't get careless! Damn, there's no end to these things!
Each and every one of these people left the Empire of their own free will and joined a guild. <laughs> there ain't a soul in this town so spineless they go running to you guys for help. What? These are the rules of the life we've chosen. It's up to us to make sure those rules don't get broken. Holding to your beliefs no matter what's at stake. So that's what a real guild is like. Hey, you there! Lead the way! I have a name, you know! Where are we going, anyway? We're going to repair the barrier, Blastia. If we don't, the city will be overrun with monsters! You're coming, too! Guess that's my only option. We're too late! This is so horrible. Out of the way! Hmm. I might be able to do something with this. Rita, watch out! Behind you! We won't let you fix the barrier! What the hell? It's just one thing after another! I'm sick of this! How could they do that? Looks like we have those guys to thank for the barrier Blastia failing on us. But why? Looks like you've got your hands full over here. So the Don's little lecture didn't stick? I'm just doing what I can to help. How's the repair of the barrier Blastia going? That'll depend on our genius mage here. Mm, the core is still there. They just fiddled with your formula a bit and stopped it, didn't they? What the... This is... an amplifier? And this formula again. The same as they were using back on Amid Hill. The barrier disappeared when the monsters attacked. It can't be a coincidence that they happened at the same time, can it? Probably not. So does your appearance here mean this is tied up with all the Empire's problems? I don't know. That's why I came here to check things out. That's there, and this goes here. That's our Rita. All right, time to clean up the monsters outside the barrier. The guilds won't be able to complain if we fight monsters outside the city. We'll leave the monsters to Flynn. Let's go to the Union and ask about Barbos. You really trust Flynn, don't you? Only because there's no one else I can trust. That's how I look at it. Yuri, I don't get you sometimes. Hmm? Who are you all? We need to talk to the Don about something. Help us out, could you? It's a matter that concerns the Five Master Guilds. I haven't seen you around here recently. What guild do you belong to? We don't belong to a guild exactly. Unfortunately, the Don has left town in pursuit of the monsters. He went after the monsters? Yes. He plans on taking out the monster nests in one fell swoop. I see. Thanks for the information. No worries. If I went and helped them, I could prove myself to the Dawn. Oh well, shall we go look for that information in town? What? We're not going to help the Dawn? So you know where the monster nests are then? Oh, a good point. Since it seems like you won't be making progress anytime soon, I'm gonna go check out Cave Mock. How selfish! I just want to get it out of the way as soon as possible. Then does that mean Estelle's going along with you? Yes. I told Alexei I was going to go after all. Don't worry. We'll be fine between the two of us. Sorry, afraid not. If you got hurt or anything, Flynn would hunt me down and kill me. You're gonna go, Yuri? 
Well, we don't really have any good leads around town that we're following anyway. Then it's decided. Let's go to the forest of Cave Mock. Going to Cave Mock, are they? What a coincidence. idea trees this big existed. Yeah, but it doesn't exactly look healthy for them to be this overgrown. It's just like you said, Carol. It's like what happened at Heliord when the Blastia went berserk. Be careful! There's somebody here! Hey! What a coincidence! What the hell are you doing in a place like this? You know, out for a forest stroll, taking in the nature. Something smells fishy. What? Where's my welcome? You didn't think we'd honestly be glad to see you, right? Ah, uh, you don't mean that. I can come in handy, you know. You're not thinking of coming with us, right? Of course. It's lonely being out here all by my lonesome. What? No dice? You'd better watch your back. If you try anything funny, you're dead. Hey, you don't really think my story stinks that bad, do ya? Yeah, the stench is sort of coming off you in waves. Really? <laughs> I can't take responsibility for what I'll do if you make any sudden moves. Don't forget that. Oh, don't mind me. Do whatever you came to do. What should we do about him? Do you know any tricks that'll convince us you're worth keeping around? Do I look like some kind of street magician to you? Hey, you. Come here a second. What? M me? What do you want with Carol? No! Don't just leave me here! Show him what for, kid! Why me? Okay, this isn't funny anymore! Should be any minute now. You just wait for them to let their guard down, give them a little poke, and then BAM! Geez, I bet you're great at parties. I suppose that was good enough. Really? Yes. Alright. Hey, you mean I passed? I can stay? Uh, are you kidding? It'll be much easier to do things to him if we keep him nearby. What do you mean? Things. Hadn't thought about that. Okay, I just got a little chill up my spine. Well then, Mr. Raven, after you. <laughs> right.
Just hear a voice? I wonder where you're taking me, matey. I've heard that voice before. Patty? What? Is she a friend of yours? We've got to help her. Yeah, yeah, just leave it to me. Yeah? So you're still looking for Eifried's treasure? Eifried? Hi! Yeah, right. Treasure in a place like this? Who gave you that load of crap? The Map Making Guild! World Seller tells me all sorts of things. After all, those lads travel all around the world. Is that why you went to Rago's mansion too? But there wasn't anything there, right? No, but a story that's 100% believable is all the more fishy. Hmm, I suppose that's true. Except that you're 100% fishy. Hey, no need to be mean now. Anyway, I've got to get back to my treasure hunting. If you keep wandering around all alone, you'll get attacked by monsters again. That monster didn't attack me. We were playing together. I don't think the monster saw it that way. Hey, behind you! <laughs> I guess that means she'll be fine on her own. Will you come with me? I appreciate the offer, but treasure hunting will have to wait until another day. That's an awful shame, but nonetheless, I must go. Farewell! She's gone! Is she really gonna be okay? She said she'll be fine, so yeah, why not? I hope you're right. Still, it's not like worrying's gonna change anything. Come on, let's get going. This is the same phenomenon we saw at Heliord. The air is weaker than it was there. There's no mistaking it. That monster looks just like the ones that attacked Dongrest. Here it comes. What's up with this forest? I can't believe there's a place like this in the forest. Is there any way to quiet the monsters? We have to get them before they get us. So it's a little tough. Let's just get it over with. I hope we only have to kill this one. Stay sharp. We'll lose our lives if we aren't careful. I was so surprised. You can't relax yet. The air is still out of control. The trees, the monsters. It's got to be the air that's causing this. There's more of them! Ah, so this is the end, huh? Farewell, all my dear fans the world over. I'll make sure your gravestone reads, Here lies the world's biggest sap. You're supposed to say stuff like, We can make it through this together. Who 
is he? Duke. Wait! Hmm? What is that sword? Let me see. How did you do that back there? You like slice through the air, but but that's impossible. What good would that knowledge do you? Well, I mean, with something like that, we might be able to stop the Blastia from going berserk. We saw that happen to a Blastia. The air was out of control. We couldn't do anything. This was only a distortion. It is a natural occurrence. Distortion? Um, thank you so much for helping us. Do not go near the air, Krenne. Huh? What do you mean, Air Krenne? This place? Air Krenne are the springs from which all air in the world comes. Springs of air? Who are you? This isn't the kind of place you just go for a walk. Hm. We would have been dead without your help, though. Thanks. That power... Could it be the Rizomata formula? I can't tell anything from checking things out here. I have to see some others. Hey, didn't that guy earlier say these were all over the world? Yeah, he did. We won't know anything solid until we find them and study them. So, I guess we're finished looking into things here? Yeah, let's get back to Dongress to meet with the Dawn. Anomalous air conditions result in Blastia going out of control, which in turn leads to monsters turning vicious. If this is related to the distortion he was talking about, it might not be only this forest that's affected. You sure mumble to yourself a lot, don't you? Uh, what? Another monster attack? Keep your head down! It's... it's them! John! You all do something? Do something? What do you mean? Those savage monsters turned docile as pups and ran off! What did you do? Yuri, it must be because we stopped the flow of the air. The monsters turned tame because we stopped the runaway air! Runaway air? Hmm. Hey, old man, do you know something? Well, my old friend Bellius used to say something about it. So it's true that Dawn and Bellius are friends. Who is Bellius? The Duce, who rules the Colosseum of Nordopolica. Nordopolica. And what's with that runaway air? It was really amazing. More and more really strong monsters kept on coming, but we... Boy, those are the sorts of things you keep to yourself. What? You don't do deeds like that so other people will notice. You do them so that you can protect your town and your friends. I'm... I'm sorry. Excuse me. Could I see him for a moment? What? Oh. You can use healing arts. Thank you. Mm. Ain't that raven over there? Quit hiding, you! <laughs> Our man ain't giving you trouble, is he? What do you mean, trouble? The reason the monsters got tame was our doing. Mine especially. Huh? Raven's a member of Altosk? Somehow that seems to be the case. Ouch, Gramps! Cut that out! Shut up, you! Don Whitehorse. What is it? I know we've only just met, but I have something I need to talk to you about. Quite the strapping young lad, aren't you? What's your name? 
I'm Yuri. Yuri Lowell. Yuri, eh? So you must be the leader here. Uh, excuse me, Gramps. Anybody home? Uh, there ain't been too many lively youngsters around here lately. So I've grown bored. I'll listen to you. But in exchange, you gotta indulge me for a bit. Jeez, what a time for that old geezer's bad habit. What are you talking about? Whenever he finds someone who shows a little backbone, he just has to test them. Test? Test what? Their strength, of course. Exactly. Now, come and indulge an old man in his innocent hobby. No, 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 no. You can count me out. Hey, he just took off. All right. An opportunity to face the head of a guild isn't the kind of thing that comes along every day. <laughs> That's the spirit. Show me what you got. If you're so old, then retire and drink tea in peace. Sorry, but that's really not my style. Just getting started. Well, that's enough. After all, if we keep this up, this is gonna turn into a real battle. That was the most fun I've had in a long time. All right, I'll hear you out now. Done. Sorry to interrupt. Ah, uh, I see. All right, you dogs. Time to head out. Sorry about this, but something's come up. We gotta return to Dongrest. If you come by the Union, you'll have my ear first chance I get. Hope that's okay. If I have your word, that's fine by me. Hmm. You're not nervous at all to talk to me. You all would make a good addition to our guild. I was giving him everything I got in that fight, though. Hmm. A guild, huh? We're gonna make one, right? We'll see. So, what do you think? Y'all finally get a taste of how awesome I am? I sure didn't notice you being too awesome out there. Always so quick to criticize. All right, I'd like to go back to Dongress to meet with the Dawn and keep looking for Barbos. Rita, once Yuri's done with his business, we should go back to report. Rita? Oh, what was that? Once Yuri's done, we should go back to report to Alexei. Is something the matter? N no it's nothing. Come on, let's go back. So you've come back, have you? Yuri? What? You two know each other? Yes. We're old friends. You don't say. I see you know Yuri as well. We crossed paths during the assault on the city. Now then, what business did you have? Uh... We came to ask you about a man named Barbos of the Blood Alliance. It looks like he's the one behind the recent string of stolen Blastia cores. I see. So Barbos is tied up in your problem as well. You have a problem with him, too? We have come to ask that the Union relinquish all ties with the Blood Alliance. Other guilds have begun to follow Barbos's example, abusing Blastia in other areas and disrupting the order of society. If we can count on your assistance, I feel that together we should move to put an end to the Blood Alliance. Barbos? Yeah. <laughs> He's been testing the limits of my patience lately. Looks like it's time to remind that brute how a proper guild behaves. A clash between the guilds and the Empire was avoided the other day, largely due to your intervention. However, if Barbos is left unattended, the relations between our two states may yet again be torn apart. And that's not going to be fun for anybody. The time for stopping Barbos is now. Since we'll be cooperating with you, 
I assume we'll be on equal standing with the Empire in this. Yes, sir. <laughs> if that's the case, a united front with the Empire might not be such a bad idea. Then... Yeah. We'll deal with this together. Hey, send the message to Bellius. <laughs> Tell Bellius that Nora Pollock is gonna help us. Man, this is serious. I have brought a letter from His Highness, Yoder. A secret note from the Imperial Candidate, huh? Read it aloud. If Don Whitehorse is taken out of the picture, we are willing to overlook the Union's responsibility in the Barbos affair. What? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. What? What is this? Looks like you and the young master see things a bit differently. There must be some mistake. Master Yoder would never say such a thing. Show our guest here to his own private suite. Don Whitehorse, please listen to me. This is some sort of trap. Flynn! Why would you... Hang on. If we screw up, it'll only make things worse for Flynn. <gasps> All our war with the Empire! We'll take everything we've got and march on the Imperial capital. Try and make a fool out of me and I'll tear these little messengers limb from limb. Th this is bad. And it looks like he's forgotten all about talking with us. I don't think that Don's in much of a talking mood right now. I have to return to the Empire and find out what's really going on. I said hang on. We should sit still for now and see what happens. I... I suppose you're right. Huh, that's strange. What's the matter, Yuri? It looks like I dropped my wallet somewhere. At a time like this? Maybe it fell out of my pocket at the Don's place. I'm gonna go look. You wait here. Okay. Don't take too long. Alrighty. Now to go see how Flynn's holding up. Yuri. Thought I was being quiet, but I guess you heard me. So, you've come to have a laugh at me in this sorry state? Yeah, I wanted to see what kind of expression being locked up put on your face. It doesn't hurt to be forced to view things from behind bars every now and then. What the hell you think you were doing, coming here with a letter like that? That was the Red Eyes doing. They attacked after you left. You don't screw up like that. Was it one of your people? Even if it was, the responsibility is mine. I see. If the Red Eyes are involved, then Rago's gotta be behind it all. But how do you know? At the harbor, we saw Rago giving orders to one of their assassins. I hadn't heard about that. Do you know what they're trying to do? Most likely, they want to force a clash between the guilds and the knights. That'd be... bad. You think another one of those false letters went to the Knights? Yes, to put them in a fighting mood. If you know that much, then get out there and get the real letters back. I was wondering how long it'd take you to get rid of that damn lock. <laughs> You've got to stay here. What? And be your scapegoat? You're just itching to get rid of me, aren't you? Yuri, if I don't make it back, 
You'll have to die in my place. Yeah. <laughs> Taking your friend's place in a jail cell? You lost your mind, son. This coming from an old man who gets rid of his own guards on purpose. Hmm. I had a special favor to ask that rookie knight. You mean Flynn? The rats that plan these sort of stunts usually like to enjoy their handiwork from somewhere nearby. If you knew the letter was fake, why'd you fire everyone up like that? If I didn't make a good show of things, whoever's behind all this wouldn't bother to come watch. Besides, we've got a lot of hotheads around here who'd never let me hear the end of it if I didn't raise hell. So that's where it stands. Of course, if our friend the Knight doesn't show up again, your life is mine. I know. Tell me one thing, though. What made you want to start a guild in the first place? I realized I couldn't protect the things that were important to me playing by the Empire's rules. There have to be some things that were easier to protect when you're on the other side, though. Even in the lower quarter where I'm from, we still had the barrier to protect us. Sure. But were you happy with just putting up with all the things you didn't like? Well, I... So if the rules the Empire sets don't suit you, you got two choices. You can do like your friend is, and put everything you've got to change in the system. Or... You can turn your back on the Empire, and live by the rules you set for yourself. That's pretty clear-cut. Yep. I think you're gonna have to take responsibility for letting my prisoner go. You want me to do something besides rotting in this cell? The sap who's been putting together this little show has got to be somewhere in this city. Oh, I've been planning on asking your armor-wearing friend to hunt him down for me, but... So what? You want me to find him? Your job is to pay this debt back to me. How you go about it is up to you. That young lady you brought with you is running all over the place helping with the injured folks. You're not the type to be the only one sitting around twiddling its thumbs, right? Estelle. Huh. <laughs> that sounds like her. Out of the way! The dawn is passing through! Is he really planning on going to war just to lure those rats out of hiding? We'll teach those Imperial bastards to look down on us! Oh, Yuri! Have you finished healing the injured yet? How did you know that? The Don told me. This is from him, his way of saying thanks. But Yuri, things have gotten really bad! Yeah, I noticed. No, that's not what I mean! What else? I saw them! You saw who? The Blood Alliance. Barbos wasn't with them, but... Rita and Repeat are shadowing them right now! Just what the Dawn wanted. Let's catch up with Rita! Yeah. Rita. Yes! Let's go inside. But if Barbos is in there... Then we can't just sit around and watch either, huh? What should we do? Let me give you a tip. Oh, it's you again. Hey, hey, is it okay you being here? No, it ain't okay. But the Don asked me to make sure you youngsters don't screw things up. Why don't you guys come with me to a tavern and hear what I got to say? We don't have the time to... Aw, oh, come on! You sound like you think I'm gonna trick you! Well, you have tricked us before! I can handle getting tricked a couple times. But there are limits to my patience, old man. What's with the grim face? I get it. All right. Come now, kids. Show me those pearly whites. All right, this way. We're coming through. Well, 
What is this place? Just a place that Don has for drinking with important guests and having secret conversations. Are you telling us just to stay here and drink? If your friend comes back with the real letter, things could be settled peacefully. Sorry, but I can't let Flynn hog all the glory. We need to find the criminal behind all of this trouble. If that happens to be Barbos... Easy now. Haste makes waste. What's this? There are sewer tunnels that sprawl in a labyrinth beneath this town. Long ago, when the town was occupied by the Empire, the guilds used these tunnels to fight back. Wait! Don't tell me this place is connected to those sewer tunnels! That's exactly what it is. And our plan is to use them to sneak right up behind those guys. Quickly sneak in and catch them, huh? It's a bit of a detour, but it's the best chance we got. That's the idea. Aren't you glad you trusted me? I won't know that until it's all over. So, you still don't trust me, huh? Naturally, you'll be coming with us too, right, old man? Aw, oh, crap! And I was totally planning on skipping town. I'm saying we want to share the glory with you, old man. Come on, let's go. Oh, it's pitch black. I'd rather not get lost in here and never see the light of day again. Yo, genius mage girl, can you use some fire magic and light up this place? Are you trying to use me as your personal lamp? You've got some nerve, old man. Rita, isn't there something you can do? Hmm, nope. Fire magic is only used for combat. For us to have continuous illumination, air would need to be constantly supplied. Like Lux Blastia. Huh, really? You weren't counting on that, were you, old man? <coughs> hmm, is this a Blastia? It's seriously damaged, but I think we can use it. <laughs> Isn't that thing gonna explode? Are we okay? Of course it's not gonna explode. This is a type of Lux Blastia. It uses that device to charge air and light up. I knew you could do it, Rita. But it's on its last leg, so I don't think it'll last too long. Let's get moving while we've still got light. They won't attack us, will they? We shouldn't have anything to worry about. <sighs> the light. We need to charge up some air before it goes out. What the? <sighs> Too shabby, huh? That was scary. I never expected monsters to wait for us to drop our guard before an attack. There's no way any monster is that smart. Perhaps they're weak against light or something? There are monsters like that? There are indeed. Creatures that live in dark places such as caverns in the ocean floor sometimes have an aversion for light and work hard to avoid it. Oh, right. So that's why they didn't attack when it was bright. Oh, there's another one of those machines. Oh, how interesting. So we just need to be careful to recharge the lamp before it runs out of juice. Something carved here. Words? What is this? 
Long ago, our ancestors abandoned their nations for forgetting their duty to protect their people and thus became the true defenders of freedom. That is how the guilds first began. But now, the iron shackles of oppression threaten to strangle us once again. It is because we have forgotten the oath of our ancestors and spent our time fighting one another for our own self-interests. Therefore, we must once again return to the basic principles behind the guilds and join our strengths together as one. We offer our swords for freedom, our shields for friendship, and our lives for the common good. Here we renew our ancient oath. Hey, isn't that the Union Oath? What is that? It's like a slogan that the Don came up with when he formed the Union. We can't depend on the Empire, so we have to protect each other. In order to do that, we need to join forces and put our lives on the line for one another. But what's the Oath doing in a place like this? The Union is based on the guilds that resisted when this town was occupied by the Empire. Before that, guilds just did whatever they wanted and only joined together when there was a problem. Once things were resolved, they split up again. But with the Empire's occupation, they changed that. So the guy who led those guild forces was Don Whitehorse? Yep. These sewer tunnels must have really come in handy back then. So that's when they made the oath here? Seems that way. I'd heard there was an actual written oath, but I had no idea it'd be etched in a wall like this. There's something beautiful about how the oath is written on a wall. It says, I freed right here. Oh yeah, that infamous King of the Pirates. The way Don tells it, he was supposedly a sworn ally. But he was such a shrewd and cunning individual that even the Don had difficulty dealing with him. The Don's a pretty impressive guy to be able to call someone like that a sworn ally. Our lives for the common good, huh? I'm glad I got to see something so fascinating. But we take care of Barbos now. Let's go. Where are we? A tavern in the eastern part of town used by Barbos as a hideout. Basically, it's the place you guys were trying to sneak into. Then Barbos is somewhere around here? Looks like there's a second floor. Let's see what's up there. Barbos, what is the meaning of this? I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. The Tower and the Blastia, of course. I have yet to receive any reports about them. Why should I have to report to you about something like that? What? Building that lousy tower fortress of yours without speaking a word of it to your own employer? You even went so far as to use Leviathan's claw for help! I'm not your lapdog, Grigo. I just gathered the cores together, like you requested. It's thanks to my efforts that you were able to make that weather-controlling Blastia. And just what made you think it was okay to carry off the extra cores? Our mutual non-interference was a condition of our agreement, was it not? What? And did I ever interfere with what you were doing? Barbos, how dare you! You will leave now, Magistrate. Remember this, Barbos. Black-hearted filth like you always get what they deserve in the end. You wanna talk, Rago? You guys! It's the World Series of Villains, and you had to take the best seat in the house? What fool would dare to heckle my exquisite performance? Oh-ho! If it isn't the little runts I met on the ship. You're the one who's been causing all of the recent chaos. On what of it? You fools will never manage to capture me! Oh yeah? What's your reasoning there? A villain is someone who never considers losing a possibility. That's why he thinks the way he does. If so, then that makes you quite a villain, Yuri. Yep, I'm nefarious. 
<sighs> so we're rebelling, huh? You're a real troublemaker, you know that? You've got a big mouth, brat. You would dare to oppose me? I thought I told you before that next time you wouldn't get off so easy. All the better for us to tear things up. Take them down! Ha <laughs> ha! The fools have started to march! Now that meddlesome Don and the Knights will destroy each other! He did this to destroy the Union and to eliminate the Dawn! If the Knights are destroyed, who will protect the Empire? Rago, why would you... Oh... Of course! He's gonna weaken the Imperial Knights so that the Council can step in and control the Empire! And he's gonna use the Blood Alliance to seize Altosk and rule over the Union. Oh my! The Knights and the Union going down together. It's just as Flynn said. <laughs> so what if you know now? No matter what you do, you won't be able to stop the battle! Huh, we'll see. And your existence comes to an end here! Damn it, he's too late! Flynn! Stop! All of you! Sheath your blades! Sheath them! I am Flynn Shifo of the Imperial Knights. I have come bearing a letter from Master Yoder. The letter you received from the Empire was false. It was the work of a rebel. Draw back your armies at once. I thought you weren't coming back. And leave Yuri behind to take the fall for me? I wouldn't dream of it. Rego, you fool! You didn't keep up your end of the bargain. Don't hurt me! Damn! Yuri! They're aiming at Flynn! Got him! Nice shot, Carol! You brats think you can stop me? Ah! Get out of here! Head for the exit! Yuri, no! It's too dangerous! It should take time for the air to recharge. I'll try and stop him before then. Now! You're too late! No! It charged up too quickly! What the hell? What in the world is that? Oh, so you're back for more, Dragon Freak? Rita, knock it off! Our enemy's over there! My enemy is this Dragon Freak! Leave it alone for now! <laughs> I'm gonna make you wish you hadn't done that! What? He can fly? Oh, so the boss is heading for the hills, huh? Get back here, you freak! Think I'm just gonna let you get away? If you're going after him, let me come with you. We're a little short on wings around here. Are you crazy? This jerk's our enemy! No matter what happens, I've gotta catch that guy. Come on! Thanks. Wait, what about us? This guy's overloaded enough as it is. But what should we... You guys hold down the fort here. What? Stay out of trouble. Damn it, Yuri! And let Flynn know I'm stepping out for a while.
So that cyclone was his doing. Here comes trouble. You... You've destroyed the blast here! Hey, are you okay? Bastards! We're just getting started. Ha! <laughs> My men won't have any trouble taking care of a brat like you. Now rip him to pieces! sword you've got. Think you lost because of this sword, huh? I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. Talk it up while you've got the chance. We've got a nice painful death all set up for you. Now shut up for a while. What's the deal? Please, I've got to get out of here. It's always something with you, isn't it, old man? It's not polite to point sharp objects at your elders. Yeah! Hey! That's enough. Damn it! A woman? And she's Christian? Are you alright? <laughs> sorry. Well, after all, you did help Baul back there. Baul? Yes, my friend. Oh, you mean that monster? So tell me, what are you going around destroying Blastia for? <sighs> not a big deal if you don't feel like talking about it. I'm afraid it's not as impressive as you might think. I'm destroying them because I want to. You're right, I'm not all that impressed. So that's why you mashed up Barbos's Blastia, too? Yes, but I didn't finish the job. And can you just let this one go? There wouldn't be any fun in destroying something like that. Huh. Hey, why don't we work together a little longer? Hmm. It's true, I wasn't able to finish off the Blastia on the roof. Okay, then. So what do we do? Hmm, there is one way I was thinking we could get out of here. Well, if you think it might work, what's the harm in trying it out? I always say, those who can, should. Okay, just go along with me on this. I'll just follow your lead. Don't worry. It's a little nerve-wracking working with a pretty lady, though. Ah! Oh, 
that is it! Ugh. Pipe down! Cut it out! You cut it out! I said that's enough! I'm headed up to here with you! Somebody get me away from this psycho! So I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson, huh? Ta-da! You're free! Thanks for your help. I think I still owe you one more. Huh? Guess I, uh, overdid it back there. There. That makes us even. I'm Yuri. Yuri Lowell. Judith. Judith? Uh, Judy's easier to say. Fine by me. Alright, on to the next objective. Next? Well, we could check out the blasty on the roof. All we have to do is go up. Won't your friends be waiting for you? I don't mind taking care of the Blastia first. Up we go then. And how exactly do we go up? This is heavy. Yeah, just go wander off. Reminds me of a certain princess. A princess? Never mind. There's gotta be a way up around here somewhere. Let's see what we can find. It looks like we can't go any higher, and we can't go outside either. What's the matter? My spear is gone. Things might be difficult without a weapon. Hmm. What the? Is the sorcerer's ring broken? Did the air here do this? Hey, you're more fashion conscious than I thought. This isn't fashion. You go like this, and... It moved. It's powered up. I'll bet you could move other levers with that, too. You think it's okay? I'm afraid it might blow up or something. If it happens, it happens. For now, let's pull that lever over there. If something this tiny exploded, I guess it wouldn't be too dangerous. Okay, this is my weapon. Can't find yours? Someone might have just took it. Maybe. Why don't you just pick one here? Uh, right. Was that something special for you? Yes, it was. Well, this should do for a while. I'll take this. Are you fine with that? I don't think I will find my weapon here. I'll look for it as I go on. I'll try looking for it too. Thank you. You're pretty strong. Can you use an over limit by any chance? Sure, yeah. Okay. Then try this. Huh? What's this? The Limit Duo. Your battle spirit can allow you to use even more powerful overlimits. Oh yeah? If your battle spirit is the real thing, that is. So what else can you tell me about these strong overlimits? You can produce more power when attacking alone. Is that so? I still don't quite get it. Really? Maybe you'll pick it up as you use them in battle. Sounds good to me. Alright, let's get moving then. Them. Huh. Looks like you guys have things under control. Yuri! Hey, what gives? Come on, lay off, will you? Are you okay? Were you hurt? Never been better. You worry too much. 
I thought I told you all to stay put for a while. What do you expect? We were worried about you. Hey, just for the record, I wasn't worrying about him. Well, I for one was worried sick. Yeah, right. Why would you bother coming all the way out here anyway? It's like this, see? The Don's having a fit, saying there's no way he'll let Barbos make a fool out of him. But I'm the one he sends to do his dirty work. What do you think you guys are doing coming in this way? Well, the front door was locked. That's not the point. And who might this lovely Critian be? Is she a princess? Laying it on a little thick there, old man. This is Judith, and we were locked up together. Hello. Hi, I'm Carol. I'm Estelise. But we all call her Estelle. Rita Mordio. And I am the great... Old man. It's Raven. R-A-V-E-N. Raven! You have to wonder about people who introduce themselves like that. Hmm. That didn't quite have the zing I was looking for. I think that'll do for now. <laughs> what an interesting bunch of people. Ooh. I think she likes me. Idiot. Judith, what were you doing in a place like this? I came to have a look at the Blastia. All the way out here? Why? I... She was captured while she was on a sort of research trip. Yeah, the Critia do like their research. <laughs> were you able to locate your Aqua Blastia? Nope, not this time either. I wonder if it's somewhere here in this tower. Are you all right? Flynn? What's a lieutenant doing here all alone? We're short on manpower. Besides, I had no idea how dangerous it would be. Is everything going okay? The Don told everyone the truth, so things have calmed down. There's no longer any worry of conflict. My people have secured Rago's subordinates, and the Union has neutralized the town's mercenaries. All that's left is Barbos. Your Highness, it's terribly dangerous, so please stay here with Yuri and the others. It's far too dangerous for you to go all alone. We're going with you. No, I cannot permit that. Hold up, we've got a bit of history with Barbos, so we're not about to throw in the towel after coming this far. Besides, I'm pretty sure Estelle's just gonna go after you anyway. Yuri. <sighs> Very well. Then we'll go together. There isn't much time, and it should be safer this way. Everything settled? Then let's go. What is it, old man? Uh, nothing. Just thinking how you could really brag to your friends if you lived in a place like this. <laughs> Repeat, come on. I guess you too, old man. You guess? What's that supposed to mean? Aren't you a little old for hide-and-seek? What's wrong with poking your head out every once in a while? These kids are really giving it a go. They could use your help every now and again. If such a necessity arises, I shall interfere. No such necessity exists now. All right, all right. I know you've got your own business to take care of. I do not have the time for these clowning antics of yours. Jeez, watch where you're pointing words like that. The affairs of this world hold no interest for me. So you use a spear too. Oh. Do you know someone who also uses a spear? Eh, well, not quite. It just reminds me of some jerk. Are you talking about that dragon rider? Yeah. Hey, don't you have something you need to tell me? What? Me? Yes. So where is the dragon freak now? 
We got separated up on the roof. I'm pretty sure he wasn't too badly hurt. Good, because I can't very well beat him up if he's already injured. Whoa, whoa. That's the whole reason you came here? No! I also can't forgive this Barbos guy for what he did. Abusing Blastia like that. Has he no shame? That's no reason to bring the princess along with you to a dangerous place like this. Flynn, why didn't you stop her? My apologies. We must have missed each other in Dongrest. So that's why she panicked and chased after you? It's not Rita or Flynn's fault. I decided to come here myself. I couldn't let you go all by yourself. Besides, I can't watch bad people doing harm to others and simply let it happen. I agree. Very well said. Your Highness. Captain Carroll, don't let me down. I'm counting on your skills. Yes, of course! Come on, let's go take that jerk to school. I'm sorry, but would you mind keeping your background to yourself? We've got someone who might kind of explode if she knew. Sure, I understand. That'll be best for both of our interests. Keep you waiting. Hey, the core in that sword. Is that the core of the Aqua Blast yet? Yeah, it's gotta be. These fools don't know when to give up. Kapwanor, Dongrest, and now all the way to Gasforost. I've always hated kids. Barbos, this has gone on long enough. Save what's left of your honor and give up. The Knights will be here any moment. Any further resistance is futile. That's right, you're finished. Oh, this is far from finished. I put 10 years into building Gasforos's spire, and while it stands, nothing can stop me. And with that man and the Empire wrapped around my finger, I was able to build my magnificent Blastia. That man? You think I'm just gonna let you waste the lower quarter's core like this? Oh, it won't go to waste. I'll use this to eliminate White Horse, and then I will be leader of the guilds. Then the Empire is next. With this power at my disposal, the very world will be mine. And I'll start with you! Begone, worms! Is everyone all right? That sword is gonna be a problem. Problem? Is that thing even legal? It is very powerful. <laughs> the Blastia seems to be working just fine! What? What's wrong? <laughs> you haven't won yet. All right. Playtime's over! Time to wipe Dongrest off the map, and you along with it! Get down. Having any time or interest. 
Hey, that's... Rita, never mind that! Piece of crap! Looks like the tables have turned, Barbos. So, all that fancy wisdom and the power of the blast here were nothing but a sham. Should have known from the start that I'd have to depend on my own strength. Take up your swords! You know, he was so much easier to deal with when he was all drunk on power. Yeah, there's nothing worse than an enlightened idiot. I am the only man to stand as White Horse's equal in battle. Now you will know the power of Barbos the Stormblast! And his blood alliance! Little punks! You'll rue this! Go on, get out there! Kill him! I'm gonna take you thugs down! You little punks are nothing to me! I'll squash you like bugs! And I'll squash the Union and rule the world! That's a nice dream. I'll make sure it doesn't happen. You have no right to threaten people's peace. Silence! Now know the true power of Barbos the Stormblast! Don't get cocky! Don't get cocky! Stay down. Should I finish him off? Your henchmen have run out on you. That's it, Barbos. It looks like you were the fool who didn't know when to give up. <laughs> Perhaps you were right. Then you'll surrender. I... I won't be humiliated any more than this. Yuri, was it? <laughs> you remind me of Whitehorse in his youth. You're his spitting image. Hope you're not saying I'm gonna end up like that old man. Not exactly something to look forward to. Like the Don. Sooner or later, you will make great enemies in this world. And then that world will consume you whole. Regret, sorrow, and despair will hound you all the way to hell. And I will be waiting there for you. I'm so glad the core is safe. Wow, the Aqua Blastia core is so small. So we've got your core back. That takes care of one problem. Yes, but we weren't able to take Barbos into custody. Yes, that alone is quite regrettable. What are you talking about? A creep like that is better off. Ow! Besides, I think it's too early to say anything's been taken care of. Yeah, I have to find out if this thing even works anymore. Hmm. Blastia cores don't break all that easily. Huh. Bet you didn't know that, did you, Ra Raven? Jeez, what is up with that guy? Just showing up whenever he wants. You're one to talk, Rita. Takes all kinds, I suppose. He probably headed back to Dongrist. I'm sure we can find him if we need to. 
I'll go on ahead as well. I left my people with a considerable amount of work. Your Highness, if you would please accompany me. Um, can't I stay with everyone a little longer? We'll look after your unreasonable princess a little longer. Isn't that easier for you too? We'll make sure she gets to Dongrest. <sighs> Very well. But in exchange, I ask that you take the utmost caution. Absolutely no detours, okay? All right, all right. Then I take my leave, Your Highness, until we meet again in Dongrest. Thank you, Flynn. Why do you look so sad? Are you okay? I was just thinking. I still owe that creep to Deki a good beating. You got the Blastia back, isn't that enough? Why chase after some stupid thief? Yeah, I guess you're right. If I ever cross paths with him though, he's in for a surprise. Waiting for me in hell, huh. Why do you have to go and say that? Hey, come on already! Let's get back to Dongrest! Well, I will take my leave from you here. Off to meet up with your partner? Partner? Who do you mean? We'll be operating individually from now on. That way we won't interfere with each other's work. I see. I'll see you later. Yeah. Look! The Knights have come back! I'm innocent, I tell you! This is a plot by the Knights to destroy the Council! He doesn't know when to quit, does he? Where's Flynn? I can't make him out from here. You must not be taken in by the Knights! They only plan to crush this town once you've all been lured into a false sense of safety! On the honor of the Imperial Knights, I swear that we would never perpetrate such disloyalty. You're... Flynn Shifo. The Empire and the Union have joined in a treaty of friendship. What? Impossible. At this moment, Don Whitehorse and His Highness Yoder are in council together. It's only a matter of time until it's made official. But how? I thought that cursed Alexei was tied up in other matters. Yes. It is true that our Commandant could only make a brief appearance before returning to the capital. Then, on whose authority? No! This can't mean my plans have been ruined by this... this boy! This will put an end to the suffering of the people of Capua Nor as well. Here's hoping the next magistrate they get is more of a stand-up guy. I will do what I can to make sure a worthy person is chosen when I get back to the castle. To the castle? You mean you're going back to the capital, Estelle? Yes. With Rago gone, the rest of the castle should have returned to normal. But you don't really want to go back. What do you mean? I can see it in your face. No, I... I... Well, you should do what suits you best. You've made up your own mind, right? I will go back. I don't want Flynn or anyone else to have to worry about me anymore. It's gonna be lonely without her, won't it, Repeat? Oh, man. Just let me sleep. Brigo! He... he... What did Brigo do? They say he used his standing in the council to reduce his charges! It looks like he's gonna get off with only a minor drop in rank after everything he did! 
This has got to be a joke. It's not a joke! It's the truth! So this is how the Empire works now, huh? Damn it, this is not funny. What do we do, Yuri? Hmm. I don't know. How can he not get punished? Wait! If we tell Estelle, maybe she can do something about it! Hey, don't go giving the princess too much trouble. Damn it. What's Flynn doing anyway? I wonder if he's at his post right now. Doesn't anyone knock anymore? You knew I'd be coming. That outfit. As of today, I've been assigned the post of captain. So, the birth of the Flynn Brigade, huh? Looks like I've been one-upped again. If that's how you feel, you should come back to the Knights. You'd be able to... Don't waste your breath. Congratulations on making captain. Thank you. You didn't come down here to celebrate my promotion. No, I didn't. It's Rago, isn't it? Appropriating Nor Harbor for his own purposes, committing treason by his collusion with Barbos. Add to this stealing from the populace and the extermination of even his own people simply because he didn't like them. The people he killed were either fed to monsters or sold to those who will pay money for corpses. Sick bastard. That he should be able to do those things and not have to answer for them. The authority of the Council is far more powerful than I'd imagined. I thought with this promotion to captain that I'd gotten a bit closer to my goal. But I have to face the fact that the law can't even punish a single person like Rago. You know it doesn't end here. You'll climb even higher until you can make the right changes. True. But many people will continue to suffer in the meantime, needlessly. When I consider that, I... Don't go flying off the handle and smacking him around. The progress you've made would all be for nothing. <clears throat> if he's above you, you go even higher, and then... Yes. Someday I'll create a legal order that treats everyone with equality. I have to. Good. And I'll do things my own way. Yuri? How would you go about punishing the villains that the law can't touch? I'm still trying to figure that out. It seems I may have gotten a little careless when I thought Alexei wouldn't be around. Flynn Shifo, that impertinent upstart. This is a grudge I won't soon forget. I will bring down the full authority of the Council on you! Ah! What the... It's you. Do you intend to harm me? I'm a member of the Council, you know. I could crush you w with a single command. You won't get away with this! The laws and the council may have let you go, but I'm afraid I can't do that. Ah, st stay back! Oh, I was so close! Deinomos! Repeat.
Too bad we gotta split up. Please come visit the castle anytime. You'll really come if you say that. What? Didn't she just invite me? Huh. Idiot. With the treaty, it'll become easier for guild members to enter the capital. That's right. Princess, we should be going. Oh, yes. I promise to do what I can about Rago to see that he gets the punishment he deserves. Princess, you should know. What? You see... Lord Rago has not been seen since last night. We do not yet know the details. His whereabouts are being investigated as we speak. What could this mean? Maybe he got scared and ran away. Well, I guess I'll be going too. I want to check out stuff like those air credit. When I finish my analysis, I'll, um, pay a visit to the capital too. I'm looking forward to it. Okay then, see ya! And Carol, where will you go from here? I want to start up a guild with Yuri. That sounds like a good idea. Your Highness. Sorry, I'm ready now. Shouldn't I go get Yuri? No. I wouldn't want to wake him. Alright. Well, this is it. Yeah. I hope we see each other again. Yuri, are you awake? Estelle and Rita already took off. Oh. If you hurry, you might still be able to catch her. I can meet them anytime I want. Jeez, Yuri. Fine, if that's how you're gonna be. Even if I did go, it would just make it harder for them to leave. What the? Monsters. Any idea what that thing is? No, I've never seen anything like that before. It's coming down! Come on, Carol. What? Hey, wait! What is going on here? Yuri, protect our highness! Yuri, look! This way, Val Fiend! Why is it just ignoring us? Is it coming for... me? The Commandant, but why is he here? Our finest knights. I am left with no choice. We will stop this beast with the help of Heracles. Yuri, wait! There's nothing more you can do! Huh. You expect me to stand by while that thing makes a snack out of Estelle? The insipid poison of this world must be purged. It can speak! Who... who are you?
that? Heracles! Whoa! We gotta get out of here! I'm going to leave the city and continue my journey. What do you mean? If you're going back to the capital, you shouldn't keep Flynn waiting. It's for you to decide. Then I... Now that's what I wanted to hear. Judas? Don't! It's too dangerous! Look who's talking. I'll be fine. You go on ahead. Come on, quickly! My, you're a stubborn one. Huh? Why is it taking off? Yuri! Lady Estelise! Wait! Here comes the cavalry. I'm sorry, Flynn. I realize now I can't just go back to the capital. There are too many things I still need to know. Surely after returning to the capital, you can... The voices of the people suffering in Nora Harbor never reached the capital. I won't achieve anything if I'm not willing to approach these problems head on. I've come to realize that during my travels. That's why. That's why I have to keep going. Your Highness! Flynn, get this court back to the lower quarter. Yuri! I won't be going back to the capital anytime soon. I'm going to start up a guild. Give my regards to Hanks and everyone else. Yuri! A guild? So that's what you meant by doing things your own way? Yeah, I finally made up my mind. That's fine, but what about Princess... Take care, Flynn. Yuri! I suppose I should have talked to you first, but here's to our new guild, Carol. Right! All right, let's go. If we hang around here much longer, some of those knights are bound to come after us. With the circumstances being what they are, this is just how things turned out. I don't mind a few extra travel companions, but we do need to put in a little more effort. Just how far are we going? I guess Heliord's our closest destination, so at least until there. What? Should we rest a little once we get out of the city? Agreed. Okay, okay. Now let's get moving. Taking a break! It's probably a good time. Looks like no one is following us anymore. How can you tell? Hmm. Intuition, I suppose. Intuition? Anyway, we should be fine here. Let's rest for now. time to take a longer rest. We've got to decide a few things about our guilt. What is it with you and taking breaks? What do you hope to accomplish by starting a guild? Accomplish? Hmm. 
I want our guild to become really big. And then someday we'll follow in the Dawn's footsteps and protect Dawngrest ourselves. That way, I can show him my gratitude for all the years he's defended the city. That's a wonderful dream, Carol. I'll just stick with the boss here. Huh? B boss Me? You were the first one to bring up this crazy idea. <laughs> I guess you're right. So, what's the first order of business? To calm down. Yeah! <laughs> you make guilds sound like fun. Why don't you join the guild as well, Judith? Hmm, I wonder. Do you think they'd let me? The most important thing is obeying the guild's laws. Those who break the laws will be severely punished, even friends or family. The laws are the source of a guild's pride. No one can be admitted without making a solemn pledge to uphold them. And what are the laws of your guild, Carol? Um... Everybody supporting each other and always acting with the interests of the guild in mind. Striving to always do the right thing while punishing those who don't. What do you mean? All for the guild and the guild for all. Do justice and punish the unjust. Everyone's opinion will be valued, so long as it doesn't go against these laws. Yuri, that's just what I... Right, boss? All for the guild and the guild for all. Yeah, that's it. Those are our laws. It looks like these will be my laws from now on as well. Sure it's okay to make up your mind like that? Yes, you've got me curious. All for the guild. I like the way that sounds. Well then? I pledge to uphold the laws, for the guild's sake, and my own. How about your partner? Thanks for your concern, but it's alright. He won't mind. Your partner? A friend I was traveling with earlier. Huh, I didn't know you had someone like that. Okay, so from today on, we'll be your new partners, Judith. I look forward to it. Me too. Oh. Then, I... Okay, let's call it a day for now. Yeah, I almost forgot how sore I am. Yuri. Hey, you're not asleep? No. Is something the matter? No. I was just trying to think of what our next move should be. Yes. I didn't even think I'd be able to continue traveling with you. I'm still trying to decide if I should. You're really going to put your all into this guild, aren't you? I'd like to say I'm just going to go with the flow, but I went and bragged to Flynn about it. I guess I can't slack off now. Carol certainly seems happy. I'm a bit jealous. Oh, does Her Majesty the Princess wish to join our humble guild? If I asked you to let me in, would you let me in? If you've thought about this and it's your decision, I won't try to stop you. Yeah, you're right. I should really give this some thought. Well, don't think too hard about it. <laughs> Can I decide? What? You're not asleep? Nah. I've been trying to think of a name for our guild. I'm gonna think of something really cool. Sure. I can't wait. Yuri? Hmm? I was thinking about this. We made our guild without first swearing allegiance to its laws, didn't we? Yeah, but did that earlier today, right? So no worries. Yeah. Yuri? What is it? Did you just make those laws up, or did you hear them somewhere? They just came to me. Why, were they no good? Oh no, not at all. It's just... Those were the exact same laws I'd been thinking of. 
I'm really happy that I was able to make a guild with you, Yuri. <laughs> what a thing to say. Don't get all mushy on me. <laughs> I... Oh! What now? I thought of a name! The Super Ultra Courageous Braves! <laughs> that sounds like a name Captain Carol would come up with, definitely. Let's go with that, then. Right! Thanks. For what? You're staying up to keep watch, aren't you? Nah, not at all. You're so evasive. You're one to talk. Huh. Weird. I always thought I was pretty straightforward. Seriously? You haven't even given your real reason for joining our guild. I joined because I wanted to. That's it? No. So long as they don't go against the laws of the guild, everyone's wishes are respected, right? Don't worry. I said I'd uphold the laws, and I will. But in my own way. All right. Well, I'll get you to tell me the real reason eventually. So it was a coincidence that you were in Dongrest? Yes, I was. That's the truth. Isn't it lovely? Sure. Lovely. Thanks. For keeping watch? For talking. Repeat. You're keeping watch too, huh? So, we started a guild. We're a motley crew, but it should be interesting. <laughs> You're our number two. Try not to give the boss too much of a hard time. <laughs> you should get some rest too. What's that? Are you saying I should just trust you to keep watch for us? I'll get some rest then. Thanks, Repeat. I hope we can find some work to do now that we've made our guild. Easy, Tiger. So, Estelle, what are you gonna do? I want to go looking for that talking monster. If it was me he was after, I want to find out why. Don't feel like you'll be able to rest easy till you find out, huh? But how will you do that? How can you look for a monster if you have no idea where it is? I thought you were in charge of all the monster-related information. Don't ask me! Even I've never seen anything like that before. That was no monster. His name is Pharaoh. Do you know about him? I saw him earlier when I was traveling with my friend, and it was my friend who knew his name. Why would your friend know the name of something like that? Where did you see it? It was on the Desire continent, in the sands of Kogor. That's the continent to the southwest of Tolbikia. The continent of Desire. The desert. You don't just go marching off to a desert because someone saw a monster. He's right, you know. I wonder if that fairy tale could be... Fairy tale? Something I read at the castle. A tale about a monster that speaks, who lives in the sands of Kogor. There are always stories like that. Like the one about the monster in the sea who talks to people. I think you've got it backwards. Backwards? Such creatures do exist, but they have simply become the stuff of legend. It's like the saying, where there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah, but are you thinking of going all the way to a place like that alone, Estelle? Huh? Well, I... If we don't keep up this little bodyguard operation, she'll really march off on her own. What do you think? Let's take this as our first guild assignment. Hey, you're right! We'd be breaking our own laws if we let her go alone. That's right. 
But if this is a real job, we'll have to charge Estelle our fee. Oh, we don't need to worry about something like money, right? Nope, no exceptions. Money is a necessity for running a guild. Um, I'm afraid I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. In that case, why don't we just figure something out later? I'll pay the fee, I promise. So let's all go together. Okay, looks like that settles it. This way we can all continue the journey. All right, super ultra courageous braves, fall out! W what is that? Huh? That's our guild's name! We can't go with that. We need something easy to say that has a real snap to it. Oh, really? Well... How about something like... Brave Vesperia. It's the star that gives off the brightest light in the night sky. The brightest star! Cool! Brave Vesperia. Hmm. I like it. Let's stick with that. Okay, that settles it! Let's get to Torum Harbor and charter a boat! We're off on an ocean voyage to the continent of Desier! Didn't you want to take a break at Halyard? Ah, uh, who needs it? Either way, we can't get to Torum without passing through Heliord. I'd also like to see how they've been doing since the Blastia went out of control. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Alright, we'll just stop in for a quick look around the city. Okay. So, first to Heliord, then from Torum to Desier by boat. Okay, I'll try again. Brave Vesperia, fall out! Arr! Oh my. Doesn't the city seem less busy than before? Yeah, this place has gotten a lot more ghost towny. Now that you mention it, maybe. Huh? What's wrong? In Dongrest, I heard that the construction work here is so brutal that tons of people have been fleeing. I don't know if that's true or not, though. Huh, interesting. She has to do something about it. What do you mean? You can see it on her face. If that's the case, we should go to the inn and have a strategy meeting first. After all, we need to go check on the Blastia, too. Yeah, and it's not like Estelle can just let things go. You can't just ignore people's problems, can you? I know, I know. So then, let's go! To the inn! He sure is getting into it. He's so happy that he was able to start a guild with Yuri. Hey, it's not like I did this just for Carol's sake. But you care about his feelings, don't you? Yeah, well... Come on, we should hurry to the inn. I guess I can't let things go either. <laughs> Late night stroll? The scenery here reminds me of home. Huh. Your home must be in a pretty place then. I just mean that it's up high like this and has a good view. Not that I have a problem with heights. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you wouldn't, riding around on that monster. His name is Ba'ul, and he's not a monster. And it's not only because he can fly. We've been together ever since he saved me during the war. War? You mean between the Empire and the Guilds? This world always seems to be ravaged by some war or another. 
Yeah, I guess so. It was you who attacked Estelle here earlier, wasn't it? You're pretty sharp if you were able to tell who it was I was after. I'm just that kind of guy. Pharaoh also appeared because of Estelle. Is there some connection between them, between him and your partner? It's hard to explain. But you won't deny it, that you would come for her. I'm afraid I'm not very good at lying. All right, I won't ask any more questions. But if it looks like you're going after her again... You needn't worry. I won't be doing that sort of thing anymore. You have my word. You mean it? What can I say that will make you believe me? Well, you said you were no good at telling lies. It's not like we're all that different. I've got a few skeletons in my closet, too. He's a strange one. Well, shall we have a look around the town? We also need to have a look at the Blastia that went berserk last time. It seems like the area has returned to normal. Yeah, doesn't look like it's gone berserk since then. Hey, it's those guys we met at Nor Harbor. Mrs. Estelle! How have you been? Who is this? We help these people out at Nor Harbor. We can't thank you enough for all you've done for us. Where's your father? I haven't seen Teagle, my husband, for the past three days. Sounds like that rumor might be true. Don't you have any hunches? Yes. The night before he disappeared, he talked again about working to become a noble. Become a noble? What do you mean? When this city is finally completed, we will be able to live here as members of the nobility. Huh? That doesn't sound quite right. What do you mean? The rank of nobility is reserved for those whose service has earned the Emperor's confidence. But Sir Q. Moore gave his word to us. He said we would be welcomed as nobles. Q. Moore? From the Imperial Knights? Yes, he is acting as the current magistrate of the city. I'll bet he is. That is strange, though. I mean, the Imperial throne is empty and all. But then... then why on earth have we been working this hard? And what about Teagle? Is father not coming back? Hey, Yuri! You're gonna ask me why we don't take this on as a guild, right? I promise to take care of her fee when I pay my own. Well... Okay, that's fine. What? But I... So this means our next job is finding a missing person. Then if Q Moore is up to his usual stunts, we'll just have to slap him around till he stops. Right. The Knights do exist for the protection of the people, after all. Let's just make sure we're careful. The Knights could squash a little guild like us if we get on their bad side. As you wish. We'll find your father, I promise. Just wait right here. Well, that's that. We'll take the job. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Let's go find him. There's something very suspicious about that area over there. Yeah, even more so because it's marked off limits. I wonder if there's some way we could get in. Careful, guys! Remember? Careful! I'd like to pass if I could. 
Sorry, no can do, buddy. The laborers' camp ahead is too dangerous. <laughs> Thank goodness. Knowing you, Yuri, I thought for sure you'd try to force your way through. Well, proceed with caution and all that. Boss's orders, you know. But how should we get by the guards? I really think forcing our way through would be the simplest and most effective way in. No, I won't allow it! All we need to do is draw the guard away from his post. But how will we do that? Maybe by, you know, seducing him with feminine wiles. Well then... Well, Judy, you're probably the best choice. Yes, I think so. Aren't you sure of yourself? Well then, shall we? Where are we going? To buy a dress, of course. I can't seduce anyone in these rags. <sighs> Isn't what you're wearing good enough? No, no, my pride would never allow it. I don't really understand, but she appears to be going to buy a dress. So she's going to see the peddler then? Excuse me, I'm looking for some fascinating outfits. Fascinating? Are you out for a date? Well, how about this? Ugh, how plain. Hmm. Well, uh, how about this one? Nope. All right, then what about this? What exactly are you looking for? For example... <gasps> no way! I have nothing like that. Then could you possibly make one for me? Let's see... If you brought me a soft tail, basilisk scale, and a small bird feather, I could make you something nice. You should be able to get all of the items from the monsters on the outskirts of the city. All right, let's go. Judas really into this, isn't she? Seems like she likes this sort of thing. That's what happens when I get serious. Oh, you've brought the items. Wait here while I make you something nice. What do you say? Does it look okay on me? You didn't have to change your costume like that. So grown-ups are interested in these kind of outfits. All is ready. Let's go. Hey, are you seriously going out in that outfit? Huh? Something wrong with this? Well, I could see everything. Uh, never mind that. It's very cute, and I have a feeling that this is going to work. Before that, could you do something about your outfit? Oh, it's so hot out here. Hello there. Oh, oops. Did you get an eyeful just now? No, I didn't see anything. I didn't even see if there was anything to see. Oh, is that so? That's a shame. Uh, it's a shame. Are you going to make me say it out loud? Uh... I've fallen madly in love with your big, strong, work ethic. <laughs> madly in love? Mm-hmm. So, you get what I'm saying, right? Uh, um, uh, maybe. Maybe I'll just have to come out and make it clear. Would you like for you and me to have, uh, a little fun? Yeah, but, 
but uh, there's someone back in the capital I, I promised to marry. No, don't be such a stick in the mud. But I, uh, um... Good work. Can't believe adults can be easily fooled like this. And how long are you gonna stay in that costume? I guess this calls too much attention. I'll leave it at the shop. But what was the fun thing you were talking about? Going for a swim. All right, on to the next step. Huh? What? It should be easier to go in if you dress like a knight. Who, me? Carol would work just as well. What? Me? Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to do it. But really, a knight of all things? Oh well, if this helps us fool them, all the better. Hey! Quit goofing off over there! Huh? What's the matter? You should get back to your post before things get even more out of hand. What do you mean, out of hand? The mage we captured is running wild! Hurry up! Roger. Okay, be right back. Huh? Yuri? You got a lot of nerve locking me up in a dump like this! Do you have any idea who you're dealing with? Get your superior out here now! Rita, what is she doing here? Calm down already! I'll, I'll go call him right now! Shut up! Wow, she hasn't changed much. Let me go! Settle down, it's just me. Yuri? Uh, are you okay? Rita? Have you calmed down? Yeah. So what are you doing in a place like this? I thought I'd check out the Blastia here before investigating the air credit. And you wound up biting off a little more than you could chew, just like always. But what was it you got involved in? They sneaked the Blastia into the labor camp at night. I mean, that's already pretty shady. Don't tell me you were sneaking around investigating it when you got caught. Of course not. I was very stealthy about it. And then you got caught. Well, I couldn't just sit around while they were trying to do something weird with the Blastia. The people here have been threatened by the Knights and are being made to work. I bet Teagle's in there, too. We cannot allow this to go on. And what about this Blastia you saw? It was a Hopelon Blastia. It looks like they're gathering them up for a war. They wouldn't! You don't think they're planning on attacking Dongrest again? But why? After they've just set up the friendship agreement. It's gotta be Qmore. There's no way he intends to keep any promises he made to the guilds. Do you know him, Yuri? You met him once, at Kerbakram. Oh, you mean the guy with the creepy voice? I don't mind discussing things here, but aren't we forgetting something? That's right! We've got to rescue Teagle and the others! Then we'll put an end to that forced labor, get rid of all the Blastia they're gathering, and... Um... You can't just get rid of Blastia. They need to be recovered and taken care of. Then we'll have the mages and Ospio come pick them up. Wait, we're being careful, right? But... One thing at a time. R right. Okay, then let's get back to our original plan and head down. Okay. Hide! Ah, my lord. 
Are you sure you shouldn't be going to the sands of Kogo now, sir? <laughs> I don't have to pay attention to Alexei's orders. Using the money and weapons I have, everything will soon be within my reach. And I hope you remember to appreciate the work Leviathan's Claw has done for you. Yes, you will be taken care of, Jaeger. You'll take those weapons I sold you and attack the Union. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I'm afraid I have my sights set on loftier things than the Union. Ignoring the Don is a big no-no. He is a wonderful guy, yeah? Don't go forgetting that. My, my. It almost sounds as if you respect the man. Respect him, I do. But Leviathan's Claw always gets the job done. Oh, such dedication. That's just what I like about you. Don't worry, though. You're looking at the future Commandant of the Imperial Knights. That fool Alexei telling me to watch the Union while he signs friendship treaties with them. Yeah, you tell him. If it were me, I'd crush them in the blink of an eye with your lovely weapons. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that guy with the weird hair looked over here and laughed. He definitely spotted us, all right. So he thinks we're funny, does he? Man, it's always the same thing with these idiots. So now we know there's a bunch of people being kept down there. Yeah. All right, let's go free them from the idiots. All right, if we find anyone being forced to work, let's tell them to run. them. Don't get careless. Take this! That's what happens when I get serious.
who's here. And a group of those red eyes. Looks like Hugh Moore has become their new client. Hey, do you think that guy who talks all funny could be the red eyes boss? It sure looks that way from here. Get to work! No slacking off, you worms! Look, that's... it's Teagle! If it's money you want, you'll have more than you can use. Now work! Work! Wait! Who? Yuri Lua! What are you doing here? Uh, princess! You have no right to call yourself a knight. Brute force is not the way to honor the prestige of the Empire. Put down your weapons now. You will also release the people you have tricked into coming down here. This all might be easier if such a naive little princess were to simply disappear. All of your utopian ramblings make me sick. That's not the kind of thing someone with delusions of becoming Commandant of the Knights would say. It's you. You'll be all right now. Jaeger, get rid of them. Yeah, my lord. Nothing personal, you see. Just business. for such evil. We can't just let it go. You should dry off first. I must admit, you're very strong. Sir Kumor, it's the Flynn Brigade. Flynn? Well, send him away. We tried, but he insists on coming down to perform an inspection. That lower quarter lout, he simply has no tact. Gosh, Dwight. Yes, Jaeger. This is our time to shine! I think we better be making the escape, yeah? Ah! What is this? Please, step this way. Move, move! Time to get a move on! We'll get you next time! What an original line. If we don't follow them, they'll... Wait! Our job is to rescue Teagle! But... I don't know whose job is what, but are we following them or not? Everyone freeze! That's enough! Hey, just in time. Yuri! Can you get up? I yes Sorry, but it looks like something's come up. You'll have to head back by yourself. Say hi to the wife and kid for us. I will. And thank you. So we are going after them. Yeah, I'm sure Flynn has things under control here. Sound good, Carol? Yeah. Plus, I think Estelle's gonna take off after him any minute. Sorry. Jeez, we're going after them, right? So let's get going. All right. Yuri, wait! Gotta run, Flynn! Lady Estelise, this journey is far too dangerous for... <sighs> There's no sign of them. Looks like they ended up getting away. Where are we, anyway? A forest in central Tulpicia. If I'm right, Torum Harbor is east of here.
We should probably just get to the harbor rather than going back to Heliord. What? But what about Q Moore? Do we just let him go? I thought the purpose of your journey was to find Pharaoh. Well, I... I wasn't aware Brave Vesperia was formed to follow your random whims. I I'm sorry. That was never my intention. No, she's just telling you to relax. Besides, Flynn's on the scene, right? You can be sure he'll take care of things. Hey, Pharaoh? Brave Vesperia? Start explaining! Just about to ask the same questions myself. Huh? What the... What's wrong, Miss Genius Mage? Forget me already. It's me, Raven the Great. Who the hell do you... I told you, Raven the Great. Man, you're a scary little kid, you know that? So, what are you up to? With all the stuff you've been doing, poor Raven got sent all the way out here to keep an eye on you. Why would they do that? First things first. Let's go find an inn at Torum Harbor. I'll tell you everything there. Raven's pretty hungry, you see. I suppose there's no point in hanging around here. Torum Harbor is a good first step. Torum Harbor, then. Would that be all right? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be selfish. Okay, let's go. I know we haven't been gone for long, but I have to say, it still feels good to be back. Can I get you Pansy some tissues, or can we go to the inn now? I'm so hungry! All right, all right. Huh, so even the Union can't sit still when it knows a princess of the Empire is out on the loose. Then the Dawn knows that I'm a candidate for the Imperial Throne, too. Yep, that's why he told me to come keep an eye on you. So you're here to observe her? That's kind of creepy. Really? What? Is it just me? Anyway, here I finally catch up with you, and I wind up sticking my foot in that mess back there. It hasn't been easy for old Raven. But why worry so much about Estelle? It's only natural considering the state of things between the Empire and the Union. Each side is trying to feel the other out. The Dawn just wants to keep track of their movements. So, you're all planning on looking for this pharaoh by going to the sands of Kogor? Yes. Do you know what sort of place a desert is? Well, it's hot and dry, and they've got a lot of sand there. That's putting it lightly. It's not as easy as all that, though. Our plan is to get to the area together first. And then? Then I guess we'll go around and ask where pharaoh is. I don't even know where to begin commenting on that plan. So it's not just that you don't want to go back to the castle anymore, right? Um, well... It'd be easier on old Raven if you did, though. I'm just saying. No, I'm sorry, but I have to know the truth behind Pharaoh's words. Huh. Well, the Desier continent actually suits me just fine. Why is that? I've got to go to Nordopolica for another errand I'm running for the Don. Have to deliver a letter to Bellius. Whoa, that's pretty important. That's the boss of the Colosseum and ruler of Nordopolica, isn't it? Technically speaking, he's called the Duce. Do you know what's written in the letter? Hmm. It's got something to do with those monsters that attacked Dongrist. In particular, about that pharaoh chap you all are following. The Don thinks Bellius will know something about that monster. Looks like it just became worth our while to pay this Bellius a visit, too. Right. So if you don't mind, Raven here will just tag along with you. That's fine, but you'll have to follow the laws of Brave Vesperia. Got it. It's not like I can go join in your guild, you know? You understand. Why can't you join Brave Vesperia? It's against the rules for anybody to be in two guilds at the same time. And I guess, technically speaking, you are a member of Altosk. What do you mean, technically? So are we done? I'm gonna go get some rest then. Okay. What? 
What do you think Rita is going to do? Hmm. What indeed? Does this mean we're on our own until we leave tomorrow? Yeah. We'll all meet down at the harbor then. Do you really plan on helping Estelle find that pharaoh whatever? Yeah, I guess so. Didn't that thing say that Estelle was an insipid poison or something? Yeah, I heard. After something like that, I guess you can't just tell her to forget about the whole thing. But it won't help her if she uses that as an excuse not to deal with the issue of the succession to the throne. Yeah, I'm worried that might happen. What are you talking about? That's what is happening. Yeah, maybe. But... You're saying I should take her back to the castle? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. It was her decision. We have to let her figure out what she should really do. You realize it might come to blows with this pharaoh guy, right? She won't get to figure out anything at all if she dies. She's not gonna die. That's why I'm going with her. Ugh, have it your way then. What's the matter, boss? Mmm, I don't know if I like you calling me that. The boss is the boss. What would you have me calling you instead? Just call me whatever you called me before. This boss thing seems a little over the top. It makes me feel silly to have you calling me that. <laughs> don't you think you'll get used to it? Well, maybe. Well, you know way more about guilds than I do, right? I guess. The boss of a guild has to stand as a role model for everyone else. I wonder if I could be that great of a person. Come on, it's not like you're expected to be the best boss ever from the very beginning. You can take it a little at a time. For now, our guild has a job to complete. You're right. First we need to take Estelle to meet Pharaoh. But do you think we'll be able to meet him? Our guild's job is to figure out a way to meet him. If we can't meet him, we won't get our reward, and people will lose confidence in our abilities. That's all there is to it. I think we may have picked something a little too tough for our first job. It's more of a challenge that way, and our reward will be that much bigger too. Let's make the best of it. Yeah. I said that I will deal with things in my way of doing. But I let Qmore escape that easily. What a shame. I don't know how I could explain this to Flynn. I know, I know. We have Guild's job to deal with rather than Qmore. Yeah, I just can't let him loose. Men of his kind will never learn and will always repeat the same thing forever. I'll have to do something. I left the Empire and formed a guild for this kind of purpose. <coughs> he will get what he deserves. I'm just incorrigible. Whenever something or someone catches my eye, I forget all about everything else. I really lose sight of everything I was planning on doing beforehand. Yep, that's about right. I came to my senses after Judith told me. Until now, I've been dragging the rest of you around with me like there's no tomorrow. Hey, it could be worse. If you were Empress, one word from you and the entire Empire would run off to do your bidding. Yeah. Hmm. I kind of feel like coming with you was the right choice. Oh yeah? I've been able to see all sorts of new things. I still don't know whether I'm going to take the Imperial Throne, but... There are still so many things left to learn about in this world. And Pharaoh's one of those things? It scares me to think about it, but... I have to know who I am. I have to know what he meant by saying I was the insipid poison of this world. It sounds like you've made up your mind. Yuri? Hmm? I might end up trying to order you guys around again. 
Next time I do that, yell at me, would you? <laughs> sure. It's not the sort of personality trait that's easy to fix by yourself. Though there's another guy who's also a tough nut to crack, so I think we'll let him be the one we vent our frustration on. Well, I'm going back to the inn. I'll see you. Uh, I can't believe we have to travel with you. What? You ain't happy? Well, I'm not exactly jumping for joy. You're too glum. Lighten up! Didn't I stand together with you in the face of evil? That was only because you had to. I still haven't forgotten about what you did at Nor Harbor. You still remember that? Some people just don't know when to give up. I'm not about to make a list of all your offenses. Saying that I'd rather not have your company on our trip is already more than enough. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll be on my best behavior. I behaved myself at Cave Mock and Gasparos, didn't I? Yeah, that sure would be nice. What should worry you more is whether or not these old bones will be able to keep up with you youngins for much longer. You plan on sticking with us until Estelle goes back to the castle? The Don ordered me to keep an eye on the girl. I ain't got much choice in the matter. Sounds like a tough job. I wonder if I could hand her over to the Imperial Knights somewhere. I can see it in your eyes, old man. You're thinking bad thoughts again. Nah, not at all. Well, it's really too bad that you're gonna be traveling with us. But might as well make the best of it. What do you mean, really too bad? Hmm, ah, uh, whatever. Anyway, Raven the Great is going back to the inn. Later, boy! Oh? Are you going to look for that Q-more guy by any chance? Nah, just going on a walk. Where were you? Just out for a walk like you. What you said to Estelle earlier hasn't been gnawing at you, has it? What I said earlier? Didn't you say some pretty harsh things to Estelle? Oh, right. Sorry to beat you to the punch like that. What? You didn't beat me to the punch on anything. You were going to tell her the same thing that I did, weren't you? What, you figured it out? You don't have to apologize for something like that. All right. So weren't you going off to look for Qmore after feeling bad about hurting Estelle with what you said? No, I wasn't. <laughs> you don't believe me? You care for other people's feelings a lot more than you let on, I think. No, not at all. Well, whatever. What about you? Aren't you going out to look for him? I told you already, I'm just going for a walk. Ready to go? What should we do about Rita? That one has her own matters to attend to. That sounds about right. <laughs> so, first to the harbor and then find a boat? Huh? You mean... Are you coming too? Yeah. Wasn't there something you had to go do? You were going to investigate the air crane, weren't you? It turns out the one at Cave Mock the Commandant asked me to look into has already been researched. I hadn't really made up my mind about which route to take to research the others. So you'll be using us to help with your investigations? Well, there's no guarantee I won't run into trouble like back at Heliord. Anyway, it'll be safer for me this way than going alone. Nice to see your glowing personality hasn't changed. This means we'll be able to travel together again. I'm so happy. Yeah, I, um, you know, it's no big deal. Anyway, we were going to the harbor, right? Ah, <sighs> to be young again, I tell you. You got something you want to say? Whoa, down, girl. To the harbor, then. Oh, Yoder. Oh, it's you all. We meet again. So what's a successor to the Imperial Throne doing in a place like this? 
I've been working with the Dawn to officially seal our treaty of friendship. Is it going well? Well, I wish I could say it were going better. I can imagine. That Heracles monstrosity kind of made the Union really not like the Empire. Yes, and now prominent members of the Empire are voicing their doubts regarding the Friendship Treaty. The conditions the Don gave the Empire were for a treaty of equality, after all. And they are certainly not on equal footing with something like that. Yes, had I known about Heracles beforehand, I could have stopped them, but... You didn't know about that thing? You're in line to be Emperor! I know, but I have no authority over the Imperial Knights. The Imperial Knights act on orders from the Emperor alone. They do not report to anyone else. Well then, it's easy. Just become Emperor. You mean... Becoming Emperor isn't as simple as that. Why not? To ascend to the throne, one must possess the Imperial Treasure, Dane Nomos. But Dane Nomos went missing around the time of the Great War. Ten years ago. Huh. So that's the real story why we still don't have an emperor. And that's why Rago wanted to get his hands on Deinomos. What was that, Yuri? Forget it. It's nothing. Anyway, is it really okay for an imperial candidate to be wandering the streets like this? I was just on my way to Heliord. Ah, that is closer to Dongress than this place is. Negotiations would probably go smoother there. I believe so, too. Master Yoder, we should be off. If you'll please excuse me. <sighs> Against that many? You've got to be crazy! I wouldn't do that even if I had nine lives. What's going on? Halt! If you won't do the work I've paid you for, then I want my money back. Add the indigo beasts to the blacklisted guilds. Yes, Madam President. Isn't that the woman we met at Dayton Hold? Yeah, that's her, all right. Well, why do you guys know her? We just met her once a while back. Is she a friend of yours? I wouldn't say I know her. She's the president of Fortune's Market, one of the five master guilds. In other words, she's one of the top dogs at the Union. <laughs> hey, I just got an idea! What's up, Carol? Maybe she could get a boat for us to take across to Desier! Well, if it isn't Mr. Yuri Lowell, you've come at just the right time. Huh. I guess those wanted posters really do work. Listen, I've got a job that would be just perfect for you. Hard labor, huh? I like a man who can cut to the chase. As you may have heard, schools of mermen often attack cargo ships at this time of year. Huh? But I thought there was another guild that always served as your escort. It seems the leader of the mercenary guild I hire passed away suddenly, so they aren't available. The other Guardian Guild simply has no backbone. I don't know what to do. What was the name of that Guardian Guild you mentioned? The Blood Alliance. Gee, I wonder what could have happened to them. You're all as guilty as I am. Hate to disappoint you, but we're in the middle of something right now, so... See you around. Wait, Yuri! What about the boat? Hmm? Did you say boat? We've made a guild of our own. We're called Brave Vesperia! That's a wonderful name. Well then, shall we talk business? Mutual gain is one of the basics of all business, you know. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Sorry, but like I said, we're in the middle of a job. We can't take on anything else right now. We won't call it business then. Let's just say we'll cooperate as two guilds helping each other out. That way we won't be going against any guild principles. There are various... Incentives for getting along with me, you know. Um, well... All right, we can talk, but we need to go to Nordopolica. We can't afford any detours. Fine with me. The mermen are only a problem in the waters near here. As long as I get to another port, I'm good. 
Once we arrive, I won't have any trouble making arrangements with another ship. Wow, she means business. Literally. So, do we have a deal? I have the sinking feeling we just got tricked into something. Fortune's Market isn't known as the best group of salesmen under the sun for nothing. This isn't so bad. Now we have a way to cross over to Desier. I'll even throw in a bonus for all of you. Bonus? What do you mean? If we arrive safely in Nordopolica, I'll give you the boat we used to get there. Really? The boat looks pretty beat up, but it's still a good deal. Right? So these mermen must be pretty tough customers if you're willing to part with the boat. I'll leave that to your imagination. I figured as much. Marvelous. We have a contract, then. Now that we've settled the details, I'd like you to get to work right away. Just let me know when you've made your preparations. This is the Fiertia. She'll be your ship as soon as you've escorted her to Nordopolica. And this man is Tokunaga of Gullsong, a maritime guild affiliated with Fortune's Market. I'm Tokunaga. Very nice to meet you. He's only on board for this voyage, so next time be sure to hire your own pilot. We're not in a hurry, but these are important negotiations, so I really appreciate the help. What is the ship's cargo? That's confidential information. It's nothing we should be worried about, is it? Relax. We've got it covered. All right. Head towards Nordopolica. Go directly southwest from Torum Harbor and you'll see the Desier Continent. Nordopolica is at the eastern edge. I hope you won't mind if I go over the Fiertia's controls for you. You can only disembark from the ship where you see a dock, a port, or a beach. You won't be able to get onto land where there are cliffs. Of course, the ship can't pass over rocks, but you'll also have to keep her out of the shallows around islands. You might be able to take her into some rivers, if they're deep enough. However, if there's a bridge spanning the river, you won't be able to take her under. We wouldn't want to clip off our mast. And that's about it. It'll be nice if we don't run into the mermen, won't it? Hmm, that's pretty wishful thinking. You're quite the pessimist for your age, girly. I'm just a realist. Anyway, thanks for your help. Looks like we're gonna make it there on time. Yeah, Leviathan's Claw was going to beat us there if we hadn't found an escort for the ship. Leviathan's Claw, huh? That's a name I seem to be hearing a lot lately. Oh? They're the guild that's specializing in sales of Hopeland Blastia. Oh, that explains the situation in Heliord. Lately, they've been trying to steal our clients from us. If we weren't able to cross the sea, they would have swiped up another one of our major customers. Still, I can't help but wonder where those slime balls are getting their products from. Indeed. Hopeland Blastia isn't exactly the easiest thing in the world to get one's hands on. You don't think... The Empire is behind this? No, that couldn't be. It's mages that are supervising the Blastia distribution. Ah, right on time. Everyone, be careful! Ugh, the world's spinning. I think I'm getting seasick. Did that monster just say something? Voice sounds familiar. Well, well, aren't you a chatty monster? Man, could you be any weaker? I guess I'll go easy on them. Get out of here! You're pretty rough out there. It would be rude not to. You're true to your reputation. I was right to bring you along. 
I tell you, Brave Vesperia doesn't have any shame in working an old man down to the bone. Even while I'm looking for Apatheia and doing all sorts of other things. Apatheia? Isn't that what you were looking for back in Nor Harbor? That's right. That's nothing but a fairy tale. I researched it a while back, but eventually I realized that there's simply no way it can theoretically exist. I'm well aware people think it's a fairy tale. Why are you looking for it? Well, because the Don told me to. It's still alive! Voyage. Can you really call it a voyage when you're in a monster's belly? What are you doing all the way out here? I was hunting for treasure when I fell into the ocean, but a nice monster came to play with me. Oh, I'm glad you didn't become part of a complete breakfast. This is all well and good, but can we get the ship back on course? Yeah, sure. That wasn't all of them. <sighs> I've healed him, but he should still rest for a while. Well, this is a real problem. I don't suppose any of you know how to pilot a ship. You can? If you're gonna travel around the world, you'd better be able to at least pilot a ship. Then I'd like to ask you to be in charge of piloting this vessel. You gotta be kidding me. Ah, of course. We've made much better time than I thought. We could even afford to make a side trip or two. I'll leave the course up to you. With a ship, we can go practically anywhere we want. Estelle, I know you want to look for Pharaoh, but don't you think we have more important things to do for the moment? Do you think? I'll do what I want. Don't worry about me. We just started our guild. We should err on the safe side, don't you think, Carol? Yeah. All right, and feel free to give me directions about our course. The fog's gotten awfully thick. Yeah, it's creeping me out. Fog like this is usually a sign something bad's about to happen. N knock it off! Talk like that long enough and something bad will happen. Hey, front! I mean bow! Hmm, we're going to hit them. What is that? That's an old ship. I've never seen that type before. I think it says... The Atherum. There's no sign of people. It it's like it's calling to us. No way! Come on! Get the fear tube going! Hmm. No can do. I don't know why, but the Sarah's Blastia ain't responding at all. What do you mean? What the hell is wrong with it? You think this thing's the problem? 
Ooh, maybe it's a cursed ghost ship. Y you don't really think so, do you? Why don't we go take a look? It'll be fun. I love this sort of thing. What? Well, we don't know what's wrong with the Blastia. We gotta go take a look. Are you planning on just leaving the Fiertia like this? All right, why don't four of us go investigate while the rest stay here and keep watch? That should be fine. Okay, so repeat and I'll go. <clears throat> and who's the third person? I'm not going, no way! Yuri, why don't you decide? Gotcha. We need to think about balance when splitting the party. Understand? This ship could also be attacked by monsters at any time. I'd like to go. Do you mind? Oh, so exciting. You want Raven the Great to come along? <sighs> I can hardly keep up with you kids. All of you be careful. We'll set off a smoke signal as soon as the Ceres Blastia is fixed. Thanks. I think I just heard a weird noise. Look at that! It's no good. It won't open. <sighs> this is why I didn't want to come. I guess we just gotta keep moving. Alright, let's keep moving then. There's no use sticking around here. Yep, let's go. I wonder if everyone we left behind is okay. Oh my, what happened? I can't believe the mast would suddenly collapse like that. We're fine, but I hope Yuri and the others are okay. I'd be surprised if they came out of an impact like that without a few scratches. I... I'm worried about everyone. Um, would it be alright if we went and checked on them? Now hold on just a second. Who'll protect the ship while you're gone? I'm sorry, but protecting Estelle is the guild's most important task. I'm sorry. But I can't stand not knowing what happened to my friends. But will we be okay with just the three of us? What are you complaining about? That's where I come in. Weren't you told to stay put? Not that I really care or anything. Those words are powerless to put out the blazing fire that burns in an adventurer's heart. So you want to go inside the ship? Because the ship... It reeks of treasure. Uh, I don't smell anything. An adventurer's sense of smell is sharper than the teeth of a man-eating shark. I don't mind if you tag along, but you get in my way, and I'm leaving you behind. I'll be even more useful than a sea roach on the docks. Yes, I suppose we don't have a choice. Be sure to come back. I don't want to be adrift out here forever. It does feel a bit hopeless, with just the two of us. Uh, don't say things like that. Talk about something more fun. Oops, uh, sorry. <sighs> Thank goodness! You're okay! Hey, hey, you decided to come along for the ride, too? And hey, why are you bringing along more people? She kind of followed us here. I've come to see you, Yuri. Well, you certainly got guts, though that's nothing new. I've got more guts than a fish on the beach, I guarantee it. I know, if you didn't, you wouldn't have marched into that old geezer's mansion all by yourself. You mean Rago's palace? Is our ship going to be okay? Let's get out of here quickly! 
bolster behind that, I'd wager. You gotta be kidding me! The ship's evil spirits are surely at the bottom of the ship, plotting to make us one of them. Don't make up stories like that! No way that's possible. We'll just have to look for another way out. Right on. Let's go. Year 232 of Asul, 13th day of Blue Air. The Asul period and the month of Blue Air are from a time before the Empire. So, over a thousand years ago. That long? Adrift five and forty days. Food and water used up. Men succumbing to thirst and starvation. I cannot give in, though. I must see the clear Ciel Crystal safely to Jormgen. This crystal holds the power to banish the monsters, and with it the town may yet be saved. I have stored the clear Ciel crystal in my red chest, a gift from my dear Yuafan. It won't be much longer until I am in her arms again, and then we will all be saved. But he wasn't able to return to his town. He passed away here. Come on, Estelle. It was more than a thousand years ago. So, this ship's been wandering the open seas for an awful long time. Sounds lonely. I've never heard of a town called Jormgen. If this record is really that old, there's no guarantee the town even exists anymore. Yeah, I guess that's true. What about that clear seal crystal? I've never heard of it. The power to banish monsters. Huh. I wonder if it's something similar to a barrier. Do you think it might be here somewhere? Let me see if I can find it. Hmm? Uh, could this be it? He's clutching something. It must have been very important to him. You think it's the clear seal crystal? Well, it matches up with what was written in that diary. Hey, old man! You go get it. Um, no thank you. What is it with kids today always blurting things out like that? Hmm? Still a scaredy cat at your age, old man? How are you any different, Patty? Aren't you a little old to be arguing with a child? Here you go. <laughs> Judith, darling, you've got nerves of steel. Do you think it might be cursed? Hey, this thing's stuck. <laughs> Mons! Huh? <laughs> It appears to have the opposite effect. What are you talking about? It's drawing the monsters to us. Here they come! Imagine a more fitting captain for a ghost ship? He doesn't seem like the other monsters. Destruction field! Destruction! Then what was that? <gasps> it's getting away! Come on, it's not like we have to settle the score with that monster, do we? Jeez. 
poor Raven's getting too old for this. Should we get it back to him? I think that's what he wants! I... I want to deliver the clear seal crystal to Yormgen for him. You what? Would it be possible to add that to the jobs being done by the guild? We can't, Estelle. As a rule, tiny guilds like ours don't take on a new job until they complete the one they're working on. Completing each job to the letter is the way new guilds have to build their reputation. Hmm? Is the guild going to be sent running here and there by another one of this girl's whims? Hey, you don't have to talk to her like that, you know. Rita, wait. Judith, I am sorry. But I want to help him deliver this to the one who was waiting for him. I don't think anyone waits for a thousand years. Yeah, I'd get sick of waiting after that long myself. I don't think that's what he's talking about. <sighs> I'll find them. Rita. You all have your hands full looking for Pharaoh and escorting Estelle, right? I'm free to do what I like. Well, I'll come along too, then. I don't mind going either. Hold it! You guys have your jobs to take care of! You know you're going to end up sticking with us anyway. So I don't see any problem with us helping you out a little on the side. Thank you. Ah, how I envy the vigor of youth. You've got such good friends. You must be so happy, Rita. I I'm not happy at all. Really? Huh? Notice something? Looks like there's smoke outside. That might be Tokunaga's smoke signal. I wonder if the Ceres Blasty is working again. Let's get back and check it out! Come to mention it, we won't be able to get back the way we came. We'll just have to see if we can't find a better way out. Wasn't this locked earlier? I guess we can go back through here. Hmm, the curse was broken, huh? Don't be ridiculous! Now let's go! Yes, ma'am. If we could just jump down from here, we'd reach the ship in no time. Here. Where did you get that? I thought something like this might happen. So I brought this from inside the ship. I think I'm gonna gag. All right, let's go back to the ship. Oh! Good grief. If the Ceres Blasty has been fixed, that means we can say sayonara this hellhole. The Ceres Blasty has been fixed. So it seems. Oh, thank goodness. Of all the... Why do I always get sucked into these messes? If it was anybody other than me, you guys would have been left behind. Sorry about that. We'll never do it again, promise. <sighs> I wonder what caused the Ceres Blastia to break down. It just started working again. I don't have the slightest clue why. You really think there's a curse then? Perhaps the captain wanted to pass the clear seal crystal on to someone and reached out to us. No way. Dead people can't want to do anything. Doors get stuck. The Ceres Blastia stops working. Sounds like a curse to me. The world's a big place. There are many things we humans don't understand. I said it can't happen, so it just can't. What are you hitting me for? So, how do you like it? Well, the boss here has seen better days. Hmm. What's the matter? We don't know why it broke down, but either way, it's barely holding together. If we keep using this old piece of junk Blastia, we're guaranteed a shipwreck in the middle of the sea. Wow, so she's sensible when it comes to ships. What? She is? Well, what are you all looking at? Fine, fine. As soon as we get to port, I'm getting you a new one. Y you don't have a problem with that, do you? Seriously, this is a crazy deal you're getting. 
Hey, are we going to Nordopolica or not? Let's get this thing out of here. Right. I'm looking forward to finally getting there as well. So there's Nordopolica. Yep, otherwise known as the Colosseum City. Once popular among the nobility as a place for pitting criminals against each other in brutal contest, Nordopolica is currently run by the Guild Palastrale and has become a city of entertainment. Yeah, Palastrale's just as big a guild as the Dawn's Altosk and... My, how pretty. So, a party in the streets every day, huh? This is gonna be great! Parties, fireworks, and skewers are a match made in heaven! Hey, I'll have one of those skewers too. Since when are you on vacation? Oh yeah, right. A minion's work is never done. You're the Dawn's messenger, so don't be rude to Bellius. Young man, you are looking at a veritable paragon of manners and good breeding. <laughs> <laughs> Traveling in a group sounds like loads of fun! It's just a lot of noise. We've arrived safely, thanks to you all. Once I've unloaded my cargo, the Fiertia belongs to you, as promised. Thanks! We'll take good care of her! So, are the sands of Kogor still a long way from here? They lie far to the west of Nordopolica. Aren't there some big mountains on the way there? That would make going by foot a problem. Wonder if we could get there by boat. I don't think that's possible. Not many people go to the desert. I doubt there would be a place to moor a boat. Are you seriously going through with this? I told you, the desert is really dangerous. I can't just let you go to a place like that all by your... I mean... Heading into port, me hearties. Huge help! Right, mutual back scratching and all that. Oh, ma Madam President, it's an honor to, to have you here. Excavating more ruins? I'm always impressed that the guild boss himself supervises the excavations. The, the excavation of r ruins is wh what I live for. Who's that? That's Regay, the head of Ruins Gate. Ruins Gate? That sounds familiar. They're the guild that's helping the Imperial Mages excavate ruins. Oh, that's why I've heard of them. Well, I, I have friends who are expecting me, so if you'll excuse me... He seems like a nice person. Hey, you were talking earlier about a guild that's selling Hoplone Blastia. You mean Leviathan's Claw? Do you think they might be getting their Blastia under the table from those ruin guys? Ruins Gate is completely innocent. How can you be so sure? They're upstanding, serious, diligent. That's what they're known for. <sighs> well, I'm off. Take good care of the Fiertia. I'll arrange for exchange of the Ceres Blastia and for transport of Tokunaga. Sure. Good luck, brave Vesperia. Thanks! Mage is selling Blastia on the black market? That is so not good. Rita. Huh? Oh, yeah. All right. I guess I'll be going now. Going? Going where? I've got lots of stuff to do. You mean treasure hunting? Hi. Thanks for all the help. It was nothing. Thanks for piloting our ship, by the way. It's been real fun. Be careful out there. You too. Well, I got some work to do myself. Oh yeah, your letter. It's for Bellius, right? Yep. Hey, why don't we all go? Good idea. She probably knows something about Pharaoh. We'll just tag along with you and say hi to Bellius. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Of course, I've only heard rumors, but... Uh... 
Hmm. What? Is something wrong? Huh? Nah, it's nothing. Where can we find Bellius? The Colosseum, probably, since Bellius is the Duce of Polystrali. Bellius's private room is ahead. I cannot allow you to go any further. But we've come to see Bellius. What? Who are you? We're a guild! Brave Vesperia! I haven't heard of you. Do you have an appointment with the Duce? Huh? An appointment? Unfortunately, my lord only meets with individuals who have appointments. How about a messenger from Don Whitehorse? The Don? Oh, my apologies. My name is Nats. I'm the acting representative for the Duce. I will gladly deliver any message you have for the Duce. Sorry, but the Don's orders were to give this letter directly to Bellius. Is that so? Unfortunately, Bellius only receives guests on the night of a new moon. If you could perhaps come on the next new moon. The next new moon? Why only on the night of a new moon? I guess that's just how she does things. People can be weird sometimes. The moon just turned full, so the new moon is still a while away. So should we come back? We don't really have a choice if she's not here. Sorry for the trouble. I'll let her know that a messenger from the dawn stopped by. Great, thanks. So why don't we see what we can find out about the desert? And about Pharaoh, too. I'd like to get some information about the Air Crene myself. We shouldn't have trouble getting information about all of that in a city this big. You mind if Old Raven goes ahead to the inn? I should send off a progress report to the Don. Sure. All right, let's get going, too. Welcome. Staying the night? I think a companion of ours should have already arrived. A friend of yours? No. I'm afraid no one else has arrived today. <sighs> that hopeless old man must still be wandering around. Then why don't we go talk to some more people ourselves? All right. She's shopping. Give me one of these and one of these. E yes, ma'am. Wait a second, dear. Um, those clothes are. Uh, I'm sorry, but are you Eifried's granddaughter? It's just that there's been a rumor going around. People say there's a girl dressed like Eifried who claims to be his granddaughter. <sighs> huh? Granddaughter? That means... I knew it. Your total comes to 450 gold. Hmm. Uh, um... Could I ask you to stop? Coming here. Is that because I'm Eifried's granddaughter? Uh, well, you see, I don't really mind myself, but our customers, you see. Huh? What? Wait just a second. I didn't say anything like that. Darling, you just said it hurt our reputation if the granddaughter of an outlaw shopped here. Well, yeah, she's the granddaughter of a guy who violated the guild's morals and slaughtered tons of people. Well, that's... 
Cut the crap. What? Do you honestly think a child is responsible for that? What exactly did she do that was wrong? It's okay, Yuri. No need to get angry. This kind of stuff happens all the time. What is up with you? He was saying all of that for your sake. You don't have to worry about me. I'm leaving town soon enough anyway. Farewell. Uh, hey, wait up! <sighs> Ugh, I swear. Patty is Eifried's granddaughter? I wonder what that's all about. She never mentioned that before. I wonder if it's true. I don't know. Who knows? But even so, is Eifried's reputation really that bad? After the Black Hope Massacre, he lost the trust of every guild. And now most guild members utterly despise him. Ah, okay. Uh, Yuri... Are you sure it's okay to let her go? This is Patty we're talking about. She's a strong girl. I'm sure she'll be fine. Right. Anyway, if we don't get back soon, the old man might get sick of waiting and start some mischief again. That's true. Oh, you're the customers from before. Wait a second. You wouldn't happen to have a companion who's a flashy dresser. Well, flashy's one way to describe them. I see. Your rooms have already been paid for, so please, make yourselves at home. Shall we call it a day? Good idea. We've earned a good night's sleep. Are you missing the castle? No, I just... I thought I'd come out for some fresh air. I just can't shake those words Pharaoh said to me. Oh yeah. What was it again? The insipid poison of this world must be purged. The world's poison? Hmm. Yeah, well, the world is full of pessimists, that's for sure. For what it's worth, you don't look like poison to me. Was that your attempt to cheer me up? Hey, I'm just trying to be straight with you. <laughs> I guess I do feel a little better. Hey! Yuri, look at that! Hmm? That's Brave Vesperia. The brightest star in the night sky. There's an old story about that star. In the days of old, a great cataclysm occurred that plunged the world into ruin. Countless lives were lost as the people struggled to stand against the oncoming disaster. Its energies all but spent, humanity's hope seemed lost when a pair of siblings appeared. This brother and sister together fought the calamity and saved the world from annihilation. The sister they called Child of the Full Moon. After the struggle, she remained with the Earth. Her brother they called Brave Vesperia, and he ascended to the skies to watch over the world. The End. Wow, so you went and gave our guild a name with a lot of baggage. Now that you know the story, you should strive to make your guild shine as bright as the star. Yeah. We'll have to tell Carol about this. We'll definitely have to live up to the name. I'm gonna head back. You should too, or Rita's gonna start worrying about you. Okay. You 
started all of this? Huh? What are you talking about? B -b 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 Both of you, st st stop this nonsense! M -m Making a scene like this out in front of everyone! Mind your own business! You'd better put that away before you hurt yourself. Who the hell are you? Hey! If I'm wrong for doing this, you'll have my apology later. But I think it's you two who are in the wrong here. Damn it! Are you okay? Oh, thank you so m much. You were with, with m m Madam President C Kaufman. We're the Guild Brave Vesperia. Come on, you're like a walking billboard. <laughs> Let him have his fun. You're a gay of ruins, Gade, right? You might want to work out a little before you go trying to stop any more fights. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Thanks. Oh, uh, there's a f favor I wanted to ask of you. Far be it from us to ignore a request from Ruinsgate. Well, it depends on what it is. What did you want to ask us? Perhaps we could discuss this somewhere else. Could you come to the Coliseum? We could talk about it there. Whatever he has to say, he doesn't want anyone else to overhear. Sounds pretty suspicious to me. If Ruinsgate recognizes us, it'll help improve our reputation as a guild. Get too greedy with jobs and you'll end up neglecting all of them. Our job for the moment... ...is to look for Pharaoh and to escort Estelle. Yeah, you're right. I'll try to be more careful. But couldn't we at least hear what he has to say first? and then decide whether or not to accept? Yeah, maybe you're right. If he asks too much, we'll just say no. We don't have the time to be getting wrapped up in more craziness. Let's go and stop by the Coliseum then. We can at least hear him out. Relax. Nobody said we've decided to take the job yet. That can wait till you tell us what this is all about. All right. I would like you to stop the man who is trying to t take over Palastrale. Take over? This city? Hmm. The plot thickens. Why are you so interested in stopping them, though? It's not your guild, so why not just let it be? You see, we have been commissioned by Palastrale to investigate the ruins at the Coliseum. Come to think of it, this city's supposed to be super old. If s someone else took control, it would be discourteous to the Intelikeia. Intela... what? Ah, oh, oh yes, M my apologies. D do you not know of them? I have heard that th they are the ancient race who built this town and allow the guilds to be here. An ancient race, huh? Like the Kritya? Okay, so then who's this guy who's trying to rock the boat here? He, he's the champion of the C Coliseum. Huh? What are you talking about? He is a man who has entered the tournaments to, to take on Palastrale directly. His c consecutive victories have brought him closer to B Bellius. This m man is terribly dangerous. If he is not s soon eliminated, I fear that B Bellius may be... So as long as he's winning, Paul Estrale couldn't get rid of him even if they wanted to. So, long story short, you want us to enter the tournament and beat him, right? Yes. P please, for forgive my asking. Jeez, why didn't he just say so? Are you sure this guy is really trying to take over the Coliseum? Of c c course, and he's being b b backed by L Leviathan's Claw. L Leviathan's Claw plans to use the... Coliseum for income to, to, to dominate the other guilds. That sounds like a plan someone like Hugh Moore might come up with. No way! We already know Hugh Moore and Leviathan's Claw are working together. Hmm. Wonder what'll fall out of this tree if we shake it a little. 
Whatever happens, we have to stop Leviathan's Claw. Relations between the Empire and the Guilds will only worsen if we don't. What about Pharaoh? There's no telling when you'll be able to meet him if we get into this. Um, but... Estelle, what is it that you really want to do? What I really want to do... I... I beg your pardon. Is this a difficult decision for you all? There isn't anything difficult about it. What do you mean? We're going to do it, aren't we? We've listened to the story now, at any rate. Right! As a guild, this might not be something we can just ignore. So then, who'll be entering the tournament? Well, we can't ask Estelle, Rita, or Raven to participate. After all, this is a job Brave Vesperia will be doing for Ruins Gate. Okay, so... No hard feelings, but I'd rather not have to go up against Judy. Hmm? And I was just getting ready to enter. Oh well, I suppose I can sit this one out. The boss here shouldn't have to trouble himself with this. So it's up to me then, right? Um, right. So, d do you mean you'll take the job? Sure, beating the champion will be good for our guild's reputation. It's not a bad deal for us at all. Yeah, you're right. I see. W well, please proceed to the registration area when, when you are ready. See the show! Have a go! Beat your foes! Battle-hardened fighters! The Coliseum is currently accepting applications! You want to give it a go? I had a feeling you were going to be a contestant! All right, get fired up and head on inside! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the brutal battles of the Nordopolica Coliseum! First off, let's go over the rules of the tournament. This is a single elimination tournament. No second chances here. If a fighter makes it through three thrilling rounds, he or she will then challenge the champion. Fighters, if you best our champion in the ring, not only will you receive a fantastic prize, but you'll also take the position of champion. And now, on to the first fight. Yuri! You'll do great, Yuri! Try not to hurt yourself. <sighs> I wanted to fight. You're still going on about that? Look at all these people. Well, this should help advertise our guild nicely. In today's first fight, a new face in the Coliseum! Hailing from the new guild, Brave Vesperia, please welcome Yuri! His opponent, a former knight turned political activist with a prison record to boot, Gigantus Erengar! One a battle hardened fighter, one a fledgling youth. The outcome looks set, but is it? Welcome to the crossroad between heaven and hell! Our first fight is on! Fight! Hold still. I'll make this quick. Watch out! Distraction! Uh, I guess that was an okay warm-up. For our second round, we welcome the hellacious bandana-clad thief, Yugum Jerome! <laughs> Where are the starfish? Give me the starfish! Versus Wave Vesperia's Yuri Lowell! Don't let your guard down, young warrior! The battle has only just Knock your opponent down to the gates of Hades! Second round! Fight! 
You'll be gone soon enough. As you're ready! Get out of here! Destruction! We'll strike! I'll finish you! No way! That was too easy! On to the third round! A masked warrior undefeated with a sword! Johan Jumper! Soon, you will know the exquisite pain of my soul! Versus Brave Vesperia's Yuri Lowell! Is it blind luck? Is it pure skill? Everything will be decided in this one battle! Which of these warriors will extinguish the flames of their opponent's burning soul? Fight! Hold still. I'll make this quick. As you're ready! Get out of here! We'll strike it! Come on, you can do better than that! Wow, look at Yuri go! Looks like he's got the goods all right. Well, it just keeps getting better. Now it's time for the main event! Allow me to introduce... The current and undefeated champion of the Coliseum! What? What do you mean? It's the heartthrob with the steely gaze! Flynn Shifo! Yuri? What are you doing here? Huh. So you're the evil villain who's trying to take over the Coliseum. Very funny. Want to tell me what you're talking about? Huh, so we're being used. It seems that way. Men of the Coliseum, let the flames of your valor burn bright! It's time for the final showdown! <laughs> Aren't you cutting it a bit close? Hey, these people didn't pay good money to see a rigged fight. You could at least ease up a little. Like you're having any trouble blocking me. We'll strike! So, care to explain what you're doing here? You know, nightly duties and such. Afraid that's all I can say. Since when is becoming the champion of the Coliseum a duty? Especially for a captain of the knights. I'm not at liberty to say. I think it's great you're taking your promotion so seriously. But be careful you don't bite off more than you can chew. You're the one taking this seriously. It's been a while since I've seen you enjoy anything this much. And don't you think it's about time you return her highness? You'll have to take that up with the lady herself. Her highness tends not to listen to the things I tell her. Yeah, well, Her Highness isn't particularly fond of taking my advice either. Well, shall we put an end to this little show? How? If we quit now, they'll boo us out of the building. Yuri Lowell! Oh, you gotta be kidding. What do we have here? Has someone arrived to steal the spotlight from the stars of the show? Yuri, you've managed to stay alive long enough for me to kill you. Now let me show you my thanks. <laughs> Hate to disappoint you, but I got other reasons for sticking around. You are the only man ever to make me bleed, and I swear that you will die by my hand. Man, why not do something a little more productive with all that energy? Watch this! Whoa! What is that? Oh, it's a Blastia! I can't believe he tried to use it like that! I've got a bad feeling about this. That Blastia... Judith! Hey, what are you doing? What could this mean for the tournament? Oh, screw this! I'm out of here! 
you did this to me, and now I'll use it to destroy you! <laughs> Yuri! Come, Yuri, let me show you my new toy. Now you're starting to get on my nerves. think I'm gonna let you get away with using a blast deal like that? <laughs> You're all just jealous of my arm. You should really use that tenacity for something more productive. <laughs> Worship me! Fear me! Let me feel your rage! I'll kill you! You and that weird arm. I won't let you do this anymore. Oh, it's out of his control. That's what he gets for using it like that. This damn blast is not doing what I want it to. Monsters! What are they doing here? Kept here to be used in the tournaments. That shot just now must have destroyed the barrier blast here that was holding them in. He's getting away. Ah! Damn it. Guess we'll have to take care of the monsters first. is becoming a real pain in the neck. Less talking, more fighting! What? Hey! What's going on? Could this box be causing everything? Him! Hear me, Knights. Sodia will command this division and eliminate the remaining monsters. Shouldn't have that these people come first? The rest of you will defend the spectators with me. Don't let even one of the beasts escape. <laughs> Looks like Flynn was thinking ahead. He even sounds like a real captain already. We're getting out of here. Judith and your puppy dog already took off. Yeah, I heard. A hero's work is never done. Hello? Wait up! Hey! He got out of the city. He's pretty good at running away. Repeat is still after him. Hopefully he won't lose the trail. But what's the deal anyway? Why would Regain? Think he set us up somehow? Looks that way. He used us to keep Flynn from carrying out his orders. Orders? Relax. It doesn't look like he's here to recapture any princesses. He wouldn't go through the trouble of entering the tournament for that. Well, then what could it be? Good question. Whatever it was, I'm sure it was hurting Regé's plans. But Regé seemed so polite. He didn't seem too polite when he was making off with that case. This might mean Ruin's Gate is nothing more than a false front. Still, what could he want with that case? Just what was the clear Ciel crystal? About all we know now is that something in that box made my magic go all haywire. I never lost control of my Bodhi Blastia like that before. Hey, if we've got the time to be standing around chatting, shouldn't we be chasing after your doggy friend? You're right, we should be going. Repeat! Look, is this... Repeat will be able to follow his scent with this. We've got to get that case back. Yeah, there's that too. Guilds don't take kindly to backstabbing cheats. That's right. He couldn't just cross the mountains to the west without preparing first. 
We should be able to catch up with him. All right, let's get him. Do you think the Colosseum will be okay? Are you worried about it? Do you want to wait here with Rita then? What do you mean? This is a guild matter after all. Nothing for you little ladies to worry yourselves over. Sorry, Estelle, but I'm going too. I'm curious about that red case. Besides, I won't feel right till I give that idiot a piece of my mind. Then I... Decide for yourself. I... I'll come too. If he was trying to obstruct the Knights, then this could be connected to the Empire. Hmm, maybe. Anyway, the Colosseum will be fine. Flynn's got a handle on things. Well then, let's get our things in order and go after that jerk. No sign of him so far. Do you think he went this way? Maybe he used this to get through to the other side of the mountain. But this cave is the Weezen of Kados! A powerful monster called Terrapus lives here. It's supposed to be really dangerous. Or at least that's what Nan told me. Perhaps he went inside without knowing that. like he was hiding out here hoping we just pass him by well now let's have a nice long chat what were you trying to gain setting us up like that back at the Coliseum and get back that case you leave me no choice Leviathan's claw let's work together These guys are all over the place. Guess this means Ruins Gate and Leviathan's Claw are connected. So they pretend to help with the excavations, then swipe materials and sell them later, huh? Who oh, I'll make them pay, I swear. How could a guild as famous and renowned as Ruins Gate do something like that? Judith, wait! He'll get away if we don't hurry. Remember what I said? There's a really nasty monster living in there! Hey, what do you say we call it a day? Old Raven can't afford to get too far from Nordopolica without getting this letter to Bellius. The Don will hit me with another one of his thankless jobs otherwise. Well, I'm going after him. I can't let somebody like that just do whatever with the Blastia he takes from the ruins! Then I'm gonna get that case back, too! I'm going too. What are you talking about? You're staying put here. I'm not. Huh. This doesn't sound like something Brave Asperia can very well pass up. Yeah. It's our job to protect Estelle. If we all go together, we're bound to come up with something. Sure you'll be alright without the Great Raven? I think so. Good luck delivering the letter. Ugh. Jeez, aren't you even gonna try to stop me from leaving? Phew! Did you just hear something? Right here! Whoa! Wait! Patty? Ah! We meet again! You sure pop up in the weirdest of places. Still looking for Ifrid's treasure? Aye, that I am. Hey, what kind of treasure is it anyway? Prepare to have your socks blown off. It's the Maristella. What is that? Um, I... I'm not sure. Wow, even our walking encyclopedia hasn't heard of it. Out of Ifrid's treasures? The Maristella is the most precious! 
Well, has anyone found it yet? They're called treasures precisely because they're hard to find. You're a weirdo. Hey, I heard in Nordopolica that you're Ifrid's granddaughter. Is that true? Whoa, little lady, that right. I wonder how the Don would react if he found out his sworn ally had a granddaughter. Now that you mention it, the Don and Ifrid were friends since before the Union was formed, weren't they? But hey, you're lying, right? About being Ifrid's granddaughter. I mean, you never said anything about that before. It's the truth! I think... You think? What do you mean? I mean, I'm speculating. Estelle's asking why you would claim someone's your grandfather based on just speculation. Oh, well, that's because I have amnesia. Um... Amnesia? Yep. Then you don't know for sure whether you really are Ifrid's granddaughter? There's no doubt it's true. I think. Ugh, come on! Make up your mind! Which is it? Because I don't know. I'm searching for the Maristella because I don't know. So basically to get your memories back, you want to meet Ifrid, a guy who might be your gramps. And to find him, you're looking for that Maristella treasure. That sound about right? Aye. Someday I'll meet my grandpa. But... On a more urgent subject, shouldn't we be going after the red box? Oh, right! Hey, why are you following us? I was planning on going this way anyway. Then why don't we travel together? I'd like that. This isn't like going shopping, you know. I know that. If something happens, I'll help out. Well, aren't you helpful? Help! What is that? Air? This is just like a cave mock. Is there an air crane here too? What do we do? Charge right in. I don't think so. Judith is right. Catching air that thick is dangerous. I, I can't believe that something like that would s save me. Wait! Ah! It looks like we'll have to keep our distance. W what's this sh shaking? Is that the monster you were talking about, Carol? Uh, no! I've never seen a monster like that before! No, Patty, don't! Whoa! It ate the air? No! I... I can't move! Oh no! This is not... good. Hey, I can move. You're not getting away again. Rita, be careful! Don't worry, it's not harmful at its current density. What the hell just happened? The monster we just saw somehow normalized the air crane that was out of control. But that would mean that it can control the air. Could it be the same thing that guy did with his sword back in Cave Mock? Can we pass through it? Rita! Oh, uh, right. It should be okay. All right! Charge! Uh, Patty, please be careful. What's the matter? I have to figure this out. I mean, this is what I'm traveling for. Come on, Rita. I know, I know. We have to follow him, but I just... That air cranny isn't exactly going anywhere, is it? Of course not, you idiot. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, let's go. All right. Carol, are you okay? Yeah, peachy. No, really, I'm fine. That 
that monster's power. Was that the Rizomata formula too? like our little game of tag is over, Regay. <laughs> n no I'll have to show you my really real power. No way! Huh. So that's what's been going on. What does this mean? Was he disguising himself as Regay? I don't think we have time to worry about the particulars right now. Oh, me, oh, my. How terribly frightening. I don't know what I'd do if I were to end up like poor Rago. What do you mean? What happened to him? Anse found his body face down in a riverbed back in Dongrest. I just couldn't bear it if I ended up like that, you know. Rago is... dead? But why? Mm, afraid that's not for me to say. My lips are zipped up tight, for sure. smoke come from oh, oh, oh. they're throwing our canine friend here off the scent as long as we put up with the smell we'll be fine but I can't stand that smell we're going after them Uh, what is with this heat? We've passed through the caverns and come out on the other side of the mountains. So you mean... Those are the sands of Kagor. Whoa, you made it all the way there? The sands of Kagor. Pharaoh's here. I... am going on... to meet Pharaoh. Wait! We can't just let you go alone. I mean, our job right now is to protect you. Well, we did get the stolen box back, right? Yeah, I guess we can't just keep chasing him around. <laughs> All right, we'll take care of him next time. Hold on. Are you seriously going? Do you know what you're saying? This is a desert. It's hot. People die here, get it? I'm ready for it. 
I think. The desert is divided into three regions. Huh? The foothills to the west, the center where it's hottest, and the massive peaks to the east. Hey, hold on! There's a town between the end of the western foothills and the central area. Where did you hear that? I went there with a friend once. It's a nice town built up around an oasis. We'll hold off on any major decisions until we get there then. Sounds good to me. Old Raven wouldn't be able to think straight till he cools off. What are you gonna do, Patty? What's that treasure you're searching for? Maristella, was it? Well, I can't guarantee you'll find any clues in that town, though. Don't worry. As long as there are people, I'm sure there'll be clues. Well, there are people living there. Then I'll be joining you. Rita. I know. We'll make that our first destination. This seems like a pretty sleepy town. Well, in this heat... There are knights even here, though! I don't recall seeing such intimidating people here the last time I came. Alright, I'm off to search for clues about the treasure. Bye-bye for now! You're leaving? Oh, so you want me to stay a little longer, eh? Well, it's been fun and all, but I'm sure Patty's got things she needs to take care of. Uh, then I guess it's time for me to be off! Be careful out there. All right, shall we each go our own way for now? <sighs> On for that. Before I do anything, I want to give these feet a rest. Okay then, let's meet up in front of the inn after sunset. Okay, see you then. No easy thing looking out for everybody else. Well, I think we all could use a little time to think things over. <laughs> the kids are all right. Hey, old man. Sorry to have dragged you all the way out here. Oh, what's with that face? Hearing you apologize like that puts me a little bit on edge is all. I mean, you still have to deliver that letter to Bellius, right? Yeah, but if I can't see her until the new moon, then that's that, ain't it? Till then, I'm at the mercy of the princess's whims. Well, well, aren't you easygoing? You sure about that? If we spend too long out here and you miss the new moon, the Don will yell at you for sure. Nah, I'm used to being yelled at. If I gotta wait, I can wait until the next new moon. It ain't like we're gonna run out of new moons anytime soon. You certainly sound patient. You sure about this? Of course. Patience is something you'll learn with age. Ugh, I swear. Well, making the right decisions is part of being an adult too. I'll leave as soon as I feel like I have to. Anyway, let me travel with you kids for a while longer. Sure, whatever you want. My world is crashing down around me. I can't believe Ruin's Gate was secretly selling weapons. And that they were smuggling them illegally out of ruins. Sometimes you have to have shadow where there's light, I guess. That's so sad, though. Well, you don't need to worry about those guys. Just keep living your life the way you know is right. And lead brave Vesperia to victory with pride. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, we need to worry about Pharaoh for now. Yeah, we finally made it into the desert. It feels like we're almost there. Hey, once we're done with this commission, you think we could go back to Dongress for a bit? Hmm. Well, let's wait until we've wrapped up our current job to talk about that. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, where are you off to? 
Nowhere in particular, just going on a walk. What about you? Where were you going? I just wanted to get a look at the desert terrain we were going to be headed into next. It's good to be prepared. So how was it? It was hot. Well, I assumed as much. But it wasn't as hot as I thought it'd be. Hmm. Well, okay. But what I wanted to know was if Pharaoh was out there. Right. That'd be nice. Oh well. I guess we couldn't expect him to be that easy to find. <sighs> what? You want to go out and check for yourself? No, that's okay. If we head out to look for him, we should do it together. Oh, I see. Yuri. Hey, why the long face? Is the desert really as dangerous as they say? I don't think Rita joke around with such a serious look on her face. Yeah, I guess not. I've dragged all of you all the way out here. You should stop worrying about all of us. Huh? I mean, we're just doing what we feel like doing. But what about you? What do you want to do? M me? I. You were saying that you need to figure out who you are, weren't you? Yes, that's true. But Estelle, you're Brave Vesperia's client. If you tell us to go somewhere, we'll go there. And if you tell us to go for you, we'll find Pharaoh and drag him back here. Yuri. Then I. There's no need to rush to give me an answer. Take your time. <sighs> huh? You're still here? What? Were you feeling lonely and came to find me? Isn't the reason that you've been wandering around here because you're the one who's lonely and wanted to see me? You got me. Now marry me. I'll consider it when you're an adult. Ah, there you are. Who are you? Uh, just an acquaintance of hers. He's my husband. Well, whatever. I got the info about the Maristella that you wanted. I appreciate that. But first, is it true that you're Eifried's granddaughter? Huh? It's a rumor I heard. Is it true? Hmm. So it is true. If that's the case, then I can't give this to you. If it gets out that I did business with the granddaughter of a guy who broke the guild's rules, no one will trust me. I afraid is. I don't know about you, but for those of us who live in the world of the guilds, I freed is the most unforgivable guy out there. I can't afford to be involved with someone going around claiming to be one of his relatives. So don't you show your face in front of any of us ever again. <sighs> And if you pull anything on any of the members of my guild out of resentment, we're not gonna take it lying down. I can guarantee you you'll regret it if you think that World Cellar is no more than a map-making guild. But I'd never do anything like that. Oh, really? In any case, the blood of a coward who would attack ships while feigning to protect them runs through your veins. I can't even begin to guess what's running through your head. And as for you, I don't know if you're really her husband, but I'd suggest steering clear of this one. So you just take it all in silence, huh? I just don't know whether he's actually my grandfather and what actually happened in that massacre. I don't know what's true and what's a lie, whether he was a villain or a saint. All I know is that my grandfather was very important to me. That is why I can neither admit or deny what people say. So you don't even know who you are yourself, huh? I know that much at least. Then wasn't there something you could have said? It's okay. I'm used to people saying all sorts of things about my grandfather. I don't care about any of that nonsense. I'll just keep searching for treasure in my own way. You're putting on a pretty tough act. You better not start crying once you're all on your own. What good would crying get me? You see, my motto is, no matter how tough the situation is, crying gets you nowhere. Well, I guess it's really none of my business. Still, it's not like you can go treasure hunting without any clues. Oh, don't 
Don't worry, I've got clues. Later. You can't open that without a key. I know. Are you really gonna return it? Yes, I am. You got a problem with that? Nope. You saw what happened in Nordapolica. This thing made it so I couldn't control my magic. The clear CL crystal inside this box interferes with air somehow. Interferes with air? How could a tiny box like this do something like that? I don't know. That's why I wish I could open this box somehow. There's a good chance that we'd be able to find a key for the box in Jormgen. For me, this doesn't have anything to do with Estelle wanting to return it anymore. So then you're going to look for the town of Jormgen that was mentioned in that diary? Yes, if I can. If you can? I can't leave Estelle behind. Sure you can, if you want to. I'd like to leave her behind, but I can't. <clears throat> I've never had a problem like this before. Why? She couldn't be serious about going alone into the desert, could she? Carol, this is for you. Huh? What's going on, Estelle? What's this? This is payment for your services. I'm sure you'll be able to sell it for quite a sum. I want to thank you all for everything you've done. Huh? What do you mean? You haven't found what you're looking for yet. I'm afraid I must take my leave from you here. Take your leave? What are you going to do? You're not thinking of going alone, are you? My desire to meet Pharaoh is a personal one. Are you crazy? That's way too dangerous! Which is why I must go alone. I won't have the rest of you caught up any further in my own selfish quest. Do justice and punish the unjust. Huh? Oh, right. That's one of the laws of our guild. There's no justice in letting Estelle march into the heart of the desert all by herself. I don't think I have it in me to break our laws. How about you, Carol? Right! It seems those are the rules. I'm terribly flattered, really, but I'm afraid I can't let you. Estelle, wait! Have you all lost your marbles? We're talking about a force of nature here. Which is why we're all going together. I'll admit I'm a little scared, but I can't just let Estelle go off like that. You! You talk some sense into them! If I start whining now, I'll have to go all the way back to Nordopolica by myself, right? That's no fun. Ooh, there's no reasoning with any of you! Are you sure you're dead set on this? Yes, I've thought a lot about this. You all have something that's important to you. A goal you give everything to achieve. I realized that I didn't have anything like that for myself. And I knew I had to find a purpose of my own, something I can dedicate myself to. I made the decision to begin this journey, and I have to finish what I've started. This... this is something I have to do for myself. Okay, okay, you win. So we'll be aiming for the desert center. Huh? Hey, I tried talking sense into you idiots. Rita. There's actually no real need for you to come, Rita. You've got your air credit research to worry about, don't you? There's no telling what you idiots will get into if I don't keep an eye on you. The air credit isn't going anywhere. I'll go check up on it later. But we're not leaving until we've taken care of all our preparations. I'm sorry to be such an inconvenience to you all. I think we had a pretty good idea things would turn out like this from the start. Yeah. Thank you. Huh? Where's Judith? Everything settled? Yeah. Well, what did you decide? 
We're going to the center of the desert. I had a feeling, so I've made some arrangements. The innkeeper has agreed to help us. We'll want to be good and rested before we leave this town behind, that's for sure. You're always thinking about your next nap, aren't you? Yeah, but I sleep so much better if I have a little company. I wonder what Pharaoh will do. Can we stay the night here? Hello! Welcome to the Desert Oasis Mantic. What's with this night? Well, um... <sighs> will... will you be staying the night? Yeah, we're going into the desert, so we came into town to gather provisions and get some rest first. Oh, so it's you who wanted provisions for going into the desert. You know, it's... We know it's dangerous. Oh, I see. In that case, I'll get your provisions together before you set out. Your stay will cost 400 gold. Is that okay? Have a nice day. This town kind of gives me the creeps. All these knights stick out like sore thumbs. Anyway, time to get some sleep. Sleepy times! But man, I just can't relax with a knight standing out at the entrance. It bothers you? Yeah, it does. If they're here to protect us, there ain't nothing wrong with that, is there? All right, everyone. Let's get some sleep. Hmm. Yeah, thanks for the help. Um, I don't know your reasons for going out into the desert, but it would really be a good idea for you to stay in town. Thanks. We've already put a lot of thought into it. I see. Well, as I promised. Our canteens are this small? Looks like enough to me. Yeah, we should be able to get more water from certain types of cacti growing in the desert. Right. If we use them to fill up our canteens whenever we need more water, we should be fine. You sure know a lot. Thank you very much. You've been a great help. It's the least I could do. I'm giving that to you, so don't hesitate to use it as much as you like. Go out and turn right where the road forks. You'll find a lake at the end of the road. You'll be able to fill up your canteens there. Gotcha. By the way, what was with the knight who was here? He was guarding me all night. I was so nervous. One lie after another. That was a supervisor. The knights are here to make sure that townspeople don't talk freely to visitors from outside of town. Why would they do something like that? I don't understand the reasons, but it's on the magistrate's orders. People other than merchants like myself aren't allowed out of their houses. I see. That's why we didn't see any townspeople outside. I wonder if there's a crooked magistrate here, too. There was no magistrate in this town until recently, and then finally he arrived. Really? Yes. The Imperial Knights have started to move into Nordapolica of late. It seems they may have already gone into arrest Bellius. The appointment of a new Imperial Magistrate to our town seems to be related to that as well. The Imperial Knights are going to arrest Bellius? They say that Bellius had something to do with engineering the Great War behind the scenes. Bellius did that? That's what they're saying in town. Well, I don't think the Empire will be able to do much so long as Palestrale is there, but... Thank you very much for your business. Wait, but... Yeah, thanks for the help. Let's go fill up at the lake. We fill 
filled up our water. I think we're ready to go. Right. Stop it! Let go! Bad boys and girls that break curfew must be punished by the magistrate. No way! We're going to look for Mommy and Daddy! Leave these children to me. I'll see that they're properly disciplined. Stay out of this, stranger! Please, forgive these children. I will go and apologize in person to the Magistrate on their behalf. Hey... Wait, aren't you... My deepest apologies! Do you think that maybe... I could have handled that better? Hey, it worked, didn't it? Thanks for saving us from those bad guys. What are your names? My name's Alf. My sister's Layla. What happened to your mom and dad? They got taken into the desert in the Magistrate's big wagon. Someone told me they're going to look for Pharaoh. Pharaoh? Yeah. But what do you think they're planning on doing once they find him? And using the townspeople to do their dirty work? It's despicable. Hey, Big Bro, are we gonna go look for Mommy and Daddy? No, you're not. If you kids go into the desert, you'll die for sure. <sighs> Judith! We'll look for your parents. You kids can't go out into the desert. Really? I don't lie. You don't mind, do you, Carol? Nope. Fine by me. You're surprisingly agreeable. His guild is guided by justice, after all. Thanks, everyone! Here, take this, because you're so nice. A glass bead? It's a precious gem. It's our reward for taking the job. Now that we've gotten paid in advance, we've got our work cut out for us, don't we, Carol? Yeah, you're right. But what concerns me is that the Empire is investigating Pharaoh. Yuri, what's the matter? I was just thinking about what the Magistrate here could be planning. It's so strange that he'd be looking for Pharaoh. Though I guess it makes sense if the Empire wanted to eliminate a monster that was trying to kill the princess. But they don't know that he's after Estelle yet, do they? So why are they going after him then? How should I know? And we still don't know why there's a curfew in the town. Anyway, first we should go to the Sands of Kagor. Right, we can look into the mysteries of this town once we come back. If we don't rescue those kids' parents soon, they'll keel over in this heat. That's true. So then, to get to the middle of the desert, we should go through here, right? Yes. I think the parents of those children were probably taken this way, too. All right, let's go. There's no shade anywhere. Never imagined it would be this hot. Nobody lasts long out here without the proper supplies. What's with him? He looks like he's out for a walk in the park. Hey, old man. Aren't you hot? Hot? Uh, heck yeah. Uh, I'm sizzling over here. Burning right up. That lousy... I feel like the temperature goes up every time somebody says the word hot. We'll be fine, so long as we remember to keep our water well stocked. Right, the cacti. The parents of those children are out there with no supplies whatsoever. We do have Pharaoh to look for, but... Yes. Would it be alright if we took care of Alf and Layla's request first? Um, but... 
You've more than fulfilled your obligation to me. Estelle! Okay then, let's find their parents. Was that Pharaoh? Then he really is somewhere in the desert! Settle down. You'll get plenty of attention once we're done helping those kids. Let's fill up our water here. But this is... Ow! Ouch! What an idiot! Use your head a little! Looks like this situation calls for a little extra help. Canteen filling time. Me next! We need to make sure to keep hydrated. Right. We wouldn't want to get sunstroke. If everyone's finished, let's go. Better stop plodding along like a zombie, or you'll only make yourself more tired. How are you in such good spirits? Some people take pleasure in the suffering of others. Why, I oughta. Don't waste your energy. That sort of happiness simply isn't healthy. Hey, did you hear a voice? No, not at all. By the way, why were you in this desert before? I used to live in a town up in the mountains to the north of here, together with my friend Ba'ul. So, I sometimes came down near the desert. All the way to the desert? Anyway, we hardly have time to look for anything out here, what with this heat. Seriously, if we run out of water, we'll be goners. We need to find something like a clue soon. Yes. water don't go drinking all of it thanks Yuri hey do you think we could take five and you say I'm the one always wanting to rest yeah! <laughs> huh the heat's gone and baked his brains Oh, Carol, be careful! You'll hurt yourself if you fall! <laughs> Looks like he still had plenty of energy. Wait up for old Raven! And here I thought they couldn't bear to go another step. Oh, I think I'm in heaven! I thought we were really done for! Hey now, you gotta be tougher than that if you're gonna save the world, kids. Shut up! It'll be dangerous if we just keep going like this. If we turn back now, though, we'll only disappoint those poor children. We've gotta keep looking as long as we can. If we're lucky, we may even find Pharaoh along the way. That's right. And with this spring, we shouldn't have any trouble keeping up the search. If you've already eaten the poison, you may as well lick the plate. Yeah, you're right. We've come this far. How about your water bottle, Carol? Did you fill it up? Here. I filled them for you. Here's yours, Rita. Thanks, Judith! Thanks. Everybody else all set? Yes. All right, let's keep moving. What the? What are you doing, old man? Uh, you see, I was thinking that there's a pretty odd creature over there. Huh? What is that? Ah! It's Yuri! I thought I was gonna have a heart attack there. That's my line. Hey, don't tell me you're searching for treasure in the sand. What's this? A treasure that I freed hid. This chest? I'm surprised you were able to find treasure in the sand. An adventurer's intuition is even sharper than the right side of a dolphin's brain. Intuition? How unscientific. 
Oh, but you can't make light of intuition. Seriously? Is that the treasure you're looking for? Nah, this is just rubbish. Besides, finding treasure isn't my goal. It's recovering your memory, isn't it? Aye, and in order to do that, I need to find me grandfather's treasure, the Maristella. Yeah? You still haven't recovered your memory yet? Hmm, unfortunately, no. But my journey's only just beginning. She sure recovers quickly. I like that about her. Really? I'm like that too, you know? Hey, if we keep chatting out here, we're gonna keel over. Definitely. Patty, why don't you come with us too? Hmm, but I need to keep hunting for treasure. Shut up and just come with us, all right? Look! Up ahead! Let's go. Uh, are you okay? Uh, uh, it's... it's you. Do you feel better now? Oh, uh, my wife. Where's my wife? Do you mean this woman? She's right here. Please, hold still. Oh, water. Oh, I can feel the life coming back into me. Oh, that really hit the spot. Thank you so much. We're alive, thanks to you. You're our saviors. Please, it's nothing. We'll have time to relax once we get you back alive. What's the problem? Things will work themselves out. You're pretty crazy to say that in a situation like this. I'd like to thank you for saving us, but I'm afraid I don't have anything with me that I could give you. Oh, please, we don't need anything like that. No, th that simply won't do. Please, come to Mantake so that I can pay you back for what you've done. Mantake? Wait, are you the parents of Alf and Layla? Y yes, yes we are. Did you see our children back in Mantake? Yes, we met them there. They were worried about their mom and dad. They were even going to come out into the desert to look for you. Oh, this is terrible. We have to go back to them. Don't be so hasty. Do you think you two can go back by yourselves? Well, we... Uh, uh, that is... <sighs> no, I guess we can't. Then just calm down for now. Hi, that's right. Just lie down and relax a bit. Patty, I think that's taking it a little too far. A bird? In this desert? It sounds close. Sounds like it came from just up ahead. So we'll get to meet him. It's about time. I was about to shrivel up in this heat. You two come too. Yes. Make sure to keep a safe distance. You'll want to be out of the way in case a fight breaks out. Yes, okay. Something isn't right. Be on your guard. That's not Pharaoh! Yeah, there's something different about that voice. Monster. If it's not a monster, what the hell is it? <clears throat> Even Rapide's frightened. This can't be good. Let's get out of here! It's coming this way! Damn. Looks like we have no choice. Out of the way, you two!
What is this thing? I don't want to deal with it if we don't have to. Come on, guys. Fight. I guess we have no choice. I guess we got it, but... Oh, I'm so tired. Come on, snap out of it. It vanished. What's this? Uh, I can't go on. Rita, Carol... More simmering, dizzying heat, and grilling mollusks. I'm afraid even I can't take any more. This isn't good. What? Town? That dragon from the Weezand of Kados. <laughs> Go ahead. Hope you choke on my bones. We... collapse in the desert. And this can't be heaven. Where are we? Good morning. Don't you want a morning kiss? Oh, Yuri. Are you feeling better now? Yeah. How about you guys? Are you alright? Yes, it would seem that way. We all collapsed in the desert, right? So what are we doing in this town? Seems like someone came to our aid. Though we're not sure who. I wonder what kind of praiseworthy fellow could cross such a toasty desert and save so many people. We need to find whoever it was and thank them. What about the couple who was with us? They appear to have been brought here as well. So they didn't get a look at our rescuers either? Apparently they lost consciousness like the rest of us. I believe the two of them are having a look around town. I wonder, was it just a mirage? What do you mean? Oh, just before I blacked out, I saw that dragon that got the air under control back at Kados. Really? Yeah. Didn't you see it, Estelle? No, I didn't see anything. Then that monster must have saved us or something. A monster saved us? I can't believe that. Was it just a mirage then? So what's the story? Where exactly are we? A kindly gentleman is looking into that very matter for us. Kindly gentle? Oh, you mean the old man. There's no barrier here. This town is weird. I thought the mountains in the east were supposed to be uninhabited. Rita, Carol, over here. What's that? The monster that attacked us in the desert dropped it. I didn't see any feathers on that thing. That's one of Pharaoh's feathers. Why would that monster have one of Pharaoh's feathers? Hmm. Man, there's so much we don't know. Welcome back. And just why was it up to me to go tromping off on a recon mission? 
If I'd gone, this sweet young lady would have been all alone with you. That's far too unsafe. Unsafe? You can't possibly mean me. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I think I'm gonna gag. Suppose I don't mind people thinking I'm dangerous. Adds to my mysterious charm. It seems we're in Jormgen. You know, that town from the diary on the ghost ship. Wait, this is Jormgen? The town that needed the clear seal crystal to protect itself from monsters? It makes sense. They don't have a barrier here. That must be why they were searching for a way to drive away the monsters. But that was a thousand years ago. Yeah, and I find it strange that they were getting by at all without a barrier. You're right. Aye. What if we were to show this case to one of the locals and ask them? Yes, we might learn something about Pharaoh that way as well. I agree. That box! Do you know something about this box? Launchy had it. Where did you get it? On a ship called the Atherum, my lovely lady. Have you heard of it? Of course. You know about the Atherum, too? Y yes. We happen to come across it on the ocean. Did you see Launchy? And Launchy would be... Oh, Launchy is my love. I'm sorry to suddenly get so personal. Your love. Damn it. Hey, Carol. Your turn. You're hopeless. Um, all that we saw was, uh, the ship itself. Oh, I see. Could I ask your name? Oh, my name is Euphon. That's the name that was in the diary we found on the Atherum. Perhaps she's a descendant with the same name? Do you know about the Clear Seal Crystal? They say it has the power to drive back monsters. The Sage said it was necessary to make a barrier around the town. Is that what's in the box? Yes, we came to deliver this box to you. I, I see. Hey, is that the key? Could I have the box? Clear seal crystal? Looks like it. It's so sparkly and glittery. A treasure even more beautiful than sea sparkles blooming on the surface of the ocean. So who's that sage you were talking about earlier? The sage is a great Critian who came to our town from across the desert. A Critian? Well, creating a barrier is basically creating a blastia. Blastia? Uh... But we can make Blastia with current technology, right? There are people who do. You saw the Blastia at Emmied Hill in Ker Bakram. But I don't think that Sage guy is the one who made those Blastia with messed up formulas. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't really understand. But the Sage said that the Clear CL Crystal was needed to create the barrier. So Long Chi set out to look for it. It's been three years since he left. Three years, huh? You must be worried. Wait, this sounds weird. Yeah, the stories don't match up. You think she could have miscounted by a thousand years? How old is she anyway? The same thing could have happened three years ago, or a thousand years ago, probably. They say that history repeats itself, but who really knows? Is that Sage in this town? Where does he live? Oh, yes. He lives in the house farthest into the town. I think it might be faster if we went to talk to the Sage. Yes. Maybe so. Um, if you're going there, could you take the Clear Seal Crystal to the Sage for me? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go!
Excuse me. Huh? Hey, that's... You're... Who exactly? We've run into each other a couple times. You? How have you come to this place? What do you mean, how? We walked. As in, across the desert. I see. And yet, how did you... Hmm? No matter. For what reason have you come? We're a little curious about this. This must have cost you dearly to obtain. Actually, it just sort of landed in our lap. Hmm. That was quite a miracle. You're planning on making a barrier blast you, aren't you? You're free to go pretending you're a sage, but forget about making any blastia. Who would even consider building a barrier blastia with something that's so obviously not a core? But it is a solid mass of air. It simply lacks an inscribed formula. Lacks an inscribed formula? What do you mean? They are most commonly known as apatheia, of which the clear CL crystal is one example. So this is an apatheia? The treasure you've been looking for, old man? Also, I am not the sage. Huh? No such being exists any longer. Mm, that's a problem. Uh, we'll need to get that back from you in that case. Neither I nor humanity have a need for such a thing. Whoa! What are you doing? Hold on a sec! <laughs> It's the same phenomenon we saw at Cave Mock! Oh, man. Just when I found one. The Apatheia bring only chaos to humanity. They are better off returned to air. Return to air? Is that really all you did just now? It's still no reason to go smashing other people's things. What kind of a person treats treasure so poorly? Wasn't the clear seal crystal, the Apatheia, needed to save this town from the monsters? This town has no use for a barrier, and no need to be saved. This place has been granted everlasting calm. Come to mention it, it is pretty quiet here. But still, there are monsters like Pharaoh nearby. How do you know of Pharaoh? I'd ask you the same thing. You seem to know about him yourself. Please, tell us what you know. Pharaoh referred to me as a poison. I see. You know something, don't you? There is a being in this world who possesses a power the Endelikea despise. You mean... me? This being is known as the Child of the Full Moon. Child of the Full Moon? Like in the legend. By Entelikea, you mean Pharaoh? That is correct. But what would the Entelikea have against me? Against a child of the full moon? What is this power the child of the full moon possesses that they despise? That answer lies only within the hearts of the Entelikea themselves. Which means I've got no choice but to find Pharaoh and ask him myself. Do not be foolish. Meeting Pharaoh would end only in the death of the child of the full moon. But... Estelle, give it a rest. Hey, Regay, uh, Jaeger from Ruinsgate talked about the Entelikea earlier, didn't he? Something about them being the ancient race that built Nordopolica. So Pharaoh built Nordopolica? That doesn't seem possible. Take your leave. There's nothing more for you here. Wait, there's something I want to ask you, too. What were you doing at that Air Crene? Just who are you? What is that sword of yours? Those matters exceed your comprehension. Do not ask of them again. Go. I have nothing more to say. Where do you get off? Rita. Do 
Luke may have been the one that saved us in the desert. Hmm, maybe. I'm gonna go and thank him. Hold up. He doesn't seem the type to do something like that. You don't think so? Just a hunch. You said that child of the full moon he mentioned was the sister of Brave Vesperia, right? Yeah. Goddess who bathes this world in her golden light, you are named child of the full moon. Your brother, Brave Vesperia, watches over us from the skies. You remain bound to your mother, the Earth, and will shelter her with your unceasing protection. Is there like a hidden meaning in there? I'm not sure, but maybe it's more than just an old legend. Remaining to protect the Earth, huh? Could protecting the Earth have anything to do with ruling over this world? You mean like becoming the Emperor? If Estelle is the child of the full moon, that would add up. Which means all the previous Emperors would have been on Pharaoh's hit list. I've never heard of anything like that. Hmm. This all sounds pretty complicated. Yeah, I suppose it might be a bit too complicated for you, Patty. It's too complicated for you too, old man. Rita can explain it to you later. Me? Shouldn't we be thinking more about what to do next? I'm gonna stay here. There are things I've got to investigate. Investigate? Clear seal crystals, apatheia, all kinds of things. Honestly, I have a few bones to pick with Mr. Warm and Fuzzy over there. If you're all going back, we'll have to say our goodbyes here. But... Oh, that's too bad. I don't imagine the desert will be much fun on your own, but good luck. Oh, that's right. I can't go anywhere without crossing that desert. We can afford to take a load off while she's checking things out, can't we? I'm pretty interested in Apatheia myself. If we're going back into the desert, we need to take time to prepare. We don't want to keel over again. That's true. How about we leave tomorrow? Rita, one day should be enough, right? Shouldn't be a problem. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay then, we'll meet up near the exit tomorrow morning. Right. See you then. I have nothing left to say to you. Mm. You're not going to follow him? What's the point? He's not going to talk to me. So this was a complete waste of time? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Apatheia? When the air crane went berserk, Regay, I mean, Jaeger, was carrying this box. This box was what messed up my magic. You think the Apatheia is what's causing the air crane to go out of control? Judging from the evidence, it could be a valid hypothesis. So when the Blastia and Heliord was going out of control, you think there was Apatheia nearby? And the air crane and Cave Mach too? There may have been. Otherwise, maybe the Apathea has been damaging the whole world's air crane little by little. And a large distortion just happened to appear then. I see. It's really nothing more than a guess, but it could be right. You don't sound very sure of yourself. In science, you continually make hypotheses, then test them, and you get closer and closer to the truth. That's how it is. Hmm. Well, okay. Maybe I can do something with this after all. What are you going to do now? The next step after a hypothesis is testing it. Hey, old man. You can feel free to go on ahead to Nordopolica. Hey there, youngin'. What? You want to get rid of me so soon? Wrong. I just wouldn't want you to miss the new moon and your chance to deliver the letter all on our account. Honestly, I could do fine without your concern. Wrong again. If Brave Vesperia gets in the way of Altosk's work, we'll be apologizing to the Dawn for an eternity. What? You're too young to bother yourself with such fluff. 
It's a matter of Brave Vesperia being trustworthy. You see what I mean? We've still got time left until the new moon. We'll be fine. You sure? Anyway, ain't about to go back through the desert and that cave myself. If I got killed by some monster on the way there, not only would the letter not get delivered, but Brave Vesperia certainly wouldn't look very trustworthy to potential clients then, would they? In that case, we collect your bones and the letter and deliver them as promised. Oh, how kind of... Wait, hey! Anyway, just as long as you won't go blaming me if you don't manage to deliver it on time. No problem! We weren't able to find Pharaoh after all. Yeah, our first job as a guild was an egregious failure. What do you think? Should we go back to Dongrest? That might be best. But would you be okay with that, Yuri? And what about Estelle? I'd be fine with it. As for Estelle, I'll leave that answer up to her. All right. This sure is a serene little town. Huh? Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? No guilds, no empire. It's a little strange. Yeah, but I think it's relaxing. Yeah, but even so, I prefer Dongrest. That's how everyone is. Everybody prefers the place where they grew up. You too, Yuri? Well, yeah, sure. But if we're gonna work together in Brave Vesperia, we'll have to decide on a single place for our home base. We could always make someplace new, you know. Someplace new? Yeah, you know, everyone thinks of Dongrest as the Union City, but it's really Altosk City. It could be like that. Brave Vesperia could make its own city. Brave Vesperia's own city. Yeah, I like that idea. Well, either way, we've got a lot of jobs as a guild ahead of us before we can be thinking about things like that. Yeah. Now that you mention it, Nordopolica is Polistrali's city, isn't it? Yeah, if you think of it that way, Nordopolica is more of a guild city than Dongrist, even. Yeah, and Bellius rules the city, too. Nordopolica, hmm. Leader of a city, Duce of a guild. I wonder what sort of person Bellius is. You're always out walking around, aren't you? Yes, I guess I'm a pretty restless person. That's unexpected. You seem to have some problems staying put yourself. I'm pretty restless myself. That's not so unexpected, I think. <laughs> Maybe it's the wanderlust coming back to me from when I used to fly around with Ba'ul all the time. Yeah, back when you were wearing that weird white armor. Yes. Are you going to look for Pharaoh by yourself? Nah. Oh, then where were you planning on going? Only a walk. Oh, I see. Doesn't it seem like we've been meeting this way a lot recently? No, must be your imagination. So you weren't able to meet Pharaoh after all? But I learned about some very important things. The Child of the Full Moon, and the Angelicaea. But the only new thing we learned was what those words mean. As for the reason Pharaoh's trying to kill you, it seems we won't know unless we go and ask him directly. But you heard what he was saying. If I go to meet Pharaoh, he'll just wipe me out. It looks like we'll never know the truth then. After all this, it's like I'm being told that I should just give up. No, no way. Maybe... Huh? Maybe what I'm trying so hard to figure out isn't really that important to know at all. What do you mean? If I'd never met you, Yuri, and I just kept living my life in that castle, I would have lived without ever knowing about the Child of the Full Moon, or the Entelikea, or any of that. So maybe I could just go on living without knowing why Pharaoh wants me dead. So you're saying you should just go back to the capital? I think that's definitely an option. If that's what you want to do, I won't stop you. Yuri... Our contract with you is null and void at this point, after all. That's true. It's just, I don't really like hypothetical situations. They're not real life. 
and I'm not too good at pretending to forget things that I already know. <laughs> if you can do that, then I don't have any problem with it. But can you really? Then I... I can't do that either. But I have no idea what I should do in this sort of situation. You want to know the truth, but you don't know what to do. That'd be a good summary of your situation, right? Yes. Gotcha. Would you like a skewer? Is it any good? Why don't you try it out? It's my grandfather's secret recipe. What? But didn't you say you had amnesia? I know everything there is to know about Eifried. I traveled all over researching about him after all. That's how I figured out Eifried was the one who told me my name was Patty. Eifried told you your name? I. That's my oldest memory. Hmm. Just remembering that fond look makes me feel all warm inside. I don't know whether he's really my grandfather or not. But I feel that he was such an important person to me that I can't help but think that's who he is. I see. Still, it might have been smarter to keep that to yourself. I, but... You're used to it, huh? I, I don't let small stuff like that bother me. Crying gets you nowhere, was it? But even if you understand that in your head, your emotions aren't necessarily gonna listen. I'm more patient than a camouflaged stone flounder sitting still in a field of stones. Oh yeah? But your info broker turned his back on you too. It's nothing. Things will work out. Tomorrow is another day. What will be, will be. In any case, you need to eat up if you want to cheer up. Mmm. This is good. Didn't I tell ya? Glad you could make it. Sorry to keep you waiting. You'll be heading back too, right? Yes. Thanks to your help, we've recovered our strength. We were thinking we'd cross the desert with you all. That is, if you don't mind. Just make sure you don't go wandering off. How about us? What's our plan after this? I'm headed for the Air Crenae and the Weezen of Kados. But I am curious about the Entelikea too. I have the honored task of delivering this letter here to Bellius. I'd like to meet Bellius once myself! I mean seriously, the Duce! I want to see just what kind of person the leader of the only guild to rival Altosk really is! Bellius? Yeah! Bellius is the Duce of Palastrale, which governs Nordopolica. She's the most important person there. You're friends with someone that amazing, Carol? Huh? Friends? Well, uh... It's Nordopolica for me, too. I'm gonna see what Flynn has to say about those knights in Mantake. Well, that's assuming he's still in Nordopolica, of course. I... I want to know why the Antilochea hate the child of the full moon. Which means I have to meet Pharaoh. But there's got to be another way that doesn't involve Pharaoh. Right. Besides, walking around in the desert just looking for him wouldn't be easy. Why don't we all head for Nordopolica, then? You're only looking to find out the reason you were... attacked by the Antilochea, correct? Y yes I imagine Bellius could tell you if you met with her. Why? Because of the connection between the Antilochea and the Colosseum? I do remember Jaeger mumbling something about the Antilochea of Nordopolica. If we can believe anything he told us. Well... We'll pass through the Weasand of Kados on the way to see Bellius. Good enough? True enough. All right then, Nordopolica it is. Right. First, let's get back to Mantake. What about Patty? If I remember correctly, there were some people in Nordopolica who didn't think too highly of Patty. I'll be fine, as long as I don't run into any of them. As soon as I'm out in the open sea, everything will be okay. Then, will you come with us? Didn't 
Vesalius only meet with people on the night of the new moon? Yeah, we'll have to get a move on if we're going to see her. I'll kick myself if we miss the new moon and have to wait another month. Oof, we're finally here. I've seen enough sand to last me a lifetime. You're telling me? Look, there are people outside the town. Wonder if that means the curfew's been lifted. Jumor! Easy now. Haste makes waste. Indeed. We need to be cautious here and see what's going on. Hurry, hurry, all aboard. Let's all enjoy a nice little tour of the desert, shall we? But while we're gone, the children! I promise riches to anyone who can bring me the remains of that giant winged monster. Then your children will be able to live in the lap of luxury. Please, don't make us go! Stop your whining. I told you vermin to get aboard. Now get moving this instant. That's just how we were sent into the desert. Why don't they get on board themselves? Because they must know just how dangerous this desert is. Just like what happened to us. The giant winged monster must be Pharaoh! Yeah, but what's he want to capture Pharaoh so bad for? Well, what are we gonna do? We can't just stand by and watch, can we? I'll... I don't think it's a good idea to go right now. I'm afraid that idiot isn't gonna listen to anything a princess would say. Then what should we do? Carol, come here a sec. What? Yeah, I could do that. But I'd need tools. Wait, you mean... Yes, perhaps this will help. How convenient! You guys better bail me out if this goes bad! So you did pick that up? Well, it was just lying there. I thought it might be useful. Whatever. What's he doing? Now about all we can do is leave it up to the kid. What is it with these commoners? They're slower than slugs. Get aboard, damn you! Sir Kimor, everyone is aboard! Everyone except yourself. What? Me? Those who do their job slowly will never learn without punishment. Sir Kimor, please, I beg of you. I have a wife and daughter. If you'd like to stay here, I'm sure I could arrange for them to go in your place. Now be gone with you. Carol. Don't worry. That young man is very capable. Hmm. What's going on? Who was it that readied this coach? <sighs> Fix the blasted coach! I will find out who's responsible for this! I've gotta hand it to the little runt. You did it! <sighs> My heart was pounding like a drum! This won't do anything more than buy us some time, though. I think it's about all we can do at the moment. We're still in the middle of our journey, after all. Yeah, Cat and Carol would start crying if we try to tackle the knights head on. How about we make ourselves scarce before people start getting too curious? I suppose we'll be on our way then. Yeah, I'm sure your kids will be so happy to see you. But there won't always be someone around to save you. Thank you again for all your help. Guess we should lay low at the inn for a while.
Oh, you've returned safe from... Welcome back. Looks like they've still got guards watching him. You must be tired. Please enjoy your stay. That Chimor punk is really a lousy guy. Why are there so many lousy guys in the world? It's probably some kind of disease. It's gotta be the disease they call stupidity. So you do catch on. I bet you're right. I wonder why they're trying to capture Pharaoh. I don't know, but at this rate, they're going to send all of the adults in the town out into the desert. And once the adults are gone, it might be the children's turn next. No, that can't happen. If I just spoke to him as a representative of the Imperial family. Are you forgetting what happened in Heliord? Yeah, Stell. He didn't care that you were the princess at all. <sighs> He's not the kind of person who'll reasonably listen to the words of a princess. Whatever happened to the talk of going to Nordopolica? So should we help the townspeople, or should we help ourselves? Rita? Don't you want to know what the Antelikea is thinking? If so, you should put this whole business with Qmor out of your mind for the time being. It's a strange feeling to be agreeing with you, but... I think we should focus on meeting Bellius for now. Even if we captured Kumor, we wouldn't have the authority to try him for his crimes. If we can't do anything about him, we should focus on what we actually can do. If only Flynn were here. Flynn? But where is he? I wish I knew. Guess we can't kill two birds with one stone, huh? I'm sorry, Estelle. We don't mean to be ganging up on you. It disgusts me, too, to imagine that jerk snoring all nice and cozy in his bed right now. But... Rita, I understand. Lock up a guy like that, and as soon as he's released, he'll just end up doing the same thing again. Yep, you know what they say. The only cure for stupidity is death. The only cure for stupidity is death. I guess I'll have to play by my own rules. Two more. It's you! What are you doing here? Someone! Someone come quick! You would cross swords with a noble? Very well. I accept your challenge. No! How could this? You talk too much, Qmore. The time's come for you to make your exit. D do you have any idea the trouble you're in for even pointing that thing at me? <laughs> Wait! I'm not the one to blame! I've just been following orders! I had no choice! Then don't hate me. Hate whoever gave you your orders. Wait! How about this? I could use my authority to pardon all of your crimes. A fresh start! I may even be able to have you reinstated as a knight. 
I have no shortage of money. With enough money, I'm sure I could satisfy your every wish. Go ahead. Tell me what it is you want. There's only one thing I want from you. Uh, then what might that... No, stop! Stay back! Don't come any closer, you beast! I am Kilmore, the captain of the Imperial Knights, the man destined to become Commandant! I beg you, spare my life! Please, no! Not like this! I, I, I don't want to go like this! Tell me, how many times have you heard those very words? My people have taken control of things here. The residents of this town won't suffer any longer. That ought to put you one step closer to your next promotion. I'm heading back to the others. Yuri, we need to talk later. I know. I'll be waiting, down at the lake. Who'd have guessed this town could ever be this lively? Yes, it's a great relief to know the people here can live freely again. I'm still in shock that Flynn actually came. That was amazing timing! But Qmore might just cause more pain somewhere else. You watch! Flynn will have that guy behind bars in no time! Right, Yuri? Oh, uh, yeah. Yuri? Raven, you're gonna catch a cold. He wore himself out playing with all the children. You'd think he was 12 years old. Welcome back. <laughs> They're still going out there. I can't keep up with them. What happened to Patty? She's still dancing. I really don't get kids. I saw you having a good time, though. You're an awesome dancer, Rita. Shut up. Huh? The old man's asleep already? That was quick. Eerie? Just gonna go have a word with Flynn. I'll be back. Why don't you have a seat? You said we needed to talk? Tell me, why did you kill Kumor? You know it's not our place to pass sentence on the crimes of others. He was to be punished in accordance with the laws. And just what laws do you think would have punished him? The same laws that failed to punish Rago? Give me a break. Yuri, you... The laws have always been the tools of whoever happens to hold all the chips. Just saying that doesn't make it right for individuals to judge right from wrong, or for you to operate your own private court of law. If the laws are at fault, then fixing those laws comes first. It's for that very reason that I'm still with the Imperial Knights. 
but you can't deny that lives were saved because those bastards were put down. You'd rather tell those people, sorry you have to die today, I promise we'll change things soon. That's not what I'm saying at all. They're out there, you know. People so bad, they'll just go on hurting others. What can the average person do but be victimized by people like that? You know it was the same way with our people in the lower quarter. Even so, Yuri, what you're doing isn't right. Do you intend to rain your justice down on all the villains of the world? That's the behavior of a common criminal. I recognize it for what it is, and I've made my choices. Murder is a crime. And even knowing that, you intend to dirty your hands. Intend to? I already have. So this is the path you've chosen? Don't make me repeat myself. I won't. But it seems you don't yet understand the full weight of your choices. As a knight, I cannot overlook your crimes. Captain, I finally found you! What is it? Our barricade of Nordopolica has been completed. Also, it appears that the Hunting Blades are on the move. Sir, we must go to Nordopolica quickly. <sighs> Captain! Understood. Sir! Yuri? I know you better than anyone alive, Yuri. If you insist on walking down the path of a criminal, Yuri. So, you heard it all? I'm sorry. Are you afraid of me, Estelle? If you are, you can quit right here. Join Flynn and go back to the castle. I'm not going back. Hey. It's true, the things you've done are against the law. But I... I'm confused. It's also true that your actions saved the lives of others. You never know. Someday I might turn my blade on you. You'd never do something like that without a reason. If you ever end up pointing your sword at me, I'm sure I will have done something to deserve it. <sighs> if you're going to go with Flynn, now's your chance. He seemed like he was in a hurry. No. I'm going to continue on this journey with you. It's what I want. Traveling with you, I know I'll find the right path for myself, too. So what I'm thinking is... Here's to the road ahead. Thanks. Sawed logs like that for a good long while. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, it's called oversleeping. We're ready to hit the road, so get that sleep out of your eyes. Hey, old man, your eyes are all droopy. What? That's not good. Jeez. Huh? There are fewer nights than before. Yeah, Flynn and his crew went back to Nordopolica. That must mean they were traveling by night. Was there some emergency they had to deal with? They wanted to eat some fish, so they went back to Nordopolica. Oh, come on, Patty. They're not like you. Maybe they had to take care of the monsters from the Colosseum. I'll bet Paul Estrale requested the help of the knights. Hmm. 
We'll have to wait and see. Hmm? Well, it's just that Flynn said something about a barricade. Barricade? What could that mean? Are they out to arrest Bellius for what happened in the Great War? I can't imagine that Polistrale would be outmaneuvered that easily by the Knights. I get the feeling this is gonna get messy. Maybe we should think twice about heading back to Nordopolica for now. But the new moon's almost here. If we miss this chance, who knows when we might meet Bellius again? If I can't go to Nordopolica, I can't get on a ship. If I don't get on a ship, I won't be able to find the Maristella or recover my memory. That's all well and good. I'm just not in a hurry to get tangled up with that armor-wearing bunch. Me neither. We'll just have to be careful, like always. No use panicking about it. Don't forget, I want to take a look at the air crane and Kados. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. All right, let's head out. Good day. Ah, are you going to the Weasand of Kados? Yes, we are. Why do you ask? The Imperial Knights have sealed off passage through Kados. It's not just here. They've set up blockades at all of the routes through the mountains. Blockades? Why would they... I don't know all the details, but I heard that it has something to do with some danger in Nordopolica. What should we do? We need to get to Nordopolica before the new moon. I wish I could help, but they wouldn't even let me through, and I have a travel permit. Are you a member of the Fortune's Market? Yes. How'd you get your permit? The Empire issues travel permits to Fortune's Market so that its members can travel wherever they want. At least, that's how it's supposed to be. Right. But the Imperial Knights wouldn't let me go any further. I'm going back to Mantake, since there's no way to get around them. Should we go back to Mantake and chill out too? Hmm, what are we gonna do? Do you think Flynn ordered the blockades? Hmm, I couldn't say. Either way, we can't afford to be stuck here for much longer. Yes, it'll be a lot of trouble if we miss the new moon. But I don't think they'd let us through, even if we asked nicely. Well, to be honest, we can go take a look and think about how to get in. The hard part will only come once we've gotten inside. What do you mean, once we've gotten inside? They set up blockades to make it hard to get out of the mountains. Getting inside shouldn't be nearly as tough. I think that much is safe to assume. Well then, should we go back to Mantake to do some final preparations? No, we're fine. Let's go like we are. The Flynn Brigade? So, that's the blockade? Yeah. Looks like it was Flynn's brigade's doing, after all. But, what are those monsters doing here? Perhaps they've been tamed by the knights? This brigade is reminding me of Flynn less and less. What the hell is Flynn doing with his knights anyway? Hardcore tactics like this? There ain't any doubt in my mind this has something to do with the talk of Bellius engineering the Great War. So, how do we get past this checkpoint? Huh? Seriously? Let's do that! And then? What could they be talking about? Old man, do you mind keeping it down? Sorry, sorry. Now that sounds like fun. How about this? Stop it! Settle down! Let's go now. Hey, hey! Don't leave this old man behind! What the... Come back, you! Yuri Lowell! See ya! Have fun! That was pretty slick, old man. What are you saying? That was all thanks to Patty. 
Humans work a lot harder when they get rewarded, don't they? Rewarded? What are you talking about? That's our little secret. It's just between us, right, Patty? So annoying. It's our little secret. What is that nonsense? It's probably some useless promise of theirs. Anyway, let's keep moving. Hmm. Looks like they aren't following us. That was pretty fun. Hey, this is no game. Seriously. Now that's what I'm talking about. Combining Patty's brain with my technique. Two heads are better than one. Yeah, but they went and sealed off a dangerous place like this just to isolate Nordopolica. These guys mean business. Seriously, even bringing monsters to help? Whatever they're doing, it can't be good. I can't believe that Flynn would order something like this. Hey, what kind of person is Flynn? He's Yuri's friend. I've heard they've known each other since they were children. Sometimes orders coming down from the top don't make sense. The meaning can get lost going down the chain of command. When a brigade gets big and famous enough, things can start to get out of hand. You certainly know a lot about these things. It makes sense for someone in Altosk. Things can end up like that no matter what the organization. What worries me is how much of a hand Flynn had in all this. I'm sure we'll get a good understanding of that as soon as we can get to Nordopolica. That's right. But we should be on our guard. Even though I find it hard to believe that they've conquered Nordopolica by force. Yeah, I think the Palastrale would have a problem with that. Sorry, Rita. You won't get much time to investigate the Air Krenne. Ugh, oh well. I don't have much choice. It'd be bad if they caught up to us. Exactly. Come on, let's get going. Yuri sure is enthusiastic. He won't say it, but I reckon he's just worried about his friend. Do Flynn and Yuri really have that strong of a bond? Hmm, well, I could call it strong, I guess. Maybe. What? Are you jealous? Hmm, I'll have to hold a strategic meeting to stop Yuri from being snatched away from me. Try not to take too long, okay? Sure. It's completely inactive now, and it was overflowing so much before. Is that how the air was controlled? How could a monster do something like that? Is that air crene safe now? We'll be in trouble if air shoots out of it like before. It doesn't look like you have to worry about that. So why the air suddenly shoot out before? That's what's puzzling me. Maybe it was just a natural phenomenon? The probability of that is low at best. If that was the case, it should be emitting air at regular intervals. If air were emitted that frequently, it'd have an effect on the environment. Like how the plants grew so unnaturally in Cave Mock. Looks pretty normal around here to me. So perhaps something else interfered with the air crene and caused it to discharge air? What could do that? Only a formula or blastia could affect air like that. Damn, that would be our fan club. Seems like these knights are just as dedicated as the captain himself. Rita, let's go. Are you done looking at the air crene? Just let me think a little more. If you just need time to think, you'll have plenty of time once we've gotten out of here. Mmm, all right, all right. Take cover. Huh. Guess it's only natural they're guarding this end, too. Patty, do you have any ideas for getting through? Hmm. Raven, can you do something like you did before? Best not to press your luck when the Knights are taking their work so seriously. They don't look that serious from here. I say, woe is me! 
How has our illustrious Schwann Brigade ever been reduced to playing backup for Flynn? Enough complaining. If you don't like it, we better produce some results. There they are! Capture them! They found us! What is this? You three, don't let him escape! Ah, if it isn't Mr. Yuri Lowell! Hey, LeBlanc, it's been a while. Uh, and your highness! What are we gonna do? Oh well, here goes nothing. Wait! Attention! Y yes sir! Not sure what's going on, but now's our chance. Huh? Whoa! Raven, what did you do? Ah, it's nothing. Enough standing around. They'll catch up in no time if we don't get moving. We can't miss this chance. Yeah, let's head for Nordopolica, quick. as I'd have guessed. Yeah, security looks normal even with all the commotion after the tournament. It did sound like they had their hands full with the monsters that managed to escape. Yeah, but it's too quiet. Especially compared to the checkpoints back at Kados. I think Raven's got it right. The knights are up to something, and I don't like it. But it looks like we can stay in town as long as we don't stand out. So we'll meet with Bellius on the evening of the new moon, which happens to be tonight. Let's stop by the inn to freshen up and then go see about me. I'm finally going to be able to get rid of the Don's letter. Patty, what are you doing hiding over there? Don't you remember? A lot of things happened the last time she was here. Come on out. It'll be okay. Is it all right for me to be with you guys for just a little longer? Huh? Um, sure. We don't mind, do we? Right. But it'd probably be best if we stuck together until we left town. I have a feeling that even if we parted ways here, we'd still end up meeting again real soon. So basically, there's no difference between us being together or not. I really don't get that logic. I'm sure you're all heading in the direction of the Maristella. Yeah, I don't get that either. In other words, um... In other words, you want to come with us, right? Rather than traveling by myself, traveling with you guys is more profitable. If you want to come, then come. At this point, I really don't mind an extra travel companion or two. That's the spirit! I wonder if Flynn's already here somewhere. Do you think? When we finish up all our business here, I've got a few things I want to ask that guy. When you do, take me with you. Is everyone ready to go? Sh sure. You're shaking, Carol. Confronting the big cheese of a major guild about his involvement with the Great War is pretty intimidating. Come on, he's a normal person, just like us. There's nothing to be afraid of. But... Carol, you just don't know when to give up, do you? My, Patty, you've got nerves of steel. You're sure the brave one, Missy. I'm impressed. I'm just doing my best to be strong. You don't have to come if you don't want to, Estelle. I can't back down anymore. I don't want to. I want to know about myself. About who I really am. Sounds like you're ready to go. 
So then, let's go see Bellius. Just my imagination? We've come to meet with Bellius. You're... Oh, weren't you the emissary sent by Dun Whitehorse? Yep, it's a bit urgent, so if you wouldn't mind letting me through. You may enter. However, I must ask the rest of you to withdraw. What? But why? Are you trying to say we can't be trusted or something? I'm afraid that is what it amounts to. But... You can trust that we'll be even more tight-lipped than a giant clam. For sure. Let them pass. Duce, but I... I have spoken. Now that's more like it. Yes, Duce. I ask only that you not speak of anything you see here to anyone. Not speak of what we see? Why not? This is one of Polistrale's guild laws. Okay, then. We promise. Our leader, Bellius, is waiting just ahead. Hey! What's going on? Everybody still here? Yes. No. Here I had secret hopes we'd get a gourmet meal out of this. Wasn't expecting a trap. This isn't a trap. She is... Bellius? The very same. I am Bellius, Duce of Nordopolica, and founder of Palastrale. Didn't see this coming. So you can speak our language as well. You encountered Pharaoh some time ago, did you not? I would not think, then, that our ability to use your tongue should come as a surprise. So you're an Antilochia, too? That is so. Th then the ancient race that built this city was... My brethren and I. If this city was built hundreds and hundreds of years ago, that would mean... Indeed. We have governed this city for ages. Wow! That's amazing! Good old Don. How nice of him to keep me in the dark on this. And who might you be? A humble servant of Don Whitehorse. I've got a letter for you from him. I've known that old badger too long to be surprised by who he knows. But just how are you connected? I am indebted to him for his assistance during the Great War. The Great War? So the rumors that you were one of the masterminds behind it are true? <laughs> well, I did participate in the war. However, I never exceeded that which my duty as an Intellikea required. I was not a mastermind of anything. The Great War was fought against the Intellikea. At any rate, my acquaintance with the Dawn dates from those times. I have long lamented that a man of his talent was not born instead as one of my race. That's the first I've heard the old man had anything to do with the Great War. It is a subject he takes little pleasure in discussing. The Dawn has requested my mediation in the current trouble with Pharaoh. It would seem that even a man of his strength cannot stand against my brother's assault upon his city. Such a request cannot lightly be brushed aside. I shall offer my assistance for the time being. <sighs> Glad to see you're so reasonable. 
So some of you tear down cities and some of you run guilds. You Antilochae are definitely... interesting. The same might be said of you humans, I would imagine. Aye, that'd be true. Now then, this letter is not the sole reason for your visit. Is it, child of the full moon? You know about Estelle? We in Telekea can sense the child of the full moon. My name is Estelise. I have to know, what exactly is the child of the full moon? Pharaoh called me an insipid poison. But what does that mean? Hmm. I know not whether your fate may be swayed by such knowledge, but... Bellius, listen. Judith? Hmm. Is there something of which I should be aware? Pharaoh is... What the hell's all that racket? At last, we found you, Antilochea! Leader of monsters! Origin of evil! Jason! Boss! Well, if it isn't Carol and friends, you've got some twisted tastes hanging out with freaks like this! Keeping monsters to use in your Colosseum? You're an enemy of humanity, and now you die! You're pretty barbaric for a friend of Carol's. Who the hell is this little brat? Unfortunately, I don't give my name to rapscallions. <laughs> As if I really care. Where's Nan? Curious, huh? She should be leading the raid on the remaining monsters in the Coliseum about now. We hunting blades give no quarter to any who would obstruct the justice we meet out, humans or no. If you won't attack, then I'll make the first move, beast. It seems these men will not be stayed, lest I take arms against them. It is asking much of you, but please help Nats. What about you? I am not to be outdone by mere humans. Gotcha. Let's get out of here. Good luck. Nan have done this? You all right? Nats has gone to defend the Colosseum from the hunting blades. Please, you gotta help him. Wait, I'll... If only we'd come sooner. This is not the time for regrets. We've gotta go help that Nats guy. Yeah, which means going up. is now under the authority of the Hunting Blades. Withdraw immediately! Nan, you've got to stop! Carol, what are you doing here? You know that fights between guilds are strictly forbidden by the Union. What are you talking about? This job was commissioned to us directly by the Union itself. What? Harry, what are you doing here? Hey, isn't that someone from the Union we met in Dongrest? That's the Don's grandson, Harry. The Don's grandson? Just what in blazes is going on here, son? You're under the same orders from the Don yourself, right? To locate Apathea? Sure, but what does that have to do with all the commotion here? Judith! What's the matter? There! Nuts! Come on! Damn it! I wasn't done with him! Wait! I thought I ordered you to withdraw! Raven is with them, and he's an ally! Let them be! Nan! Aw, oh, down to your last friend? Why not play with us for a while? More of Bellius' minions, huh? We're brave, Vesperia! I don't care how brave you are! 
death to those who side with the monsters. This will make good practice. Don't get cocky. <laughs> Luna Crap! Man, these guys are just going crazy. Looks like we got here in time. You must be a healer. You've saved me. I wonder if Bellius is okay. Ah! Duce! Nats, you are unhurt. You would yet challenge me, humans? Your kind is the root of all evil. Root of evil, Bellius? You got it all wrong. Just look. All monsters serve evil. They must be hunted down. It, it is up to us, to the hunting blades. These idiots have got rocks for brains. You, you monsters are all alike. Judy. Duce! I'll heal you! You mustn't! Your power is... No! W what can this mean? She reacted to Estelle's formula? But this is... No! What's going on? I was too late. What have I done? If this keeps up, it'll bring down the Colosseum. Duce Bellius! Please control yourself! Duce! We have no choice but to try and stop her with force. But we're dead if we hold anything back against someone like this. I can't believe this! But it doesn't look like we have a choice! Bellius... Estelle, wake up! Right. Here she comes! Kill or be killed, huh? I'm sorry, but I'm not getting killed here. Kill me! Was I wrong? No, you weren't! You weren't! What is my power? The poison that Pharaoh talked about. Live. I won't hold back. That's the only way, right? Alright. I'm sorry. Oh, finish. Is it over? It's my fault. It's over. Don't say. No! What now? I never thought this would happen. I'm sorry. I... I... Worry not. You were thinking only of saving me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just... Power corrupts, but you, you are different. Never lose that kindness, the compassion you so readily show to others. Now, go to Pharaoh, if you would learn of your destiny. To Pharaoh? That's, there is much I owe you. 
do not harbor a grudge toward these people. Juche! No! Wait! No, I beg you, don't go! Bellius. Farewell. This is... Is this the same as what was in the case from the ghost ship? Anapathea! What does that mean? Convey my soul, this cyano seal, to my ally, Don Whitehorse! Must have been what Harry meant. Humans, we'll be taking that stone. Is this what you guys were after? Hope you don't think we'll just let it go. Then, we'll just have to pound on you until you do. That's enough! Everyone throw down your weapons! Damn, look who's here. You! Take anyone still standing in the Coliseum into custody. We're gonna wind up in chains if we don't blow this scene. But we haven't done anything to warrant being arrested. I don't think they'd have any trouble cooking up a reason to put us behind bars. You're right. Escape is our best option. I've secured an escape! Hurry! Okay, we're getting out of here for now. No, I... I don't want to go anywhere. My power... It really is a poison. I, I thought I could help her, but... I only brought about her death. I couldn't save her. W what are you doing? There. You saved me, didn't you? What? Uh, but I... Let's move. Okay. Wait! This place is swarming with knights. We've no choice but to go out through the harbor then. But what if the harbor's blockaded too? Well, the Weasand of Kados is blocked off. If we have to get out of here, I'd say breaking out through the harbor is our best bet. Ah! Escaping by sea might be better, yes! Exactly. Sorry, Patty, but can I ask you to pilot the ship? Aye, aye. Leave it to me. Time to show you what I can do. I hope it's actually got a new Ceres Blastia, though. Perfect. Then I'll handle the Blastia. Hey, where's the old man? You don't need to worry about him. He'll turn up soon enough. Right. He's the sort of guy who shows up as soon as you start to feel relieved he's gone. Yuri Lowell! This is the end of the line! Lady Estelis, you must return with us. Captain Glenn is worried about you. But I... I... Estelle's not going back with you. All right, let's hurry to the harbor. Flynn! Looks like we can't put one over on this guy. Return Lady Estelise and the stone. Flynn, what do you want with the Apatheia? So the Knights are trying to get a hold of this thing, too. That's why the Hunting Blades were here. It's like what that guy in Jormgen said. The apatheia brings only chaos to humanity. So it's true. Hand it over. Whoa! Is he serious? Just what the hell are you doing? Using the military to get control of the city? That's taking things a bit far. Maybe you're carrying out your duty. 
But you can't just go around doing everything by force. Captain, awaiting orders. I thought you were with the Knights to change things like that. I don't know why I'm the one who has to be saying this stuff. You know it full well yourself. <sighs> Cat got your tongue? I mean, how's this any different from what I've come to expect from the Empire? Are you gonna follow Rago and Kumor's examples? If I did, would you just kill me as well? Would you do away with me like you did Rago and Kumor? Huh? What is he? If you go and become a villain, you won't be giving me much choice. Yuri? You mind saving this charming little squabble for another time? We're sort of in a hurry, right? <laughs> Come on! Captain! What was Flynn saying about Yuri and Rago? Save it! You men, raise the anchor! Yeah, man! Raise the anchor! Raven! Where did you come from? Don't suppose it'd be too much trouble to take one more with us. Hey! That's the guy! You're the Dragon Freak! Judy, wait! Goodbye. Judith? Why? Why? Our genius mage has given the Sarasblastia her undivided attention. Sounds like the core on the new Blastia is pretty much totaled. It's a good thing we had that merchant lady change the Sarasblastia for us. That's Kaufman for you. She always goes above and beyond in keeping her word. So luckily we still had the old Blastia around. Either way, looks like we'll be drifting out here for now. Looks that way. I'm worried about the ship's heading. I'll go check it out. What are Carol and Estelle up to? They're a bit down in the dumps. Why don't you go check in on them? You'd probably be better at cheering them up, old man. You know I'm not cut out for that stuff. Guess I've had a hand in dampening the mood around here, too. Might as well see how they're doing. There you are, boy. You sure have your own way of doing things, old man. Then again, I guess it's your only redeeming quality. Hey, way to hurt a man's feelings. I've got a ton of redeeming qualities. That's one list you can just keep to yourself. I have to tell you, I was so surprised to find out that Bellius was that beast. Sorry, I mean Antelakea, was it? Yeah, but it seems like the story about her engineering the Great War was a lie. Probably just an excuse the Empire made up for them to invade Nordopolica. Maybe, yeah. 
So is that the Don's grandson? How'd he end up here anyway? This idiot got fed false information by Leviathan's claw and acted without thinking. I heard that an ally of the Don's had been captured by a monster, and I thought I'd come to save him. And then, I heard that the monster possessed Apatheia, so... They said that Bellius had been captured? Apparently that's what Leviathan's Claw said. So they went down there with the hunting blades to kill the monster. And that monster was actually Bellius. So even though you got the Apatheia, the ally you were supposed to save ended up dying. Yeah. You need to learn to take things slower. Check your information before you rush out all ready for battle. Damn it! What the hell do you know? Things like this happen, I guess. Having the Don for a grandfather puts a lot of pressure on the boy. Anyone with a grandfather like that would be expected to work their butt off, yeah. Everyone expects too much of him. So he works hard not to let anyone down. And then things like this happen. Palastrale is not going to be too happy about this. Even if he didn't have any choice but to fight, I doubt they'll take that for an excuse. That Nats guy should forgive us, I think. That would be nice, but Nats isn't the Duce. It's the others in the guild we have to worry about. Well, I don't know how to get out of this mess. For now, I'm going to take him to see the Don. Take the ship to Doncrest as soon as it's working again, would you? Gotcha. I actually do know how to get out of this, but... An eye for an eye. It's a matter between guilds, after all. So many things to deal with. I'm a little mixed up. Sorry for dragging you around, Repeat. Right. There's nothing else to be sorry about after all these years. <laughs> okay, so what should we start with? Before anything else, we'll need to have the ship moving. Does it look like it'll be okay? Oh, well, it's pretty bad. Jeez, this isn't usable at all. Damn it. I can't believe that Judith was... Why was she with us in the first place? That dragon, Baul, right? It attacked us back in Heliord, didn't it? You've got a good memory. That's not the sort of thing I easily forget. Do you think they were going after Estelle back then? Yes, she knew. She knew about Estelle. You didn't already know that she was that dragon freak, did you? Yeah. Damn it, I can't believe you! We all have our reasons for what we've done. You and Judy both. You mean... And me too, of course. You mean Ruggo and Kimor? Huh. I don't care much about what happened to them. What you did may have been a crime, but if you ask me, though the severity of the crime may differ, there's no such thing as someone suspected without cause. Are you saying the same goes for you? Who knows? I mean, even that woman was... Judy was a loyal member of our party. That's how it looked to me, at least. Yeah, that's true, but... If she had just shared what she knew about the Child of the Full Moon, and about the Entelechaea, Estelle's problems might already have been solved by now. It depends, doesn't it? Pharaoh told her she was poison after all. You know, it's possible she knew where Pharaoh was from the very beginning. Yeah, maybe so. Either way, I'll never forgive her for breaking that Blastia! Well then, if Judy comes back, you can feel free to beat her up. She's not coming back. Hmm, I couldn't say. Can you see anything? I don't see anything at all. After what happened to Bellius, and with Judith breaking our Blastia and running away, I just don't know what to think anymore. Oh yeah? And then you went and cut your arm like that. <laughs> that was painful. It's not funny. But you healed me. I couldn't just ignore you, could I? 
I can't just ignore someone who's injured in front of me. So what are you all rattled about? Don't you remember? Belia said to take good care of your kind nature. My power is the reason that the Entelikea hate me, isn't it? What's with you being able to use magic without Blastia? Even if I make an effort not to use my power on the Entelikea, to them, I'll still be evil. That's why Pharaoh was trying to kill me. But Velia said you should try to meet Pharaoh, didn't she? Yeah, in order to discover my destiny. But I wonder, is that really right? No, that can't be. I'm the one who'll decide my destiny. Now you've got the idea. Oh, Yuri! What's the matter? You look more serious than usual. Yeah, I was just thinking about how hard it is to put a guild together. I thought things might go okay since I was with you guys, but... Have you lost faith in your ability to lead the guild? No, not at all! I'm working as hard as I can! Alright, but I'll borrow from your attitude and do the best I can too. Hey, Yuri. Can I ask you something? Yeah? Is it true that you... that you killed Rago and Jumor? It's true. How could you keep that from me? I kept meaning to tell you. I'm sorry. Even though I think it's bad, you don't regret killing them, do you? Yeah, I don't. I just don't know. Flynn and Estelle were trying to bring them to justice, too. Did you really have to kill them? I think there are some things that you have to do, even if they're a crime. Someone has to do them, even if it means taking the blame. Maybe so, but even still... I just did what had to be done. You shouldn't force yourself to try to accept what I did. Yeah. How's the ship heading? Hmm, apparently we're being pushed north by the current. I see. Sorry for making you come all the way out here with us about it. This was my plan from the beginning, anyway. Well, I'm happy that we've got someone who knows how to pilot a ship, but... You've got to go treasure hunting to get your memory back, right? That's okay. I'm just gonna take it easy. Life's longer than a bright red eel's ear or a slimy eel's body. Well, that's better than living life fast and recklessly. Besides, it ain't bad being here with you, Yuri. I'm glad to hear that. When I think about that... I start feeling like maybe my past doesn't really matter. But that doesn't mean you're gonna quit searching for your memories, does it? I... I'd like to know more about my grandfather. So I can figure out what I'm going to do in the future. And how I should think about the name Ivory. I see. Then I guess you can't stay with us forever, huh? I... But I've realized that there are many more good things when I'm with others than when I'm by myself. So, when my memory returns, I'd like to travel with all of you again. Yeah, if we get the chance, that might not be a bad idea. When that time comes, maybe Judy can also. I don't know. Judy has her own reasons for not being able to be with us. I hope your reasons haven't changed by then, though. I've finished making adjustments to the Blastia. I've checked all the other parts, too. Everything's ready. That's great! We'll be able to use the boat again! If you don't mind, I'd like to bring Harry back to Dongris first. We need to head to Dongris, too. Right! We've got to deliver Bellius' Apatheia. Why don't you let old Raven take care of that for you? What do you say? We couldn't ask that of you. Oh, that hurts. Still can't trust me after all we've been through, huh? It wasn't a formal request, but I feel we should honor Bellius's dying wish. 
It would be unjust if we didn't deliver it. Yeah. Besides, we're also at fault for Bellius ending up like she did. We've got to own up to what we've done. The Dawn also might know why everyone wants these Apatheas so badly. He was trying to get his hands on one too, don't forget. If we can learn more about the Apatheia, we might find out why Flynn's been using such extreme measures. Well then, I'll make sure to set things up with the Don for you. Really? A wiser man than I once said, even chance acquaintances are decreed by destiny. If it's meant to be, I don't mind putting in the effort for brave Vesperia. I'm going to meet with the Don too. You too, Rita? A lot has happened. And I get the feeling it's all connected to this Apatheia somehow. So... It was the Don that told us to go find the Apatheia in the first place. He just might have something up his sleeve. So Rita, you're with us as far as Dongrest? I'm going to Dongrest too. Because going with us is profitable? Well, as long as you're piloting the ship, this works out well for us too. It's not just that. I'm going because it sounds like there might be clues about my memory in Dongrest. Didn't you say that the Dawn in Dongrest was a friend of Eifried's? Hmm? Oh yeah, I was talking about how Eifried and the Dawn worked together when they fought the Empire. Then the Dawn might be able to give me some clues about my memory. Well, if that's the case, then let's travel together. Jeez, that old geezer sure is popular. I hope he doesn't get so busy that he faints. That only leaves Estelle. I think she needs some time alone. I agree. I wonder when we'll see Judith again. Hey, once we've delivered the Apatheia, let's go see if we can find her. That's not a bad idea. Besides, she broke the guild laws. And you know we can't just let that slide. Right. At least not without hearing her reason. But first up is Dongrist. There'll be a stretch of beach along the southern edge of Tolbikia where we can lay anchor. I'd wager that'd put us as close to Dongrist as we could hope. Okay, sounds like we've got our destination. I'm gonna take this one with me and pay the Don a visit. These things usually take a while, so why not hang tight at the inn? I'll come over when I can. Wait, can... can I come with you? Hmm? This is union business. Not sure you'll have much to talk about. I... actually... there's something else I wanted to ask. Can't it wait till you bring the Apatheia with everybody else? It's... I'd rather ask it on my own. If it's not too complicated, go and give it a try. I can't make any promises, just so you know. I'll be right back, guys! Do you think we could ask about the Apatheia as well? Mm, that qualifies as complicated. You've got that right. Hey, wait up! Where do you think you're going? I've been to this city before, I think. That again? Well, this city does have a history with Eifried. It wouldn't have been strange for your grandfather to have come here. That's true. I'm going to go ask around a bit. Be careful that you don't end up like you did in Nordopolica or Mantake. I know. We'll be at the inn. All right. Let's be good kids and wait for Uncle Raven at the inn. and I will be resting in the inn. Uh, but, but I have to... We're going to get some rest. What about you, Yuri? Mm, yeah, I could use some time off my feet, too. Yuri, please wake up. Yuri! Huh? Oh, I was really zonked out, huh? Good morning, sleepyhead. Though it's more good afternoon now, ain't it? Oh, hey, old man. You're back. 
What about Carol? Haven't seen him since I left the Union. I reckon he's still there. I hope he's okay. Well, since the old man's back, does that mean everything's settled with the Union? Did you see the Don? Well, about that. As soon as the Don heard what happened with Harry and Norda Pollica, he left the Union. By himself? That's not like him. Where did he go? Well, and this is just my intuition, mind you. I think he's headed for Leviathan's Claws compound, the Manor of the Wicked. What? But Jaeger is the head of Leviathan's Claw. That's so dangerous. Well, I don't think Jaeger'd try anything against the Don. If they went up against the Union, they could lose all of their business, for one. So why did the Don go out there? Hmm. So, anyway, I'm sorry, but the Don's left the city. Well then, should we go to Leviathan's Claws compound? You believe the old man's intuition? If the Don's going up against Leviathan's Claw, we can't very well sit around and twiddle our thumbs. There's no guarantee the scum won't try to attack him. Well, all right then. I'm not really one for waiting anyway. Patty still isn't back, huh? Then I guess we have no choice. We'll have to leave her behind. Estelle, will you wait here? I... I'm going with you. Estelle, don't overdo it. Are you sure you're up to this? Yes. I'm absolutely fine. Estelle... So, you all know where the Manor of the Wicked is? I figured you knew, old man. Aren't you coming with us? Well, yeah. I guess I am. Well then, it's decided. We'll just go pick up Carol and... What the... It sounded from the direction of the bridge. Uh-oh. Let's go and see. What's with all these people here? Carol's over there. The Dawn protected this city from the Empire. He protected our honor. Even if we're the only ones helping, we owe it to the Dawn to protect the city. Hold your horses. Settle down, all of you. What's all this commotion? We've heard that a group from Polistrale has been spotted near Heliord. Their leader got killed thanks to a mistake of one of our own. It's only natural they'd want to talk about the incident. Once they learn the Dawn's left town, things could get ugly. We must defend the city from them until Dawn returns. You fools. If y'all weren't so eager to fight, the Dawn wouldn't have had to leave in the first place. Soon as they learn there's fighting between guilds, don't you think the Knights are bound to stick their noses in our business again? Dawn Rest is independent from the Empire. The Imperial Knights are in no place to tell us what to do. The friendship treaty still ain't finalized yet, you know. Yuri! Everyone! What do we do? This is gonna become a war between guilds if we don't do something! If only the Dawn were here. They say that the Dawn may have gone to the Leviathan's Claw Compound, the Manor of the Wicked. What? Really? Well, probably so. We were about to see if we could go there. Want to come with us? But there's a chance that the Don's not there, right? Yeah, it was just the old man's intuition after all. If he's not there, war could break out while we're out looking for him. Yuri, what should we do? What would be best? Well, we should be able to handle the manner of the wicked ourselves. You go ahead and do what you think you should do. Yeah, then I'm gonna go and talk to everyone. Do you think this is the right choice? We don't have much choice. We can't follow the Dawn and guard the city at the same time. I hope that we find the Dawn at the Manor of the Wicked. We're his backup. If Jaeger's the one Dawn's up against, he'll need all the help he can get. Hey! You even know where you're going? It's straight to the west of here! Hey! Wait for me! Whoa. Where are you going? We're going to meet the Don. I'm going too. Are you done with what you were doing? My results weren't that good, so I'm going to meet the Don like I first planned. 
I'm warning you though, our destination is the Leviathan's Claw Hideout. Hmm? Huh? You really don't get how things turned out that way. But that's exactly my kind of place. Then follow me. Hey, hold on. What is it, old man? You do realize what going to the enemy's compound means, right? What it means? We're going to be on their turf, playing by their rules. If we get there and we're not ready to roll, they could give us a mighty beatdown and it'd be lights out for us. So, you're asking if we're totally prepared to go? We're ready to roll, old man. You sure? You're worrying more than usual. We're ready. Yeah? Well then, let's go! I'm guessing this is the Manor of the Wicked. It's so heavily guarded. We should wait and see what the situation is like first. Can't get too comfortable, though. Shh, they're arguing about something. What part of let us in are you having trouble with? Like I said, your timing just seems a little too perfect. Don't you have anything to prove who you say you are? You know what? Actually, we don't. Let us through. The dawn is here. We don't have time to sit and chat. So, the old man did come here. Bingo! This is our chance to listen in. Didn't you go looking for proof that the hunting blades were after that dragon rider? I told you. We received word that the dawn was headed here before we could arrive at Mount Temza. We couldn't very well ignore news like that, could we? The hunting blades are out to get Judy? What are you waiting for? You won't be any use to Jaeger if we have to give you a beating. Hmm. We'll let you through, but not without an escort. You don't mind, I hope. Whatever, just let us in. What luck! Now there's less guards to worry about. Guess we better strike while the iron's hot. Wh who the hell are you? Hey! Nice, Rapide. Feel like an easy win. Don't get cocky. That a little too rough for you? I think we're still in the clear. So let's make what they're getting inside. Why do you think the Hunting Blades would be after Judith? If they're looking for Epithea, maybe they want the dragon she was riding. If he's an Entelechea, he might become an Epithea like Bellius. I mean, when he dies. Which means Harry's request wasn't the only reason they wanted to take Bellius down. They want those Epithea something bad. Judy! Judy might be in trouble, but we should help the Dawn out first. Especially with those two charming young ladies in there. Hi! Let's be quick and clean this place up! Sure. We should be on our way. I'm just worried about Judith. So you'll be going to Mount Timza? But the Dawn... We're practicing deciding for ourselves, remember? Let's move. I'm coming too! She'd be upset if I left the dawn like this to go looking for her. I can just hear her saying, My, what did you think you were doing? Don't worry about that, lady. She's tough. Alright, let's get the old dawn out of this place. Looks like we found one more thing we can't ignore. Okay. <sighs> Look! White horse! Dawn? Stand back. Didn't you say Leviathan's Claw would never try something like this, old man? The Dawn's the one that started all this! What? Then that means the old man's... Just what do you think you're doing here, you damn fools? Bringing young ones to a place like this? 
Bravo! I really should thank you for such a heartrending performance. What the hell's he talking about? Uh, get out of the way! Let's eliminate them! Dragon! Yeah, this is my style! <laughs> oh, damn, I'm dead of this! Cut the the Don would be crazy to do this alone. Where's the Don? He's gone after Jaeger. Let's go. <laughs> I never dreamed you'd try anything this risky. I finally made up my mind that this mud ball be a much prettier place without you on it. The other Master Guilds surely won't like you ignoring the Union's laws for your personal vendetta. And I'll face the consequences. But it's daybreak now. Looks like I've underestimated your touch. I'm out of time. If I don't get myself back to Dongrest, those fools gonna start a war with each other. Oh, I think it's a bit late to prevent that little accident from happening. A couple of eggs might have to be broken, but I'm prepared to pay a price. A price? You still got us to deal with, Jaeger. Well, it looks like the tide's taken a turn. Yeah, indeed. Bye-bye. Hey, wait! Damn, that guy's a regular vanishing act. Now what's with all of you? Just how you figure coming down here be the smart thing to do? Hmm? Who's that little kid? I ain't no little kid. I'm Patty. I'm sorry about that. Patty, huh? Why don't you come over here and show me your face? Now this is a surprise. Huh? You're a dead ringer for Eifried. The very spitting image. Huh? Then it really is true that Patty is Eifried's granddaughter? Granddaughter? You're his... Huh. I never heard nothing about that scoundrel having a granddaughter. Huh. So Patty's guess was right on the mark. As his relative, I bet you must have suffered quite a bit over Eifried's infamous incident. I've got my own reasons for following Eifried's trail. I thought that since you were his friend, Don, you might know something. <laughs> It'd be an exaggeration to say that we were ever friends. He just did whatever he wanted to do. I never knew where he was or what he was doing. And I ain't got a clue about that now, either. I see. Haven't you met him somewhere recently? Hmm, have I? Can't rightly say. This is a keepsake left by an ally of yours. We were asked to bring it to you. <sighs> Looks like I caused you all some trouble. Of all the... Why'd she have to wind up like this? Just what is an apatheia, anyway? Well, you see... I'm afraid I don't have time to explain it now. I uh, hate to cut and run, but I'll leave the rest of these guys to you. Wait. We should think about getting out of here, too. Hey, let me try and buy the old man some time. Raven? Come on. Guess we'd better. Get ready. I'm taking you down. Try it! Get, get, get. Go, 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 go. 
I am not gonna let them kill the Don. I think it's about time. I agree. You don't mean... from up here? I got a bad feeling about this. We should get back to Dongris. Yuri! It's terrible! The Union and Polistrolli are squaring off against each other with Hope Lone Blastia! The Dawn is back, but something's not right! So, we made it back in time. Looks like my hunch was right, though. What do you mean, your hunch? He's been planning for this to end in his death all along. What? Why would he want to do something like that? To... set things right? Bellius died because of Harry's rash behavior. She's the Duce of Nordopolica. You can't just say, sorry, I got some bad information. Which means there's gotta be compensation to make up for losing Bellius. So the price Don mentioned back at the Manor of the Wicked was... His own life. Once he made up his mind to sacrifice himself, taking down Jaeger wasn't a problem, even if it meant going against the laws. No! He can't do that! There has to be some other way. Both sides are at the breaking point, though. This thing could go off at the drop of a hat. And if it starts, it'll mean all-out war between the Union and Polistrale. Not sure we have the time to find some other way. I'm going with Carol. Hang in there, kid. You're a boss now, right? But it's like there's nothing I can do on my own. So then ask for help. That's what friends are for, right? Don! Take good care of them. And they'll be there whenever you need them. <sighs> I'm coming with you. Hell you are! Well, old man, it's been fun. Raven, you better nail Jaeger for me. <laughs> That's a heavy load for somebody like me. <laughs> You're the only one I can ask. White Horse. Little lady, try going underground through the storeroom in the city's tavern. Hmm. There's a wall there inscribed with Eifried's name. If you're his granddaughter, it ain't a bad idea to take a glimpse at the kind of things he did and how he lived. <sighs> We're so grateful for everything your darling grandson's done to us. Really. The boy has made a mess of things. He may be my idiot grandson, but he's also a full member of the Union. And it falls upon any leader to take responsibility for the mistakes of their people. So say the laws. Take me, then. Let my head atone for Bellius. Don. Idiot. These guilds. They're all filled with nutcases. So, who's going to be my second? It would be my honor. Guess you're stuck doing a job nobody much wants. You too. <laughs> no kidding. Yuri, I was looking forward to watching you go places. <laughs> I'll make sure to save you a spot in hell. I don't think they'd let me into the hell you're going to. I won't forget that attitude, boy. And I won't forget your resolve, Don Whitehorse. Gone! Listen up. You all gotta stand on your own two feet from here on. There's a new age coming, so get out there and make it for yourselves.
Everyone here seems to have calmed down. Feels more like they're expecting the end of the world. Carol's been taking the Dawn's passing pretty hard, too. And it looks like things are keeping the old man busy. I guess it comes with being a member of Altosk. Huh. I haven't seen Patty for a while now. She might be in the sewer tunnels. Oh, right. That's what the Don was talking about. He gave up his own life to make amends for what happened. The guilds take their laws pretty seriously. The pride of living by the laws of the guild? Taking responsibility. Accepting the choices he'd made. The Don practiced what he preached. And he was willing to stake his life on those beliefs. Responsibility. Choices. I've got to get these things figured out myself. Best to start with our guild, with Brave Vesperia. Yuri? Where are you? Just going for a walk. He probably went looking for Carol. Carol. Yuri, I... There wasn't anything I could do. The Dawn and all the rest of you, you'd all made up your minds and did what you could. Nobody in this town's gonna listen to anything I've got to say. So I was thinking I should try talking with Paula Strale instead. But they might be done talking and just attack anyway. When I thought that, I... I was too scared to go alone, so I ended up not going at all. I'm not good for anything. What about Judy? Weren't you going to look for her? I can't. I can't go with you anymore, Yuri. I'm just not cut out to be the boss of a guild. Is that it, then? Is that all guilds and brave Vesperia mean to you? Just walking away from the dream like that? But I wanted to be the best guild! To be useful to the Dawn! For him to notice me! He's been a role model for me. And now he's not around. <laughs> so you're just gonna pack it up and quit? Just what was it the Dawn died for? You of all people should know the answer to that. You can always do everything you want, Yuri! You never understand how I feel! I'm not tough like you! There's no way I can be like you in the dawn! It's over! Our guild is... Carol! Don't you remember all the dawn told you? Did you forget his resolve? <sighs> As a member of our guild, I'm going to Mount Temza to find Judy. Huh? Ray Vesperia will go on, even if you don't. This guild is more than just you now. <laughs> I don't want to run away. I don't want to, but... Right? He'll be fine. What? Well now, if it isn't the darling boy and girl. How very nice to see you both. Jaeger! You've got some nerve showing your face after planting the seeds of war. Seeds of war? I'm quite sure I don't know what you're talking about. Attacking Palastrale is a matter for the Union to decide. Yep, that's right. We just helped inform their decision. <laughs> exactly. Understand, my little friends? I'll give you something to smile about. That's enough for today, I think. It is the day of the dawn's passing, after all. We're still in mourning, you see. The world lost a great man today. It most certainly did. What is it you guys are after? Get the Dawn out of the way to take control of the Union? 
Oh, no, 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 no. Our little business will most surely be easier without the poor Don around, but... Ah, uh, let's not go there. I've come today for my own personal reasons. I don't want to disgrace the Don by doing something I'll regret later. You should leave before I change my mind. It is not only you who are mourning this death, you know. Be seeing you then. Even Jaeger is mourning the Dawn. I don't understand. Hadn't he been trying to get rid of Don Whitehorse himself? The old man was a nuisance to Leviathan's Claw, but... Maybe things were a little different for Jaeger on a personal level. You mean like the difference between guilds and individuals? Yeah. To the Dawn, there was Jaeger the boss and Jaeger the person. The Don did break his own laws and take the fight into his own hands. Well, we should be on our way. Uh, all right. I told Rita we would be meeting her at the town exit. I also left a message at the inn for Patty. I said he'll be fine. Let's go. Where are Carol and Patty? What is the deal with everyone worrying so much? What are both of your plans after this? I'm going with you, of course. Like I said, I've decided to stick with you guys while I research the air credit. Right, right. I want to go with you as well, Yuri. Now that we know the hunting blades are out to get Judith, we've got to try and help her. We're not obligated to do anything for her. Judith shared in our travels. She's one of us. She also destroyed the Ceres Blastia on the ship. But... I'm not going out on any mercy mission. I told you I need to set things straight, right? Yuri... What does Judy know? What doesn't she know? I'm gonna see that she comes clean about all of it. I have to. To find out where this guild stands. Well, we might just end up saving her along the way. You two are worried about her. I knew it. <laughs> what are you talking about? We might, is all I said. Anyway, with all this talk about setting the guild straight, is the fearless leader himself going to come? It'll take more than this to keep him down. He'll come. Oh, Patty's here. Did you have a look at what your grandpa left behind? I... I engraved it all firmly in my memory. So did it help you remember anything? Mm, it doesn't look like things are gonna go quite so well. But I can't let myself get discouraged by something like that. Yeah, that's right. Is it okay for me to be with you guys a little longer? I don't mind. Okay, let's go. What should we do about Raven? He couldn't come now. He can't turn his back on this town. They lost the Dawn. You're probably right. The old man has his own agenda to take care of. I'm gonna miss him. Yeah, think who you're talking about. That guy might just pop up when you least expect it. So where is this Mount Temza anyway? My guess is that it's somewhere north of the sands of Kogor. She mentioned something about living with Baul on a mountain to the north of a desert. There certainly are plenty of mountains in the northern regions of Desier. Well, let's start there and see where it takes us. We'll be going to Desier by ship. Looks like that's where I come in. All right, let's head to the ship. the things the Dawn wanted to tell me yet. 
But Brave Vesperia is my... No, our guild. So... So I've got to come with you guys. Carol... I think if I ran away, if I abandoned my friends, that'd be the end. I couldn't come back. That's why... That's why I've got to go. Please let me come too. Of course. <laughs> You're the boss of this outfit, Captain. Yuri, thanks! But don't call me boss anymore. Hmm? I... I haven't done anything to earn that title yet. Until you really think I'm a boss. Until I don't feel embarrassed when someone calls me boss. I'll just do my part as a fellow member of Brag Vesperia. Understood, Carol. Not a bad plan. All right! It never ends with these guilds. Bunch of hot-headed idiots. That's exactly what's so good about the guilds, I think. Mm, yeah. Quite juvenile, isn't it? Ah! Hey, old man! Ma, how glorious is youth! What are you up to? Huh? Something wrong with my being here? Well, don't you have your hands full with the Dawn's passing and everything? You know, it all just seemed a little too bothersome, so I ducked out. But you owe a lot to the Dawn. Aren't you sad? Sad? I cried and cried till my throat was hoarse and there wasn't a tear left in me. Funny. It doesn't show on you at all. Huh. <laughs> so not even Raven the Great can bear to ignore the Dawn's parting words. <laughs> what are you talking about? You heard me, didn't you? That burden's too heavy for this beast. I'm sure they'll be able to take care of that piece of business just fine without me. All right, we'll leave it at that. Oh, man, these kids today, I tell you. Traveling in a group is loads of fun. It's so lively. This isn't lively, it's rowdy. Didn't I tell you that before? So now we can depart for Desier, right? Huh? Why are we going back there? That's a pretty good hunch you had there. Mount Thames is north of the Sansa Kagor. There's a Critian city there, if memory serves. And why would you know something like that? Well, I'm over twice your age, so of course I know twice as many things. Right. So are we going, or aren't we? Can we get to the north of Kagor by boat? Guess we'll have to see when we get there. Hoist the sails! The Fiertia is off to sea! And here we are. Welcome to Mount Temza. <gasps> These are human footprints, right? There sure are a lot of them. Could it be the hunting blades? That, or it might be the knights. But why would the knights be here? Well, Flynn was looking for Apathea too. If that's what the hunting blades are doing here, then the knights could be here for the same reason. Why is everyone scrambling to get their hands on Epithea all of a sudden? It was so pretty, all sparkly and glittery. I'm sure it's incredibly valuable. We never had the chance to get an explanation from the Dawn. If Judy will clue us in on what she knows, things might clear up. Judy, I wonder if she'll tell us. I don't know. It's up to her whether she'll talk or not. Of course, if she decides not to. Yuri... What the heck is this? The mountain's been... flattened. What could have happened? Is there really supposed to be a town here? Well, it was here ten years ago, that I'm sure of. But I can't vouch for what's happened since then. Ten years? That's quite a ways back. What were you doing way out here? Uh, well... Oh, that voice! Is that you, freak? Here's hoping everything's all right. Let's hurry. It's even worse from up close. I've never seen a hole this big before. There's no way this could have happened naturally. 
It looks like something exploded here. An explosion? Are there monsters that can do something like this? They were, but those monsters were all wiped out. What do you mean, wiped out? What you see here, this was a battleground in the Great War. What? Really? So that means humans and Entelakea fought here. The humans were victorious, but there were scarcely any survivors. The facts behind the war are shrouded in darkness. Not even the official government histories give many details about what happened. So the Entelikea did this to the mountains. Terrible power. The Great War. Ten years ago. That must have been when you were a baby, Patty. I... But this is the first time I've heard that a battle took place here. The Empire's kept a pretty tight hold on information about it. They've got a lot of secrets. You should know that by now. Thought it was strange that monsters would wage war against humans, but... What they didn't want us to know was that those monsters were actually into Achaia. You sure know a lot about this stuff, Raven. You come across a lot if you live long enough, kitties. Okay, enough history lessons. We came here so we could look for Judy. The monster's voice we heard just now. What if they've already got Judith cornered? Judy's really strong. There's no way she'll go down easily. Of course not. Besides, I've got to give that dragon freak a beat down. I can't let a monster beat me to the punch. Yeah. Let's hurry. Oh. Yuri, what's the matter? I was just thinking about what Judy said. Bowel saved me during the war. I just realized that maybe she was talking about the Great War when she said that. So maybe she fought against the Empire with that dragon freak during the Great War? It'd be kind of sad if Judy was an enemy of mankind. Maybe Raven can tell us. You fought in the Great War, didn't you, old man? Huh? Why? I think only someone who was on the scene would know so much about the war. Really? But there weren't supposed to be very many survivors, right? Very true. I thought I was gonna die back then, too. Ah, if only I'd died then, things would have been so much easier, too. If only you died? What a weird thing to say. So, did you ever see Judith during the war? No, not a chance. I may be a player, but ten-year-old girls are definitely off-limits for me. Oh, jeez. Then it sounds like Judy didn't participate in the war. Right. I mean, if it was ten years ago, she'd be nine. That's even younger than me. Hmm. I feel like I never saw Baul, either. Maybe they ran away from the battle? So it was really the Antelakea who fought in the battle? Yes, I guess so. Though at the time, we thought they were only a really terrible breed of monsters. But wow! You were really in the war, huh, Raven? That's so cool! I thought only Imperial Knights fought in the war. Maybe I'll tell you more about it when you're older. This is a Critian city? More like the remains of one. There might be some treasure around here. What do you think Judith would come here for? Suppose it wouldn't make much sense to say she was feeling homesick. Tyson and Nan! Hey! Nobody lays a hand on one of our own. If she's broken our laws, we'll settle this amongst ourselves. Now get out of here! We're only trying to follow a monster we're hunting! This doesn't involve you! Okay, this is getting us nowhere! Let me at him! You're right. It's just a waste of time trying to talk sense to people like this. 
interrupts our conversation is going to be taking a long nap. Leave. Now. Or do you really want to do this? Judith! You followed me here. Yeah. We're here to settle things for the sake of the guild. Judith! Tell us everything you know! Why you destroyed the Blastia. About the Apatheia and the Entelikea, their relationship to Pharaoh. All of it. And even though you're one of us, your answers will decide your fate. Punish the unjust, was it? Honestly, I don't know if that's really a good thing or not. You've already come this far. I suppose there's no going back now. Come. Yuri, what did you mean about Judy's fate? If there's one thing that Dawn's last moments taught me, it's that I've been too soft. If a part is infected, you cut it off before it infects the whole. Even if it's a comrade, an Antilochia, or a friend. You mean even if it's Flynn or Pharaoh? Yeah. It's the path I've chosen for myself. I... So, you are aware that this place was the ground on which the Great War was fought? Yeah, we heard from the old man here. The Great War was sparked by a type of Blastia. What? This was not a Blastia that had been excavated. It had been constructed in the city of Temza using a new type of technology. The Hermes Blastia. Hermes Blastia? I've never heard of it. And if you say it was newly built... I didn't think you could make a new Blastia. The Hermes models were even more effective at converting air into energy. They were intended to... revolutionize the technology of Blastia. But something went wrong. The Blastia using these Hermes-type formulas required massive quantities of air. The air crina began producing abnormal amounts of air in order to compensate. That would mean the end, not just of humanity, but all life on this planet! Just like we saw at Cave Mock and the Weasen of Kados. Wouldn't like to see that happen everywhere. The Intelakea realized the dangers of the Hermes Blastia before the humans. And they moved to destroy them. Which created a conflict that grew until it eventually became the Great War. So then the Angelicaea fought against the humans to help the planet? But why didn't they tell the humans how dangerous those Blastia were? Neither side probably cared much if the other brought itself to ruin. There's never been any love lost between humans and Angelicaea. Probably didn't talk much. Or maybe there was another reason. But what does any of this have to do with you, Judy? Temza fell to the flames of war, and the technology of the Hermes Blastia was believed lost. Wait, you mean there are still Hermes models in operation? Yes, at Rago's mansion, Emmet Hill, Gosforost, not to mention. The Ceres Blastia on the Fiertia. That new Ceres Blastia must have been a Hermes Blastia. So then you've been destroying the Blastia in place of the Entelikea. You could have mentioned that. Why didn't you say something? Were you going to save the world all on your own? Are you stupid? like we found our mark you will not pass you're a person aren't you how can you defend a monster didn't you get the news i said nobody lays a hand on one of our own we won't allow that not even from you nan 
We were having a conversation over here. Butt out! I can't believe these guys. Such scallywags. I don't usually like to get my clothes dirty, but... Everyone. Have the Hunting Blades added people to their list of targets? Nobody who associates with monsters can rightly call themselves a person. Carol, have you forgotten the credo of the Hunting Blades? Step aside. Monsters are evil, and the Hunting Blades pursue that evil. But the Entelikea aren't evil. They were fighting to save the world. Don't let them fool you with that credo nonsense. They're on a job. They're here for the Apatheia. Huh. It seems you won't listen to reason. If you have no intention of moving... You leave us no choice! All monsters should be killed! That's the rule of the hunting blades! He's not a monster! He's Judas! I don't care what you think of monsters. I will protect Baul, even if it costs me my life. It's pretty stupid to think anything out of the ordinary is automatically evil. Aiding monsters is punishable by death! The Baul's different! He wouldn't just go around hurting people for no reason! What are you talking about? Of course he would! You're worse than monsters. They just got instinct. You got brains. So what's your excuse? Shut up! We hunting blades will not back down! So I guess we just gotta fight this out. Don't blame me for what happens. Guess I overdid it a little. You don't show mercy to your enemies. I will protect Baul. Nan, I'm sorry. What's happening? Baul is trying to evolve as an Intelikea. It looks like he's suffering. Baul, come on. You can do it! No! I want to heal your wounds, but there's nothing I can do. My power is poison to you, isn't it? Healing wounds isn't your power, Estelle. What do you mean? Don't you remember Belius's words? Power corrupts, but you... You are different. Never lose that kindness, the compassion you so readily show to others. My compassion for others? Your thoughts are reaching Baul, I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best. Mm. Well now. Amazing! I knew you could do it. Your partner seems like he's gonna be just fine. Yes. Thank you all for helping to protect him. This is something I couldn't have done alone. You're one of us! Of course we'd help! That's right! Didn't I tell you? You got through to him. <laughs> you make it through to Pharaoh as well. Will you be going to meet him? That's up to Estelle to decide. I'll go. It's been the purpose of my journey after all. Are you sure? What if you end up getting killed? Even still, I've got to stand firm on this. It won't be too long before the Hunting Blades send reinforcements. How about a change in scenery before they show up and spoil the party? There's only one path down from here, though. We're bound to run into them. The skies are wide open above us. Have you lost your mind? Get on. We'll fly as far as the Fertia. We can finish talking once we arrive.
Judy! She's sleeping. She must be exhausted. Yeah, I mean, she just killed over. Wasn't expecting that. I bet she watched over Baul the entire time he was evolving. She probably didn't get much sleep. She probably had no idea when the hunting blades would attack either. She was putting up a brave front, but she must have been near the end of her rope. She's just dumb. She doesn't know how to express what she's feeling. And I'm really glad we're able to help Judy out. We can finish talking with her tomorrow. We should let her sleep now. In fact, I wouldn't mind a little shut-eye myself. Are you thinking about Judy? Yeah. I'm wondering what we should do about her. It's true that she broke the guild's laws and betrayed us. I always thought that a guild's strict adherence to its own laws was what kept it together. That there could be no exceptions, no lenience for those who would break the laws. But... She did what she did to save the world. Judy is destroying Blastia because she knows it's the right thing to do. Even if it makes people hate her. Yep. Judith didn't break our laws in order to do something bad. I know this now. I'm gonna talk with her about it and give it some more thought. I'll figure this out eventually. Oh yeah? Maybe if I become a little more decisive, Nan will listen to me too. Yuri. Sorry to interrupt while you were thinking. Ever since I took Bellius's life without meaning to, I've wanted to know what it means to be the child of the full moon, so the same thing doesn't happen again. I've always thought that it was my duty to know, but after what happened to Bellius... That's how everyone is. They do something, they learn. They do something else, they learn more. You too, Yuri? Yeah? Maybe if I had known everything ahead of time, I wouldn't have made any mistakes. Hmm. There's only one thing I can say for sure. What's that? Maybe you wouldn't have made any mistakes, but it sure would have been boring. I really wonder. So does an old man past his prime fit into the picture at all? What are you whining about, old man? Why are you past your prime? Hmm. What Judith was talking about before. Hermes Blastia, was it? Blastia created with techniques that should have been lost in the war are still active. Do you know what this means? I guess someone who survived the war brought either Blastia or those techniques back with him. If that person was still using the blast yet, even though he knew it was harmful to the Earth? Someone like that would have to be quite the villain indeed. Old oh, man, don't tell me you... Hey now, yours truly was nothing but an innocent youth on the straight and narrow back then. I wouldn't do something like that even on my worst day. <laughs> I was just trying to trick you into giving yourself away. You're a slippery one. Son of a... When are you going to learn some respect for your elders? Don't fall overboard. Oh, I'll be careful. Yuri, the world sure is big. Yeah, even though we're flying this high in the air, we still can't see everything. If the world's this big, I guess it makes sense that there'd be so many things we don't know. It might not make that much of a difference whether I get my memories back or not. Are you saying you'd be okay with not getting them back? I'm saying that I'm not the only one who feels restless and anxious not knowing the truth. Everyone's worried about something, even you and Estelle. You think so? Isn't that why everyone's here? Isn't that why Judy came back? And is that why you're here too? I don't want to be alone. You know, you're being pretty honest today. I'm always honest. Really? Well, maybe you are.
Is that the core from the Saras Blastia that Judy destroyed? Yes, it's definitely cut with a different formula than a usual core. It looks like what she said was true. She said she wasn't too good at lying after all. To discover that the new technique you created was bad for the world after what must have been years of research. I can't imagine how the person who created the Hermes technique must have felt. Well, what if it had been you? If I found out that it hurt the Earth, I would have to do something about it. But I wouldn't destroy the Blastia like that. <gasps> what the? Nothing. Uh... If only things weren't so complicated. I could have just blasted her into oblivion and been done with it. Hmm. Yuri? Morning. It's a beautiful morning, but even as we stand here, the air is out of balance. And our world may already be dying. <laughs> That's right. Judy! Well, look who's feeling better. In the past, these slight fluctuations of the air have not negatively affected our world. There have always been beings who maintain the balance by sensing changes in the airflow. Beings like Pharaoh and Ba'ul, the Entelechea. So the Entelechea were responsible for keeping the air balanced. For ages, the Entelechea have regulated the air. But the recent increase has been greater than they could control. Which is being caused by the Hermes Blastia. And which is also why you were going around taking down as many of them as you could. Yes, that was my mission. The path I walk with Ba'ul, to whom I owe my life. The path you walk? Now some would even hunt the Intelikea for Apatheia. This has made the mission of the Intelikea even more difficult. Why is everybody so crazy about these Apatheia anyway? I'm afraid I don't have an answer. The air an Intelikea absorbs becomes condensed within its body over time. When its life is at an end, that condensed air forms a crystal, an apatheia. That's all I know. I imagine Pharaoh could shed more light on the subject, though. So apatheia are crystals of concentrated air. If that's true and the energy could be extracted from the apatheia, it would be a source of overwhelming power, I'm sure. Could we really do that? I... I don't know. But if that's possible, there must be tons of guys who want those things. I bet somebody wants to use these things for the wrong reasons. Why didn't you just tell us all this from the beginning? Seriously, we could have avoided all this trouble if you just talked to us. Am I wrong? Even if you had known, there are things not even you could have prevented. What do you mean? I showed up at Heliord because Ba'ul had sensed a disturbance in the air. Where there was a disturbance, there was sure to be a Hermes Blastia. But what I found there was not a Blastia, it was a person. That had never happened before. So it wasn't like you were looking for Estelle in particular back at Heliord. Yet for some reason, Ba'ul perceived Estelle as a disturbance in the air. I had to find out why. For the sake of the path I've chosen. It was at that time that Pharaoh first appeared. He seemed to have some idea who Estelle was. My mission was to destroy all the Hermes Blastia. However, Estelle was obviously not a Blastia. I needed to make absolutely certain I made a deal with Pharaoh, and he agreed to grant me some time. You mean... 
If it became apparent that her existence posed too great a threat, then I... I would kill her. You what?! Wait! Rita! Settle down. Obviously Judith reached a different conclusion. All right, I get it. Bellius said you possess a heart of compassion. If you can communicate that to Pharaoh somehow, you may learn what you should do. H hey! There's no real reason for you to fight Pharaoh anymore, right? I mean, we know the Hermes Blasti are what's causing the problem and everything. If we just make sure the Apatheia don't fall into the wrong hands... I still want to meet Pharaoh. I want to hear what he has to tell me. But... Please try to understand. I have to know more about myself and take responsibility for who I am. All right. Sorry, Yuri. I don't think we can decide what to do about Judith right away. I promise not to leave again until things have been settled, as you said. I need to accept that responsibility myself. Let's go and find Pharaoh. We'll finally be getting around to one of the first things we set out to do. We can work out the rest once this is finished. There is a rocky crag in the center of the sands of Kogor. That is where Pharaoh lives. Baul can take us there. Okay, let's go. This meeting's been a long time coming. I can communicate with Baul, but there are still a few things you should know. Like what? Baul can only land on the ground in wide, open spaces. So you won't be able to dismount on steep mountain ranges or in narrow canyons. Can't he land on water? Water's no good either. Really? He looks like he'd be a good swimmer. <laughs> yeah, he'd sink like a rock. Huh, who knew? But that's why we have a ship, right? Right. If you'd like to get down onto the ocean, let me know. Baul will set our ship down there for us. Okay, but what should we do when we want to fly again? Use Baul's horn to call him to you. Baul's... that's all there is to it? Every Intelikea has a special region in its brain that can be used for communication with a special power Kryptians possess. Huh. So we can get a hold of him by using that. Right. So this is where Pharaoh is? Should be. I wasn't able to see him when we came to the desert, but I think this is where we can meet him. I hope nothing bad will happen. What if he suddenly attacks us? I can't make any guarantees. I don't think we'll have a say in the matter. That just means we need to do our best so nothing bad happens. Carol, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I should go. Pharaoh sure did pick a bleak place to live in, don't you think? They say this area used to be covered in lush greenery. Why did it turn into this rocky desert? Hmm, I don't know that much. Estelle, are you really going to meet him? Even though you could be killed? Yes, I've already made peace with this decision. Rita, you've been acting a little funny ever since hearing Judy's story on the ship. Do you have a problem with meeting Pharaoh? I just think it'll be hard on her to hear what he has to say. But it's too late to turn back now. We've come this far after all. seem to be here. Maybe he's off somewhere taking a nap. Pharaoh? 
You are here, aren't you? Ah! Insipid poison. You appear before me at last. So you are here. Is that how you greet all your guests, Pharaoh? By calling them names? For what reason have you come to me? Surely you are aware that I could end your existence with a mere thought. <laughs> you talk pretty big, don't you? Well, if you really want to fight, I'd hate to disappoint you. Yuri, no! Everyone, please wait! Estelle! Pharaoh, please hear what I have to say. Does death hold no fear for you, little one? For you gaze now into the mouth of death itself. I am afraid, but I'm even more afraid of dying without knowing who I really am. Velius told me I needed to meet you to learn about my destiny. I have to know just what that destiny is. I understand that I am a threat to the Entelikea, but you said that I am a poison to this world. What is this power I have? Just who is the child of the full moon? If it is true that my existence cannot be tolerated, then it's okay if I have to die. But I at least deserve to know why it is I have to die. Please tell me, I beg of you. There was a time when this was a verdant land, sheltered by the blessing of an air crane. So there was an air crane here. But what happened? Why did it change? What you see are the results of too much air and its aftermath. As to why the air ran rampant, the answer lies with the poison brought by the child of the full moon. Huh? The power of the Child of the Full Moon stimulates the Air Crane more than any Blastia. Huh? Blastia convert air into energy by way of a formula. So if Estelle can use her healing arts without the aid of any Blastia, she must possess a formula in her very being that lets her convert air into energy. Judith was searching for Blastia that used a particular kind of formula. So, this special formula Estelle has must also consume massive amounts of air, which causes the air crane to become more active and pump out more air than they should. I had hoped my hypothesis would have been wrong. Then I... It is as she has said. With each use of her power, the child of the full moon uses far more air than the Blastia. In so doing, the imbalance of air in this world is furthered. For the planet, such an existence can only be called a poison. So you just wipe it out then? Little quick to judge, aren't you, Pharaoh? This problem concerns the entire planet, and she is its cause. To do nothing would be unparalleled folly. If the problem's with Estelle, then it's for us to solve. That's right. We can't let anyone else handle it. The gravity of this situation is beyond your grasp. You don't honestly think that everything's gonna be all sunshine and rainbows if Estelle dies, do you? It would at least eliminate one problem. Pharaoh, at Heliord I stopped myself. And again at Dawngrest I stopped you. What I thought was a Blastia turned out to be a human. Before I realized it, I had lost my way. I never thought this child could be as great a danger as you had said. And due to your confusion, I granted you the time necessary to see things as they are. As a result, my sister Belius is now lost to me. Enough. This power will bring only ruin. Hmm, not sure I understand all this. But if her power's the problem, why can't she just not use it? There can be no guarantee she will not try to use the power. That's true. She does have trouble turning a blind eye to things happening around her. Someday she will surely use her power to help someone. However, as long as she keeps that spirit of compassion, she cannot only be seen as harmful. 
She is not like Ablastia. I know that you can feel the difference. Compassion alone will not save this world. Listen, Pharaoh. I get that you've thought all this through with everybody's best interest in mind. But why doesn't that world have a place for Estelle? It is sometimes necessary to remove a part to save the whole. I don't buy that for a second. What makes you so high and mighty that you're the one to decide who gets cut and who doesn't? We have endured the anxiety of existence for far greater a span than you can conceive. Such words mean nothing from those who call this world home for but a fleeting moment. Pharaoh, please listen. The important thing is finding a way to stop the excessive air, correct? We still have time left to search for such a thing. Judith! And if... If the effects of Estelle's power reach their absolute limit, I will kill her as promised. You should have no complaint with this. Hey Judith, are you serious? I'm sure brave Vesperia will come up with something before that happens, right? What? I... um... Yeah, yeah, of course we will! Well, score one for Judith. So that settles it. If we humans are to blame for Estelle's problem and bringing on the apocalypse, then it's up to us to make things right. If we give it all we've got and still blow it, then you can slow roast us on a grill for all I care. You have changed. If you were still as before. Have I? That is nice to hear. Very well. Be ever mindful though that time is fleeting. Wait! If the formulas are causing the excessive air, then there must have been times when this happened in the past. I mean, the Blastia were a product of an ancient civilization. There exist those who have inherited the sins of the past. If any yet can speak of what occurred in the days of old, it is they. He's gone! Bye-bye! Um, I... Thanks for everything, Yuri. Judith, you too. No problem. But hey... What? It's okay if I have to die? What the hell was that? I'm sorry. I don't want to hear that again. I'm sorry. Man, I was really worried there for a while. We were pretty lucky that bruiser was in a mood for conversation. Poor Raven's heart can't handle that sort of stuff anymore. You're pretty gutless for an old man. Jeez, Patty, you've really got nerves of steel. If he really wanted to kill Estelle, he'd have attacked us immediately. And that's what I can't figure out. I imagine Pharaoh was conflicted as well. He hid himself from us in the desert to see just what we were made of. Huh. Maybe he wasn't as bad as we thought after all. You might be right. I get the feeling he'd do whatever's necessary when push comes to shove. That sounds like you. Maybe. But what are we going to do, Yuri? You heard what he said. We're going to fix the problems the air is causing, and that's all. That's easier said than done. We're pretty much at square one, you know. Mm-hmm. And no one wants to be at square one. There's no doubt that the formulas are related somehow to the air getting used up. We need to find out about the ancient Blastia, and if they went berserk or not. If we had that kind of information, it might give us a clue. Ask those who have inherited the sins of the past about the days of old. Or at least that's what Pharaoh said. The Critia were the ones to invent the Blastia. In other words, we need to ask a Critian who is still familiar with the old stories. Yeah, the Critia are often credited as the inventors of the Blastia. There isn't much left of the Critian city of Timza, though. It'd be a lot easier if there were more cities. The hidden city of Miorzo. It is far older than Timza, 
and the birthplace of the Kritya. The first Blastia also originated there. Really? Well, what do you know? You wouldn't happen to know where this Mjorzo might be, would you, darling? Hmm. I've heard that name somewhere. There was a Critian in Ospio. I'm sure they mentioned something about it. Do you think that person might still be there? Well, there's no harm in checking it out. Judith, are you coming with us? I should. We still have the issue of the guild to straighten out. So, to Ospio then. It's been another long day. Let's save the manhunt for tomorrow. Uh, I second that. Oh, how long's it been since I've slept in a proper bed? Well, I suppose we can all stay at my place. Wait, there's something I want to take care of first. You mean me? Carol? This is a guild thing. Best for us not to get involved. I've thought about it a lot. What we should do, like, as a guild. And I realized. We have to figure out a few things if we're going to keep this guild going. It sounds like you've decided what we should do. Well, we said it before. The most important thing is obeying the guild's laws. Those who break the laws suffer strict punishment, even if they're friends or family. They say that's the source of a guild's pride. Yes. So what I'm thinking is... We all have to receive punishment. What do you mean? I didn't know that Judith was fighting for our planet all on her own. But even though I didn't know, I still failed to help a fellow guild member. So I gotta accept my punishment. Yuri? Me? Maybe you were trying to follow your own path, but you still kept things hidden from us. There's no way that can be for the good of the guild. Well... So you gotta be punished too. Now he's stretching it. The laws are important. What if someone does the right thing, but still breaks the law? Should they be punished? To be honest, I just don't know yet. So that's why we should all just accept our punishment and start over from scratch. What do you think? I can't promise I won't have my secrets in the future. Well, if that's the way it is, if you can't trust us, then there's nothing you can do. That would be my fault. And what if I destroy a Blastia that our guild was planning on using again? That would be breaking the law that says I should act in the interest of the guild. But you'd also be acting for the sake of the world. Guilds aren't there just so people can obey their laws. I think we can let that slide. Um, doesn't that sort of make your laws meaningless? <laughs> I've never heard of a guild like this before. But you've got me interested, I'll give you that much. There's no need to be such a stickler for the rules. Gotta be more relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, you're just full of surprises. I had thought plenty about myself and what I should be doing. But I might not have considered how my actions would affect you guys. This is a way of settling things I didn't even realize existed. I... I just wanted to keep traveling with all of you. I just wanted each of our own paths to be the same as Brave Asperia's. <laughs> Sounds alright with me. You heard the man, Judy. I guess that's where we stand. You really are some of the oddest people I've ever met, but I suppose I can manage to put up with you. All right then, one more time. Brave Vesperia, fall out! They're just making it up as they go, aren't they? Is that all a guild is? <laughs> the Don ran his guild just a teensy bit differently. There's something beautiful about this way, though. Brave Vesperia sure is nice. Do you want to join too, Patty? Can't right now. Oh yeah. You still have to get your memory back. So, what about the punishment? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Um... 
Looks like you guys are on Critian Researcher Detail. We'll be relaxing at my place. Hey, why do you get to decide? Excuse me? Did I hear a complaint? <laughs> no, ma'am. No. Uh-uh. Good day. Good day, my sister. Judith. I'm Tord. You wouldn't happen to know anything about Miorzo, would you? I'd like to go there. I need to know where Miorzo is located, and how I can get there. Even if you reach the city, there won't be anything for you to see there. But what do you plan on doing there, anyway? Is not Acridian's interest in her own ancestral city reason enough to go? That is an acceptable reason, but I'm afraid I don't know anything about where it could be. I've heard your name before, Tort. You help guide those Critians remaining on Earth up to the heavens. Will you not tell me because these humans are with me? Our ancient law states that we cannot show anyone but our brothers and sisters the way to Miorzo. Shouldn't it be a matter of whether they can be trusted rather than whether they're Critian or not? At the very least, these humans can be trusted. I shall ask once more. Why do you seek Miorzo? The world is headed towards some bad things, all thanks to Blastia. We want to go to know what happened in the past and how we can stop it. We want to help everyone, not just the Critians. How's that? Very well. I do not know if you'll find the answers to your questions. But I will show you the way. First of all, you'll need a special bell to open the path to Miorzo. A bell? Indeed. It is hidden in one of the southern caverns on the continent of Hippionia. But isn't Hippionia really big? The cavern is on a shore where red flowers bloom. If you use that as your guide, I'm sure you shall find it. Also, the door in the back of that cavern can only be opened by us Critians. What do you mean? Don't worry, I'll see that we're allowed to enter. And? What are we supposed to do with that bell? Relax. You humans are always so impatient. Once you have the bell, you must travel to Egathor Forest. The Egathor Forest? Isn't that on Hippionia too? I've heard of it before. Yes, the sacred land of the Critians is located there. So that's where the door to Miorzo is. If you use the bell there, the door shall open. There is, however, a problem. A problem? Yes, Egathor Forest is being devastated by a mysterious group. In addition to their overwhelming numbers, they also carry with them strange Blastia. I cannot fathom their motives. But this is certainly a matter of great concern. So if we go to Miorzo, we have to do something about them? Exactly. We need you to restore peace to our sacred land. Gotcha. So we get that bell, beat the mysterious group senseless, ring the bell, and the door opens. That sound right? Indeed. I understand. Thank you. May the road rise up to meet you, sister. And you as well. Let's go back to where everyone's waiting. Yeah. Did you find out anything? We've got a lead in a place called Egathor Forest. I'm pretty sure it's on the west side of Hippionia, to the south of here. So, Mjorzo's in that forest? No. But a door is. Huh? A door? What do you mean? There's a door there that leads to Miorzo. We were told the bell that opens the door is hidden in a cavern on a shore in Hippionia, where red flowers bloom. It'd be fastest to just go and check it out. First, let me rest. Perhaps we should get some rest before leaving? But... <sighs> we don't really have a choice. Then I'm gonna walk around town and search for clues about the treasure. Hey, hold it. You should really... Jeez, she's gone already. 
Anyway, once we've gotten some rest, let's go look for that cavern in Hippionia. So, Patty, did you find any clues about the Maristella? Hmm, there were a lot of books, but none of them were about Eifried. Well, duh. This city only has books about Blastia. Oh, well. Looks like I'm just gonna have to keep searching for clues with you guys. Did you just say Eifried? Huh? Hey, you. You that girl they've been saying is Eifried's grandchild? Hmm. So, you neither admit nor deny it. And I guess it must be true. Interesting. So you're the grandchild of that bastard who disgraced the guilds. <laughs> You just look like a regular brat to me. Hmm. Why don't you say something? Can't even defend your own grandfather? Oh yeah, I guess that's something no one could ever defend, huh? Considering all the nasty stuff he did. How can you say such horrible things? How? Well, because it's the truth. Hey, wait! You guys must be Sirens Fang's newest guild members, right? W we're Brave Vesperia! Brave Vesperia? What a funny name. What kind of a guild is that? Well, it's, uh... You see... Why, you're gonna give us some good jobs if we tell you? I don't have any jobs to give shady thugs involved with Eifried like you guys. Brave Vesperia, huh? It's good-for-nothing trash like you who've been tarnishing what it means to be a guild. You're the good-for-nothing trash who's been tarnishing the name of the city. Y you you're Rita Mordio? It looks like there's a lot more vulgar pieces of trash than the last time I was here. Jeez, it'll be a real nuisance if anyone thinks I'm associated with you. Let's get out of here. Wait! Oh? Was there something else you wanted to say? N no mm. But what are we gonna do? I'm pretty sure that guy's gonna spread rumors. I don't care. If that's the kind of thing that could destroy our guild, we would have been finished a long time ago. Yeah, we should just let people say what they're going to say. I... Wasn't our destination ashore in Hippionia where red flowers bloom? Ah, yeah. Then let's get going. Mm. This is it, right? It matches the description Tort gave us, but... A shore in Hippionia where red flowers bloom, right? Maybe Tort tricked you guys. Either that or we came to the wrong place. Wait... I can feel a draft coming from in there. The inside must be hollow. Out of the way! It's open! What kind of a nasty person does something like that? Perhaps they sealed it up to keep fishy people like you from getting in. Whoa! You're really gunning for old Raven? Sometimes you can be so mean, Judith. Uh, What's wrong, Patty? It's nothing. I was just a little scared of the dark. You're scared of the dark? <laughs> you really are a kid. <laughs> Look who's talking. If you're scared, you can wait here. I'm fine. I'll go with you guys. Huh? What is that? What are all these stones doing in a place like this? It's so creepy. Wait, these aren't graves, are they? Maybe we really did come to the wrong place. But even if that's the case, why are there so many here? Why? I can't believe how many there are. I never imagined we'd find a place like this while we were searching for the home of the Critia. <gasps> There's something written over there. 
Here lie the victims of the Black Hope Massacre. We mourn their deaths, and in this place lay their souls to rest. These are all victims of the Black Hope Massacre! And these are the graves of people who were killed by Ifrit? Yes, but I had no idea there could be so many. No matter how you look at it, this is just too much. You can't expect a child to accept such a cold reality at her age. Hmm. I wonder who built these graves? Who knows? Maybe there were some survivors of the massacre. But... this is so horrible. I'm going to look for the key to Miorzo. You all should stay here. What? You're going by yourself? We can't bring Patty along when she's like this, can we? There aren't any signs of monsters here. We should go too. Repeat, take good care of Patty, okay? <laughs> Looks like a dead end. Maybe the old man was right, and we really did come to the wrong place. There weren't any other shores with red flowers, were there? Do you mind if I take a look at that? Illusion be undone. It is I of the chosen people whom you have anxiously awaited. possess an ancient power known as the Nagig that can read the information in objects. I used that power to learn the secret phrase that would remove the enchantment that hid this door. I see. So this is what Tort meant when he said the door could only be opened by a Critian. Now, let's go inside. for the door to Miorzo? Yes. We were told it's a bell, so this has to be it. Still, why is there a graveyard in the cave where the bell was hidden? It's just a coincidence. Maybe. I bet the person who built that graveyard didn't know the bell was hidden here. I guess that's to be expected with the door being invisible. Maybe the person who closed the entrance to this cave was the one who built the graveyard. What for? Who knows? Maybe to prevent grave robbing. Or maybe there was some other reason they had to hide this place. It is true that Tort never said anything about the cave entrance. You might be right. So someone went to all the trouble of burying those people in such a remote location? Is that really all it is? I don't know, but we've got the bell we came for, so let's go back and see Patty. Yuri, did Eifried really kill all those people? Maybe he did. Patty... That's the truth she was after. Yes, but she wasn't at all prepared for it. Right, let's hurry back. Thank you, Repeat. We got what we came for. <clears throat> Can you stand up, Patty? We're going. Are you... going already? Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't push yourself, okay? Cypher... Can you come with us? Could she be... All we've got left to do is to ring the bell we just got in Agathor Forest. I agree. Yuri, 
I need to talk to you. What is it? I'd like to say goodbye to all of you now. It's time for us to part ways. You sure? Why so sudden? You don't like traveling with us anymore? No, that's not it. If you feel uncomfortable around us because of what you learned about Eifried, then... Just don't want to cause you guys any more trouble. Even if you don't mind, well, I do. Patty. What kind of nonsense is that? Rita? Every single one of these guys causes nothing but trouble. Do you really think you're any more of a troublemaker than the rest of us? Rita. If it's really just so you can focus on what you need to do, then I won't try to stop you. I... It'll be lonely around here without you. We've come this far together. There's no need to hold back. We crossed the desert and fought so many battles together. Besides, you don't need to give an answer here and now, do you? Plus, if you leave us now, we won't be able to pilot the ship and we'll be in real trouble. Why? Just think about it after your emotions have calmed down. You can pick what you want to do then. Until that time, though, why don't you come with us? Okay. All right! It's off to Agathor Forest! We just gotta get rid of those suspicious guys and ring the bell, right? Yes. This is Egathor Forest, a holy place for the Christian people. Huh. It's nicer here than I imagined. Not a bad spot at all. Whoa, really? I thought you liked being cooped up in cold, dark labs and stuff. I wish I could have seen it in its original state. That must be the Blastia the Mystery Group brought with them. But that's a Hope Loan Blastia! What do you mean by Mystery Group? We weren't able to get any details. But Tort said he'd tell us how to get to Murzo if we did something about them. Would doing something include smashing that thing? I wonder. I suppose we could if there are no complaints. I'll fix it so there's no need for you to break it. Oh? I'll leave it to you then. Are you gonna rest on the ship? No, I'll go... This area is currently under control of the Imperial Knights. The Royal Guard. This is the Commandant's private force of elite knights. What are the Commandant's forces doing in a forest like this with Hoplon Blastia? I have no reason to answer your questions. Civilian activity is restricted by law in this area. Hmm. Be that as it may, why are you pointing that weapon at us like that? Bring it on! Prepare to meet your doom! Transform! Nice move! Dragon! Alright, here we go! Yay! Alright! We did it! Man, that escalated quickly. Well, we're off to a good start. So the mysterious group of people was the Imperial Knights. But why did he attack us? Maybe because they're doing something here that they don't want anyone to know about? You mean, with that Blastia? Maybe, yeah. Hmm. You said you were gonna come with us, so you better pull yourself together. <sighs> I know. Watch out! Estelle! What did you just do? Same as what she did in Helliard. Estelle's power took the air and made it dissipate. 
You've got to stop doing crazy things like that. I'm... I'm sorry. I just thought about how everyone was in danger, and before I knew it, my power... Her power is starting to unconsciously respond to her feelings. That last attack came from that Blastia. It was aiming straight at us. Which means that Estelle will end up using her power every time we're shot at. But then... What should I do? Hey, hey, you saved us, didn't you? Yeah, if that had hit us head on, we would have been goners for sure. We should be mad at the fact that they shot at us, not that Estelle protected us. We've sworn to settle Estelle's problems along with the world's problems. Everything we're doing right now is towards that purpose. We shouldn't let the details get in our way. But won't Pharaoh get mad if she keeps doing stuff like this? Whether it's by a Blastia or by Pharaoh, I don't want to be barbecued alive. Come on, this is simple. We just have to do something about that Blastia, right? That's right. Let's pummel the jerks who are controlling that Blastia! All right, let's go. Try to keep a low profile. <sighs> if you keep standing around, we're gonna leave you behind. Get out of our way! This looks easy! I guess I'll go easy on them. We don't have to worry about being shot at anymore. We might have stopped the knights, but we still gotta deal with this guy. Hmm. He's not a Hermes Blastia, but the formula's been encrypted. Care to explain in English? Basically, without a key to decode the formula, we can't turn it off. So I assume breaking the code isn't... No, it's not easy. Even if I could break it, that would take time. Hmm. Maybe if I... I don't think this will take much time at all. Wait! But you said... Help! What are you doing here? Perhaps he is this Blastia's engineer. No! I mean, I am an engineer and all, but I... I, I was just following orders! I, I swear I never wanted to get involved in something like this! Undo the code and stop this Blastia now! Yes, of course, right away. I'm sorry for surprising you back there. Huh, duh. I knew right away you were only trying to make me jump. Oh? At least that's one problem down. Now we can go to Murzo once the weather clears. No! What is it? I could use your help here, kid. Uh, right. Should have known they'd have another one of these. Yuri, don't tell me you did that to keep me from using my power. Don't you think that was a bit reckless? Indeed. Do you have a death wish? This? This is nothing. Yuri, I'm sorry. It was my fault. Hey, you did the same for us before, right? Well, now we're even. But... Estelle, perhaps a simple thank you would do best. I... Thank you. Moving right along, we'd better do something about that other Blastia. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know... Hey! Fast, little bugger. We better catch him quick. Please wait. Patty is... Rita, I'm sorry. I let him get away. 
Don't worry about it. I'll come up with something. Yeah, but you said it wasn't easy. As long as the knights aren't around, we don't have to worry so much about how long it takes. Besides, who do you think you're dealing with? I'm the genius mage, Rita Mordio. If it's me versus Ablastia, I'll win or die trying. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Uh, what are you doing? If we leave it like this, someone could use it again. I'll just make a few adjustments. I'm sorry. Ah, nothing shines quite so bright as a young person with something they're willing to risk their life for. For somebody who stood on death's doorstep, saying you'll do something or die trying isn't just a figure of speech. Huh? Death's doorstep? Didn't you say you almost died during the Great War? Huh. Forgot I mentioned that. Well, only the living have the privilege of saying they'll fight to the last breath. Words like conviction and resolve don't mean much to a dead man. Are you okay, old man? Here I am, running off at the mouth. I get a bit sentimental when I start digging up the past. Come on! Onward! Ready to go? Is everyone okay? I'll live. Me too. This time the old man looks a little worse for wear. Hey old man, wanna sit this one out? We can go on ahead. If you leave me behind, there ain't any place else for me to go. Come on, even Yuri wouldn't leave you here for good. And anyway, you could always go back to Altos, couldn't you? Hmm. There's always that, I suppose. But there... how do I say it? Not the same as you guys. Oh, really? <laughs> well, if you're okay, old man, let's get over to that Blastia before it recharges and attacks us again. Aye, aye. Roger that. That Blastia's been making some weird noises. It's charging up air. It won't be able to fire again for a while. If we hurry up and sneak past, the enemy will be utterly helpless. You don't seriously think that, do you? It's the Royal Guard! From the other side, too! We're surrounded? We need to stand firm and hold out! Yeah, I guess we'll fight. Hey, come on! Yay! All right, how about a hug? I don't think so. How feeble looking! I guess I'll go easy on them. The secret of my strength is a secret. Did we get everyone? <laughs> Stop zoning out. I'm sorry, Yuri. Patty, maybe you should have stayed back on the ship after all. I... If I'm just gonna keep causing trouble for you guys like this, maybe I should have... Enough with the indecision and grumbling. We've come this far, haven't we? We're all friends here. Didn't we tell you not to worry? Fred. My, it's not every day we get to hear you say such sweet things, Rita. Shut up! Come on, we have to stop that Hoplon Blastia. 
Okay, okay. You all heard the lady. Friends. Patty, what are you doing? You want to get left behind? No, I'm coming. I'm coming too. After all, you guys are my friends. Those who obstruct the work of the knights shall be treated as criminals! I <laughs> wouldn't have it any other way. Sorry, but you're going bye-bye! I got no time to think. Just beat him senseless and you'll win. How does it look, Rita? Just like I thought. This formula is protected by a code as well. Think you can break it? I said I'd do it or die trying, didn't I? This has nothing to do with getting us to Miorzo anymore. There's no way in hell I'll let those idiot knights go on using these poor Blastia like this! Okay, I'll leave this to you guys! And where are you off to, Carol? I'm gonna keep watch down below, just in case more royal guards show up. Well then, I'll come along and help out. I'm going too. It looks like Patty's cheered up. I hope so. And you know, the guy's enthusiasm actually kind of scares me. It's Yuri's influence. I guess the rest of us will stay here for now. Yuri himself is as laid back as can be, though. True. Looks like it'll be a while before she can crack that code. Royal Guard, huh? I wonder what those guys were planning to do with the Blastia anyway. The Knights have come back! We've got to hold our ground here. You don't scare me. Well then, here come the riffraff. This will be painful. It seems they're not going to let us rest, Rita. I shall defend this place. Hey, come on! Yay! All right, how about a hug? I don't think so. Rita, what are you... We have to destroy him! You worry about the knights! Rita, but why? We're out of time! You can't possibly... Rita! Can't possibly what? Fight them all off? Do you have no faith in me? In us? Succeed or die trying, wasn't it? We won't give in! Rita, do what you can and save that Blastia! We're gonna do our best. We're going to fight them all off. So hang in there. You guys. I will. I'll fix this thing if it's the last thing I do. And just so you know, I'm expecting the same from you guys. <sighs> oh, hell. Guess I'll give it all I got, too. Will you join the Shining Youth Brigade or something? Looks that way. Hold still. I'll make this quick. Don't let your focus slip. No going through. This is oh, power that oh, 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 no, 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 no. We can't let anyone through. Rita! Way to go, Rita! 
small be? She came through. The knights are pulling back! Why? Because the Blastia stopped? I wonder what they were trying to do. Let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. Now we've kept our promise to Tord. Judith, you take it from here. Okay. door has opened. That is Miorzo, homeland of the Christian people. It's definitely impressive. It's as unexpected as a dandelion blooming on the bottom of the sea. Looks like they won't keep it open for us very long. We should hurry. Baul! A flying city. Who'd have guessed? Forget the city. What about that huge thing? It looks like a living creature. It's a floating jellyfish. It's an Antilochea, though not one I've spoken to. Antilochea? How did something like that swallow an entire city? That I don't know. I had absolutely no idea a city like this existed. That's because Miorzo cut off contact with the outside world ages ago. It's not going to attack us or anything if we get closer, right? Don't worry. As long as Baul is with us, we should be allowed to enter. This is a surprise. These visitors really are from the outside. Well, well. So it was you who called on Miorzo. And what is this? How strange. What curious ornaments you wear. Hey, it's not polite to stare, you know. How are such children as yourselves able to come here? She's talking about you, Patty. Mm -hmm. You too, Rita. Is this monster an Antilochea, perhaps? It's Baul. Have you forgotten him? Oh, you're the one who descended to the Earth some years ago, right? I believe Judith. Yes, Judith was your name. There was something you had to attend to, and... Are you about finished? We would like to meet with the Elder. Please feel free to do as you wish. He may be out for a walk again, though. Okay, so they're a bit weird. That's actually called rude. You want to talk, Rita? All Christians are pretty much like that. Like what? Oh, easygoing, unafraid. We are dreamers and optimists, for better or worse. The Critians who live on the surface are like that too. Living together with humans, the Critians on the surface have lost some of their naivete. So is the Elder like that too? How should I put it? He's the perfect Elder for weird people. Sounds like quite a unique individual. I'm trying to be nice here. This should be interesting. there'd be a city in a place like this. There's so many types of Blastia I've never seen before. Looks like the Critians really were the ones who created Blastia in the first place. 
Yes, seeing all this Blastia makes it very easy to believe that. It sure would be nice if we happened upon a way to do something about your power, Mrs. Stell. Really, that would be nice, but... It's not working! It doesn't have a core. It's just the body. This city has stopped using Blastia. What you see here is what everyone threw out long ago. Why would they do that? Because that was the path we chose. It's been a long time, Elder. So you were the cause of all this commotion outside. You've returned to us. These children are humans who are traveling with me. Hmm. This is Blastia, is it not? Yes, it's my Bodhi Blastia that I use. Hmm, I thought that Earth Dwellers had stopped using Blastia, like us. Do you not use the Blastia here because it uses a special formula too? There are no normal or special types of Blastia. Blastia is made by crushing Apatheia and processing those pieces with technology to produce cores and through the absorption of air. Hold it! Cores are made from crushed Apatheia? Indeed, that is what the stories say. It appears Apatheia was too powerful in its original form. Even without that power, it is a stone more valuable than any precious gem. This is why its power was restrained by breaking it into pieces and carving formulas into it, and thus its numbers were also increased. Our legends tell us that cores were always produced in this way. A bit ironic, huh? Yeah. The Apatheia that comes from Entelikea, who hate Blastia, is necessary to make the very Blastia that they hate. Maybe Pharaoh didn't tell us about Apatheia because he felt uncomfortable talking about it, you think? Elder, there are many things I'd like to ask you about. We're trying to find out what sort of role Blastia played in ancient times. And if Blastia ever brought disasters to this world, you'd like to know how they might have been stopped. Yorzo must still have some folklore, right? Perhaps you could tell us what you know. Hmm. Very well. My home would be a better place to speak of such things. Please go inside and wait for me there. Hey there! Where are you going? I was in the middle of my daily walk. I'll return to my house before too long. Apatheia, Blastia, air disturbances, Entelakea, it looks like everything's connected. We might even see more connections once he's told us the Critian folklore. The Elder's house is a large building with a differently colored roof than all the others. Gotcha. Patty, we're leaving. Oh yeah, I'm coming too. Do you think we should really just go in? He's the one who told us to wait for him here! I guess the Critians really are different. They don't seem to be in any great rush to get things done, that's for sure. I know, they certainly are weird, aren't they? Actually, you're kind of like that too, Judith. That's funny, I don't see that at all. Seems like Patty'd fit right in here too. Hmm, might be nice to live here. Ah, there you are. Welcome back. I've kept you waiting. Now please, step this way if you will. Huh? This is the very means by which the lore of Miorzo is passed on. But, uh, it's just a wall. Judith, use the Nagig as you touch the wall and repeat these words. City of dreams, veiled in mist, reality's extension. City of dreams, veiled in mist, 
Reality's extension? What's happening? Whoa! So the Nagik can do this kind of stuff too? You know about the Nagig. Through its power and the secret phrase handed down, the wall's true form is revealed. Th this painting is kind of creepy. The Kritya, stewards of wisdom, founders of the mighty Garaios and ancient sages. Our misbegotten wisdom has sown only the seeds of ruin. The Blastia we created granted us blessings, but also blighted the air, lifeblood of this world. Then Rita was right. There were disturbances in the air in the past. You think this is showing a disturbance in the air? It looks more like the air is trying to eat the planet. Hmm. It is said that a great mass of air threatened to swallow the very planet whole. The blight grew ever stronger and brought forth a cataclysm. In our terror, we gave a name to the cataclysm. The Adafagos. Adafagos? The world united to challenge the Adafagos and banish the loathsome power which created it. Hey, could that be the Entelikea? It does look a bit like monsters and humans fighting something off together. Though the Garayo civilization was lost, the Adafagos was quelled in the end. The fact that we are all still here today is evidence enough of that. So then, is this painting showing the Adafagos being brought under control? What is that? It looks like a large ring. What is that? I can't say. I've wondered that myself. Hey, what's the last thing it says there? Judy? Hearing the world's prayers, life faded from the child of the full moon. The Adafagos disappeared into the void. What? The world's prayers. Life faded from the children of the full moon. Our world was preserved, but the story shall remain here for generations to tell of our sin. 240th year of Asul. What's that supposed to mean? There is no further explanation of what each of these phrases may mean. Our ancestors created the Blastia, which led to the downfall of their entire civilization. They then chose to abandon the Blastia and sever their ties with the outside world. Estelle! Let her go. This is all the lore of Miorzo. Thanks. You've given us a lot to think about. You know what's helpful? There's this magic cucumber that'll turn any dish into a gourmet meal. I think we'll pass. Could we trouble you for a place to rest a while? I feel we may need to impose on you until our friend has calmed down. Hmm. You are free to use the house next door. No one lives there right now. Thank you. Okay, let's be going. The Cataclysm? The Autophagos? If that legend's true, then maybe the power of the Child of the Full Moon isn't the only thing to blame for bringing out the Autophagos. But what about the hearing the world's prayers, life faded from the children of the full moon part? Maybe they averted danger by killing the cause of the Autophagos, the children of the full moon. But, but wait! Aren't the Hermes Blastia the real cause? Can't we just stop those? It might not be just the Hermes Blastia. That legend made it sound like all Blastia disturbed the world's air. Right, Rita? The elders said that Blastia are Blastia. There are no normal ones or special ones. I think that means the only thing that's different is how much air each formula uses. Even the Blastia we're using? Bodhi Blastia are special, but all Blastia utilize air in a formula. They're all the same. And formulas need air to work. The Hermes Technique, the Children of the Full Moon, they're probably only part of the danger. With more and more Blastia, 
The Autophagos will awaken. This is what the Entelikea are afraid of. Well, that's what I was worried about. I didn't want to admit it. Blastia couldn't be bad. The people who used them for evil were the bad ones. That's what I always believed. But I was wrong. So does that mean we have to stop every Blastia? Like the people here in Murzo did? Aye. We should toss every Blastia in the trash. Gotta row our boats with oars, too. That's impossible. We need Blastia for our everyday lives. Barrier Blastia, Aqua Blastia, Bodhi Blastia, too. Yeah, you're right. So, it's really not possible? I couldn't take on a really tough monster if I didn't have this. Yeah. I wish we could use Blastia without worrying about consuming air. But I guess that's just a dream. The Rizomata formula. What's that? All things exist due to the sublimation, reduction, formation, and dispersion of air. Some think that a still undiscovered theory could freely manipulate those essential mechanisms of air. Formulating that theory is the ultimate goal of current magical research by mages around the world. So that's the Rizomata formula? If it's found, manipulating air will become so much easier. Of course, we need a formula to reconstruct air from power that was originally converted from air. But Estelle's power is actually directly manipulating air. Estelle is the closest thing to the Rizomata formula. If we can use a formula to interfere with and neutralize Estelle's power... I don't really get it, but... If you work out that formula thing, then Estelle can live in peace, right? So by that logic, if we could control the excess of air, we could prevent provoking the autophagos. Awesome! Hmm. Sounds difficult, but awesome. So we're supposed to go looking for some formula that researchers all over the world can't find? Now you're really dreaming. I will figure out this formula. For Estelle and for me. Yeah, you do that. Huh? Raven, where are you going? For a walk. All this talk about saving the world, the ultimate goal of magical research. This conversation's a little much for old Raven to keep up with. That formula sounds nice and all, but the air is getting worse as we're sitting here. Yeah. For now, we have to find whoever is making the Hermes Blastia. Otherwise, it'll be too late, just like Pharaoh said. But how are we supposed to find whoever that is? If we follow whoever's looking for Apatheia, they should lead us right to them. Cores are made from Apatheia, after all. So Flynn and Nan and their friends? Yeah. I wonder if we'll have to fight them. That's kind of up to them. This Blastia is working, why? This one is fitted with a core. Something's written here. Warp Blastia? So in other words, someone used this to leave Miorzo? It looks that way. Didn't they get rid of all the Blastia here? There shouldn't be any functioning, right? Yes, at least that's how it should be. Hmm. What could a functional Blastia be doing here? It appears that someone's left the town. Estelle. Where's Estelle? Wait, and where'd the old man go? Huh? You don't think both of them use this? What do you mean? Hmm. The Blastia in our towns should have all lost their cores back in ancient times. The core was probably brought in from outside the town. It should require adjustment to function properly, but Estelle's an exception to the rules. If she can interact directly with air, she might also be able to reconstruct air to fit the core's formula. But why would she... Elder, could you get everyone to help us search to see if our friends are in town? Hmm. 
Very well. Let's look for them too. As you thought, the two of them are nowhere to be found. I wonder what could have happened to them. Anyway, let's get back to the surface and look for them. But even if we do, the world's a big place. It's reckless to just go searching blindly. Perhaps the two of them went on a walk? A walk that involves leaving the town without saying anything to us? Not a chance. Well, only the living have the privilege of saying they'll fight to the last breath. And words like conviction and resolve don't mean much to a dead man. Out. Ah, well. Just when things were getting good. Just who are you, anyway? What does the head of the knights want with you? I can't believe I only just remembered that. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hurry! We have to follow them! I understand how you're feeling, but please try to calm down. What? Aren't you worried? Of course I'm worried. That's why we should calm down and think rationally, right? Oh, right. Yeah. I see. I'm sorry. Got any ideas? Ah, yes. The master of Miorzo might have some idea. He's an Entelikea after all. Maybe he felt the flow of air from the Blastia. Did you hear it? Could you tell us where it was? To the west. A sea of sand. A town? It's not too clear, but a desert town. I think it's Yormgen. That's the town in the sands of Kagor, where we met Duke before. The sands? Why would they go to a place in the middle of nowhere? Let's head there now. You're leaving then? I am. You don't need to shoulder such a burden. Haven't you suffered enough? Thank you, Elder. But I'm not suffering anymore. Hmm. Hmm. If you went into the outside world, you might understand too. What's happening? What's going on? It's just a pile of ruins. This didn't just happen in a few days. This is like hundreds of years. Maybe there was a huge fire that... Hmm, no. Not a chance of that happening, huh? Quiet. Someone's here. Duke. This could be our clue about the Rizomata formula. That's the dragon from the Weezen of Kados. He's traveling with Duke, huh? I've got questions for that guy, but we have to find Estelle first. They got away. There's no time. This isn't what I would have chosen, but so be it. Alexei, what are you doing here? Ah, looking for the princess? I'm impressed you found your way here. Do you know where Estelle is? What do you think you're doing? Is this your idea of a joke, Commandant? I am at a loss as to how to thank you. Your pitiful sense of justice has allowed me to work with little interruption. Long ago, there was the pirate Eifried, and now we have the likes of Barbos and Rago. They were each of use in their own fashion, but you have performed magnificent work, far surpassing theirs. You're some of the most talented and foolish performers I've seen. What? However, the time for fooling around is over. It is time for you to exit the stage. So that's it, huh? It was you pulling everybody's strings all this time. Well, I'm not laughing, Alexei. Commandant! <laughs> and yet another fool arrives. Flynn! Commandant! How could you? You're the pride of the Imperial Knights. How could you commit treason? This is not treason. I am merely following the path of one who holds true authority. And you just intend to betray the trust of His Highness Yoder? His Highness... yes. 
I think he'll be relinquishing his rank soon. This is madness. My lord, all is in readiness. Jaeger! Well done. I am headed for Bactian as planned. I will leave this situation to you. And Yoder's fate as well. Yeah, you bet, my lord. Alexei, wait! Who said you could leave? Stand back. If you try to stop us, get the hell out of the way! Your princess friend is at the shrine of Bactian as well, you know. What did you say? You'll be too late if you don't hurry! Ugh. Ugh. Go after Alexei and Jaeger. Sir! Alexei! You won't get away with this! Yuri, come on! Yuri? Yuri Lowell, give yourself up! The Shrine of Bactian is said to be located on the Hypionian continent. Hypionia, the continent east of Desier. The Egathor Forest is there. Are we actually going to trust what Jaeger said? If that's where Alexei is headed, then Estelle's got to be there. We don't have much information, so I guess we'll just have to go check it out. I, we can't just sit here and ignore that guy. What's the matter, Patty? Actually, come to think of it, didn't he say something about Eifried? That man is the cause of it all. If we take him out, we can get Estelle back. But what about Raven? I'll bet he delivered Estelle to them and then just took off. No, Raven, he wouldn't do that. Well, the facts are that she's been kidnapped and he's nowhere to be seen. I mean, that's only logical, right? It's possible he was captured as well. Well, whatever. Let's get going. Yuri? Yuri. Flynn. A word? Very well. Let's talk over there. Just what the hell are you doing? What happened to advancing as a knight and fixing the Empire from within? You've been nothing more than a damn puppet on Alexei's string! Don't you dare tell me that the Dawn and Bellius died for nothing more than that! He was there working alongside you this whole time, Flynn! How could you possibly not know? I'm sorry. Why, though? Did you go along with it because Yoder trusted Alexei? His Highness is not to blame. I had total confidence in Alexei. The responsibility is mine. So your pursuit of the Abathea at Nordopolica was on Alexei's orders, I presume? Yeah. You'd better start talking. Tell me what happened. There's no reason to worry about exposing the Commandant now. The conversion of Heliord into a military installation. The abuse of the residents at Mantek. All of Cumor's activities, the forbidden development of Nublastia, all of these were carried out under the Commandant's... under Alexei's orders. Well, you've grown up to be a model knight. Unquestion allegiance to your country. That's nice. The Commandant, Alexei, was not always this way. You of all people should remember, those who are just will lead lives of prosperity. That was the ideal Alexei once held dear. That was why I... But all it's done for you is help you lose sight of your original intentions. <clears throat> Not that I have much right to preach to you, after I let them run off with Estelle like that. No, that never would have happened if I hadn't been blind to Alexei's true nature. I had grown far too used to simply obeying orders like a good knight, even when I doubted them. It was my lack of thought that brought this about. Since when is moaning and whining part of a knight's job description? You impudent! No. It is as she says. I must shoulder this responsibility. It is up to me to rescue Lady Esteles. Whoa, what? Captain, what should be done about His Highness? If anything were to happen to him, the Empire... I know. That's why this brigade is concentrating all our efforts on ensuring his safety. 
But Captain... Please. Hmm. Damn it, Flynn. I didn't yell at you to have you turn around and start telling me what to do. Brave Vesperia is going to rescue Estelle. Then let me join you. Let me be a member of Brave Vesperia. Captain? A knight joining a guild? Don't make me laugh. I was unable to prevent the Royal Guard from abducting Her Highness. I am duty-bound to correct this wrong by saving her. Give it up. You know you have no place in a guild. But if you want to come with us, I won't stop you. Yuri! But you know what you have to do, right? As soon as we've rescued Her Highness, I will return to protect Prince Yoder. I cannot allow the Empire to be thrown into disorder. I'm sorry, Sodia, Witcher. I must ask you to take care of the Prince. I'll be back as soon as I can. Please tell His Highness the same. Understood. <sighs> Yuri. Thanks. Same here. You had me worried there. It's good to see you're back to your old self. Alexei. So he's the one who's been advancing Hermes Blastia technology. Yeah, it's taken a while, but everything points back to him. All right, next stop, the Shrine of Bactian. We're gonna get Estelle and Raven out of there, and show Alexei just who he's messing with. Agreed. Yeah. Look over there! What is that huge thing? It's the Heracles. Did Alexei send for it? That's the Entelikea Astal. Alexei is still trying to get Apathea, it seems. It looked like it got away, though. Yeah, it looked like it was forced into those ruins. Those ruins definitely appear to be the Temple Bactian. I wonder what Alexei's plotting this time. <sighs> it doesn't matter what Alexei's planning to do. Right, we're just here to rescue Estelle. But if we get too close like this, we'll end up like a stall. Let's land a little bit away from it and approach on the ground. Alexei! Jaeger, that useless worm. Can't he even swat a few pesky flies? Alexei, what have you done to Lady Esteles? Give Estelle back! Estelle, come on, wake up! Estelle! No matter. As you can see, the princess's life will fade each time she uses her power. If you care for her, then do not interfere further. <laughs> Alexei! You bastard! doing here after we left we picked up the Heracles's movements Prince Yoder dispatched us saying that you could probably use our help that little prince never could mind his own damn business well what about you and all that pathetic bluster and bravado sorry but unlike you well-bred aristocrats I'm not perfect hey you guys all right Oh, 
Oh, uh, huh? What are they... They came to save us. Apparently Yoder told them to. Alexei's inside the temple. Let's hurry up after him. Captain, please come with us and return to His Highness's side at once. Sodia? It is difficult for me to say this, but this place is far too dangerous. The one we most need to protect for the sake of the Empire right now is Prit. I know that. I know that, as a knight, that is what I should be doing. I know that all too well. Then... But this is something I need to do myself, for Her Highness, and for Alexei. Please, let me go. But... Take us there. It must be pretty damn inconvenient to be a knight, huh? How can someone like you... How can the captain possibly consider someone like you his friend? Our captain is the ideal to which we all aspire. He's the epitome of an imperial knight. And yet, for some reason when he's with you, he is not himself. Just like this last time. Whatever. If you're looking for someone to have a heart to heart with, Go bug Applehead over here. We don't have time to sit around and play guidance counselor for you. A Applehead? That's it! Sodia! No, don't! Sodia! Listen well, Yuri Lowell. Your very existence is hurting our captain. Stay away from him! She's pretty intense. All right, now we've done everything we came here to do. We ask that you please take care of the captain. Platoon, fall out! We must hurry to rejoin the brigade! Yuri! Come on, we have to catch up with Flynn. Right. If she's forced to use her power, then it'll be too late to save her or fix the air. That bastard! Using her like some kind of tool! He's gonna pay! Come on! Prince Yoder was thoughtful to send his knights to help us. To help us? Don't you mean to help Flynn and Estelle? Coming here is reckless enough, but sending help is even crazier. Doesn't that little prince understand his own position? That's the kind of person His Highness is. I'm sure that what's happened has caused him exceptional grief. Are you referring to Estelle? Or perhaps Alexei? <sighs> Both. Let's hurry. Hey, slow down. What are you saying? This is no time to be taking it easy. We don't have any clue where enemies could be lurking, so calm down. You're right. I apologize. Yuri, you guys are much more level-headed than... Don't worry about it. We're all in this together here. Patty, are you okay? I'm okay. I'm extremely okay. Come on, Estelle's waiting for us. Let's hurry. Alexei made it sound like Ifrid was one of his men. It is true that the knights employ guilds on rare occasions, but... We don't know whether Ifrid worked for him, right? In any case, that conversation's on the back burner for now. Let's go. room look like this too all these rooms look the same I wonder if they're all like this I'm gonna go check out what's ahead repeat I've heard that this kind of construction is intended to humble visitors so this must be the approach to the shrine <sighs> we don't really have time to be dawdling it's okay relax As we thought, the rooms all look the same from here on out. Repeat's sense of smell doesn't seem to be working too well either. I see. We can't afford to get lost in here. Here, use these. Let's make a map as we go. 
Y you're always so well prepared. Carol, can you do this? Yeah, I'm good with maps. Leave it to me. We'll be in a lot of trouble if you mess up, you know. Don't say that! Come on, everything will be fine. Probably. Are you thinking of what you're going to do when you meet Alexei? I'll most likely have to fight him. Sounds like you've made up your mind. To be honest, I can't believe it even now. No, I think it's really that I don't want to believe it. I looked up to him for so long. I've desperately hoped that this was just some kind of mistake. Sorry, but I already know the answer to that. I know. Besides, the way he has treated Lady Esteles can't be explained away as simply a mistake. No objection there. Hey! S Sir Flynn! You can just call me Flynn. What is it? Um, Flynn, you, uh, know what Yuri's done, don't you? You mean what he did to Rago and Kumor? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm not going to arrest Yuri. At least, not right now. Then you mean you're going to arrest him after you bring Estelle back to the capital? Under Imperial law, the things that Yuri has done are serious crimes. After all, he killed two of the Empire's leading figures out of a personal grudge. Serious crimes? A personal grudge? But Yuri was... I know. Yuri certainly didn't do those things for his own sake. But that's how the law works. The corruption in the Empire is entirely irrelevant here. Are you perhaps in doubt? Confused about which way is right? I don't know. Is what I'm feeling doubt? Or is it... Hey, what are you doing? You're gonna get left behind, you know! Ugh, sorry! My, she's scary. Let's go. <sighs> What is this a statue of? With that kind of shape, I can't tell whether it's supposed to be a human or a monster. This is a temple after all. This is probably a statue of whatever deity the temple was dedicated to. You know, it might just be a statue of the Entelikea we saw outside. Huh? It couldn't be. I mean, a monster, that is. It's a... But they don't even look alike. No, I think it's possible. The Entelikea have powers beyond those of humans and can speak in our language. It's not strange to think that humans would have worshipped them in ancient times. The relationship between the Entelikea and humans might be closer than we thought. Maybe they drifted apart during the long, long passage of time, eventually leading to the situation we find ourselves in now. If that's the case, I wonder just how much we've forgotten. I'm sure there are things in this world that should never be forgotten. Patty? I, I think that I prefer the distance we have now to the cozy relationship we had back then. <laughs> it's the Royal Guard. That has to mean we're on the right track. Good call, Carol. Estelle's got to be back there somewhere. You're a captain, aren't you? Can't you tell them to get out of the way? The Royal Guard doesn't obey anyone but the Commandant. We don't have much time. Let's make this quick. This should be some fine training. I guess I'll go easy on them. Try it! Run again! <laughs> That was a fine bit of training. I don't know what this is, but it looks complicated. This is... a barrier that's been locked up somehow with an encrypted formula. Can you open it? It uses an ancient technology that's barely been studied at all. 
Even I've only seen something like this in books. I couldn't even guess how long a thorough analysis might take. I'm guessing we can't just force our way through. Locks usually aren't placed on anything that's easily broken into. Yeah, you're right. Wait, how do you think Alexei got through here? He probably forced the lock using Estelle's... the power of the Child of the Full Moon. Which means he made her use her power again. Lady Estelle's his power. <sighs> Someone's here. Duke, why are you here? You? How is the young lady, the child of the full moon? Alexei's got her somewhere up ahead! I see. So he has made his move. Are you here because of him too? The air crenny in this region has become severely imbalanced. I have come to restrain it. By restrain? You mean you actually have a way to do that? To quiet the air crenny, the cause of the imbalance must be removed. Just come out and say it. You mean kill Estelle. What? That's enough. What is it with blaming all the world's problems on a single girl? An unstable child of the full moon cannot be ignored. You're as hard-headed as Pharaoh. I thought as a human you'd see things differently. Our common bond as humans is nothing. A single life cannot be privileged over the fate of the world. Yeah, never mind that without a bunch of those single lives, there'd be no world. Listen, she may be a bumbling, sheltered excuse for a princess, but she's one of ours. She's none of your concern, so back off! Do you say that knowing just how great a threat her existence poses? What we know has got nothing to do with it. Our motto is always do what's right. And if that means having to get up close and personal with you, then so be it. Very well. The time has come to show me the resolve that so impressed Pharaoh. This is De Nomos. It is the only manner in which the air may be quieted. Raise it and calm your mind. The sword will take care of the rest. De Nomos. Duke, wait! De Nomos. That's the name of the sword of the Imperial line that's been missing all this time. What are you doing with it? Why does something like that have the power to control the air? Who are you? The answers to those questions are not what you should be seeking now. Go, before you are too late. Soon, you will learn for yourselves the true weight of the burden borne by the Entelechea. <sighs> He's a cool guy, but way too moody. If my memory serves me right, we also ran into him in Gasparost. Who is he? I don't know. I can't even tell if he's a friend or a foe. Come on! That formula! It's just like Estelle's! So that sword really is... I can't believe this is Dane Nomos, the proof of Imperial Secession. Yuri, you can become the Emperor! This is just for decoration. I wouldn't want to be the Emperor even if I could. You're so young, yet you have no ambition. Says the little girl playing dress-up. A lost proof of Imperial Secession. When you get down to it, the loss of that sword was the source of all the fighting over the succession to the throne. Was Duke really the one who stole it? Hey, hey, give me a break. Don't go saying the Imperial Knights are going to claim this sword. I know. This isn't the time for that. Duke went around using that sword to control Air Crené. Oh, so Duke's doing the same thing as the Angelicaea. Maybe so. That sword, 
it produced the same phenomenon as Estelle did. Maybe the Rizomata formula was already worked out once before, but then why was that information lost? Maybe it's related to the cataclysm, like the way that the Blastia was lost. Why did that become an Imperial treasure? There are tons of things we don't know about this sword, but let's wait to figure them out until we've settled things here. Right now, rescuing Estelle is our top priority. Right, let's hurry! Estelle, how does it feel to face your last moments in the very temple built to worship you? <laughs> Wretched human. Enough! Alexei, please stop this! <laughs> if you are so eager to free him from his suffering, why not use your healing art to comfort him? <laughs> you are utterly powerless. Alone, you are nothing more than a poisonous blight to this world. I'm sure you understand that now. Estelle, are you alright? Lady Esteles! Estelle! We've come to save you! You again? What stubborn, misguided fools you all are. Yuri, Flynn, all of you! Estelle! We've come to rescue you! <laughs> you are incapable of saving this princess. I am her only hope for salvation. Spare me! The most glorious moment for any tool is when it is finally used. Even the poison of this world can be a blessing if used correctly. And only I can do that. Now, princess, come with me. Without me, I'm afraid your power... Alexei! Ah! Alexei, stop! Ah! Judith! <sighs> <laughs> Weren't you Entelakea supposed to be masters of this world? Stop it! Let us tell go! How disappointing. He's dead. But how can that be? Smaller than I would have hoped. No matter. It can be used in any number of ways. Alexei! Ah, you've come this far. Now, be baptized in the air your dear princess charged with her own hands! What are you doing with that sword? What happened to Duke? He gave this to us before he took off. And he didn't seem all that worried about you. What irony. That which I have searched for all these years. That it would arrive at my feet only when I no longer have a need for it. With the child of the full moon, the apatheia, and my knowledge, de nomos means nothing to me. Talk to yourself a lot, huh? Not a good sign. Now shut up and let Estelle go! <laughs> Are you certain that is what the princess wants? Estelle! <sighs> Your Highness? Estelle! What's going on? Estelle! I... I don't know. What are you talking about? As long as I'm with you all, I'll only cause you harm. But I want to be with you. I just don't know what I should do. Estelle, pull yourself together. Forget about that, Estelle. Get over here. If there's something you're unsure about, we'll work it out together. Yuri. Uh, I... I can't take this. 
Now, now, Mr. Yuri Lowell. Such brash behavior does not befit a young lady's escort. Not very gentlemanly of you at all. Sorry for my lack of manners. There aren't many gentlemen where I'm from. That sword is nothing more than an annoyance now. I will rid myself of you here. Yuri! Everyone! I thought you always let your knights handle things for you. What's with the change? What is it, Repeat? I suppose there's no fooling the nose of a dog. Uh, that voice! Wait! Raven? Huh? The old man? What's going on? This doesn't look like a joke. One of the Union's most important members is a captain in the Knights? The first time we met, I didn't think it was possible, but... Huh. So that's what was going on. Wait! But what about the Dawn, Raven? So it wasn't just the Commandant, but you too. Why? Conversing with you is not one of my duties. Raven! We're in a bit of a hurry, so let us through. Wait, you're not really thinking of trying to stop us, are you? What the hell? Schwan Olterain, first captain of the Imperial Knights, ready to do battle. Sorry, I'm not gonna go easy just because you're old. I would be honored to fight with everything I have. Captain, I never thought I'd have to fight you. I'm pleased this opportunity has come. <laughs> I hate you! <laughs> Many people hate me. I'm so sorry that we have no choice but to fight you now. I'm sorry I have to fight such a beautiful lady. You should be like that all the time. Sorry, this is the last time you'll see it. You can't let this go! I won't let you do this! I would expect no less from an opponent. Then you are an enemy to me, and you will fall! Very well. Let's test our limits, then. You! Do you intend to die here? I am always ready to die in battle, so I fight with everything I have. We're not done yet. After all this time. Oh. I'll take out anyone who tries to stop us, Captain Schwan. What is that? Huh. I would have thought such a blow would be the end of me. Of this cursed body. What the? Is that a blasty on his chest? It's his heart. Or rather, a blastia that has taken its place. The original was lost ten years ago. Ten years? You mean in the Great War? I lost my life during that war. But Alexei saw fit to give it back to me with this. It's hard to believe he'd go that far. So that must be a Hermes Blastia as well. Why did Baul not notice it then? I would imagine that is because it isn't powered by air, but by my own life force. A Blastia powered only by human vitality? No way! What was that? be Alexei. He intends to bury you alive. But that's crazy. You're still in here. <laughs> he couldn't pass up a chance to dispose of that sword. Now that it's of no use to him. So he was using Estelle to lure Duke here. 
This guy's even more twisted than I thought. Hey, old man! This is no time to be standing around! The end has finally arrived for me. You never intended to leave this place alive. Captain Schwann! Who said you just get to lay down and die right here? Even if all your travels with us were just some joke to you? Are you trying to tell me your anger at the Dawn's death was just an act too? I thought the guilds never quit until the job was done. Wasn't that his dying wish? You go on living till the end. Man, you really can be a downer sometimes, you know that? Raven said. They must have left for Zophius already. Y Yuri Lowell? What are you doing here? And Captain Flynn too? LeBlanc? Even Tweedle A and Tweedle B are here. And I what say, is a Tweedle? Out with it! Fools! This is not the time for nonsense! What wonderful timing, Captain Flynn! You didn't happen to see Captain Schwann, did you? We haven't been able to get a hold of him since he went by himself to coordinate with His Excellency the Commandant. I honestly cannot understand what His Excellency is thinking lately. The Royal Guard won't tell us anything. We looked all over for him and we finally arrived here, but... <sighs> Alexei is on his way to the capital, in Heracles. Ah, we've just missed him then. And what about Captain Schwann? R Schwann saved us! Oh, did he now? So then he's aboard the Heracles as well? He's in the shrine. The deepest part. What? Wait, you... No. This is not happening. It can't be! What is the meaning of this? Captain Flynn, answer me! Captain Flynn! We almost died thanks to Alexei. The only reason we're standing here now is because of your captain! That man was a true knight. Alexei apparently has some sort of secret plan for the Empire. And it can't be good. We're going to make sure he doesn't get the chance to carry it out. If you are any kind of knights at all, 
You won't stand in our way. But how? How could it have come to this? If we don't hurry, the Heracles is going to get away! Let's hurry. I'll call Ba'ul. Raven! Captain Schwann was long said to have been the Commandant's right-hand man. He was rarely seen even among the Knights, and it was rumored that all of his missions were top secret. That's probably because he was engaged in work as Raven. So, Alexei would even sacrifice his own right-hand man? Likely because he'd enter the final stages of his plan. Seems the old man was just looking for a place to die. That damn Alexei knew it, and used it to his advantage. That guy's like a rotting fish! Ugh. None of that matters! Right now, we have to save Estelle, got it? Of course. Right. Heracles was headed for the capital, right? It's got to be crossing the ocean. Everyone, keep your eyes open wider than a deep sea fishes so we don't miss it. We caught up to them. Look! We cannot allow the Heracles or any of the traitors aboard it to come any closer to the capital. All hands to battle positions! Sodia? That's suicide. They're dead if they get too close to Heracles. I can't believe they'd be stupid enough to attack it head on. Still, there's no way their fleet stands any chance against that fortress. Well, if we can't get in from the bottom, we'll just get in from the top. What? Wait! Let's think this over a little more! Baul, take us up. Hold on tight or you'll be shaken off. They're shooting at us! Baul! Huh? The artillery fire is erratic? There! The rear left! It's the only area that isn't shooting! Okay, that's the spot. Do you think he can get us there? He's a little hurt that you'd even ask. <laughs> Sorry. All right, it's up to him. Take us in, Baul. Let's go. Man, I thought I was dead. The Royal Guard's been taken out. So that's why the cannon fire from this section was so weak. Someone's here. You never come prepared with a plan, do you? Is brute force the only strategy you know? That's right, I say. This time, it's curtains for you! You guys again? Don't you ever give up? The Schwann Brigade. You still gunning for Alexei after everything that's happened? We knights must do as our pride demands. Come on, you guys, leave us alone! Seriously? Looking at you guys makes me remember a face that I'm trying hard to forget. What sort of face do you mean? Must be some poor sap with a pretty ugly mug. Raven? Huh? It's hey! You. Old man! I'm speechless. Raven the Great, at your service. What? So happy to see me, Cat's got your tongue? What are you doing here, old man? Gee, glad to see you too. All right, men, hold down the fort here. Sir! Yes, yes sir. sir! There, that should do it. Raven! Okay, it's up to you guys from here. How can you say that? There's no way we can trust you. Don't try to pretend you forgot what you did, old man. I see. Well, then do me a favor and put me down quick. Hey, 
Hey, what are you trying to prove? I didn't think I cared that much about living. But before I knew it, I was waist deep in all this. If I have to be done in by you guys here, well, there are worse ways I could go. Now that you've turned on Alexei, your Blastia could be shut down any time. So you might as well die here. Is that what you mean? I've been a dead man for over ten years. So what is a dead guy like yourself doing here anyway? Raven, you came here to settle accounts with us, didn't you? Well, brave Asperia would be pleased to take care of that for you. Your life belongs to Brave Vesperia now. From now on, whether you live or die depends on us. Right? <laughs> That's perfect, Yuri. <clears throat> this is your punishment! Oh, thanks, Judith, darling. Oh. I didn't want to feel left out. Oh. Ah. Guess I'm joining in the fun too. Oh. Brutality. Raven, do you know where Alexei's hiding? I think he's in the control room. Let's go then. All right. You're not allowed to just go dying on us, Raven. I am relieved that you're alive and well. Huh? Hmm. Oh, oh yeah. I, well, I managed thanks to LeBlanc and his men. It's pathetic, really. So it really was you all this time. Sorry for putting you through all of that. If you want to punch me, I won't complain. No. I was following the Commandant's orders as well. I see. Then I guess we both owe a lot to His Excellency the Commandant. How about we go pay him back? Yes, I'd like that. through this pipe. Ain't it dangerous getting so close to it? This air isn't very thick. It's safe. But why is air flowing through the Heracles? It seems that air is what's making this giant contraption work. It's being supplied with air without the need for air crinae. Oh, wow. The construction of the Heracles was kept top secret, so I don't know the details of how it works. Even yours truly hasn't heard anything about the construction. Because I wasn't interested. Old oh, man, you're totally useless when we really need you. The sorcerer's ring is glowing. I saw it do the same thing back in Gasparost. Yeah, we were together when that happened. Let me see that. Hmm. Uh, I've always wanted to hold hands with you, Rita. Affected by the air, the interior geometry is changing. Try pointing it at this gate. It really seems a lot more powerful than it was before. Are you sure that's okay? If it can destroy everything it shoots, that would definitely be dangerous. That was a reaction between the air inside the gate and the air that the ring shot. It won't destroy anything and everything. You can relax. Let's use the sorcerer's ring to destroy that gate, too.
That looks like the engine room to me. There are quite a few of the Royal Guard there. That sure is some heavy security. It doesn't look like it'll be too easy to stop it. It'll be impossible to force our way inside with that many guards. What? Since when are you so level-headed? I thought you were going to throw a big fireball and make it go boom! We've come this far. Don't you think we should be careful not to mess things up? I think that if we can stop the Heracles, Sodia and her men will be able to get on board. No matter how big the fish, it'll calm down once you hit it in the head. Yep, let's search the control room. Raven, do you know where the control room is? Sorry, that's one thing I don't know. What if the control room's even more heavily guarded? In that case, we'll have no choice but to force our way in. That'd be a war between seven people, one dog, and the entire Royal Guard. Sounds like a lot of trouble. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Flynn, I wanted to ask you about something Yuri said back in Nordapolica. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm talking about how Yuri said that he'd kill you if you became a bad person. Well, that's... For example, if you became someone that Yuri thought needed to be killed, do you think he'd swing his blade without hesitation? Even if he was facing a precious friend like you? Yuri isn't the kind of person who can so easily kill others. But if he felt he really needed to... I imagine he'd even kill me. Really? Do you think he could actually do that? There was sadness in his eyes, but he was unwavering. Then it's true. But that kind of determination must be heartbreaking. Even if it's going to deeply hurt him, I believe he's determined to live the rest of his life with that pain. Yuri possesses just that kind of strength. You think so? But if Yuri is going to continue committing crime after crime, then I will have to stop him myself. I earnestly hope that day never comes, though. Flynn, you're really strong, too. Am I? I don't know about that. But I appreciate you saying so, Patty. Determined to live the rest of his life with that pain. Taken out. You know how I hate waiting, Yuri Lowell. It's you. You were the one who wiped out all these people. I don't want anybody else getting in my way. We got no time to play with you. Where's Alexei? Where's he taking Estelle? <laughs> He's not here. He was never even here to begin with! What? What do you mean? So Alexei was using this fortress as a decoy. How charitable of him. He's a real piece of work. <laughs> Gotta hand it to him. He drew the knights and all of us to Heracles. Meanwhile, he slips out the back. Man, just when I thought I couldn't hate that guy anymore. We need to go after him now! Hold on a minute! Aren't you forgetting someone? Shut up! Let's get this party started! I hate having to repeat myself. We've got no time for you, so take a walk! If you want to get in our way, you better be ready to hit the ground. <laughs> Good, Yuri. Hate me. Come on, hate me! There is no finer spice in all the world! <laughs> is he just getting in our way to make us angry? He's hopeless. Now, let us finish this, Yuri Lowell! <laughs> I'm 
I'm so happy to see you again. Damn it. How long are you going to keep chasing us? How unfortunate. This time, I will destroy that arm. The Coliseum was one thing. Who is this? I guess you're just as happy we met as I am. I'm so happy I could cry. <laughs> What is with this idiot? Let's get this over with and find Alexei. Right now, I'm the most important thing you got. Seriously, drop it already. How long are you gonna keep chasing us? Let's finish him here. There's something strange about this man. Dependency issues, you know that? Enough is enough! Rita! I'm on it! There! Done! It stopped. That's our genius mage. Now Sodia and her men should be able to get on board. Estelle! Where have they taken you? Rita! She's nothing more than a tool to Alexei. If he keeps forcing Estelle to use her power, she could really unleash the Autophagos. Not on our watch. That's what we're here for, right? Rita, cheer up. We're definitely going to beat him and save Estelle. Right. We don't have a moment to lose. Heracles must be using a Hermes Blastia, too. That's the only thing that could power something this big. We've got to find Alexei! Fast! Baul can help us follow the disturbance in the air. If Estelle is being forced to use her power, we will find her. All right. <laughs> Yuri, this isn't over yet. The control panel. It started moving again. <laughs> Yuri, come fly with me. <sighs> My... body... It's no use! We can't treat everyone at once without a still healing arts! We can't let it end here! Ah, uh, yes! That's wonderful! Let's do it! <laughs> oh, oh, what a lovely little scream he made! Jaeger, what's going on? Are you here to get in our way again? It would be very bad, yes, very bad for business indeed if the Empire got too big for its britches. Alexei has gone to Zophius. The sword stare of Zophius has a secret, you know. I thought for sure that he'd need Dane Nomos to use as a key. Yeah, but it looks like he's planning to use your little princess instead. What? What is he planning on doing to Her Highness? It doesn't look like now is a good time to discuss this. Man, this isn't good. At this rate, we're gonna flatten the lower quarter of Zophius. Rita! It's no good! This thing is totaled! We just have to cut its power! I wish you the best of luck with that, so... Toodles! Uh, wait! Jaeger, you bastard. What is he even after? Let's think about that later. Right now, we've got to stop Heracles. I know. Let's go find the engine room. Jaeger, you won't get off the hook next time. No one gets Jaeger but me. Not even the boss of Brave Vesperia. No! You are all being fooled! Alexei has been using the Knights for his own personal gain. What are you talking about? The Commandant is an honor to the Knights, and someone we should all follow. Flynn is trying to overthrow His Excellency! He's the real traitor! Ah! Ah! Are you alright, Sodia? Captain, you're okay. I'm impressed you beat all these guys on your own. I don't recall asking for your help. 
Don't they teach you knights how to say a simple thank you? I will never give thanks to you as long as I live. You didn't think I could just let you walk away, did you? Enough, Sodia. This is hardly the time. Captain, why are you always defending the... Jeez, how many times am I gonna have to say this? We don't have time to mess around with you. If you really want to do this, then we won't hold back. There's something else we've got to be doing, so try and keep out of the way. So you plan to rescue Lady Esteles? Yeah. So come on, put down your sword. He's right, you know. Nobody come out a winner in this fight. Captain Schwann. The name's Raven. You'll remember that for me, won't you? Yuri Lowell. Once I finish cleaning up this mess, I'll be back to deliver your punishment. Well, that is your job, but I'll do as I please. Vice Captain! And Captain Flynn, too? I'm so glad you're here. We're engaged in battle. There's too much of a difference in firepower between our fleet and the Heracles. We won't last much longer. I must ask that you please take direct command. It does sound like they're really going at it out there. I'm begging you, sir. Captain, I can't handle this all on my own. Well, I... Your subordinates are in a real jam. Go help them out. But... We'll be fine. I'll join up with you later. Let's go. Looks like the knights are having a hard time, too. If we don't bring this thing down right now, they're gonna have more than just a headache. All right, off to the engine room we go. What's this? Looks like things are getting pretty crazy. The Blastia is out of control! It looks like Soggy smashing up that control panel did more damage than we thought. So, so what the hell are we going to do about this thing? Wait! I don't think waiting is going to do us any good. No, I think I get it. Look at that! Uh, what is that? Air is being transferred at a tremendous rate! There can only be one place something this big could be sending that much power. The part on the Heracles that requires the most power. A cannon? If we were to destroy this Blastia now, it might stop Heracles, but the cannon could go off and blow Zophias clean off the map. No way! So what should we do? Well, whatever we do, we have to stop this air. De Nomos, huh? Oh yeah! That's what Duke used to get the air back under control! Can you really do that? I don't really have a choice. Here goes nothing! Whoa, careful! You can do it, Yuri! It's floating! At the same. It's creating interference with the Blastia and causing the air to go out of control. Are we gonna break it? It's like one of the Entelikea's souls, right? Afraid that's what it's down to. If Heracles keeps going, we can kiss Zaphius goodbye. Not to mention that cannon might decide to go off. Yeah, we have to act now. Thank you. Huh? It stopped? What about the cannon? Not good. At this rate, it's gonna fire. No way! We shut the power off!
was really worried there for a second. That's some friend you have. <laughs> there he goes again, showing off as usual. Hey, am I the only one who heard a voice when you cut the apatheia? No. That might have been the voice of whatever Antelakea it used to be. It was like the consciousness within the apatheia willed the air back to normal. I think we're done here. Now we've got to get to Zafius to rescue Estelle. I'll call Ba'ul. We should get somewhere out in the open. We've lost too much time getting sucked into this Heracles decoy business. Let's hurry! Well, the air back to normal. The Apatheia and air. The Rizomata formula and Estelle. Is Flynn down there? The fleet looks like it's in trouble. Oh no! This is not good. Judging from the tilt, those ships are taking on water. If they don't pick up the pace, they're gonna sink. Isn't that Flynn yelling down there? Doesn't look like there's any way to break away from that. I feel bad for doing this to Flynn, but we really need to get going. Are you sure? You're gonna get an earful later. I'm used to his lectures. Judy, take us out of here. Ba'ul! Ba'ul, head towards the capital. Yeah, thanks. Everyone, get on. You won't get away this time, Alexei. Alexei's doing too. That guy's just doing whatever he wants. Ready to go in? Take us there. Estelle, where could you be? Where do we even start looking in a city this big? We follow the airflow. If Alexei is using Estelle and Apatheia in his plans, it has to cause a disturbance in the air. Baul! He found it. There! Estelle! And Alexei's right there with her. <sighs> Judy, take us closer!
I'm alive. <sighs> Did everybody make it? I'll be all right. I'm alive, but I can't say much more than that. Feels like I might have snapped a few bones. This ship's a mess, too. You won't get away with this, Alexei. Ow! 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 Yuri! It hurts! That thing Estelle did. It was like Day Nomos. Must be what happens when you get a few Epithea together at once. Don't try to talk. We're gonna get you both to a doctor. Try and hang in there for a little longer. Thank you, old friend. We owe you so much. It looks like Baul won't be able to give us a lift for a while. No. He'll have to rest somewhere until his wounds are healed. You've done more for us than we could ask. Take care and rest well. Plenty to worry about without thinking about Estelle. I, if we go after Alexei like this, we're sure to get our butts handed to us. It seems we're somewhere near Capua Nor. Let's go to Nor Harbor. There's bound to be a doctor there. Yeah. I don't like that sky. The air is boiling like thunderclouds. There's a mean storm brewing. Is this a sign we're about to get hit with some kind of disaster? I just finished building my house for crying out loud! They're really in an uproar. Not that I blame them. I'll bet things are pretty crazy in the capital, too. Where did you come from? Did you hear anything? No, we were... Why are all of you here? Terrible. What happened to you? Oh, it's you. We've been through a lot. Do you know any doctors around here? Sure, I know a doctor, but... Well, do you think you might be able to bring the doc to the inn? We're too beat to even walk anymore. All right, I'll be back soon. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank goodness you came. You'd return from Helliard then? Yes. I still can't thank you enough for your help before. Oh, hello there. Are you with them too? Aye! What? Do you know them? After I got Polly back to his home, they let me sleep over and eat with them. Oh, right. After you left Rago's palace. Now that there's a new magistrate, Nor had become a much nicer place to live. But now, with that sky looking the way it is... Hey, mister! Hey, mister! Did you hear it? There was a loud sound like BOOM! And then everything was shaking like an earthquake! A town official is currently going to see what happened. Hey, where's that nice lady who was with you? Is she gone? Uh... Now that I think of it, that girl would have been able to heal your wounds. What happened to her? A certain worthless idiot handed her over to the bad guy. Now we're chasing after them. <laughs> I see. I guess I shouldn't have asked. I'm sorry, but she's away for today. Oh, really? Don't worry. The next time we come, we'll bring her with us for sure. Really? Yay! For now, you should just get some rest.
Your Excellency, it's horrible! The road, the road, it's gone! There's a giant hole on the other side of a meat hill! It's burning hot all around it. I wasn't able to get very close. What? Just like that? I suppose that's what all that rumbling was earlier. Even if we were able to get near that hole, getting across it would be impossible. No one will be able to go past a meat hill like this. So then, Nor is cut off from everyone else? This is bad. This is real bad. Could this be the blast from the Heracles cannon? What have they done? So it did end up hitting something after all. Thankfully, it missed hitting any of the towns. You guys sure you're all right? No, I hurt all over, but... Estelle's in trouble. I can't just lie around. Yeah, what he said. What's our next move, though? If the road to Emid Hill is out, couldn't we take a boat around? I'm afraid not. A little while back, the Knights came and took any boat that could make a long trip. Thanks to them, the harbor's dead empty. How about repairing the Fiertia and heading round by sea? The keel's all smashed up, so it'll take a while to fix it. Damn, at a time like this. Well, there is one way, but I'm just not sure how I feel about recommending it to you. If it'll get us through, let's hear it. We've got to get to the capital fast. I'm afraid it'll end up taking you a fair bit out of your way. But if you go north, just before Emmied Hill, there's a thin strip of coastline. It'll eventually come to a dead end, but in this season it freezes over and becomes an ice flow. The Blade Drifts of Zophair. Right. If you're lucky, you should be able to make your way across the flow on the ice. So in other words, if we go across there, we can take a detour to the middle of the continent. The Blade Drifts of Zophair, huh? I heard nobody goes there, not even fishermen, because of the stories. And you're also gambling on nature here, so there's no guarantee you'll be able to get through. Nature, after all, is more often the enemy of man. Quite the keen observation, Patty. If that's our only way, then we'll have to go for it. Okay, let's do it. Thanks for your help. Least I can do. There wouldn't be much left of this family if it weren't for you all. Only thing I'll ask is that you don't disappoint my boy. You got it! <sighs> it's c c cold. So, so very cold. Cold. Okay, old man, we get it already. The aged have lower body temperatures, you know. Ah, what I wouldn't give for the heat of that desert. You're gonna slip and fall if you don't shut up. Oops, too late. Watch it there. We old folks are fragile. Uh, sorry. Man, this is really some place. Sort of a cross between mysterious and... Just plain creepy. There are swords coming up out of the ice. Yeah, they seem to be all over. Just what kind of place is this? They're relics of a battle that happened long ago between pirates and the Empire. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I I've heard about that. You're just full of information, aren't you? It's stuff that I picked up when I was researching about ivory. I thought Zophair got its name from the sharp cold. But I guess I was wrong. I don't think you were too far off with cold as a void. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Whoa! What was that? It's big! Is that an Entelikea? No, I don't sense intelligence in it. So it's a monster, right? We'd be in trouble if that thing attacked us. It's a Vita Joe. A monster with a rigid, sparkly back and a super strong body. It shouldn't bother us if we leave it alone. Forget about it. Let's go. Carol! Huh? Oh, right! You need 
to take a chill pill. It looks like he's taken a liking to us. I prefer dates who are a little less aggressive. I wonder if we can catch it somehow. You wanna eat it or something? Cold water fish have more fat to insulate their bodies from the low temperatures, making them oh so delicious. White meat is just perfect for skewers. Uh, that's not a fish, you know. That thing's a monster. <laughs> I got water up my nose. <laughs> so salty, so cold. You sure are energetic, old man. If we just sit, sit around talking, we're gonna f freeze our butts off. <laughs> Patty, this would be a great time for some of your piping hot skewers. It's frozen. <laughs> How annoying. weird. That monster seems to have times when it bothers us, and times when it leaves us alone. Yeah, I don't like it one bit. If we stand on really thick ice, I don't think that we need to worry about being attacked. If that thing comes at us, we can just kick its butt. Bring it on! I'd really prefer not fighting something like that head-on at the moment. Let's get back to land as soon as we can. And back to someplace warm. <laughs> What's with this? I know I've seen this somewhere. It's an air crane. Huh. There's one even out here. It's not putting out any air, though. Maybe it's what's left over when they dry up. This area doesn't seem desolate enough for that, though. Everyone be on your guard. Oh, man. Th there it is again. We're up on this rock, right? We'll be fine.
Carol! How did he? You're mine! Pull that off. Hey, is he alive? Hey, guys. Sorry we're late. Traffic was awful. You doing all right? Yeah, of course. All right, let's pay this guy back double for all those knocks you took. We're with you this time. We're gonna do this together this time. With all of us here? <laughs> this is nothing. Thanks. I'll finish it this time! Do it! Let's finish him off! You're being too easy on the kid! We are free Vesperia! I will protect the guild! Don't try to do everything alone! Show off! Yeah, this old man wants some of the fun too! Carol! Hey, Carol! Come on, keep it together, kid. He's all right. Once he calmed down, it all went out of him. He's just passed out. This kid, what if you checked out before we even rescued Estelle? Cut him a little slack now. Facing down challenges like that is part of becoming a man. Not to mention he saved our butts. Yeah, we would have been lunch without Carol. <laughs> Facing down challenges. Exactly. Those times when you just know you can't turn tail and run. Hell, everybody has those moments at least once in their life. Let's get out of here quickly. Carol's weak. This can't be good for him. Right. I owe you one, boss. That was very impressive. <sighs> hey. Does that look like an exit to anybody else? Tired already? We old folks lack stamina. Judith, be a dear and take him for a spell. Oh, I wouldn't dream of stealing your job from you. Carol, you're awake, aren't you? No, I'm not. Ugh. Well, Carol, you're really good at pretending to be asleep. Forcing a poor old man to work in this cold. Mr. Carroll, you're made of tougher stuff than I might have guessed. Feeling better, Carol? Yeah. We were really worried about you. Me too. You didn't look that worried to me. Really? That's weird. <clears throat> Just never do that again, okay? We're all in this together. Okay. Mind telling me what's so funny? Hey, easy, Yuri. I was just remembering something the Dawn said. Take care of your friends and they'll be there when you need them. Was that it? Yeah. I was thinking maybe this is the kind of thing he meant. Well, if you feel like you understand what he said, I'm sure you're on the right track. I hope so. All right, the exit's right in front of us. Let's go. Everything all right? Yeah. I was just thinking that maybe all the ice here was made by the air. The ice? From the air? Well, if all things are made up of air, that would make sense. The air crene here was actually quite stabilized. Enough for a monster to control it. Maybe if huge quantities of air could be made solid, it would help stabilize things. You mean something like that could restore the air imbalance and stop the disturbances? I'm not sure. It would probably need to be more efficient, and it would take a lot more air. It sure would be awesome if we could do that, though. So, you want to stay here and research this air crane? No, there isn't time for that. Yeah, and we've already burned enough time here as it is. Let's go. Estelle, please be okay. Once we're out of here, let's ask somebody about what's happening in the capital. Sure thing.
There sure are a lot of people here. They're refugees from the capital. See how they're all well dressed? It looks like there's nothing unusual with the barrier here for now. <sighs> Carol, are you okay? Looks like he ain't okay at all. He's got a bad fever. He really overexerted himself. All because he had to go and be a hero. I swear. Yuri. Huh? Oh, sorry. Let's go to the inn so that Carol can rest. Hello, and welcome to Denabola Inn. Don't worry about paying. Huh? Why? Probably because we don't look like we have any money. Well, you see, an important official is visiting the mayor's house right now, and it's by his orders. The government's handling the money for the inn so that anyone can stay here for free. That must be for all the refugees that have come to the town. Circumstances being what they are, it takes the fun out of it. But our business is booming thanks to all the visitors to our town. Sounds like a good deal for the Empire. So does that mean you don't have any vacancies? You're in luck. I have one room that's not taken. <sighs> then I'll take that room, thank you. Hey there, no cutting in line. Of course, I wouldn't think of not paying. I'll pay ten times the regular price. I'll also give the same amount to you travelers. That should settle things nicely, yes? You son of a... Oh, I'm so sorry. I took another look at the register, and it seems that I don't actually have any vacancies. So sorry. Come again. What? I knew this town was in the sticks, but this is... Honey, let's just go on to Heliord from Nor Harbor. Well said. I should be thankful we don't soil our clothing in a filthy little hovel like this. They're gonna be in for a nasty surprise when they try to go to Port Nor. <laughs> Sorry to have kept you waiting. Your room is upstairs, in front. What? But you said there weren't any vacancies. Business is business, right? Yes, don't worry about it. I can't stand people like that. And wasn't it you who saved Halur's tree? This is the least I can do. Enjoy your stay. All those refugees. The capital must be in a sorry state. What evil you think that bastard Alexei is going to perpetrate next? There's no way I'm letting Alexei get away with all the stuff he's done. Who cares about Alexei? Estelle, I want to save Estelle. Yes, but to do that, we need to take care of Alexei. And we need to come up with a better plan to do it. We can't let ourselves get blasted all the way back to Nor Harbor again. <sighs> well, we can't go anywhere till Carol gets better. So we might as well gather some info around town, don't you think? Good idea. Someone might end up saying just the thing we need to hear. Wasn't the innkeeper saying that someone important from the capital was in the mayor's house? Let's go and have a look-see. Old man? Someone's got to look after the boy, don't they? Leave that to me. You kids go on ahead. Oh, I'm so glad you are all safe. Huh. You did this right. Had the inn open its rooms free of charge? And just who are you? Watch your tongue. Do you know to whom you are... There are many who have escaped with only the shirts on their backs. I felt this was one service their country could provide for them. Hmm, okay. Actually, I'm more interested in what you can tell me about the capital. The capital? Zophius is no longer a city fit for any person. The city's barrier Blastia began giving off a great light, and the town was racked by earthquakes and lightning. However, the real terror came after that. A glowing fog appeared from the barrier Blastia and quickly spread throughout the city. The plants it touched grew hideously large, 
and the water became poison. It was hell itself. The air is out of control. Oh, that such dire events could befall Zophius, jewel of our glorious empire. If the air has covered the entire city, what is he doing to her? Th this is that turncoat Alexei is doing. I'm sure of it. He came to us demanding our obedience. And when we refused, he swore he would reduce us to dust. Alexei? That beast even had the gall to t turn the royal guard on us after we made our escape. Then how did you come all this way unharmed? Flynn held them off for us. It is thanks to him that we refugees arrived here safely. If he hadn't come to our aid just then, we all would have died. Oh, I'd love to hear more about how great Flynn is, believe me. But I haven't seen anyone from the lower quarter here. What happened to them? I'm sorry. I haven't seen anyone either. They must have been left behind, with all that air flooding out. It was all we could do to save ourselves. With all that was happening, we were unable to take everyone with us. We did all we could, and you must understand. Oh yeah? Hey. I'll be at the end. His Highness is... It sounds like the entire capital's been covered in air. And the one in the middle of it all is most likely. That's insane. If he's using Estelle to cause all of that, then... Oh, she can't handle that. Who knows how much of a toll it takes on her each time she's forced to use her power. She was already having problems controlling it. Now there's no telling what will happen to her. What if... What if we get there too late and... Even if we take out Alexei, she... Do... do you think maybe there's a way to get her power under control? There is. There has to be. We just haven't found it yet. Huh. Hmm. Hey, what about the knights? Flynn's doing what he can, but it's not enough. They don't have De Nomos. Hmm. I'll try asking Pharaoh. It would be good to know how much time we have left. <sighs> Yuri! Hey, did we wake you up? How are you feeling? Looks like I slowed you guys down again. You're going to the capital, right? Don't worry about that now. We're still figuring out what to do. You just get better. Yeah. I just don't want to be left behind, okay? Our whole guild is going to rescue Estelle! I know. Why don't you try and get some more sleep, huh? Okay. I can't seem to reach him. The air may be causing interference. No big deal. Either way, it's just a matter of making Alexei sorry he ever started this. Right? And nothing more? I'm going to go get some fresh air. Keep an eye on Carol for me. Yuri! What's with a long face? You don't need to worry about me. <sighs> a job nobody wants to do. Are you going out alone? I don't think that's any of your highness's concern. I want to know how things are in the lower quarter, so I'm just going to go take a look. The Council has decided to bring formal charges of criminal conspiracy against Alexei. The Knights are currently forming a strategy for re-entering the capital from Dayton Hold. With all that air in the city? <laughs> I doubt they'll get very far. Esteliz is with Alexei, isn't she? How did... So you caught on, huh? I wondered why you didn't bring her up earlier. What do you intend to do about her? What do you mean? All those who carry the Imperial blood possess a certain power. In most of us, it is too faint to be of use, but I have heard that hers is extraordinary. I'm sure it was for this reason that the Council threw their support behind her. Why are you bringing this up now? Isn't this current disaster being caused by her power? 
So what if it is? The knights may have to... You're aware that defeating Alexei may not be enough. That's not going to happen. Because you'll do it yourself? Flynn told me about you, that you always try to carry far too much on your own shoulders. You can tell him that we'll be just fine without the help. But why? I thought I told you this isn't your concern. That sword. Perhaps you are just the person it was waiting for. Keep talking, and I'll try it out on you. Forgive me. Hey, that's... <laughs> I remember when Estelle ate that Nia fruit. Well, that was quite a face she made. Well, come to think of it, it's been a long time since we've been on our own, huh, pal? I haven't been feeling like myself, even when I'm fighting. It's like I'm tired all of a sudden. Do you mind keeping an eye out for a while, Repeat? for later. Huh? For now, you can drop dead. Whoa! Such excitement. Hey there, sunshine. Still living? Maybe. Well, it looks like you're awake now. How nice. Jeez, Repeat. What happened to keeping a lookout? He led us right to you, like a good boy. He's pretty clever, you know. Yeah, he told us if we came this way, we'd see the biggest fool in the world. Do you guys know what's going on? Do you really understand what has to happen after this? You're the one who doesn't understand! Carol... You can't! This is one thing you can't just do on your own, Yuri! What were you trying to prove? How far did you think you'd get without us? Yuri, even if you leave us behind thinking you don't need us, we're still going to search the whole world from top to bottom until we find you. What it boils down to is, it's no fair keeping all the fun and glory to yourself. Would it hurt for you to believe in us a little bit more? We believe in you, Yuri. Yeah, I mean, we're your friends. You got me, guys. All right, then. We're all in this together until the end. I. Right. Um, duh. Oh. So let's go do this thing. The way out of the forest is right over there. Well, if it isn't the Imperial Knights, I guess they're getting ready to invade the capital. But it looks like they're at a standstill. I wonder if something's wrong. Oh, yeah. Yuri, wouldn't it be great if Flynn came with us? Did you forget that he's leading the Knights? I really doubt there's any way he could come with us. As soon as the Scouts return, gather all of the Lieutenants. Yuri! Everyone! Thank goodness you're alright. Her Highness must still be in Zophius then. Yeah, for now at least. What are you doing out here? The Royal Guard has taken up their positions ahead. We're just waiting on the scouts I sent to observe the enemy forces. Captain, you don't have the time to be speaking with... No need to worry. We don't plan on staying long. You're going to the capital too? Yes. There's something I'd like to discuss alone with you. Do you mind? Captain! It's fine. I'll be back soon. If there are any movements, be sure to notify me. Let's go. Prince Yoder informed me of what's been going on. About Lady Estelise's powers, too. 
If it really comes down to it, you might have to. Hey, the whole reason we're going to the capital is to prevent that from happening. I know that. I'm only talking about the worst case scenario. I've already made my choice. Or have you forgotten? No. I remember. I'm prepared for the worst, but I'm going in the hope that it can be avoided. What are you going to do? I've been thinking about this for a long time now. What is a law? What is a crime? Where is the line between right and wrong? After much consideration, I came to the undeniable conclusion that such a clear distinction cannot be made. Even now, my belief that we all need laws hasn't changed. But, even so, I cannot bring myself to call you evil. That's why I hoped that we could make a world where we wouldn't have to keep repeating the same mistakes. Yet look at what's happening now. Then why not come with us? The capital's full of air, so your knights wouldn't be able to enter. But if you come with us, even if we can't get everyone through, we might be able to manage some of them. Dane Nomos, huh? Honestly, I don't know what's going to happen from here on out, so you're going to have to decide for yourself what to do. I... Excuse me, sir. A large group of battle machines has emerged from the enemy lines. The numbers are staggering. What? Oh, Yuri! We're in big trouble! How could they have been hiding so many of their forces? It looks like we're going to have some difficulty breaking through that. Some? No, that's gonna be brutal. By the time we get to the capital, we'll already be half dead. It's not like we have to face those things head on. Patty, do you see any way around them? Hmm... There's nothing but enemies anywhere I look. I have a feeling it might be impossible. But we're so close to the capital. They've started to move. They're coming this way! Hey, shouldn't we withdraw back to the hold? Captain. Yuri, are you going to the capital to stop Alexei? And to save her highness? Yeah. Then, no matter how this ends, I believe that what you've decided is the best possible outcome. Flynn. You should go. Knights! An enemy battalion stands before us, and Alexei lies in wait behind them. I won't tell you this will be easy, and I understand if you want to flee. But I want you to remember what it is that we must do. What it is that we're protecting. We're knights. With our swords, we protect the people. I will not force any of you to fight. But if you share the same spirit as I do, then let us fight this battle together! Lynn really is amazing! Imperial Knights, straight ahead! Let's head for the capital. It's hard to believe we're really in the capital. This is so horrible! The plants are all overgrown. It's gotta be the air. It's so dense. Too much of this stuff would kill anybody. We'd definitely be in trouble without that sword. Yeah, stick close to me. Especially you, old man. Hey, I've been on pins and needles since we got here. Hold my hand, would you? Give me a break. Hold my hand. I'm not letting you run away anymore, Yuri. Give it a rest. I'm not going off by myself anymore. Look! Monsters got in here! How? The barrier is back up and running fine! They look like they're going crazy, like the ones we saw back at Cave Mock. Yuri, what is it? Huh? 
Oh, it's nothing. Let's go. We can't keep Estelle waiting. Hmm? The lower quarter's at the bottom of that slope. It's his home. It's... It looks like it's been overrun by the plants. Shut up tight. Look up there! I might be able to squeeze through. Nice. You can go through there and open it from the other side. We're counting on you! Hey, we're out of time. Why don't we just blow it open? Just because there's nobody out here doesn't mean nobody's in there. It'd be a pain if we were discovered. The air is all over the city, isn't it? It's gotta be in the castle, too. Alexei must have taken some sort of precautions against that. Oh! Carol did it! Got it! Everybody hurry! Good work. Okay, this is it, folks. Huh? There's no air in here! He must have figured out how to use Estelle's power to do this. It may have been that the outer barrier was to keep the air in. That hunch you had is looking more likely by the minute, old man. We're gonna have company before long. Why is it I'm only ever right about the bad stuff happening? If you only think negatively, only bad stuff's going to happen. So just think positively. Well said. I'm sure you're right about that. Hmm. I've always thought of myself as an optimist, to be honest. It's not like saying that now is going to change anything. We got to brace ourselves and push forward. Yeah, those bogus knights who've sided up with the bad guys don't stand a chance. Aye! It's too bad, in a way. I finally get to see the castle, but not for the reason I was hoping. Hold on. Someone's there. Huh? Ah! What the? Yuri? Oh, it's Yuri! Huh? Hanks? Thanks, everyone. You're all okay. Hey, that's my line. Why are you inside the castle? Yeah, you all too. Yes, well, Sir Flynn ordered me to lead the evacuation of the citizens. However, I realized that the inhabitants of the lower quarter were nowhere to be found. It wasn't part of my orders, but uh, you see... The exit collapsed, and a strange fog covered the ground. We were in quite a fix. Well, thanks to these knights, we escaped the fog and came here. They saved our lives. I... I am prepared to receive punishment for violating my orders. I say, we will we take, will the, take same the same punishment. punishment. Punishment? I'm just an old man, boys. Anyway, isn't it the duty of the knights to protect the citizens? You did well. This is an honor! Captain Schwa... Captain Raven! Don't call me Captain. I'm just Raven. Sir, I apologize, Sir Just Raven. Looks like somebody respects you. I never would have believed it. Guess you can't judge a book by its cover. This is great, Yuri! Huh, <laughs> I forgot how tough everyone was. What was I worried about? I don't know why, Yuri, but you look happier than I've ever seen you before. Yeah, she's right. Did you see the former Commandant? 
Sir, no, sir. But we overheard the royal guard outside. Something about the sword stair? The sword stair? That really tall thing we got blasted off of. So that means he's still up there. Sounds like Smoke and Scoundrels both like high places. The problem is only important people can get to the sword stair. There's some special mechanism. I can take care of locks. Rita can take care of formulas. We can do it. You said it. Hanks, all of you should stay here and hide. Let's go. So you have come at last. A Christian? No, wait, you were... Meet Chroma, special advisor to the Imperial Knights, Alexei's personal assistant. Alexei's, but that would mean... Then she's an enemy? No, I am not, for the time being in any case. That's not a very comforting way to put it. I'm sorry, but we got somewhere to go. If you're here to fight, fine. If not, maybe it could wait until later. Who is it you would fight for? What do you mean? That poor, pathetic young girl. She doesn't need your pity. You are being really vague. Come on, spit it out already. I cannot know what that one saw in all of you. But I wish for you to stop him. Okay, that made no sense. Did anybody get what she was trying to say? Maybe she wants us to stop Alexei? Hmm, maybe. It would add up, I guess. Yes, Estelle should be just up ahead. Aye, but stopping is so half-hearted. We're going to destroy him. Maybe it was more like, go nail that guy's butt to the wall. I could handle that. Come on. of you. If we hadn't been lucky, you just might have gotten your wish. You can let her go now and save yourself some pain, or we can break you first. It's your call. Sorry to be a bore, but let's say I refuse both of those. I'd be happy to decide for you. The princess was splendid. Her power equals the ancient children of the full moon. Every person has a role, and the princess has played her part exceedingly well. If she's done her part, then we'll take her back right now. As you wish. Controlled. Ugh, that's not fair. That's not fair, Alexei. What would you do with the princess now? Her power has subsumed her will entirely. Her power has finally been controlled by a system I have put into place. Blastia that go out of control must be destroyed. You should know that. Don't talk about Estelle like she's just some thing. Oh, but the princess was a tool most crucial to my plans. As were you, Schwann. And since you survived, I will use you again. Return like the puppet you are. Sorry, but you buried that poor schmuck alive yourself. I'm Raven. Pleased to meet you. We all have a role to play, but each person has a say in what that role is. 
even though so many live such meaningless, mundane lives? I think not. If they choose that life, then so what? That's what deciding for yourself means! You have no right to decide whether they're meaningless or not! How unfortunate. We will never see eye to eye. No! Estelle, don't do this! Damn it! Estelle, come on! Uh, ah! Estelle, snap out of it! I guess we don't have a choice. Uh, that damn commandant! Estelle, I'm sorry we have to hurt you. Ah! Hmm, perhaps that was not enough power. to you, this new key to replace Dane Nomos is now complete. As a show of my appreciation, I will allow you to witness the fruition of my plan. The awakening of the true child of the full moon. The enduring shrine of Zalde. The ultimate Blastia, which once obliterated the catastrophe that threatened our world. That's a Blastia? Maybe you could save this little speech until you get some alone time. You're embarrassing yourself. The show, I am afraid, is over. It is time for the final curtain. Now, Princess, do your friends the favor of separating their heads from their bodies. Bastard! None of this would have happened if you hadn't insisted on coming here. Oh, how the poor girl will feel when she comes to her senses. Farewell. Damn you, Alexei, wait! Get back here! Alexei! Uh, Alexei! Estelle, don't! Please. Before I can hurt anyone else, please. set you free. Yuri! Yuri! Uh. 
What the hell do you think you're doing? I... I... No! No more! Please! Do you really plan to die here? You think it's okay to die? Ah! Look me in the eye! Estelle! Uh. Bloody and Beal! Oh. Raising Blast! Uh. Estelle, snap out of it! Come back to us! Estelle! Ah. Are you just gonna let your life end like this? Like someone else's tool? <laughs> I want to. You did it, Estelle! You're you again! Wait! The system! It was being kept in check by Alexei's sword. Without that... Deactivation data, a formula to isolate surplus air. But what could possibly take the place of the Apatheia? What about this sword? This is the original that Alexei based his on, right? Let me try it. Let me help. I'll keep track of the flow of air. Me too! I'll help out. Oh, damn this useless body. Please, everyone! What did I say? We're not gonna lose you. When Brave Asperia does something, we do it right. Okay. The sword! Here! Welcome back. Nice to be back. The Enduring Shrine of Zaude. That's what he said. Have you heard of it? No, that's the first time. I wonder what it is. I don't know, but I know what he's going to use it for. 
World domination. Do you really think he can do that? He sure thought he could. We knights are always one step behind. We never would have been able to free the capital if it weren't for Yuri and the others. Much less stop the Blastia from spreading this danger across the land. It was the knights that protected the capital from Heracles, though. They're the only reason we were able to even get into the capital at all. Even with Lady Esteles. Hey, Estelle came back on her own. I'm still grateful, though. Thank you. Quit it. You're creeping me out. Alexei owes the world for all he's done. He owes us. Tomorrow, I'm going to the Shrine of Zaude. I assume your friends will be with you. Yeah, everyone's resting up for tomorrow. So spare many guilt trips tonight. Okay. Captain, so this is where you were. You again. Negotiations with the Union are difficult. It seems they can't even agree with each other. And one more thing. The Council intends to cede all authority to His Highness Yoder in order to control the current crisis. Due to your success in liberating the capital, His Highness has pronounced you Acting Commandant! Congratulations! Well, this cleans up one of our problems. Congrats. Watch your tone! Yuri, you're the one who really did all this. Ah, details, details, whatever. Well, I guess I'll go check on the others. See ya. He's actually sleeping. Man, I can't tell if he's brave or just stupid. Weren't you gonna have a touch and reunion with your bestest pal? No, it's that lieutenant of his. Ugh, she's scary. Hmm? Oh, well, I guess I can see that. What do you mean? Ah, well, it's just... she's so serious. Gotta be careful not to rub her the wrong way. I'm not rubbing anything any way. Well, you most certainly can't please all the people all the time. <laughs> I guess you're right. So what are you doing here? Well, just thinking about stuff. Hey, why are you looking at me like that? With all we've been through, I guess I'm just trying to figure out what I should do with myself. But I keep coming up empty. Change wears me out. You chose your own life. At this point, you should be able to do anything you want. How do I put it? I already died once. Now I'm thinking about a bunch of stuff. But I guess thinking about settling things with Alexei is enough for now. The rest will probably come out in the wash. It sounds okay to me. Speaking of settling things, I filled Estelle in on all the stuff that happened. Guess what she did? Hmm? She said I had to let her do the same thing everyone else did. So she smacked me on the head. Called it even. <laughs> That's Estelle. It kind of hurt, actually. Well, I think I'm gonna catch my shut-eye in here. Suit yourself. Try not to oversleep for once, though. This will bring the value back down, so the discrepancy with this should... <sighs> nope. It's nowhere near enough. Yuri! What are you all doing out here? Shut up and leave me alone! Oh, it's you. Nice to see you too. So what kind of experiment is this anyway? Is something wrong? No, it's being kept well under control. And it's stable. As annoying as it is to admit, Dane Nomos and the system of Alexei's are both pretty amazing. So then where's the problem? The effective area of control is more limited than I thought. The control barrier originates at the barrier Blastia. She's stable inside it, but she can't leave. I guess Dane Nomos alone couldn't take the place of all those Apatheia. So long trips are out of the question. Also, the barrier Blastia is part of the system. As long as it's in use, this city is defenseless. 
That's why I'm out here trying to figure out a way for her to move around freely. Why can't Estelle just take Deinomos with her wherever she goes? It was really only designed to contain air that's gone out of control. I don't think it could actually affect Estelle in any way. I guess that's how it was with Duke, too. Don't worry. I'll come up with something. Or my name isn't Rita Mordio. I won't let Estelle wind up trapped like that again. Nobody treats my friend like just some thing. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Nothing to worry about. You've got the best genius under the sun with you. Yes, I know Rita can help me. I'll have this ready by tomorrow. You get yourself to bed. Okay, okay. Don't push yourself too hard. Same to you, Estelle. What are you doing wandering around? I'm making sure you guys aren't causing any trouble. I see. You're wandering around so you can cause some trouble. Uh, no, I said... Eh, never mind. I'm so glad that Estelle's back. And that we didn't have to kill her. Yeah, I feel the same. If we hadn't been able to bring her back, would you really have killed her? Why do you ask? Because... I don't know, is what I'd like to say. But if Estelle hadn't heard my voice when she did, I probably would have killed her. How can you go to such lengths knowing it's going to hurt you? Estelle's my friend, and I can't let a stranger take care of my friend's problem. Besides, I'm not the one who it hurts the most. A friend's problem? Yuri, you're really strong. Strong, huh? I don't know about that. But what about you? Did you forget your search for the Maristella? Right now, I'm focusing on beating the bad guys. Besides, I haven't forgotten. If anything, I've got a great memory. A great memory, huh? Uh... What's wrong? Y Yuri, I... I'll never forgive Alexei. Sacrificing someone for his own desires, I could never forgive that. Yeah, I know what you mean. That's why, um... We can't let Alexei get away with what he's done. No, he can't. Oh, right, Yuri. Guess what? The Maritime Guild, Gulsong, is rushing to fix our ship. Gulsong? Isn't that Tokunaga's guild? Yep. We'll be able to use the Fiertia in no time. All right. Then we'll use that to take Alexei down. So, uh, Yuri? Patty. Huh? If you're having difficulty saying it, there's no need to force yourself. I'll listen when you're ready to talk, so go get some sleep. Good night. What are you doing, Judy? I'm trying to see if I can contact Pharaoh again. If Zaude is connected to the ancient catastrophe, Pharaoh might know something about it. Isn't he going to ask about Estelle? I'll tell him it looks like everything will be okay. All right, thanks. You know, the only real goal I've had in life has been to destroy the Hermes Blastia. I didn't have to think about other things while I was doing that. Other things? Oh, this world. Me. Lots of things. Had I never met Estelle, I might still be flying around with Ba'ul, not thinking of anything. Pharaoh said you'd change too. Don't get me wrong. I'm telling him Estelle will be alright because I really believe it. I have no intention of ignoring the Blastia or the air. Is that part of the lots of things you mentioned? <sighs> Sorry, forget I said that. I won't kill Estelle. Nor will I let her be killed. I also can't let Alexei go on. Okay. We head out tomorrow morning. Just get back by then. Understood. Judy. Hmm? Let's win this one. Okay. What's up, Carol? 
Oh, Yuri! Take a look! It's as good as new! Good to see you're as useful as ever. That's not yours, though, is it? It's mine! Thanks. This boy's been fixing up all the stuff that got knocked around in that commotion. He even went back to the lower quarter to pick all these things up. <laughs> Actually, Repeat found most of it. These are my favorite shoes, and you can't hardly see where they got torn. This guy's awesome. He sewed up a dress that was very important to me. Thanks again for that. Are you sure about doing this, Carol? Tomorrow's the final battle. It's okay. I was actually a little worried. I couldn't really sleep anyway when I started thinking about the battle tomorrow. I just thought I might as well help out if there was anything I could do. <laughs> I didn't think Rapid would want to come help, though. I was a little surprised. He probably guessed what you were thinking. He doesn't just go along with anything. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, don't push your luck. Ah, oh, come on, Rapide. Oh, this boy's got a bright future ahead of him. You are looking at the esteemed boss of our guild. You might learn a thing or two from him yourself, you know. I walked right into that one. Memories support the heart. And our dearest possessions are the vessels for those memories. Thank you, young man. I'll just do a little more, and then I'll call it a night. Okay, just don't overdo it. Yeah, I know. Ready to call it a day? You coming too, Rapide? Tomorrow, we fight. Hope everybody can get some sleep. Going already? It looks like things here won't be settled for a while. I had hopes that we'd have the guild ships at our disposal. I heard they've been having some issues. It seems they've been unable to decide on a course of action since the Dawn's passing. It looks like I'll be one step behind you again this time. No hard feelings, no matter which of us gets to Alexei first, right? Oh yeah, are you done trying to get Estelle back? I mean, she's still a princess, and what about all that stuff with the Imperial Succession? The Council has chosen Yoder as their leader. For all intents and purposes, he's got their nomination for the throne. Hmm, okay. So that's why you don't need to chase her around anymore? That's not it. It's just that I've finally come to terms with the choices she's made for herself. Wow, you sure loosened up. Don't give me a hard time. It's something I've had to struggle with in my own way. Well, she'd be happy to hear it. I'll bring the problems of the air and the Blastia to His Highness's attention. He'll be able to come up with some way of helping, I'm sure. As for Lady Estelise, Yuri, you have my confidence. I appreciate it. Sorry for being such a pain. Well, I'm gonna get going. See you at Zaude. As far as anyone is concerned, the capital was retaken because of my efforts. It isn't just with this, though. No one even knows the things you've... No, that brave Vesperi has done. They don't even try to learn the truth. Are you really okay with that? Yuri, you're such a sleepyhead. 
<sighs> Looks like I overslept a little. My hair is a mess. Is that all you're worried about? <laughs> Sounds like we're all good. Here you go. You pulled it off. Now we just need Judy and Estelle. Here I am. Good morning, everyone. Oh, morning, Judith. Were you able to get in touch with Pharaoh? Yes, but you won't like what he told me about Zauda. He says it's a place that must be left undisturbed by both Intelikea and humans. I wonder why. Such an encouraging send-off. Well, it's not like we can just say, oh, thanks for telling us, and not go. Alexei's at Zaude, and I'm really not in a mood to just let him go. We can't just turn back now. You're right. Pharaoh will have to understand. We already came this far. We can't stop now. Besides, if we just ignore him, the whole world's gonna be in all kinds of trouble. That's the spirit. Now we just need Estelle. Rita, did you see her? Estelle won't be coming. Hmm? <laughs> She can't fight anymore. Wait, you don't mean... The control was a success. But she needs to avoid air interference in order to keep her power from activating. Huh? But all Blastia need air to work, don't they? Yes. So I tried the same thing as Raven. Using her own life energy for power. Are you serious? I really wouldn't recommend that. I couldn't find any other way. At least she can use formulas without worrying about air. But it's not just controlling the power of the child of the full moon. Even Arts will use her life. She could be in serious danger if she had to exert herself. Oh no! So she won't be coming with us anymore. And was she okay with that? No. Estelle! Hey! You're just here to see us off, right? Rita, I'm sorry. Please take me with you. What did I tell you? You'll lose your life just by using your arts. You could go on living with no problem if you just wouldn't use them. I sat up all night thinking about what you told me. At first I thought, finally, I'll be able to live a normal life. Yeah, you've suffered enough. You can rest now. Thank you, Rita. You all are risking your lives to fight. Even the fate of this world is at stake. Knowing that, my only choice is to fight alongside you. Estelle. There are still things I can do for my friends. So I'm asking you, please, take me with you. I want to tell you no, but you decided this for yourself. I won't turn you down. Yes, and she doesn't really listen when she sets her mind to something. Ah, oh, let's take her. Nobody likes having their friends run off to steal all the fun. Yeah, we'll all help out to make this easy on her. We're gonna blow that scoundrel away! Promise me one thing. You will never, never push yourself too hard. Got it? I'll never forgive you if you break that promise! All right. <laughs> Trying to forbid this bunch from pushing themselves is pretty pointless. Thank goodness. It looks like I made it in time. Huh? Prince Yoder and Flynn too? My, what an honor for His Highness to see us off himself. There you go again with that attitude of yours. You may have already heard, but the supply of ships has been delayed, so the knights are not yet able to leave for battle. Under normal circumstances, the knights should be the ones taking the initiative here, but you civilians have shouldered it. As head of the Empire, I must apologize. Don't sweat it. It's not like we're doing this for the knights or for the Empire anyway. This may be a bit presumptuous, but I would like to ask that you take Flynn in their place. Huh? Your Highness? At this moment, both in name and in substance, Flynn is the greatest knight in the Empire. I am sure that he will be of great use to you. Wouldn't you agree? But I... 
I must command the knights. As soon as the knights are ready, I will send them after you. You should be able to entrust your men with that much. Besides, are you not the one who desires most to settle things personally with Alexei? Your Highness. I, Eodor Argrios Hirasane, hereby command you on behalf of the Empire. Imperial Knight Flynn Shifo, join forces with the Guild, Brave Vesperia, and stop Alexei. Yes, sir. You heard His Highness. I'll be counting on you, Yuri. Even if I refused, you'd still come along, wouldn't you? So our next problem is just how to go about actually getting to Zauda. That's already been handled, right, Judy? Yes, of course. We still have that important friend of ours. Oh, is he okay? I told you, he's strong. Yep, we'll be able to use the Fiertia in no time. So everything's ready. This is it, the final battle. Yeah. Okay. So that's Zaude. It's huge. It's sort of shaped like a ring. Anybody with fingers big enough for that wouldn't have any trouble taking over the world. There's no way Alexei could fit that on his finger. I wonder if we'll get in without being seen. Whoa, look! Over there! Pharaoh. Pharaoh's one of the strongest in Delakea. And even he couldn't do anything to it. What did we get ourselves into? It reconstituted itself by manipulating the air. What processing speed? Is that the power Alexei was after? Let's go in from below. Pharaoh's doing all the work, but at least he's got Alexei looking up for now. Pharaoh, thank you. Man, up close, this thing is bigger than I thought. Is this really one big Blastia? There's no way! It's gotta be a Hopeland Blastia designed to threaten everyone in the world! It must possess unimaginable power. Hey, look! It's a ship! Is it the Knights? No, I can't believe they'd make it here this fast. It's probably the Royal Guard. That must mean... is closely guarded. They're swarming like sea roaches! There aren't that many. We could blow them away before they knew what hit them. Easy. We're not here to get noticed. Let's see if there isn't some other way in. There's a breeze. It's a vent. Leave it to me! Are we going to enter through here? It might not be what you're used to as a knight, but yeah. Rita, don't worry. I'm fine. Please, I'm, I'm not worried. You clearly are. I... Oh, shut up. Hurry up and get that thing open. You're the only one shouting. Got it! Wonderful. Let's take a look.
I've been wondering about this for a while now. What? How come the Royal Guard is so loyal to Alexei? That's true. You'd think they'd have come to their senses by now. Well, did you know that most of the Imperial Knights are taken as apprentices from the nobility? Yeah, I wish I could forget. Well, the Royal Guard protects the Emperor, and they're made up of the finest soldiers in the Imperial Knights. Hasn't it been several years since we've had an Emperor, though? Exactly. In that time, the Commandants cleverly made those Knights into his own personal army. It doesn't seem like that'd be enough to turn them into such little lapdogs, though. Well, the ideals he offered them were attractive in their own ways. Lead our empire to prosperity, what have you. They were all so enamored with him, earnestly believing his every word. Even now, I imagine they believe in him. I cannot blame them for that. But if you realize what kind of person he is, Flynn, then why can't they... The world would probably be a better place if all those guys figured out the truth on their own. a weapon. Carol, wait. Huh? Get out here. You're too old for hide and seek. Bravo! Bravo, my lads. Splendid! Such keen intuition, such sharpened instincts. Simply splendid! Jaeger! What is it this time? Are you gonna show us how to get to Alexei? Yeah! Oh yeah! I will show you the way! To hell that is! Just which way's the wind blowing with this guy anyway? Have you forgotten, my pretties? We are still sworn enemies, you know. Things were destined to end this way between us. Is this another trap? It's just like you said. We're enemies. So let's do what enemies do. You are correct. Come. Bring it. I guess we're just destined to fight each other. Terribly sorry, but friendship does not last an eternity. But the guilds working together would bring so much to the people of the world. Now that is a fantasy. You're right. Let's finish this. Hear the symphony of my attack! Well, aren't you something? I suppose it's time to reveal my true power! He's just showing off. Hey, if he tries to use it like that... So that's the ace of his sleeve. <laughs> You're just like me. I will send anyone who gazes on this to the deepest abyss! I don't think so. Hurry up and yield to me, otherwise you will die here. <laughs> We've both been dead already. Dying isn't that scary. <laughs> this battle with you will make my heart a legend! You have won. So, Alexei got to him too. It's the same thing. I just feel. <laughs> Wunderbar. You know, I'm not really one for vengeance and all, but this is for the Don. Be careful. He might still have something up his sleeve. No, no, no. These sleeves are empty. This is... Yeah, this is it. Your chest. 
Did Alexei do that to you as well? My... I wonder... But what's done is done. Why? Why did you fight alone? With nothing and no one to help you? <laughs> Goodbye. Wait, where's Alexei? What is he trying to accomplish? Why? Leviathan's Claw. What a sad ending. Hey. They were both crying. What? What was that all about? He was... an awful person. But maybe he also... that you've been searching for? I... What? Seriously? Never imagined we'd find it in a place like this. Uh, I've been searching for it for so long, and now I finally found it. Well, what are you gonna do next? Weren't you gonna use that as a clue to find your grandpa? I... But now's not the time. Wait, but wasn't I free the one who hid the Maristella? Now's hardly the time to be excited over some treasure. I, we need to hurry up and beat that scallywag Alexei to a pulp. That's far enough. We'll never let you through. The Royal Guard? Then Alexei must be just up ahead. He's gotta be. All right, guys, let's do this. Sorry, but you're going bye-bye. You picked the wrong people to fight with. I almost feel sorry for them. Captain, are you all right? Sodia, Witcher, were you able to withstand Zod's attacks? The ships are anchored at a distance. We're the advance party. Those who came after us have divided into small groups and are proceeding with the landing. You're being cautious. That's smart. If you came in force and got caught, that'd be the end of that. From here on, this is our duty. You need to withdraw. Perky as ever, aren't you? Sorry, but we're gonna ignore you on that one. If we did that, everything we've done up until now would be for nothing. I think we should cooperate, but that's just me. I, we've all come to defeat Alexei after all. She's right. We're all here to bring Alexei down. Well, and save the world in the process, right? Yeah, I heard. Okay, then, let's all play nice and go pound this guy. Well, well. Everyone's here. Welcome to the very depths of the ocean. It's over, Alexei. Don't add to your crimes any further. Ah, Princess Esteles. How nice to see you up and about. Which tells me Jaeger was useless. He's dead. 
I thought surely he'd come through in the end, but oh, how I was mistaken. Is toying with the destinies of others how you have your fun? Alexei, what happened to the ideals you held? What changed? Flynn, are you still saying things like that? Nothing has changed except my methods. Absolute power is all that can revive this rotting, stagnant empire. Indeed, the world. And just how many lives do you plan to sacrifice to acquire it? No true reformation could occur so long as I followed the means presented by the Empire. You should understand this well. Whoa, whoa. Don't tell me you're actually listening to this drivel. Nonsense! It's all nonsense! Every word out of his mouth is a lie! Why have you taken such a hurtful path? Someone of your stature could have found another way! At times, dreamers must suffer being branded as criminals. But I'll suffer such burdens gladly. I promise to free this world from the Entelechea, from the air, and from this pitiful empire. This world shall be reborn! I don't give a damn what you're doing this for. And you're making a lot of people cry. And that's enough of a reason to take you down! There's no turning back now. How tedious. If you'll excuse me, I'm a very busy man. Uh, he's getting away! No, he isn't! Everyone, jump! Hey, boss. So you really want to go through with this? Must I put up with such questions, even from you? None of you, none, thinks the Empire is in the right. The ends don't always justify the means, boss. These kids taught me that. I could never agree with your way of doing things. A way that is filled with pain. If you truly have no intention of changing your ways, then... The guilds and the Empire both have good points. You can't just wipe them out and start over. Using force will surely breed resentment and contempt. You do know that, don't you? There's no guarantee the world you'd make would be any better than this one. I didn't place my trust in you so you could force your ideas on the entire world. If realizing your vision requires destruction, then I have no choice but to end you here and now. All the booty in the world couldn't make me sign on as part of your twisted dream. Nobody's gonna buy what a bastard like you says. I see my explanations are wasted on you. The small-minded always fear change. However, all the air in the world is now in my grasp. You have no hope of victory. Yeah, right. You're still trying to figure out the formula for this place. What? Rita, what do you mean? This guy still hasn't completely unlocked Zaude's controls. Is he just buying time? Ah, yes. Rita Mordio. How very careless of me. Are you serious? And you think you can change the world? Don't make me laugh. How very right you are. Very well. Then this will be one more trial along my path to my rightful place as ruler. <laughs> You will be the first sacrifice made for the New World's Dawn. Come! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought he didn't have all of Zaude's power yet. He doesn't, but he may have enough. <laughs> He's betting the world on this. He's got to pull out all the stops. Let's go! This world will be reborn. Do not interfere. Nobody gives a damn about whatever world you want. You're a fool to cross swords with me. Damn, he may be crazy, but he still fights like a commandant. I'll defeat you and punish myself for trusting you. You are foolish to rebel against your destiny. I've chosen my own destiny. To fight you. Do you believe your milk toast ideas can bring lasting change to the world? I swore to my friends that we would try. Not a single one of you confessed me. You chosen the wrong path. We finish this now. Fly, oh holy sword. Brilliant cataclysm. Right. 
finish me. You are finished. I think that's enough for now. Now the law will give you your due punishment. Face judgment and pay for your crimes, Alexei. It's over, Alexei. Is this the top of Zauda? Is that the core? It's so big! Continued the analysis this whole time? We will witness together the might of Zaude. No! You fool! Yuri, look out! Did you use that much air? No. This catastrophe has always waited there. Wh what do you mean? The Autophagos was never eliminated. It was just sealed off far from sight. Yes, and now it has returned to spread the ruin it once rained down upon the ancients. And to think... I caused it all! The ultimate irony! <laughs> you mean Zauda had been holding it back this entire time? Look out! We were never more than worms writhing before an approaching storm! Time has come, our death draws near. No one can escape its doom! <laughs> Shut up already, you bastard! <laughs> it seems in the end that I <laughs> was the greatest fool of all. I'm 
sure that he's over there somewhere. The Autophagos disappeared into the void. Yeah, well, guess they didn't really say they destroyed that thing. They just went off and left this piece of crap remnant behind. Uh, Flynn? My room. Why? Didn't think she hated me this much. Oh. Ugh. Huh? The child of the full moon. The leaders of the ancients possessed an innate power and were called the children of the full moon. The shrine of Zaude received their lives and power. It sealed the autophagus away, saving the world. You have awakened. Duke, so it was you who saved me. I couldn't afford to have this sword lost to the sea forever. Okay, I still owe you my thanks. So, the Shrine of Zaude was powered by the lives of the Children of the Full Moon? Humans brought forth the Autophagos and led it. Consider it... Atonement. The few remaining Children of the Full Moon, together with the Antilochea, decided on how the world would be. The Imperial Family are their descendants. So that's how the Empire started. And that's why that sword, the key to Zaude, will prove a true emperor. As long as air is used, no one can oppose the Autophagos, for it is born of air itself. You wanted to stop the Autophagos, too. That's why you were going around calming all the air crene, right? Correct. Why didn't you ask for help from the Empire or the Guilds? You could have stopped Alexei if you'd done that. I have aligned myself with the Entelikea. I have no intention of coexisting with humanity. What's more, the masses of humanity will never come to any accord. So, what are you trying to do? The Autophagos was too much, even for that ancient civilization. There is a way. You say you despise humanity, but what about us? Aren't we human? Why did you give me De Nomos? Why did you cooperate? You were the only ones who even attempted to communicate with the Entelechea. That is why. Never mind, it is done. Wait, what are you gonna do? I will protect our world, our Terka Lumares. Hold on! Ugh. Damn it! Del, repeat. Yuri! <laughs> Ouch, hey, hold on a sec. Yuri, it's really you, right? You're not a ghost or something. Oh, good, you have a shadow. Yeah, I'm living, and yeah, that hurts. Thank goodness, I'm so happy. Repeat just rushed out all of a sudden. I was so surprised. Thanks. I'm fine now. Is that wound from when you fell from Zauda? Huh? Oh yeah, I guess so. 
I can't tell you how happy I am. Sorry to make you worry. I want to go tell everyone. They'll be so happy. What's everybody doing? Rita went to Zauda with Judith. She said there was a lot to study, being ancient ruins and all. That's Rita. Patty's helping out with repairs on the Fiertia too. Carol and Raven went back to Dongrest. It seems that relations between the Empire and the Guilds are worsening again. Are they still like that? Supposedly it's because of Zaude. They went to make sure the Guilds didn't do anything rash. First Heracles, then that. Guild or not, people are gonna be on guard. It's troubling Yoder as well. And Flynn is being Flynn and going off to all corners of the world. Everyone's working hard. They thought they should do what they can, even without you. Yeah. Because we knew. We knew you were alive. Hmm. Even Flynn took ships out to look for you so many times. I'm so sorry. But thanks to you, I'm all fixed up. You should still rest today. Rita, Carol, they can all wait a little longer to see you. <laughs> As you wish. Alexei unleashed something terrible. I'm tired of all this freeing the world nonsense. Just what is the Atafagos? Who knows? A catastrophe. It can't be anything good. <sighs> Guess I get to fight a big one this time. It certainly is. So, you're going after it? It doesn't look like I'll have a normal life if I don't. A normal life? For everyone. That's why we fight. Yeah, that's enough, right? Yes, it is. I thought I heard a familiar voice. Oh, it's really you! Thanks, everybody. Don't go taking that young lady around everywhere. She must be tired. What do you mean? Estelle, were you using your power? She fixed up every wounded person who came back. We're all in her debt. If there's anything else I can do, please let me know. Nice to see the lower quarters back to normal. It'd be perfect if only that thing in the sky weren't there. Don't worry. Leave it to brave Vesperia. There you go again. And just how are you gonna close up that hole in the sky? Hey, if anyone can do it, Yuri can. Yeah, he never makes promises he can't keep. That's far enough! Now you, what do you want? <laughs> I say, take a look at this. Huh? A warrant? For me? Just Yuri? I say a knight's duty is to apprehend the unlawful. So I'm the only one with a bounty on my head? Nobody else? That has nothing to do with the matter at hand! <clears throat> we have a proposal. Return to the Knights, and this all goes away. What? Someone high up is making a fuss about leaving you to do as you please, so... You'd feel better putting the reins on me. Now you've got the idea. <sighs> Hey, Swan! What? Where? Hey, wait! So long, everyone! Take care! <laughs> Just as I thought, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Let's go! Arrest that man! This hill's pretty brutal. Those knights are amazing. They are tenacious. Yuri! Whoa, Patty. Where did you come from? Yuri! Thank the Seven Seas! I knew you were still alive! 
Yep, still kicking. Somehow. Oh! Huh? Hey, Judith! Estelle, I just came to get you. Where's Rita? Rita's an ospio putting together all of her research. You'll come too, right? Yeah, if you don't mind me catching a ride. Then let's go. Sorry to make you worry, Judy. My heart was about to burst from worrying so much. Yeah, right. Hey, I really mean it. Wait! Not again. Just once. Just once I want to take it easy when I leave someplace. Goodbye, knights. Get back here! Eureka! Oh, Rita, Yuri is... We're more invisible to her than a camouflaged cuttlefish. It seems like she's blind to everything but her research right now. I can't really blame the people here for treating her like such a weirdo. She looked so happy. She must have discovered something. I hope so. Let's go and see. We should be able to calculate the force field stability coefficient, so... Rita? We can make a key formula. Efficiency is okay. Making a stable non-dispersing piece should be... Hey, Rita! What? Don't bother me! Huh? Oh, it's you. How did you get into... Wait, you're... Hi. Where the hell were you? I looked all over for you, you know. Ah, uh, sorry about that. Well, whatever. I don't have time to argue about that. I have something very important to talk to Estelle about. To Estelle? I may have found a way to control the behavior of air. Really? That's great, Rita! I learned lots of things when I investigated Zaude. Like, how we might be able to apply the techniques used there. However, that is related to Estelle's power as a child of the full moon? We need to interact with the air to make it recombine freely according to a formula. This is something only Estelle can do. If only I hadn't given De Nomos back. Did you meet Duke? Yeah, he saved me. Well, he said it was so he could recover the sword. That sword's different from the child of the full moon. I doubt it could be a substitute. But that control formula you used on Estelle, that was to control the power of the Child of the Full Moon, wasn't it? Yeah. So if we're going to control the air with this theory, we have to release the control formula on Estelle. So, if everything goes right, we control the air. But if we screw up, the air will get even worse and the world will fall to the Autophagos. Is that about right? That's quite a bold plan. I... It's a plan as bold as jellyfish stuck in shallow waters. Uh, sure. Let's go with that. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. Estelle, believe me. Lend me your power. <sighs> Are you scared? No, I'm happy. I might still be able to use my power to help others. Rita, please let me know if there's anything I can do. So what exactly do we need to do? Well, I'm not completely finished working everything out. Give me a little more time. Okay, we'll go see Carol and Raven while you figure things out. Great! I'll go too. I've got all the materials I need in my head. I'll let you know when I work it all out. All right, me hearties! Damn it! Why did I have to do it? That was... the Dawn's grandson, Harriet, right? Oh! Yuri! I 
I can't believe you! You should have told me you were alive! Sorry for worrying you. But I'm back. Well, aren't you tough? <laughs> That's my boy. Hey, I said Yuri was my boy first. I ain't handing him over to you, Patty, darling. <sighs> if you're both done messing around, we just saw Harry. Did something happen to him? Uh, there's been just a teensy bit of trouble. The Union's kind of a ship without a captain right now. So the people won't come together unless there's some kind of core. Core! That's it! What's it? I've got it! Apatheia! It'll work if I use Apatheia! So even if the air stability coefficient keeps changing, if I connect one of those... Hold on, forget the explanation. We wouldn't understand it anyway. Oh, okay. The Apatheia we gave to the Dawn should still be around, right? That was Belius's Apatheia, the Cyanosiel. Rita's found a way to control air! Really? Cool! Do you know what happened to the Cyano CL after the Dawn died? Um, nope. What about Harry? Shouldn't he know being the Dawn's grandson and all? Good timing, too. I was just about to take him back. Go to the Union headquarters. We'll be back there soon. The atmosphere is kind of strange. Yeah, the Union is falling apart. Because nobody wants to step in to take the Don's place. And the Don's heir ain't quite up to it. Come on, don't hang back now. I was the one who led Grandpa to his death. Someone like me could never become a man like the Don was. Nobody's saying you gotta become a man like the Don was. We're just saying you should at least show up to the succession meetings. Hey, do you have the Don's Epithea? We'd appreciate it if you could give it to us. Wow, that was quite a fastball, Rita. That Epithea belongs to whoever succeeds the Don. It's not given to outsiders. What? Well, when will they choose a successor? I don't know. Don't ask me. Well then, who should we ask? That boy's a real piece of work. Who's gonna protect the city if the Union isn't? What? That would be our guild, of course. Talking of whose guild? I know that you sent in your Clouds of Dawn members to Zoth. The Union has never been outstripped by the Empire. We cannot sit here and risk falling behind. I say it was imprudent. It could have been taken as the Union's hostile act against the Empire. In that case, we would defend our honor on the battlefield. And who will be leading the battle? The Clouds of Dawn? If the Dawn got wind of that, he'd burst out laughing. So why don't you boys in Altos throw your hat in the ring? Maybe then we'd see just how unpopular you really are. This is ridiculous. Continue as you please till the world comes to an end. But don't bring up a war between the guilds. This isn't a joke. Hey, I've got a great idea. Let's just set a bit of driftwood in the Dawn's chair. A hard existence being worn down by the waves lends it the exact same air of dignity. My, how ingenious. Yeah, you just keep talking. It's all right to be helped by your friends. Protect your friends and they'll respond in kind. That was the last thing that the Dawn said to me. Carol. What? Who's this kid? I can't do anything by myself, but I have my friends. Because my friends are there for me, I can do anything. They're still there for me, even now. Why isn't that good enough for the Union? The boy is right. The best thing that the guilds ever had was their ability to help each other. There is always a way to deal with things, even if you aren't some great big leader. The Don told you that from now on, you have to walk with your own feet. You know how to walk on your own feet, don't you? Uh, uh. 
You make it sound so easy, but actually... Let's go. I'm gonna get sick if I have to stay here any longer. Hey, you! Wait up! <laughs> what about the Apatheia? If you've got enough spare time to be hanging around those idiots, you'd be better off using it to think of another plan. Another plan? It's not that easy. You'll be able to come up with something if you just don't sleep for three days. Why is it on me? Here. Are you giving this to us? No, this is going to be stolen. What do you mean? I owe you one. Get a move on before the others realize it's gone. To what do we owe this generosity? I don't know. Maybe it just left a bad feeling in my stomach to get lectured by a kid like that. Maybe there's some hope for that boy after all. So, now that we've gotten the Apatheia, what's next? Next up, we're going to the Zophair Rift. I'm going to use the unactivated Air Crene that's there. The Rift? We're going someplace cold again? Mind if old Raven waits here? You'd rather be cold than have the world be destroyed, wouldn't you? Let's go. Oh, it's cold, cold, cold. So cold, 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 cold. So, what are you going to do with the air crane? I'm going to use the energy to make an air converter. An air converter? My plan is to efficiently convert the air into matter, decreasing the overall amount of air. But for that, it's ideal to have the converter use energy similar to both air and matter. How is that energy different from air? Elementally separated air transitions into matter in stages and eventually becomes stable. I'm going to stop its transition between the two states and develop a converter formula. So it won't be air or matter? It's a state that's closer to matter than to air, but it's still not quite matter. We call it mana. Mana. To think that one short utterance could hold more gravity than the light used to lure fish out of the frigid sea at night. It actually has a really long, complicated name, but mana's good enough. But it'll still be less stable than actual matter, so we'll need something to act as a core. The Epithea. And a lot of air and Estelle's power to recombine the formula. Using my power without the control formula will unbalance the air. It'll just flood out again. But we can't just sit here and ignore that thing. And... Yeah? It's a bet I'm willing to take. I guess I should be the one trying to stop you, but... I'm game to get in on this bet, too. I... I'll wager a billion gold on that! The theory is correct. It'll be okay. I'll return this billion gold to you many times over. Oh, truly now? Yep. Come on, let's head to the Air Crene. I tell you, thinking of a converter for air, you're quite the thinker. That's our genius mage girl Rita. Yep, yep. Well, I had a hint to go off of. Come to think of it, you did say you'd investigated Zod, didn't you? Despite its amazing size, it wasn't running off of air. Even though it was a barrier blastia to protect the entire world. A barrier blastia? Oh yeah, they were protecting the world from the Autophagos! You mean to say it's been there for a millennium? It's as dogged as a philosophizing anemone. Same goes for the Autophagos. It's been clinging to that barrier for just as long. Alexei seemed to believe Zod was a weapon, but he couldn't have been more mistaken. But the runaway air was the cause for the Autophagos awakening, wasn't it? Ah, so that's why they would use a barrier running on power other than air. But then, what sort of power was it using? The children of the full moon, perhaps? 
It was actually energy taken straight from them. Inside that giant core, it continued to power Zod as a virtually perpetual formula. Most likely, the energy was taken in exchange for their lives. The light of life was extinguished from the children of the full moon. So that's what Miorso's legend meant. According to Duke, they did it of their own free will. They wanted to save the world. The love the children of the full moon bore for this world is what created the barrier. The power of love makes you want to cry. They sacrificed themselves for the world. The children of the full moon were protecting us the entire time. That monster's not going to show up again, right? If it does, you'll beat it up for us just like the last time, right? You're mean. Okay, I'm ready. Estelle, come over here. Now, I'll release the control formula. Once I do that, the air crene will react to you and produce more air. I want you to recompose the air formula into a stable formula closer to mana. Uh, um, I don't understand. Yeah, okay. The water element is strong here, so imagine flowing water and let your body flow with the air. The theory behind materializing air is the same as performing magic. If Estelle can recompose the air into a state close to mana, then I should be able to guide the air into the Cyanocell. Can we do anything? No. Go take a nap or something. We'd freeze to death if we took a nap here. We're pretty handy, you know. We can cook or fish or anything you want. Just tell us what to do. I wouldn't say anything. We can use the conversion formula we found in Zaude. That was for substituting life for air. Your life! You can't do that! But if this fails, then we'll all be swallowed up by a flood of air. We'll be dead anyway, right? We're all risking our lives. Let us help. All right. I'll use your life energy to guide the air into the Cyanocell. If we do that, I think Estelle will understand the flow of the air without interference from me. All right, everyone. Let's do this. Okay. Sure. Why not? Ready, Estelle? Here we go. Everyone, come over here. Go ahead. Try and synchronize yourself with my formula. There, that's good. collecting in the cyanocell. The formula's working. The force field is stable. It's gonna be okay. Uh, uh. What happened? D did it not work? No, it's still under control, but what is this? for reshaping the Apatheia. It's reformulating itself.
What's going on here? Could the will of Delius trapped in the Apatheia have... Amazing! I feel the waters of the world at my command. I am the ruler of the waters. Okay. So, did it work? It's gone way beyond working. I never thought it would gain a will of its own. Nature's mysteries will forever transcend the limited scope of our imagination. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you on this one. Humans, what creature am I? Though no longer Bellius, the Intellicaea, you have granted life to me. I ask that you give me a name. A being that controls the essence of a material. Maybe you're a spirit. And so my name shall be... The Splishy Splashy Watercolor Queen! An ancient word for the ruler of the waters. How about Undine? Undine. Henceforth, I shall be known as the Spirit Undine. Ah, I feel the power swell within me. Such is the benefit of the air which you saw fit to gather for me. It wasn't any cakewalk either. Receive this now as token of my thanks. Undini, we need to get the world's air under control. Please, lend us your power. Very well. However, my powers alone will be insufficient. Huh? I control only the waters. You must gather those who rule the other elements as well. The elements of earth, water, wind, and fire. We need at least three more. We'll need help from the other Entelikea, won't we? Aye. There are very few Entelikea left. Pharaoh, Gusios. And Ba'ul! Not Ba'ul. He hasn't taken in enough air to create an Apatheia. And on top of that, I won't allow it. Undine, do you have any ideas? The shining forest of Ariolumen and Relaviz, the root of the world. Your friend Ba'u should know the location of these places. She disappeared! No, she is here. I feel her. It seems like the air crane has quieted down too, even though we're not controlling Estelle's power. Really? So, Undine is controlling Estelle's power? You mean Estelle is really free? Yes. Yes! That's great, Estelle. Well, things are sure taking a turn for the strange. Yeah, I never would have dreamed any of this would happen. But we finally see the light at the end. It's a pinprick, but as welcome as the rays of sun that pierce into the ocean's depths. Is Undine really here? Yes. I can't really explain it, but she is here. I can sense it. Perhaps she dwells within Estelle. Well, she was created through Estelle, so maybe the two are connected. Very interesting. Hey, save the research for later, okay? I know, I know. You don't have to... What, what was that just now? Isn't that where... It came from the direction of Zaude.
Argos. No. Has Zaude stopped working? Uh oh. Do you think we might have done something to set this off? That is the true catastrophe. That thing does look like it could eat the whole world. What are we supposed to do about something like that? It's a touch too big to fillet with just my kitchen knife. Hey Rita, Duke said the Autophagos was born from air. Huh? So if the spirits convert air into matter, could we do something about the Autophagos if we had enough spirits? I don't know. I just... I don't know. But I do think it's worth a try. Let's try it, Yuri. Then it's settled. Baul! Yes, I see. Thank you. The servants of the Atathagos are attacking the city, Nordopalaga. <gasps> I guess we can't ignore something like that. Let's go. Black thing. That's what we saw in the sands of Kogor. That was Pharaoh's vision. This is real. Be careful. It looks like it's trying to eat the air of the shield. Is the Atafagos drawn to air? This thing looks pretty mean. It may be, but it's what we've caught on our line. We'll reel it right in. Come on. Was easy. I hope the town is all right. Let's go check it out. Hold your position. We're gonna stop them here. Things getting wild around here. Y you were. I guess I'm saved again. It seems that this was the only city to be attacked. What bad luck. This isn't about luck. Where were you, Rita? I went to check the barrier Blastia. Its power had been raised. And I guess the monsters were drawn to it. The power is returned to normal now. We thought raising the power would protect us, but it turned out to be the opposite. I'll go see the citizens. Feel free to rest here as long as you please. Thanks for the offer, but we still have business to do. We better get moving. You are all welcome at any time. Try stopping by when you have the time. Thanks. Nats was really working hard. Yeah, it looks like he's doing a good job leading since Belly has passed away. I'd like him to meet Undine. He'd be so happy. Not right now. Once everything's settled down, though, let's give him a nice surprise. Okay. That monster. Paul Australia was no match for it. I can't figure it out. So how did we take it out? Maybe there's something different about us. The spirits, perhaps? If the Autophagos really is close to air, then the spirits might actually affect it. So can we put up more of a fight if we get the other three? Who knows? The four elements alone could control air, but we're talking about the Atafagos. I just don't know. Yeah, and it's not like you can find Apatheia lying around just anywhere. There aren't many Entelakea left either. Hey, there are tons of Blasty all over the world, right? Yes, they're an indispensable part of our society. And cores are just pieces of Apatheia. So if the four spirits aren't enough, we can just change all the cores of the world into spirits too, right? Hmm. Then we may end up with as many spirits as there are grains of sand. Are you nuts? How do you propose to do that? Even if we knew how, we'd still have to go to every single Blastia. I doubt the Autophagos would wait for us. I think that's your specialty, genius. Oh no! 
This is your genius plan. Even if Yuri's plan worked, all the Blastia would stop working, wouldn't they? Yeah, I guess so. All the cores would be gone. What would the world become? People would lose the safety promised by the barriers. All the functions that the Blastia maintained, gone. It'll be inconvenient, to say the least. Even Bodhi Blastia wouldn't work. Ugh. Who cares? Blastia or no Blastia, a single ore is all I need to cross the ocean. I admire your spirit, Patty. Well, isn't that all fine and dandy? There'll be a lot of unhappy people, but we have to do it. Otherwise, the world will fall to the Autophagos, even if no one else ever understands why. Well, for now, let's just get the four elemental spirits. Aye, we'll cross those other bridges when we come to them. Baul knows where the other Antelikea are, right? Yeah, let's get back to the ship and ask him. The shining forest of Area Lumen and the root of the world, Reloise. I've never heard of those places. If only we could glimpse them. Would make things far easier. <sighs> Baul says he knows. However, hmm? he doesn't want to tell us. Apatheas only come from the death of Intelikea. He doesn't want to put his friends in danger. Baul, listen. We want to protect the world, but we don't want to sacrifice anyone for it. We won't just take the Apatheia by force. Baul, please. Tell us where the Entelikea are. Aerial Lumen is in the northeast part of Tulpikia. Reloise is on the continent of Wakea. Thank you, Baul. We also need to go to the sands of Kogor, where Pharaoh is. Right. Northeast Tolbikia. I wonder if that's the place where a new land just recently crystallized. Wakea is that continent to the south of Ilikia, where the capital is, right? Wakea. The Emperor Calx III sent scouting parties four times in order to claim the land, but every time they lost communication and no one ever returned. It's the last unexplored land on Tercalumeres. Why does it have to be a place like that? If Wake is that bad, then let's leave Reloise for last. He says he'll leave things up to you. Thanks, Baul. Let's go. We can't exactly dawdle forever. Barrow! He's hurt! Why is he flying? Any idiot could come along and take him out. He couldn't put up a fight like this. It's probably so humans won't get his apatheia. Human greed knows no bounds. Even the sky offers no sanctuary. Then there really isn't anywhere that's safe. Pharaoh! Hey! He's landing! It looks like he's calling us. Let's go. was a decoy for us at Zaude. The fate of the world is set. We shall meet our end. Duty unfulfilled. How unfortunate. You give up pretty fast for someone who fought for so long. Sorry, but things aren't over yet. Zaude is lost. The Adifagos has returned. Neither humans nor we possess the power of old. What more can be done? There's still hope. There's a new power. We would like you to become a spirit. A being that can control air even more. But to do that, we need your apatheia. 
You ask me to hand over my life. <sighs> Your heart alone cannot save the world. But you must have the heart to save it. I am not long for this world. Do with me as you please. What if he doesn't help us when he becomes a spirit? Pharaoh loves the world. It'll be fine. Shall we? But the air crane here is all dried up. If I follow the flow of the air back, I should be able to pull it from within the world. Are you sure? Undine is telling me that. Okay. It worked! Hey, 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 hey! Hot, hot, hot! Spirit of Fire. <laughs> I feel unlimited power. This has been a long time, hasn't it, my leader? I congratulate you on your conversion. Such consideration. Pelias? So you too have. I am now called Undine, the ruler of the waters. I have changed form, so I too require a new name. You, who have reincarnated me, give me a name. The Fearsome Fiery Fireball King! Such a powerful, terrible fire. The Blazing One, Efreet. I am now connected strongly to the world, and all seems new again. Even this wasteland is filled with power! <laughs> Wonderful! Hey! He flew away! Hey! Where are you off to? Fear not. We are bound to you. Wherever you go, we are with you. The Intelikea and the Child of the Full Moon bear spirits. Nature's providence is great indeed. Man, they are so different before and after becoming spirits. They have totally different points of view. It's like, imagine if a fish became a bird. This is better for them than being some sage, always worrying about the world. This looks like the center of the crystallization. It's beautiful. Like we're in a dream. It's air that crystallized at low density. Is this mana? I have to take a sample. This entire forest is a treasure. But it likely won't fit on the ship. Just how do they come up with such different reactions? They just shatter! You're so stupid. Nature didn't make this, you know. Huh? What do you mean? The center of a new land that just crystallized. Somewhere around here is the one who made that happen. And an air crane. Oh. What's up, Repeat? Find something? This is... Someone crushed these crystals, and it wasn't us. We're 
curious fellow would venture all the way out here. Looks like someone got here before us. Watch out. Blades are currently patrolling the area. Leave it. What? Nan! These wounds are terrible. Come on, Nan! Carol, what are you doing alone? Where's the boss and Tyson? Master and the others went on. What? They left you behind? The boss is one thing, but I can't believe Tyson wouldn't take you. What happened? We wound up fighting our target here. I... I couldn't do anything. Just like always. Master said it's because I had doubts. Doubts? I hate monsters. They shouldn't be alive. I still feel that way. But now, at a time like this, hunting monsters isn't that important. There are other things we should be doing. When I told him that... They up and left you. Fools. With everything the way it is, how can they not take another look at their lives? That's terrible! I mean, Nan's right! Relax, Carol. Hey, the hunting blades are after Entelikea, right? We should hurry. Yeah. Nan, can you walk? Huh? Yeah, but it's too dangerous to be alone here. Come with us, Nan. Carol, okay. Gusios! That's Gusios? Back at Karabakram. So the hunting blades have a history with them. So which one of them is our buckle? Which one is what now? Judith, wait! Something's wrong. to him. It doesn't look like he's in the mood for talking. Even Intelikea cannot ingest limitless amounts of air. Those who ingest more than they can endure change. And... No! Become out of Fagos themselves. What? So he got like this by trying to protect the world? Gusios. Save him. Right. Okay.
Guess this is how it has to be. I can't believe we have to... kill him. If there's no other way, then... then we'll do it. There's no way to save him if he becomes an autophagos. You're right. Oh, Divine Spear, run that enemy to the I can't keep doing this. this is so much. Never play. Flickering blades burn. Breath of life. Just hope this saves him. It's all we can do. Lucios. I'm sorry. What? He's gone! Now you want to hate this, too? That's the soul of that monster. I've got to crush it! He's not a monster. They were trying to protect the world. This is something even a sea slug could understand with a bit of thought. I don't care what the Antilochia were for! You knew. All this time, you knew what the Antilochia were. You knew and you still hunted them? With the world like it is? Ten years ago, the Antelakea killed my family. And it's not just me. Most of the hunting blades have lost something important to monsters. No matter what happens to the world, my feelings for these things will never change. But you're wrong. What? No matter what you do, you can't bring anyone back. You aren't the only ones who lost loved ones in the war. But some try to be positive and keep living. You can't save anyone, yourself included, if all you do is lash out in hatred. Instead, you should treasure the ones who are still here. I think it's admirable to protect a city from monsters, but... Don't just be pig-headed about it. Do it when the world is, you know, okay. It's too late for me to change. Huh. If you're gonna get in our way, then we'll settle things here. Chief. <sighs> Please wait. Let me at least heal you. Get up, you maggots. We're withdrawing. Thank you. I wonder if he understood. Who knows? So let's make a spirit. I guess it worked. But he's not opening his eyes or moving or anything. His consciousness itself was nearly taken. He will not wake for a while. Now, give him a name. What's his element? A power rooted deep within the world. Earth itself. Earth? Hmm. The spreader of roots. Gnome. The spirit of Earth. Gnome. Let us tell him once he awakens. I can't believe Entelikea, who try to control air, wind up as Autophagos. <laughs> People can't understand anything except what they see with their own eyes. So after all that happened, turns out the worst thing in the world is people. Humans, we're our own worst enemy. Which means we have to work that much harder. Yeah, you're right. So this is Reloise? Yes, Baul yes, says it is. it is. But, but I don't see I don't any see air crane or Entelikea. Looks like we can take this path down. It's a long way down. 
Yes, it is. Now that is a sight to behold. Please be careful not to fall, Patty. Carol's the one you ought to be worrying about taking a tumble here. Uh, that's not true! Let's get going. Let's get going. Yes, yes, it looks like that's, that's all we, that's can, all do. we can do. Hey, hey, why don't we just ride Baloo all, all the way to the bottom? The bottom. No, no, it's narrow, it's narrow. And the wind is all over the place. It's a little too dangerous. This wind is fierce indeed. This place must be where all the gales are born. That means this valley is the mother of the wind. The mother of the wind, huh? I can see a river way down at the bottom! This is what happens when a river wears away at the earth for years and years. Nature. Who knows how long it took to make this? Whoa! I get all dizzy when I look straight down. Idiot. <laughs> well, just make sure you don't slip and fall. Come on, lad! Heave ho! Just keep going! Hey! Hang on! This kind of stuff gets to us, old folks. Come on, old man. Yeah, you're gonna have to climb back up when we're done. He's dead. Someone's coming! Person? Here? You. Duke. Appearing out of nowhere as usual. Many thanks for rescuing Yuri. Why are you the one thanking him? What are you doing here? We heard there was an Antilochea here. We came to ask it to become a spirit. A spirit? A being that comes from reincarnating an Antilochea through an Apatheia. We might be able to solve the air problem completely with the spirit's power. By converting air into mana. I see. That's why... Duke? Reincarnation. Converting air. You are trying to remake the world itself. All to solve a problem that humans themselves brought about. Such arrogance. But if we don't fix the air problem, the Autophagos will destroy the world. Bellius understood. She became Undine and is lending us her power. Pharaoh as well. He was reborn as a freak. The proper form of Terca Lumeres is one in which all living things, including Entelikea, live in their natural state. You understand that as well. But what about Gusios? He was trying to control the air! But then he took too much and became really dangerous! Yeah, I don't want to think what would have happened if we hadn't reincarnated him as Gnome. Indeed! Humans in Entelikea can find a way to coexist by pushing these boundaries. Even so, I do not accept it. I will protect this world. You said that before. So just how do you plan to protect the world? I will not interfere with you, so do not interfere with me. Ahead lies one of the oldest springs in the world. Pay it due respect. So you won't answer the main question? Hmm. Farewell. I doubt we shall meet again. Uh, hey! He's gone! Such a warm and fun-loving little fellow. I wonder what he's trying to do. I don't know, but I have a bad feeling about it. Him. Not a soul alive would refuse to answer a beautiful laugh. Patty, darling, you just don't have the good graces for an approach like that to work. Rita, is something wrong? Well, I bet with his sword, with Dane Nomos, we could focus the spirit's energy on the Autophagos. Should we chase him down and ask him to lend it to us? Yeah, I don't think he's in much of a giving mood right now. Me neither. Well, whatever we do, 
We have to get all the spirits first. Let's focus on that for now. Wow! So this is the oldest spring in the world. It's so quiet. The air is so clear. It feels holy. Never would have thought a place like this was at the bottom of the mountain. I feel so... at ease. This isn't really a good time to kick back and relax, but... It is so peaceful. Watch it! That's air, not water. It's really dense. You shouldn't go near it. You came. Hey, that's... didn't we? Chroma, was it? It doesn't look like you're trying to avenge Alexei. Duke didn't listen to you, did he? He's trying to protect the world in his own way. So what is Duke trying to do? He's trying to exchange the lives of humans to protect the world. What? Why would Duke do something like that? He doesn't trust humans. But Duke helped us! He even lent us his beloved blade! I assume he saw some of himself in you. Or perhaps he thought he wouldn't have to get his hands dirty as long as you were around. What are you... Why are you telling us about Duke? I think it's time you showed who you really are, Antilochea. Huh? What do you want? Is this just a roundabout way of saying you're not going to help? I too cannot trust humans, but neither do I want to see him take revenge on his own kind. If you can truly save the world, then I will not refuse to help. However, you have chosen a different path. You will likely confront each other. Yeah, maybe. If he is beyond your power, then nothing in this world can stop him. I will test your strength! Here she comes! If you cannot defeat me, then there's no point in facing Duke. Fine. We will test our strength. Guess that's what we get for taking on an Antilochea. Come on, guys. Stay sharp. I'm not finished with you yet. We'll keep playing with you till you die. This is my wager. Will you win or will I? Nothing more than that. Come. We might look weak, but fate is on our side. You were watching over everything. Leave the rest to us. Marvelous. Perhaps you all can, indeed, save the world. Chroma. Do as you wish. Estelle, come on. Judith? Right. Do it.
She's sleeping. It's the same as with Gnome. A new comrade has been born. One who controls the winds. At times calm, at times violent. She is not taken by air as was Gnome. She should wake before long. Thank you, Undine. Chroma did say she wanted us to stop Duke. It seemed like Chroma knew a lot about Duke. Indeed. Maybe we can ask her more when she's awake. Let's head back for now. Right. We don't have time to just hang around here. Oh, not that path again. These old bones of mine are tired. <sighs> Finally. Halfway up. If the air were a little more stable, I could get Baul down here. My consciousness. This is what it means to become a spirit. Oh, to think of all the things that were hidden from me. Good morning, lass. Guess she's awake. Um... So, would you still prefer to be called Chroma? No. I am no longer the Antilochea known as Chroma. You should give me a new name. Well... How about Sylph? It means the Binder of Winds. Sylph. Very well. That shall be my name. Okay, Sylph. Nice to meet you. Again. A pleasure to meet you, too. Sylph, would you tell us why Duke hates humans? Very well. You know about the Great War, right? There were Intelikea who chose to live with humans, and those who chose to oppose them. The Great War was between humans who broke an ancient prohibition and the Antilochea who opposed them. And the war ended when the hero Duke won victory for the humans. Duke's a hero? Really? That's one of the truths the Empire's hiding. They glossed over it by spreading convenient little lies. It was simple but efficient. Patty? Humans alone could not have won that war. Elucifer, the leader of the Antilochea advocating living with humans, fought alongside them and granted them victory. Are you serious? Even I never heard that. But what does this have to do with Duke not trusting humans? Elucifer was Duke's friend. Duke fought with Elucifer against the leader of the ones who opposed humans and defeated him. However, once the war ended, the Empire feared Elucifer's power. They assaulted the injured Elucifer and took his life. He had promised Duke that he would merely watch, but it didn't matter. No. Now I get it. Anyone would stop trusting humans after that. I had no idea that was going on during the war. It must have been so hard on Duke. But it doesn't matter how badly he was betrayed. He has no right to sacrifice every human life. If you do not destroy the Autophagos before Duke, in the end, humanity will be destroyed. Hurry. I have calmed the winds. I believe Baul can reach you now. Thank you, Sylph. So the spirits are working out all right, but... Duke isn't. Yeah. We managed to get the four elemental spirits! Yeah. Now. We have to convert the world's Blastia cores to spirits. Right. If we could control the Autophagos with just those four, then we wouldn't need the others. That thing is not exactly something you want to take on lightly. We better make damn sure we're set. There's no second chance. I know, I know! Just by creating the spirits, we've already changed Terka Lumarais. Even if it is to save the world. We've been making these decisions all on our own. Now we're changing the lives of everyone in the world. That can't be just our decision. Yeah, you're right. If we can't get them to understand what we're trying to do, we're just as bad as Alexei. But we don't have time. But we can still talk to the Imperial Knights and the Guilds, right? 
But if they don't approve of how we're doing things, we will become the great evil. I can't stand by and watch the world be destroyed. Even if Duke manages to save the world his way, it doesn't mean anything if there's no one left to live in it. So I don't care if people call me evil. I will give up the Blastia to defeat the Autophagos. What are you going to do? If you want to get off, now's the time. I'm going. My life belongs to brave Vesperia anyway. Me too. Pharaoh and Bellius left it to us. And I don't like leaving things half finished. I know what it feels like to regret what you didn't do. If I stop now, I'll really regret it. Yeah, me too. I don't want to feel like that. No matter what path I choose, I can take whatever happens. I've learned that on this journey. And the people of the world will understand. They're strong enough to take a changing world. Yeah. We do this today so we can laugh tomorrow. That's what I believe. What are you gonna do, Patty? It's obvious, isn't it? I'm coming too. <laughs> All right, everyone. Together until the end. So let's get ready and then go talk to His Majesty Yoder and the people in the Union. So what exactly do you need to get ready? Leave it to me. I want to stop by a city somewhere. I need to pick up some stuff. How about Port Nor? It's at the edge of Elikia. I want to find out what's happened at Emmied Hill since the road was blocked too. Let's go. Is Baal doing all right? Sure he's not getting too tired? No, he's fine. But he's uneasy. What's wrong? The apatheia within him isn't enough to undergo spirit conversion yet. But he knows that someday, he will need to give up his current form and become a spirit. Well, humans are all going to die sometime, but we don't spend every day worrying about it. I imagine some people do. Are you saying Baul is that weak? He's far more delicate than you, Yuri. Dying, in his case, isn't exactly death like we normally think of it though, right? But it does mean that his consciousness will disappear and be replaced by something new. So it's basically a fear of the unknown. That part of it is actually not too different from us. The other in Delakea have accepted that they must become spirits. They feel it is their duty to maintain the stability of this planet. Baul's got a mission of his own though, doesn't he? I mean, what about his commitment to destroy all of the Hermes Blastia? The determination necessary for destroying Blastia and becoming a spirit are very different. Baul still lacks the resolve to give up his identity as an Intelikea. I think lacking it is a lot healthier if you ask me, and I certainly understand. He seems pleased that you understand him. Still, I worry about him going on like this. Do you want him to become a spirit, Judy? No, not in the least. But I wonder what the Intelikea, what the spirits themselves must think. What's going on? I'm not sure. Baul and the spirits are communicating. Or something like that, but without using their voices. Yes. What happened? He says we shouldn't worry about him. But what was all that? Hmm. The spirit said something to calm him down. Maybe they told him how easy they've got it. Yeah, probably. At any rate, it's impossible for him to become a spirit now. We're going to have to go on depending on you until the journey's over, Baul. He wants you to know you can count on him. This has become quite a place, hasn't it? Has everyone evacuated crossing the Blade Drifts? 
I think they escaped to Tolbekia, around Torum. Maybe the ships are back in service now. Anyone would think of running away under a sky like this. Okay, I'm gonna go shopping. Can I join you? Uh, yes. You all wait up at the inn. Okay. Traveling under a sky like this? We're short of customers now, so you are really welcome. Looks like the Teagles got away too. Even with the road through Emmett Hill open, I'm still worried. I love port towns. They always have stuff, even in times like this. Looks like things just might work. What did you buy? One of each formula crest and container parts. What are you trying to do? I'm making a device that will converge the spirit's powers. A kind of makeshift Dane Nomos. Dane Nomos? I wonder what Duke is doing now. I don't know, but he seems totally obsessed. Huh. <sighs> Patty, what is it? I'm famished. Want me to make you something? I do appreciate the offer, but I must decline. I'd blow up like a puffer fish if I ate now. Sleeping is the best way to distract oneself from an empty tummy, so good night. They say kids need sleep to grow up, but I doubt Patty's growing up anytime soon. Rita's gonna need a bit more time, too. We should catch some shut eye while we can. Yes. Good idea. <laughs> Yuri, please wake up. I'm up, I'm up. Was that Patty just now? I'm worried about her, running off by herself in the middle of the night. Yeah, but it kind of seemed like there was something weighing on her. Maybe she was thinking about Eifried. Judith, I didn't realize you were awake. Now that you bring it up, she hasn't said a peep about Eifried lately. Rita, you're up too? And so is this old man. I'm going to check on her. I'll be right back. I'll come with you. It's too dangerous to go wandering around alone. It's still pretty risky, just the two of you, Judith, darling. Allow me. I'll escort you. I'm going too. Well, I guess if everyone's going... What's the matter? Hey, sleepyhead. We're going out for a bit. You sit tight and hold the fort. Huh? Where are you going? Don't just leave me here! I guess even the twerp wants to tag along. Alright, then we'll all go and take a quick peek. Could ask you the same question. Why the solo trip out here, hmm? We've gathered the spirits and are about to embark on a life-or-death mission. I just wanted to settle my own affairs before that. Are you talking about Eifried? This is my problem and mine alone. No one else should have to bear the burden. You say that, but there's really no reason you should go alone. <sighs> hey, that's the Atherum! What is it doing here? Did you call it here, Patty? I thought I saw you holding up the Maristella. So the Maristella is a device that summons that ship. It's reaching out for its other half. 
Meaning its other half is on that ship? But the Maristella is... Huh? Does this have anything to do with that problem you mentioned? I... Then let's go. Huh? What are you waiting for? You're going to come with me? You know there's no way we'd let you go by yourself. My thanks. But I will be the one to settle what needs settling. You got it. The boat's over there. Time to embark. Hey, does that mean that Ifrit is on that ship? Who knows? Guess we'll have to see when we get there. So you were looking for that treasure that Ifrit had hidden, right, Patty? So you could meet him and get your memories back. I... And then you ended up finding the Maristella, right? Well, yes and no. The treasure Ifrid was searching for was the Maristella. What? So you were both after the exact same thing? Then will you be able to find him now? If I use the Maristella, I'll find him without a doubt. Then that means Ifrid must be on this ship. Well... You see... What the heck? Up there! We've defeated that monster here before, haven't we? Patty! Is that Ifrid? That? It can't be, but... Whoever it is, we gotta go. Yes. I believe there was a ladder in the captain's quarters. Ah! There it is! Cypher, it's me! Do you recognize me? Who's Cypher? I thought that was Eifried! I'm pretty sure Cypher was one of Eifried's officers. Patty! Looks like we don't have time to chit-chat. Cypher, we're settling this here and now! For a long time! For the end, Cypher is this creature? Then it's time to stop cleaning up! Alright! Cypher! Who in the world is that? Let's get some information. Cypher, I'm sorry I made you wait for so long. I lost my memories, and it took me a while, but I finally made it back. I knew it. She's regained her memories. I freed. <gasps> That's. I freed. It is you. Been a while. Why is he calling her I freed? Wait a second. I freed is. Me! Well, what are you talking about? Cypher, you recognize me? Yes. But you must leave this place before I lose myself and turn on you once more. I will not! I came here to release you from that monstrous form and from the Black Hope's fate. That day I turned my hand against many, committed a great sin. Is he talking about the Black Hope Massacre? They would have only suffered more if you hadn't. Like the way you're suffering now. 
that accident turned them all into monsters, and you saved them. And yet the one who killed them lives freely in this form. You saved me. You let me escape. This time, it's my turn to save you, Cypher. I freed. You'd release me from this agony. You've done so much for me, protecting those scallywags in Siren's Harbor. And you've always supported me. But... And now, it ends. <laughs> Patty. Cypher, you're the only one I... I am sorry to make you suffer so, Eifried. I'm far from the only one who suffered. You've been through so much worse, Cypher. You're my friend, so I'll shoulder your pain too. And to free you from your misery, I will kill you. Those people, they are the ones helping you through this. Good. Even without your memories, you are not alone. You are not in pain. That was all I was worried about. You've made some wonderful friends, Eifried. Here, take this. The Maris Gemma. Now I can die in peace. Go on. Do it. Cypher. It's okay to cry if you want to cry, you know. No matter how tough the situation is, crying gets you nowhere. That's my motto. Patty. I won't cry. Shedding tears is no way to pay my respects to the dear friends I've lost. I am Eifried, boss of Siren's Fang. So I... I will not cry. I will never cry. I don't want to cry. Miss Crybaby. So, feeling any better after that nice long cry? Uh, I'm perfectly fine. Good. So, now what are you planning on doing? Yeah, now that you got your memories back and you saw what you wanted to see. It's obvious, isn't it? I'm sticking with you guys. Are you sure that's what you want? I. It's not like I'd just abandon you to fight the Autofagos without me. Besides, I've come this far. I want to see it through till the very end. Well, we're glad to have you, Patty. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. Um, there's a lot that I've been wanting to ask, but I don't know how. Well, I know we're all dying of curiosity, but you tell us when you're ready. I, I'll tell you everything when the time is right. But... What? Judy, what happened? Wait, that's where Osbio is. What's going on?
Ospio. What happened to Ospio? What the hell is that thing? It looks like a mountain. Belay that. A building. Tarkaron. Huh? The spirits are telling me that's the tower of Tarkaron. Duke, it's gotta be him. He's going to try to use that against the Autophagos. Please, let me through! You, with the long black hair! Do you have a moment? What do you want? Some people with the Knights wanted me to tell them if I saw someone with your appearance. They said they wanted to talk to you about Flynn, the new Commandant of the Imperial Knights. What? I believe you are the right person. Yeah. Hey, was it a girl with kinda cat-looking eyes and a kid with a head like an apple? Huh? Oh, yes, I suppose so. <sighs> so can I wait at the end? Yes, that's fine. I'll call them. So what's up with Flynn? Oh, right. Many people have fled this continent since that monster covered the sky. But some opposed using a guild fleet to protect the Empire. Flynn could not abide that. A fleet attacked by monsters landed on Hypionia. We fought, but they kept gaining. We alone were sent for aid. But all the knights are spread all over the world. We have no other choice but to ask for your help. But... We're too late. Commander Flynn must be... Wow, could you be any more worthless? What did you say? You give up already? Everything you've done, what was it all for? I... I did it all for Commander Flynn. Even that one time. Huh. <laughs> you talk about doing it all for Flynn. You're just whining. You gave up. You forgot your resolve. Resolve? Yo, Applehead. You said Hypionia, right? Y yeah All right, I'll be back soon. All of you get ready to go to Tarkaron. I'm going to. Yeah, me too! You keep forgetting us! I'm glad you want to come, but this seems pretty bad. That's even more reason not to let you go alone. I don't think Ba'ul will listen to you either. All for the Guild and the Guild for All, right? Well, if we're out of time, let's go and get it over with. I will follow you to the day I die, and with more moxie than a snapping moray eel. Okay, okay, so let's get going. Yeah! Brave Vesperia, charge! Oh. Go get him! All right, Sodia. Let's reform the support units. Oh, okay. Yuri Lowell. Yuri Lowell! Why? Why didn't you call me out for my actions that time? I... I tried to kill you! Oh, I'm not letting it go. But I don't have time to deal with someone who gave up on everything. I haven't given up. No? So why haven't you gone to help Flynn, even alone? You wanted to protect him so badly, you'd kill me! Why won't you protect him now? I... I can't protect him by myself. Please, save him. Please. You don't have to tell me to do that. Please. You know, there's one thing I agree with you on. Hmm? I'm a criminal. I can be killed anytime. Flynn is the perfect knight, a perfect leader. He doesn't need a criminal by his side. Uh, I'm just standing in until the right person comes along. Yuri. Is that it down there? That's some cloud of dust! Are those all monsters? 
This seems to be a counter-effect of Astal's losing control. It's as if the monsters of the world all came and gathered here. Is Flynn really down there somewhere? Probably. What next? We're gonna fight every single one of them? Fine by me. Just give us two days and we'll beat them all. Probably. Two? You can't be serious! Rita, can't we use that Dane Nomos you made? You gonna blow them away like doing it to the Atafagos? Right. Applying directivity to the power of spirits and forming a barrier-like force field to eliminate the monsters... Yes, it should be possible. But this was made to be used against the Atafagos, right? But this is our only option now. To use it now or wait till later? This is quite the conundrum. Could you let us use it, please? I beg you to. The Day Nomos. I want to believe it can save mankind. Yes, if we can't deal with this easily, there is no way we could stand up against the Atafagos. All right, let's do it. It's rare to hear Yuri ask for a favor like that. It's our chance to do Yuri a favor! Cut it out, guys. So, what's our plan? Activate it in the area where the monsters are all concentrated. That's it. Simple, right? Yeah, it is. No kidding. Why don't we give it a name? We can't just call it the Rita de Nomos. Huh? I'll leave it up to you. Uh, hmm. Uh, I got it! How about the Vesperia number one? I should have known better. It's got a nice ring to it. Besides, it's nice and simple. Even Baul will need to keep some distance. I'll land further away. Okay, let's do it. Dragon Sword! 
Hey, don't go get yourself ripped apart. You'll get yourself killed if you keep watching me fight. <laughs> Come on. I'm just in awe of the great Flynn Shifo. Sh shut up! Hey, this isn't the time to get worked up. I am not worked up! It's okay, don't hide it. Would you be serious for once? I am serious. I can't concentrate with you talking all the time. Well, I can't concentrate without talking, so we're kind of stuck. Pretty good, Commandant. You're not too bad either. We're about to the middle. I'm still up for some more fight. <laughs> you look like you're actually having fun in the middle of all this. <laughs> you do too. Now, Yuri! Right. Take this! There. That should be okay for now. Th thank you so much. Your Highness. Don't push yourself, okay? That's barrier number one broke, huh? I'm sorry. Yeah, seems like the materials we used to make the body were too brittle. It was our fault. Don't worry, the core's fine, and I can repair it. It's just... What a sad ending. Estelle has saved their lives, but they shouldn't move for a while. I guess we have to stay and defend them for a little more. So why not just make this a fort? It's been a while, Yuri. I've heard stories about brave Vesperia. I guess the mercenaries I hired weren't sufficient. Sorry for the trouble. I'm sure the guilds are in chaos right now, too. Thank you for your help. It won't really make up for things, but I'll help with the defense. You're going to fight? Oh no, I'm a merchant. Just watch. Commander Flynn! You're alive! Witcher! Is something wrong? Yes. That tower near Ospio has created an unusual formula around itself. Judging by the crests, it's absorbing some kind of power. In addition, all residents throughout Elikia have reported feeling strange. Absorbing? Feeling strange? Is it absorbing human life? Duke. Life is very pure mana. Does he intend to use it to attack? This is what he meant by exchanging all human life to destroy the Atafagos. The formula is expanding in stages. At this rate, it could affect the entire world. No! We can't just stand around. But the spirit's power alone won't be enough. Even if we repair Vesperia number one, that alone won't be enough. What? But it took out all those monsters! Judging by the size of the Autophagos, we'd need several hundred times the power. Several hundred? That's gonna be tough. Facing this calamity is going to take an insane amount of power. I guess we have no choice but to change the cores to spirits. Wait, could you explain what you're talking about? Oh yeah, we meant to talk to you all about it. Hey Flynn, we want to tell Yoder and the guilds too. Can you call them here? <laughs> oh Yuri, you seriously want him to call the Emperor to a place like this? You never change. I could say the same for you, Yuri. What? <laughs> Okay, I'll see what I can do. In exchange, you all go talk to the people of the Union in Palastrale. Okay. So I guess we're off to Dongrest and Nordopolica? Yeah. Mind giving us a ride?
Yuri, thank you for um saving Flynn. <sighs> you guys go on ahead first. I'll catch up. I'm not going to tell anyone. Why? Because I can understand why you tried to kill me back there. There's something you just want to protect, even if it means dirtying your own hands. You lose your senses in the heat of the moment and find yourself doing things you'd never imagine. I know what I have done is unforgivable. It would have been easier if you'd blame me for this. Don't flatter yourself. Don't think I'm here doing this for your own good. I'm not going to put the blame on you just so you can ease your conscience. What should I do? I have no intention of lecturing you about rights and wrongs. Go figure it out yourself. <sighs> if you can't, go ask someone you can talk to about this, but not me. As Flynn's friend, I'm grateful for the loyalty you've shown towards him. So are you telling me to go all the way out to the countryside? I wonder if this place is any good. This place is no good, and Zaphius won't work either. We gotta make these things fair for everyone. This is something important, for the Empire and for the guilds. Hmm. I'm not going to be used like some messenger. I don't want to leave Dongrest at a time like this. It's up to you, Harry. Alright, I guess I'll be going. What?! This is important! You're just gonna decide like that? It's alright. I'm not gonna question Harry's decision back there. Hmm. That settles it. We'll be back at the Little Prince's earliest convenience. Okay. Understand. We'll wait here until you return. Yes, thank you. That Nat sure is a man of understanding. We got his approval really fast. He's seen the world change before his very eyes. He doesn't have an ounce of suspicion when it comes to others. I wonder if the Union and the Polystrale can get along. Of course they can. They're of the same guild, after all. That's right. Now is the time to put their differences aside and join forces. They'll have to get along. I, quarreling only aids you in understanding one another and forges true friendships. We'll be their bridge over troubled waters. You're right. There's still that little prince. Let's go back to where Flynn and the others are. Maybe they've made some progress. Yeah, let's head back first. They've already built this much? I can't believe the city's come this far so quickly. And it doesn't look like they used magic. Look. Looks like they burned themselves out. Looks like the knights put up a fight too. I guess this is what people do when they work together. In the moment of truth, people manifest amazing strength, just like fish caught on a line. Yeah, this just goes to show you people always manage somehow. So, how do you like it? Hats off to you. How are things on your end, Yuri? We talked to them. We also told them that we talked to His Majesty when we could. Okay, I talked to His Majesty, and it looks like he'll come. He's coming by ship now. He's taking the slow route. I'll take Ba'ul to pick him up. Harry and Nats, too. Really? Won't Ba'ul get angry? There's no time, right? Ba'ul understands that, too. That would be a great help. There's no time left. So the leaders of the world will finally come together. Now we just have to see if they understand what we're doing. 
And if the diplomatic approach doesn't work, there's always fisticuffs. These people have gone through so much to get here. I just know they'll understand. Yeah. Spirits. Artifagos. Duke. Turn all the world's cores into spirits. It's an extraordinary story. I know it's hard to believe, but that's the reality we're up against. No more Blastia, no more barriers? There would be so much chaos. If we don't do it, then we're all gone, either by Duke or the Autophagos. There may be no choice, but do you really think people will listen? I don't think anyone hopes for a future of destruction. We can keep moving forward, even if it's hard. Yeah, that's why we're doing this. The Empire's duty is to prevent confusion and guide people to the future. Now is the time to reign for the people. We'll have our hands full. Making new things that will serve for Blastia. Oh, there's business to be done. We have to think of a way to fight off the monsters without the barriers. The Mercenary Guild and Hunting Blades won't be enough. What about combining the Reformed Knights with the Guilds? Sounds interesting, but I don't know if it'll go smoothly. You're not going to stay until the end? That's not our job. Yeah, that's stuff for the important people to work out. Somehow I think people will have a harder time than they're thinking. It's their job to get ready for that. Our job. We have to crush the Autophagos and stop Duke. Aye, we've got to sail the course we've plotted. I see. Sorry, we left all the dirty work to you. That's my line. We always leave the hardest part to you all. I apologize. All right, we got work to do. But how are we supposed to access all the world's cores? I think I know a way. There was something in the research Alexei and Barbos did. Some note about creating a network of Blastia. Really? Where's that note? Um, I brought it with my personal things. Hey, hey wait! You can't just go looking at people's stuff! Oh, I'm going too. They just took off. Brave Vesperia is as lively, no as rowdy as ever. That's just how we are. Looks like there's a tiny bit of hope. Yes, it does. I'm sure she'll find an answer if she's that worked up. Let's just hang out until she does. Yuri, do you have a minute? Hmm? Yeah, sure, what's up? Not here. I'll be waiting at the entrance. Hmm? So, are you gonna tell me why you're so serious? Are you just gonna go like this? Huh? The people who command the entire world are gathered here. Now's the time to tell them all you've done. Not this again. Half of my achievements, or more, are really yours. So what? It doesn't matter who did them. It does. Why do you always choose the option that's bad for you? Why do you try to bear everything by yourself? Do you think I can't take the burden? You're carrying what I can't. I know I can do what I want only because someone's watching out for me. But... Forget it. I can't explain. I'll just yell at you again. <laughs> In that case... Try it like this. Yuri! You're not gonna beat me in an argument. You know what you can beat me in. This. Yeah. You're right. Just like always.
everything I feel is in this sword. Good. Come on! As your range! Beast! You keep getting better. You do too. I guess life has taught us both a few things. How many years has it been since we fought like this? Uh, we fought in the Coliseum. You forget already? Of course not. Just, you know, a lot of stuff has happened. It's... Yeah? It's just different. <laughs> yeah. It feels different for me too. I wonder what it is. Uh, does it matter? I am so gonna kick your ass. No, 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 no. I'm going to kick your ass. Oh, it's on now. Guardian Thief. Metal Strike. Raging Blast. No. I won? I can't even win with a sword anymore. <laughs> Loser. You've gotten better, Yuri. You too. You would have beaten me easy if you were still like when we were kids. Didn't we swear on our swords when we were kids? We would fight to make people smile. Yeah. Even if we follow different paths. Even if we bear different burdens. Even if people praised us or hated us. The knights and the guilds won't change. Right? There are places in each of us the other can't reach. That's why we're not alone. spirits directly with the core and excite it. Converge the generated power onto Vesperia number one through the four spirits and then use it against the Autophagos. I was the one to find this method. Synchronize this device with the barrier Blastia placed around the world and then use it to interfere with the surrounding Blastia. Uh, huh? That speech was as sinuous as an octopus's legs. Carol has no hope of understanding. Not like you got it either. So you mean we can transform the Blastia Core into spirits, right? That's what I've been telling you. I knew you could do it, Rita. Our only problem is time. We need to build the Blastia Core network and prepare for the converge process simultaneously. I'll handle the network. We do have some people from Ospio who can help too. We'll need a guard, too. Better keep an eye on the monsters in the Atafagos. The knights will take that position. We will protect all with our life. The guild will back up wherever necessary. We also have engineers who can help. Hey! This is gonna work out! So then, is Vesperia number one ready for action? Not quite. I don't have everything I need to make the body yet. I'm working on all the necessary calculations, but we still need to find compatible parts. Then wouldn't it be better just to make a new one from scratch? There should be plenty of people and materials here. Hey, that's a great idea. We can start with the network construction. How's that sound? Yeah, it could end up being faster if you can do that. Then it's decided. We'll get everyone together so you can explain in more detail later. Everyone's pitching in to make a weapon that can defeat the Autophagos. Just like how this town was built. Thinking about it like that gives me a strange feeling. We just need to get close to the Autophagos so that the power of the spirits will reach it for sure. And then activate Vesperia number one. That means we need to get to... The Tower of Tarkaron. Duke's hideout. Are we gonna fight him? I don't know, but we can't let him use Tarkaron. I guess we can't walk around it. Yeah. All right then, I'll start working on Vesperia number one's repairs. Great, 
Let's aim to be ready to leave by tomorrow. What are you doing, Patty? Looking for Yuri. Have you seen him? I think he's somewhere in town. Probably sleeping. Hmm. Yuri's just about the only one who can successfully hide from me. In any case, what are you doing, Flynn? Patrolling. This town has no barrier, so I have to work extra hard to keep it safe. What is it? Why are you the one patrolling? You're a commandant. Or is this part of a knight's duty? It has nothing to do with a knight's duty or rank. A knight is... well, it's difficult to explain. Is it? Personally, I believe they exist solely to protect the people. But not all knights agree. Then things haven't actually gotten any better? No. They've improved quite a bit. Though there are those who don't believe so. Lies and rumors are insidious things. Ah, oh, Flynn. You have far too many woes for one so young. True. I have no want for trouble. But I am prepared to face it. Is that right? Ever since I learned the law is imperfect, I've looked for a definitive boundary between good and evil. Recent events have shown me that no such boundary exists. In the end, all I can do is face each trouble as it arises. Perhaps this path is full of pain, but I won't run. That's what I am prepared for. Hmm. 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 Patty? Admirable, but codswallop. Long ago, I led the pirates as I freed, but I was only their boss because they had all given me their support. And had Yuri and the others not been there when my memories returned, I'm not sure what would have happened. Without them, I wouldn't be the chipper lass I am today. Patty. You don't have to bear your troubles alone. You have Yuri and me. We all have troubles, so we should work together to figure them out. Together? Yes, you're right. Thank you, Patty. You know, sometimes I can't help feeling that you are terribly mature. <laughs> it's all right. You aren't the first to fall for my intoxicating charms. If we all work through our troubles together, then someday we'll be able to make the world we dream of a reality. Everything we do starting with taking down the Autophagos, will be worth it. Resolving to act on a decision influences those around you, and then that decision becomes reality. That's how whole worlds are created. <sighs> Sink me. I'm losing out on my beauty sleep. Off to bed I go. What about Yuri? I'm young. I'm sure there'll be plenty more chances. Good night. Good night. Don't bear your troubles alone. Can't sleep? What about you? Oh, I was just out talking with Baul and it got late. I was just checking on how the repairs were coming along. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. Oh, I hate it when you say that. That's strange. I don't mean anything by it. Hey, what are you going to do after this is over? If all goes right, all the Blastia will stop working, including Hermes Blastia. Right. You won't have anything to do. I guess not. That's all I had. Baul was my only friend. Destroying Hermes Blastia was my only purpose. I mean, I had my reasons, but... 
But... After traveling around with you all, I guess I don't really care anymore. You're just gonna drop it like that? What are you going to do? You lived for your Blastia research. Th there's tons of stuff I could study. Besides, I realize there are things I can believe in besides Blastia. I don't have any family, so I don't... But uh, I kind of like, you know, how we are. Hey, that's just between us. You can't tell anybody. I won't, I promise. <laughs> it's fun to have secrets with someone. You've changed. You never would have said anything like that when we first met. <sighs> All the different people, different things on this journey, you know? Yeah, I do. I never dreamed I'd end up like this. I don't want to go back. Me neither. When everything's done, maybe I'll just travel the world with Ba'ul. That's nice. Hey, take Estelle too. There's still a lot in this world she should see. You're not coming? It'll be so lonely without you. Uh, well, I guess I could. Well, if we're going to do that, first we have to protect the world. Of course. We'll show that thing. Yes, we certainly will. <clears throat> That's the last one. Good work. Sorry for making your work right before the final battle. Don't worry about it. I'm a member of a guild. I have to do something. It's nice to be able to do things for others. Oh, such grown-up words from Master Carol. Yeah, I never did stuff just for other people. I wanted to show others that I could do stuff. I thought that was my dream, but I guess not. To make a guild, to make the guild big, to be a respected boss. All boys have those dreams. It's fine. But that was all just so I would look cool. I mean, there's so much you can't do alone. Yeah, I guess so. I thought I had to do it alone, or I'd look bad, or it'd be worthless, or whatever. That's not helping people. I see. If you work together, you can do a lot more and make a lot more people happy. I realized that traveling with everyone. I like that a lot more. Young Master Carol. You are something. So far ahead of this old man. You are cool enough, just as you are. You're cool too, Raven. Not as cool as Yuri, but... Oh, I'm hurt. <laughs> so what's your dream, Raven? Me? To be stinking rich with bevies of gorgeous women all around. Mm. I'm kidding. Now... Hmm. I'm finally back to just living. So I guess my dream is to be able to dream again someday. That sounds pretty hard, but I'm sure you can do it. Thank you. I think I'll get it. Hey, is your heart okay? Yeah, it's weird, but it's fine. Even if I work it hard, it just keeps going. I guess that's the effect of the spirits. I guess this plan isn't all bad. I'm glad I met everyone. I mean, you too, of course. I'm glad I met you too. Really. We're gonna win tomorrow. In a big way. All right, we should get to bed soon. Lack of sleep is the elderly's worst enemy. Okay, night. Yeah, good night. Dreams are so not my style. But here I am, dreaming. <laughs> 
What am I going to do with myself? It's almost time. Yeah, I start to think about it and I can't sleep. You get that way too? You say it like I'm made of iron or something. Would you mind if I sat next to you? Thank you. <laughs> it's warm. Tomorrow we face that Autophagos. It's ironic that we're actually using Alexei's research to fight it. If they had only been able to think of others... Yeah, but they made their choices. Nothing we can do about that. Choices? You've always made your own choices, haven't you? I figured if someone's gonna choose, it might as well be me. And I won't find out if I made the right choices until the end. But that's wonderful. Making a choice is so hard. You made your own choice too. I think I figured it out while traveling with you all. To live means to choose and to have the resolve to make those choices. I think that's kind of overdoing it. I always just played the role I was given. I was happy to heal people and be thanked. But then I learned my power was poisoning the world. Someone was always using me. What about now? I... I don't know. But... I feel like I'm here doing what I am because it's my choice. My wish. I'm glad I came on this journey with you, Yuri. Me too. I wasn't too sure what would happen when you asked me to take you out of the castle. I'm sure. I like traveling. Lots of different people, different experiences. We traveled the whole world, but I never got tired of it. I think it fits me. I think I'll just keep on going around. And keep helping people in need. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's some tomboy princess out there being chased by an evil monster. You're mean. <laughs> it's strange. Right now, I'm not scared at all. If anything, the thought that a new world is about to dawn is... The Autophagos won't kill us. We'll live on. And I'll be able to stay with everyone. With you. Thanks. I feel the same way. Let's get it over with. And live on in a future we choose. Okay. Well, looks like you slept well. Yes, I did. Like a log. The bed was so much more comfortable than when we were here before. Yeah, the whole town is in really good shape. A city this nice needs a name. All right, naming genius. Give it a shot. Okay, okay. Scrappy handcrafted look. <laughs> you suck! Um, the light that melts away the snow. Arnian, how's that? Arnian? That's a nice name. Now it's got the Imperial Seal of Approval. That settles it. Fantastic. I'm all done, too. With Vesperia number one? 
This is Yoder's sword, isn't it? What? Is it really okay for us to use that? It's just the right shape and size. Plus, it's forged from rare metal. If I recall, rare metal is quite scarce and known to be exceedingly durable. Listening to your discussion made me remember this sword. I'm utterly incompetent with swords, so I'd be delighted if it was of use to you. Somehow it already feels... different. It is a decent blade. So then this one would be Vesperia number two! It doesn't matter what it's called. It's almost time. Yeah. This time it really is the final battle. Leave the construction of the Blastia network to us. Wait, Commandant, you should go with them. Sodia? No one knows what might happen. They will need your help. But the Knights have been tasked with persuading the people to help with the Blastia. I am well aware that we will not succeed without the people's cooperation. Don't worry, I'm here too, after all. Very well. But Sodia, Witcher, even though we'll be working separately, we are still a team. Remember that, if nothing else. Yes. Okay! We have discussed the Blastia and Spirits, and what to do after everything is done. But I think it will take time for some to accept this change. You're right. Many people will be so lost. However, they cannot live in a new world without accepting the changes. You're right. I will start by talking with the people here. They built this wonderful city of Arnian from nothing but a plane. Yes, the residents here should accept it. Good luck. No one would listen to me even if I tried. No way! Estelis, everyone, take care. Everyone, please, stop working for a moment. His Majesty Yoder has something to say. I have something very important to tell you all. This will affect the Empire, the Guilds, and even the Entelikea. I wonder if they'll be okay. They believed in us enough to send us. Let's believe in them. Yes! Well, we have our own work to do. Carol, do your thing. Right! Everybody! We will win no matter what! Onward, Grave Vesperia! in the ground near Ospio. I can't believe it. That must be a life-absorbing formula expanding around it. It looks that way. This isn't good. It looks like it came together pretty quickly. So there's not much time left. Perfect! People always heave ho with a deadline looming over them. That might be true, but it still puts us in hot water. If it's absorbing life from everyone, that should affect us as well, but... Estelle? The spirits. They've swathed us in their power. So we should be fine as long as the spirit's power is greater than that formula. Then we just need to run right to the top before that changes. That'll exhaust us before we even face the Autophagos. 
Can't we just get on Ba'ul and fly up to the top? I doubt it would affect Ba'ul, but we probably couldn't take it. You just don't want to climb up. Of course not! Who do you think I am? Sorry, old man, but it looks like we're walking. Yay. We must brace ourselves and press forward. Yeah, don't let your guard down. Who knows what's waiting for us up ahead? could all of this be kept underground for so long? The reason so many Blastia were excavated from around Ospio must have been because this was here. The ancient Garayo civilization! This is more amazing than anything in a book! Something feels strange. I know this is a weapon, because he's gonna use it against the Autophagos. But from the outside, it looked like a city. Did they turn an entire city into a weapon? Maybe they had to sacrifice such a huge city so they could stand a chance against the Autophagos. This place is enormous. So many people must have lived here. And now, one man is holed up in here to destroy every last person. Duke. I'd rather not meet him if we don't have to. That soldier was already a hero in the Great War. Who knows how much stronger he's gotten since. What are you talking about? We'll just kill the Autophagos before we fight Duke. Then Duke won't have a reason to sacrifice humanity! I hope so. Waiting, Yuri Lowell. And where do you think you're going with me right here? You! You're alive. Don't you ever die. You climbed all the way up here just for us? How sweet. You must be exhausted. You just never quit. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't want anything to do with you. You're trying to save the world? Well, the world will go bye-bye if you don't hurry, is that it? If you know that much, then don't get in our way! Oh, no, 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 no! That's what gives it so much meaning! What's this guy talking about? Look! There's a seal further on. If you want to get by, you have to take this arm from my body. You can't be serious. You bastard! <laughs> Yuri! If you want to save the world, then you have to go through me! Why? Why are you doing something so meaningless? 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 Oh, but it does mean something. This way, you'll fight with everything you've got! Zoggy, I never thought you were this crazy. Fine. Let's finish this. <laughs> Show me your anger! Your rage! Give me everything you've got! Because if you don't, you won't get any higher! <laughs> die, 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 die! Just drop it already! <laughs> I will hunt you down until you're dead. You're dying first. <laughs> yeah, keep talking while you still can. And you shut up. Mm, yeah, come on, give me everything you've got. We finish this now. And stay dead this time. Zagi, what a lamentable man. <laughs> he 
doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> I can't move. What a weak body. I should change my next body to a Blastia, too. That would be more fun. Right, Yuri? Do it in hell. No one understood him, so he put so much meaning on fighting. Poor thing. Still, his skills made him pretty famous. Something happened after he met you all. He really looked like he enjoyed fighting. Maybe he thought that he could let loose with everything when he fought Yuri. So Yuri was the only person he could do that with? What do I care about somebody that crazy? It's just the shell of someone consumed by power. <sighs> We've wasted too much time on this. Let's go. Judy? Okay. Okay, got it. Did something happen to Baul? No, he's fine. I was just asking what it was like outside. How far along is the life-absorbing formula? Baul doesn't know anything about formulas. Yeah, I guess you're right. I told Baul to move around as he saw fit. We should move along too, right? Yeah, let's hurry! stairs. It looks like they lead to the summit. This is the moment of truth. Is everybody ready? I've been ready. Let's do it. Yeah, we have to do this. Turning back now would make dinner tonight taste like ash. Right. Even this old man's gonna put up a fight. People believe in us. They're waiting for us. We must defeat the Autophagos. For them! And for Pharaoh and Bellius. For the memories of the Intellikea. <laughs> Let's go. Duke, we have the four elemental spirits. Their power can counter the Autophagos. There's no need to use people to destroy the Autophagos. Look at its size. Four spirits are nothing against it. They're crucial. We'll make up the rest by turning the Blastia cores to spirits too. Every single core in the world! And as a bonus, it'll put an end to the Blastia culture that you hate so much. Not too shabby, huh? I doubt humans will hand over their Blastia quietly. Or will you force them? We don't force anyone to do anything. Can you not believe that people can move forward and change? 
Humans will not let something go once it is in their grasp. So you won't listen. We will destroy the Autophagos our own way. Please, wait just a little longer. The people are determined as we are determined. We won't let that go to waste. And will the world return to its former state? Huh? Will the air be controlled by the Entelikea? Will all life return to a time when nature ruled? No. You are changing this world, our Terka Lumeres, for what? For the convenience of humans, nothing more. Can't you think that the world might be growing? I think of the Entelikea becoming spirits as evolution. Can't you see that? I would not presume to speak on the choices of the Entelikea. However, I also have my choices. So you won't listen to us because we're humans? You say you can't trust people, so you just drop everything. Then when it's too late, you try to wipe them out? Do you know what this tower is? Tarkaron was once a city, but the ancients turned it into a weapon. To destroy the Antilochea. <sighs> to the ancients who did not recognize the threat of the Blastia. The Antilochea who attacked the Blastia were nothing more than a nuisance. And the air went out of balance, and the Autophagos appeared. Only then did humans listen to the words of the Entelikea. Our world has seen many sacrifices, yet humans committed the same offense, and they will again. Those who eat away and ruin this world. Those who would change the world for their own continued existence. They are apostles of destruction greater than even the Autophagos. Is that the reason you're trying to destroy humanity? I made a vow to my friend that I would protect this world. A Lucifer. So Chroma told you? Yeah, she also told us to stop you. She listened to us too and became a spirit. So please, we can do this together. Enough. If the Entelikea would throw away their mission, then I will take it up. I need not wait for your method. Once I complete this formula, the world will be saved. Duke, stop! As long as humans rule, they will commit the same offense time and again. If that happens, their hearts will grow wild and the future will be even more painful. Even if that happens, it's the path we choose. Even if we are hurt or stopped, we can still walk again as long as we don't give up. She's right. You'll never find anything new if you're afraid of making mistakes, of failing. And unlike you, we haven't chosen this path on our own. Everyone decided on it. Yeah, going it alone might be tough, but we're not alone. If one person can't do it, then we do it together. I finally learned that we can walk together like that. I. Eventually, you'll hit a dead end with the solutions you come up with alone. But if everyone takes up oars together, no wind nor rain can stop you crossing the ocean. That may be sufficient for those who are connected to one another. However, there will always be some who cannot accept a difficult future. You all surely understand that. It will be difficult, but that is reality. They will take what changes, think, and change again, both the people and the world. So even if it takes tens, hundreds of years, they will listen someday. I know this now. That's what it means to live. Change is painful, but fearing it means we never make any progress. And we'll be there to support those who need it. That's why knights exist, why guilds exist. Right, there are things you have to protect. But this old man wants to see what lies ahead for people in the next era. See how the fools change for those who can't see them anymore. We are in contradiction. However, our feelings for the world are no different. How odd. No, it's not. The future we chose, what we see for the future, is different. The future must be protected. If it is not, 
then destruction awaits. We make the future. You trust the path you choose and create it. It is inevitable. Come. We're gonna kill the Autophagos, so stay out of the way. This isn't a path we chose alone. I have no reason to go along with your plan. Could you be any more stubborn? Why won't you listen? We made this choice so humans and Endolakea could move on together. I have newfound hope and conviction. The Endolakea will regret that decision, and humans will wish they had died. I won't regret it, no matter what you say. Our resolve runs deeper than that. Such a foolish conclusion. There is no longer any point in talking. I guess we have to fight. If you would just listen. No more. Charge him. strong yourself. Hmm. How unfortunate. I wish I could walk together with you all a while longer. Perhaps we would have had a different encounter. It's not too late. It is. My path was set when the Autophagos covered the sky. You stubborn bastard! The best path for an enduring world is to return it to its natural state. That is the path I chose. I will die for that. My friend, give me your strength. clinging to the past. So I am the only stubborn one? No. I am not mistaken. I will use all my power to eliminate your misguided purpose. Light! Oh, the beginning of time! Big Bang! You're still standing. Accept your fate, Duke. I shall end it all with this. We'll defend the world our own way. I'm sorry. Elucifer. I could not keep my promise. I don't know what a Lucifer was like, so this doesn't mean much coming from me. But if El Lucifer fought for humans during the Great War, then I don't think he'd want his friend to reject humanity. El Lucifer's wish to protect the world, peace for all living things. It. 
Here we go. Estelle, synchronize. Judith, give me support. Okay. Understood. Yuri, let's go. My heart's all a flutter. <sighs> We're counting on you, boss. <laughs> Something. It's gotta work. This can't be how it ends. And to look here. Spirits. Humans. The Lucifer. Can this world truly change? Damn it, come on! who became Atafagos. They all transformed into these spirits. So the Atafagos was also part of this world. Unbelievable. It's so beautiful. Ah, it is. We did it. Was this truly the right thing for us to do? I don't know. We lost all the Blastia and with that, the barriers are gone. But we chose that path, so I guess we gotta live with it. As long as we're still alive, we'll be okay. You are strong. <laughs> yeah, well, that's because I'm not alone. Hey, Duke! See you around.
Thank you.